Hi guys. I would like to invite you to the audiobook service where we upload more than 300 hours of different audiobooks a week, link in details in the video description. 192. I have a great feud with the state of Chu, and all the strong men are going to arrest me and go back to dig my belly for courage. Even the 10,000 demon palace does not dare to take me in, for fear of causing disaster. These, do you know? Su Mu looked at the little fox suspiciously. Meng Li nodded slightly and said. Of course I do. Your deeds have spread throughout the entire Chu country, can you not know? Most of the grandmasters who died in your hands have a good background. It is estimated that experts in the martial god realm will be drawn to chase and eliminate you. It is normal that the 10,000 demon palace does not dare to keep you. Hearing this, Su Mu was even more surprised. Then you are not afraid that I will cause trouble for your fox clan. Mengli this little fox demon smiled confidently and said. No, no. Since I'm taking you back, I must be sure, so you can rest assured. If that's the case, then I'll thank you in advance. Seeing that the little fox demon was so confident, Su Mu guessed that the power of the fox clan should not be small. In any case, a few polite words are always right. Who knew that Meng Li was not happy when she heard this? She pursed her lips and said with a little dissatisfaction. There's nothing to be thankful for. Don't forget, we are friends. My dream glass walks the world with three things. The little fox demon stood upright and crossed his waist, with a bit of pride in his cuteness. What, what three? Xiong Shan on the side asked curiously. It was canonized as a mountain by Heavenly Court a long time ago, and then stayed in the Nameless Hill until recently, leaving with Su Mu. So I'm very interested in the little fox demon's argument. Munli looked at Xiong Shan a few times and said contemptuously. You stupid bear, you don't have any of it. I rely on one's ingenuity, two's fox background, and three's many friends. The little fox demon counted with its claws. When he heard the previous sentence, Xiong Shan was still a little unconvinced and opened his mouth to say something. But after listening to the second sentence, I could only swallow the words back with a look of suffocation. Never thought that the little fox demon would not let it go, and added another sentence. By the way, image is also very important, I won't say what I look like. The appearance of your big stupid bear. Messy coat color, irregular facial features, and a little bald on the top of the head. It is also considered the most ugly among the bear clan. It doesn't look like a good demon. Bear Mountain, I. After these words, Xiong Shan's whole face collapsed, he felt that he had been stabbed severely, and his heart was bleeding. Su Mu didn't expect that Menli, this little fox demon, has some poisonous tongue attributes. But let's not talk about the rest, but the baldness of the head has something to do with Su Mu. He hurriedly coughed and changed the subject. Cough. Let's not talk about those who are missing. Why don't you take us to the site of your fox clan now, there are many night dreams, and my whereabouts were discovered by the people of Chu. Okay, you come with me. Saying that, the little fox wanted to lead the way, but Su Mu stopped. Wait, your speed is a little slow, why don't you come to me, let Xiong Shan carry me on the back, you just need to show the way. Hmm okay. Anyway, there are not a few hairs left on the top of this big stupid bear. It's not worse than me. As soon as these words came out, the wound in Xiong Shan's heart that had just stopped was bleeding again. At Su Mu's suggestion, Menli jumped to the top of Xiong Shan's head and stayed with Su Mu. Xiong Shan only felt sadness flowing into a river, tears welling in his eyes. Thirty years of Hadong and thirty years of Hushi. Sooner or later it will. Become a handsome bear. Although sad and angry, Xiong Shan could only follow Meng Li's directions honestly. A line of three demons set off into the distance. The fox demons in the Kyushu world have several veins. Meng Li, this little fox, came from Qingqiu's lineage. The Qingqiu fox clan is one of the leading forces among the fox demons, located in the territory of Qi state. Under the guidance of Meng Li, the three demons marched in the Qin Chu Mountains, heading in the direction of Qi State. 
the Qin Chu Mountains not only link the Qin and Chu countries, but also border the Qi country. But there are very few places at the junction, so it will basically be ignored automatically. Seven days later. You can see Qi after you cross the mountain in front of you. Come on, big stupid bear. Mengli pointed to a high mountain in the distance, with a happy expression on her face. It's easy for you to say. Haven't you heard of watching a mountain and running a dead horse? Xiong Shan, who was carrying Mengli in Su Mu, muttered, but he didn't stop. After all, it is a monster in the innate realm, and it is very easy to travel thousands of miles a day. Even though the Qin Chu Mountains are vast and boundless, it will not take long for them to leave this place and enter the territory of Qi. Wait. Don't move. After rushing for a while, when he was about to reach the foot of the mountain, Su Mu suddenly let out a low voice and looked serious. As soon as he drank it, Xiong Shan immediately stopped and did not dare to move. At the same time, Su Mu cast a magic spell, and a cloud of grey miasma permeated out, covering their body shape and aura. About a quarter of an hour later, a figure galloped past the sky. Looking at the flight speed and the strength of the Qi, he is actually a martial arts master, and he is a master of late cultivation. After the person flew away, Su Mu kept Xiong Shan and Mengli still. Not long after, two more people flew from the sky, also the warriors of the late Grandmaster. It's from the state of Chu. Su Mu's face darkened slightly, knowing that the Chu people had discovered that he had left Wuming Hill and had chased him. Mengli rolled her eyes, leaned over to Su Muir and said in a low voice. There must be a martial god among the people of Chu, otherwise they wouldn't search you in the Qin Chu mountains with such great fanfare. The three that flew over just now should only be in charge of reconnaissance and search. There are millions of monsters in the Qin Chu mountains, and there are many big monsters among them. Even the martial artist in the late stage of the master may encounter danger after going deep. However, there is no need to be afraid of the great masters of the martial god realm. What's more, the team that hunted and eliminated Su Mu could not have only this power. After the little fox finished speaking, Su Mu agreed. Yes, the three people just now are just like scouts, don't act rashly, just observe them. Afterwards, Su Mu, Xiong Shan, and Meng Li hid their bodies in auras, and secretly observed the movements in the sky. This observation is a whole day's time. On this day, more than a dozen different martial arts masters flew over their heads, and all of them were later cultivated. Most importantly, Su Mu found that these masters were extremely cautious. The three of them are in a team, and they are each other's horns. In this way, there will be no situations where people are quietly eliminated. If one of the three team has a problem, the other two will immediately find out and issue an alarm. Chu Guodong is real. After discovering this, Su Mu secretly sighed. This time, there were definitely more than fifty martial arts masters who searched him. Look at clothing should come from three forces. According to Zhao Gu's meticulous work, Su Mu felt that it should belong to the sect of Qing Hong Sword Immortal, the official state of Chu, and the family behind the top swordsman eliminated by Su Mu. And through the clothes, it can be judged that there are the most people in the Jinzong sect. In other words, the one who led the team to hunt down Su Mu this time was most likely the Qinghong Sword Immortal. This kind of handwriting is really big. These Grandmasters' cultivation base and combat power are not the peak, but they are definitely the best among the Grandmasters. Just take out one and put it outside, you are a big man. But at this time, he could only act as a scout, looking for Su Mu's trace. It can be seen that Chu State is very serious about chasing and killing Su Mu. Thanks to Su Mu's carefulness along the way, he did not fly in the sky, and erased the traces behind Xiong Shan. Otherwise they would have been discovered long ago. But being so careful also has the downside of not being fast enough. Even so, Su Mu's situation was still very bad. Right now, the three of them are stuck in the Qin Chu Mountains, unable to advance or retreat. The slightest movement will be discovered. Brother, what should we do? The search range of these human race masters covers a 500 mile radius of us, and they don't stop for 12 hours and 15 hours a day, and there is no vacuum period at all. As long as we move, we will definitely be discovered. 
Unless. Unless we can eliminate a path. But those human races are too cunning. Three people in a team, as long as one kills one, the situation will be exposed. Xiong Shan was a little anxious, like an ant on a hot pan. On the contrary, Munli, the fox with the weakest cultivation base, was quite calm. She turned to look at Su Mu and asked. Brother Su, you should have a solution, right? After getting along for the past few days, the two sides are familiar with each other. Su Mu's name in Munli's mouth also changed from Big Snake to Big Brother Su, but fortunately he didn't call him Big Brother Snake. The little fox is very observant, and seeing Su Mu's calm look, he knows that he already has an idea. Su Mu looked up at the sky, his eyes sank, and he said coldly. There is indeed a way. Three masters form a team, horns, and watch over each other. If one has a problem, the other two will notice it. Then, as long as I can instantly eliminate three people and destroy the entire team, I can temporarily escape the blockade without revealing my whereabouts. Hearing this, Xiong Shan was overjoyed at first, but his expression soon dimmed. If you can really eliminate the three masters in an instant, you can indeed escape without knowing it. But, how can this be done? These are the masters of the late Grand Master. According to the human race world, it is the peak master or the great master. Slaying three peaks in an instant. I'm afraid it would take a half-step martial artist to do it, right? Although he has not yet reached the Grand Master realm, Xiong Shan still knows the difficulty in this plan. What it didn't expect was that Su Mu's expression was still dull. He pondered for a moment, as if estimating the strength of the two sides, and then said lightly. Try it, you have a 50% certainty, and if it doesn't work, there is a backup plan. If it fails, I will fly away alone, and you will continue to hide. The target of the Chu people is me. After I leave, the two of you will wait for three to five days before you come out. It is estimated that you will be fine by then. Hearing this, Xiong Shan's expression changed as if he wanted to say something, but he was stopped by Su Mu. Okay, don't tell me that nonsense of loyalty. Everything goes according to my plan. Hearing this, neither Xiong Shan nor Mengli spoke again, and obeyed Su Mu's arrangement. The hunting plan has begun. 193. Jiang Hua flew in the air and looked down casually. Hey when can I return to the sect to practice with peace of mind? The Chu veins are so vast, and there are millions of demon clans. To find a snake demon here, isn't it looking for a needle in a haystack? Is it worth it to spend so much human and material resources? Jiang Hua was a little impatient, and he was quite critical of this mission. Hearing this, Jiang Xiaoyuan, who was several miles away from him, said solemnly. Junior brother, this can only be said in private, but it cannot be heard by others. Killing this snake demon, one is to cure the princess, and the other is to save my reputation. The third is to avenge the big brother. Eldest brother, who had the best resources in the sky, died in the hands of the snake demon. If he doesn't die, he will surely achieve the realm of the martial god in the future. Saying that, Jiang Xiaoyuan's expression was a little regretful. Big brother Longqiu Feiyu. Jiang Hua whispered with a look of jealousy on his face. Longqiu Feiyu is not only amazingly talented, but also born into a big family. The Longqiu family has a close relationship with the Liangyi Sword sect where Qinghong Sword Immortal belongs. After Longqiu Feiyu showed his talent, the two parties decided to train him together. The two great forces are doing their best to cultivate the same person. Such treatment, Jiang Hua dared not even dream of it. If I had such resources, I would have already broken through to the late stage of the master, why wait until today? Longqiu Feiyu is not necessarily stronger than me. He muttered softly, a little annoyed. Hearing this, Jiang Xiaoyuan frowned and rebuked. Shut up! Senior brother's talent, how can you compare? The same cultivation level, he kills like chopping melons and vegetables. Even that vicious snake demon was almost damaged in his hands. Forget it, I won't tell you this. Cheer me up and make a good inspection. Both you and Wu Tong have just broken through to the late stage of the master. If you don't concentrate, if you encounter that snake demon, 
I'm afraid there will be no good fruit to eat. It's not impossible to eliminate life and death. Speaking of the end, Jiang Xiaoyuan warned the two teammates around him sternly. These three people are from the Liangyi Sword sect, and they are brothers from the same sect. Each patrol team will pay attention to coordination when allocating, and strive to make the overall strength of each team similar. Jiang Xiaoyuan advanced to the late stage of the master more than ten years ago, with strong qi and fierce swordsmanship. In the same rank, the strength is considered to be the leader. Therefore, he was equipped with two junior brothers who had just broken through to the late master stage, namely Jiang Hua and Wu Tong. After being reprimanded by Jiang Xiaoyuan, Jiang Hua turned red and stopped talking. But I was even more unhappy in my heart, and even cursed in secret. Bah! Isn't it just a few years earlier than me? What's the air? It is estimated that he has caught up with Long Chiu's family, otherwise he would not be such a lackey, maintaining Long Chiu Fei Yu everywhere. It's disgusting. What Long Chiu Fei Yu, a peerless genius, didn't he die in the hands of the snake demon? Maybe it's all snake dung. If I want to meet that snake demon, I must show the world my strength. Jiang Hua cursed secretly, imagining the scene where he eliminated the snake demon with his own power and was worshipped by thousands of Chu people. This made him feel comfortable, and a smug smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, as if he had really eliminated the snake demon. But at this moment, a red blood glow with a width of more than 10 meters flew out from the ground and attacked them at an astonishing speed. Ha! Huh. What is that? Snake! Snake demon! Jiang Hua was stunned at first, then his hands and feet became cold. He felt an incomparably terrifying evil spirit from this red blood glow. A dozen miles apart, it made him feel like he was about to be torn apart. This is a powerful monster that Jiang Hua has never encountered before. But fortunately, this red blood light did not fly to him, but eliminated Jiang Xiaoyuan and Wu Tong. Defend the enemy. Call someone. Jiang Xiaoyuan discovered this red blood glow earlier than Jiang Hua, his expression changed drastically and he shouted loudly. Defending the enemy was said to Wu Tong. Calling someone is for Jiang Hua. This crimson blood on made Jiang Xiaoyuan and Wu Tong align. It seems that he wants to eliminate Jiang Xiaoyuan first and then eliminate Wu Tong. Neither of them can escape. But Jiang Hua was able to free up his hands and use the messenger to inform others of the situation here. I have to say that Jiang Xiaoyuan is a good person. When faced with danger, the mind is very clear, and the situation is immediately clear, and they know what they should do. While speaking, the broad sword behind Jiang Xiaoyuan flew into his hands. I saw his wrist flick, and the sword energy shot out and gathered into a river. In an instant, the sword move was completed. Wind and thunder break. Jiang Xiaoyuan let out a loud cry, and his whole body was concentrated at one point, and the broad sword in his hand slashed fiercely. In the next moment, the blue-blue sword qi condensed and erupted, turning into a hundred-meter sword glow and slashing towards the red blood glow. Among them, the power of wind and thunder is surging and flickering, and the power is amazing. As expected of senior brother Jiang, he has cultivated Feng Lei Pe to this level. Seeing this scene, Wu Tong in the back couldn't help but wonder in secret, and the speed of drawing his sword was a little slower. Because he subconsciously felt that Jiang Xiaoyuan's sword was enough to cut off the red blood light, and he didn't need to shoot. But the next moment, Wu Tong was stunned. This red blood glow was like a river of blood flying out of hell, killing Jiang Xiaoyuan and Wu Tong with an unstoppable force. After the blue blue sword glow swung by Jiang Xiaoyuan hit the red blood glow, it was smashed to pieces. Not to mention cutting off the red blood light, it can't even stop it. The terrifying anti-shock force even made the broad sword in Jiang Xiaoyuan's hand crack inch by inch, turning it into powder together with Jin Meng. No, hurry up. Jiang Xiaoyuan's face was pale, and he opened his mouth as if he wanted to explain a last word. But after he finished speaking, the red blood light slammed on him. Ah! Jiang Xiaoyuan screamed in pain. Two small swords flew out of his body, forming a barrier around him to protect him. However, it was unable to achieve perfect protection. One after another, 
blood-colored silk threads drilled into the gap and penetrated into Jiang Xiaoyuan's flesh and blood. The great pain and fear of death made Jiang Xiaoyuan's brain chaotic, unable to say anything else. After two breaths, the two defensive swords burst. After losing the last barrier, Jiang Xiaoyuan was engulfed by the red blood. No bones left. From the appearance of the red blood glow, to Jiang Xiaoyuan's response to the enemy, and then to his death. The whole process takes no more than three seconds. All this happened so suddenly that Wu Tong was dazzled and unable to react in time. One second, he was still admiring his brother Jiang Xiaoyuan's strong swordsmanship, but the next second he died with no bones left. The most terrifying thing is that the red blood glow like a blood river of continues to eliminate Wu Tong. No. I don't want to die. At the time of the crisis of life and death, Wu Tong's eyes were red and his body was shaking. The strength of twelve points broke out unexpectedly, and he wielded the sword of the strongest in his life. However, his own strength is not enough, even if he is super strong, it is nothing more than that. In the next second, the red blood on came to Wu Tong. With a loud noise, Wu Tong's sword move was shattered, and was also swallowed up by the red blood, leaving no bones left. After beheading the two grandmasters in a row, the red blood light was unsustainable and dissipated in the air. It wasn't that Jiang Xiaoyuan and Wu Tong lost their strength, it was simply that Su Mu couldn't maintain it. The one-month diving practice in the secret realm of Shu Hai greatly increased Su Mu's knowledge and greatly deepened his own heritage. In addition to the exercises he majored in, he also took out the magical powers he created before and repolished it. This red blood glow was the breathing technique created by Su Mu before. After polishing, the power of this magical power has greatly increased. The disadvantage is that the consumption of demonic energy is extremely terrifying when fully exerted, even if the demonic power of Sumo far exceeds the same level, it will not last for long. Even with all its flaws, this breath technique is still astonishingly powerful. The first time after the improvement, it easily eliminated Jiang Xiaoyuan, the most powerful of the three, and Wu Tong, the slightly stronger of the remaining two. As for that Jiang Hua. From Su Mu's point of view, this person's breath is a little vain, and he is the weakest of the three can be dealt with at the end. Let's talk about Jiang Hua. When the Red Mansions attacked Jiang Xiaoyuan and Wu Tong, a terrifying, mighty and domineering 100-meter snake rose from the ground and eliminated him. This scene made Jiang Hua's heart tremble and fear came out from the bottom of his heart. He had fantasized about killing the snake demon before, but now he has the intention of retreating. Without him, this snake monster is too huge, and its aura is extremely fierce. Also, Jiang Xiaoyuan and Wu Tong seem to be entangled. This means that he has to face the snake demon alone. Under the panic and fear, Jiang Hua suddenly lost his attention and looked at Jiang Xiaoyuan subconsciously. Despite the constant cursing in his heart before, he still wanted this senior brother to come forward and sacrifice his life to protect him when he was in danger at this time. But in the next second, Jiang Xiaoyuan, who had high hopes by Jiang Hua, was shattered by his sword move and swallowed by the blood. This time, Jiang Hua was completely dumbfounded. He only felt a chill gushing out from the bottom of his heart, straight to his forehead, and his scalp was about to burst. No. I can't die, I have practiced for so many years and haven't enjoyed it yet, I must not die. Jiang Hua roared in his heart, and then made a move that no one thought of. He turned around and ran away. Fortunately, Jiang Xiaoyuan was already dead, otherwise Jiang Hua would definitely vomit blood. In fact, as long as you calm down and identify it carefully, you will find that this seemingly ferocious and domineering snake is actually erratic and its speed is not in line with its strength. Yes, this is just Su Mu's clone. Su Mu has already tried his best to use the breath technique how can he still have the energy to attack Jiang Hua? He originally only planned to use his clone to scare Jiang Hua. If he can delay for a moment, he will be scared to deal with the clone instead of sending the messenger. Then Su Mu has the opportunity to eliminate Jiang Xiaoyuan and Wu Tong, and then turn back to eliminate him. In this way, the inspection team can be destroyed without disturbing other people. 
But who knew that Jiang Hua's performance was much worse than Su Mu imagined? Not only was he frightened, he was frightened away. Didn't even dare to take the time to send out a messenger. In fact, Jiang Hua's head was in a mess, where did he remember the communication talisman? Escape. You must escape far away. This snake monster is so terrifying, it eliminated Jiang Xiaoyuan in one move. As long as you escape to the sect master's side, you can be considered safe and survive. Jiang Hua, who has been cultivating in the sect, has never experienced the battle of life and death, and at this time, he has been frightened. He ran away lifelessly, not daring to look back at all. But this is the dumbest choice. When Su Mu locked the team, the fate of the three of them was already doomed. Death is certain to die, the difference is whether or not a messenger can be sent before death. As long as the messenger is sent, Su Mu's plan will fail, causing him huge trouble. Obviously, Jiang Hua gave up this opportunity. After the breathing technique eliminated Jiang Xiaoyuan and Wu Tong, Su Mu's real body was revealed and he rose into the air. Shu. Ten black afterimages flew out from Su Mu and chased after Jiang Hua. These black afterimages were reaching their limit, and they caught up with Jiang Hua in just a few breaths. Then the black storm engulfed Jiang Hua. What? With a scream, Jiang Hua was strangled into a pile of rotten meat, and fell from the air. Those ten black afterimages are exactly the ten snake scales that Su Mu sacrificed. These ten snake scales are extremely sharp and indestructible. He has been sacrificed to the level of a magic weapon. After easily strangling Jiang Hua, the ten snake scales flew back and were hidden in ordinary scales. When they fly out again, they will also drink up their blood. So far, this inspection team formed by the Grandmaster has been destroyed. It's done. Su Mu's plan succeeded. But for some reason, he was not overjoyed, but rather disappointed. The powerful Grandmaster who once needed to look up was not his enemy at this time. In the eyes of others, Jiang Hua may feel that Jiang Hua is too weak and wasteful. Actually not. It's Su Mu is too strong. Under his background, Jiang Hua will appear so weak, like a vulnerable waste. This is due to the accumulation of Su Mu's reincarnation in several lifetimes, the rapid growth of this lifetime, and the powerful strength of this body. But thinking about it, Su Mu couldn't be happy at all. In front of the martial arts realm powerhouse, will I be as vulnerable as Jiang Hua is to me? Even. Not as good as him. Thinking of this, Su Mu didn't dare to delay. He hurriedly restrained his figure and breath, returned to Bear Mountain, and let him leave quickly. In the past, Xiong Shan would definitely slap the horses a few times and praise Su Mu's strength. But now, it knows that running is the most important thing. Without Su Mu's urging, Xiong Shan used his whole body to rush towards Qi country frantically. And Su Mu is responsible for hiding their breath and erasing the traces left along the way. The three demons embarked on a journey again. Half an hour later, some relics of Jiang Xiaoyuan, Wu Tong, and Jiang Hua were placed in front of a white-haired old man. The white-haired old man was thin and had an old face. But there was a sharp aura coming out of his body, making it difficult for others to approach. This person is the Qinghong Sword Immortal. At the same time, he is also the suzerain of the Liangyi Sword Sect, and the top sword cultivator in the Chu State Platoon. There is no whole corpse in the dead, and the communication talisman is not released. Even the relics are only so little. My disciple of Ji Yun, is it really so unbearable? Speaking of the end, Qing Hong Sword Immortal shouted violently, obviously out of anger. Disciple is wrong. Below him, the twenty or so doormen were so frightened that they all knelt down on one knee, not daring to raise their heads. As for the other two dozen people, they came from the Chu royal family and the Longqiu family. Although Qing Hong Sword Immortal reprimanded not them, but these people were equally frightened. This monster snake is so terrifying. In the face of such a net of heaven and earth, he can still make a path. Even if these three people can't even send a messenger, what kind of strength gap does it need to be effective? Invincible under the gods of war. Sure enough, there is no bullshit. 
Thinking of this, all the grandmasters present felt solemn, and a faint fear had grown in their hearts. Humph! Facing the terrified crowd, Ching Hong Jianxian snorted coldly and looked at the pile of relics. On it, there is a little demonic energy left. As of now, I can only use that trick. Su Mu has broken the blockade and escaped. Ordinary masters are not his opponents. Right now, Ching Hong Sword Immortal can only do it herself. I saw that he reached out and grabbed the pile of relics from afar. A small light spot with red and the black appeared in Ching Hong Jianxian's hand, and was pinched by his fingertips. Then, he opened his mouth slightly, and a small bronze sword flew out of his mouth. After the small bronze sword flew out, the black and red light spot seemed to have found its home, flew out from the fingertips of Ching Hong Sword Fairy, and merged into the body of the sword. Promise tracking, sword killing everything. Go. The Ching Hong Sword Immortal method was pinched repeatedly, and the turbulent spiritual energy and astral energy merged into the small bronze sword, and a powerful and unparalleled force was rapidly brewing. The path of martial arts and double cultivation taken by Liang Yi Jinzong. It combines the methods of qi and martial arts to form a unique path to the sword fairy. There are endless mysteries in it. Under the urging of Ching Hong Sword Immortal, this small bronze sword was full of radiance and aura. It was suspended and rotated at a high speed dribbling. When the power condensed to the limit, it flew into the air with a swoosh, and the afterimage was almost invisible. Then, the originally clear sky suddenly darkened. When it was sunny again, the small bronze sword had disappeared, and I didn't know where it went. Lord Sword Immortal, shall we continue to pursue? After Ching Hong Sword Immortal finished casting the spell, a grandmaster from the royal family of Chu State respectfully asked. Hearing this, Ching Hong Sword Immortal closed his eyes and waved his hand slightly. No, wait a minute. Let the sword fly for a while. The grandmaster noticed that Ching Hong Sword Immortal's palm was trembling slightly, and it seemed like a lot of consumption. He was shocked, no longer asked, and bowed back. At this time, Su Mu and the others had already escaped far away. When the idiot of Xiongshan faced a crisis broke out a huge potential, and the bear's paws on all fours ran out of Mars. But just as they escaped happily, the sky suddenly changed. The clear sky turned dark and cloudy in an instant. Then, the sky above Su Mu's head slowly cracked open. What is this? Su Mu raised his head, shocked. He saw that there was a sword in the crack of the sky. A sword that cuts through the sky. 194. The martial god realm is a whole new level. No matter how it exists, you need to create your own small world before you can step into this realm. For warriors, it is necessary to fill the whole body with the condensed grandmaster level astral chi. Then the major orifices, meridians, limbs and bones are connected to each other and unobstructed. Finally, the whole body is cast into a whole body, similar to an incarnation of the ganchi hidden in the body. This is the martial artist's own small world. For chi refiners, it is relatively easy to forge their own small world. Because it has been doing this since the beginning of chi refining, the five elements and five chi can be perfected. But chi refiners also need to communicate with the outside world, and after forming a response, they can achieve the stage of spiritual transformation. That is, it is equivalent to the martial god realm of a warrior. In addition to warriors and chi refiners, other monsters, ghosts, and other aliens also have their own ways and methods. But in the end, it is necessary to forge its own small world. As for the specific combat power of the martial god realm, it varies from person to person. Sometimes they are both in the early stage of the of war, but due to different races, talents, magical powers, and means, the difference in strength will be very large. In addition, it is extremely difficult to cast one's own small world, requiring extraordinary understanding and opportunity. After cultivating until the master is consummated, you can try to condense your own small world and attack the martial god realm. Some experts in the perfect state of the master have only created a small fragmented world after trying. A warrior of this level is stronger than a grandmaster, but has not yet reached the martial god realm. It was called the half-step Valkyrie. The existence of the half-step martial god level, 
although the combat power is stronger than that of the Grandmaster. But the realm is stuck, and it is more difficult to break through to the Martial God realm than the Grandmaster Consummation. It often takes some special adventures and epiphanies to take the last and most difficult half-step. In addition, there are some perfection masters who will go wrong when breaking through, and the small world they create will conflict with their main body. This situation is the worst, at least it has to end up with serious injuries, or even a violent death. Once this happens, there is basically no hope of the martial god realm. What happened in front of him made Su Mu's mind involuntarily come up with this information about the martial god realm. At this time, the color of the sky and the earth changed, and the sky cracked. A hundred Zhang sword light burst out of the sky, the power is amazing. Obviously, it is the handwriting of the masters of the martial god realm. The powerhouse of the martial god realm shot, it should be the sword cultivator known as the Qinghong Sword Immortal. Seeing this scene, Su Mu looked solemn, but did not panic. Although a little surprised at first, he quickly calmed down. Su Mu had never seen the Qinghong Sword Immortal. But through some descriptions of him by the outside world, it can basically be judged that this person is not as strong as the Qilong Centipede. After all, the Red Dragon Centipede is about to transform into a real dragon. Of course, the powers of several major demons in the main world, Su Mu, are added together, which is much stronger than the snake demon form at this time. But I don't know where this sword light came from. With such a long distance apart, the power must be greatly reduced. This move alone is not enough to eliminate Su Mu and let him relive the next life. You are waiting for me here. After Su Mu left a sentence, he immediately flew towards a mountain not far away. At the same time, the Baijiang Jinmang shot out from the sky and went straight to Su Mu. The extremely sharp sword Qi smashed the surrounding space, as if to smash everything. Although Qinghong Sword Immortal's realm and strength are not as good as Qilong Centipede, Jian Xiu is very good at killing. If he confronted him head on, Su Mu might really be in danger of dying. But he's not so tough. Seeing the sword light coming, Su Mu went straight into a cave in a big mountain. The Qinghong Sword Immortal is not far from here. This hundred Zhanglong blue sword glow came from across the space after locking in Su Mu's breath. But without the master's command, it will only carry out rigid attacks. I saw the sword light falling straight down from the sky, piercing the top of the mountain. Bah! A harsh screeching sounded, causing Xiong Shan and Xiao Hu Yeomengli not far away to feel their eardrums vibrate, leaving a full breath of time in their minds. This thousand meter high mountain was actually cut open by this sword glow like cutting tofu. The force generated by the friction between the sword energy and the mountain makes the magma roll and splash freely. The scene is terrifying. Even if it's the second time I've faced the martial god realm, and it's also far away from me, it's still very scary. But such terrifying power is still shocking. Su Mu exclaimed, and then drilled into the ground. Boom! The mountain trembled, and the magma and the shattered gravel rolled down together, accompanied by endless blue smoke. In just a few breaths of time, this thousand-meter-high mountain was split in half. Such mighty kendo magical powers are too terrifying. In the eyes of mortals, they are no different from immortals. It's no wonder that the sword cultivator is called the Qinghong Sword Fairy. However, this sword did not cut Su Mu. He had already drilled into the ground before the sword glow fell. But that's all. The speed of the sword glow was too high, and as soon as Su Mu entered the ground, it split the entire mountain and continued to eliminate him. A big mountain consumes about 30% of the power in this sword glow. Then, let me deal with it myself. In an instant, Su Mu calmly analyzed the situation, and then turned to face the sky-shattering sword glow. Roar! Beneath the mountain, the 100-meter giant snake roared furiously, and the huge demon power condensed into a red blood glow. It spewed out of his mouth and went straight to the sword glow. Su Mu has created several magical powers on his own, including the breath containment technique, the clone technique, the poison mist technique, the snake scale flying knife, the breath technique, and so on. But right now, only the technique of breathing can be used for this kind of head-on collision. The means are still too few. In the future, 
I will have to learn more magical powers of the demon clan. A thought appeared in Su Mu's mind. Afterwards, the Baijiang Jianmeng and the Red Beam collided fiercely, and the sword energy and demon power surged wildly, bursting open in the mountain, with loud noises. But this sword glow came from the hand of the of war, and it was not comparable to Jiang Xiaoyuan. After only a breath of stalemate, the fierce sword beam split open the red blood beam and approached Su Mu at a very fast speed. For a while, the roar of the mountain that was split in half continued. The cyan sword light and the red blood light continued to erupt, causing the mountain to vibrate violently, as if it would collapse at any time. The aftermath of such a terrifying battle shocked Xiong Shan and Mengli. They retreated for more than ten miles in a row, and then they felt a little more at ease. It's terrifying. Is this the means of the of war? The boss can fight against it, it's really powerful. Xiong Shan pressed his chest in horror, for fear that his violently beating heart would pop out of his mouth. This is just a sword beam flying from an unknown distance. If the Qinghong sword immortal is here, it will only be more terrifying. Meng Li watched the battle with a solemn expression. Although this little fox demon has a lower cultivation base, in the end, he was born in a big family of demons, and his vision is much wider than that of Xiong Shan. Can the big brother take the next sword safely? Xiong Shan asked worriedly. It might work. What Meng Li said did not have much confidence. But their strength is low, and they can't provide some help to Su Mu, they can only pray silently for him from a distance. Among the mountains, the battle situation has reached the most critical moment. The red blood glow that Su Mu spit out was dozens of meters wide, like an upside down waterfall, surging. But that sword glow is unstoppable. I saw it cut off in the middle, split the red blood on and let it rush to both sides. And Jinmon went straight to Su Mu. Laugh. The piercing humming continued. In the blink of an eye, Jinmon was in front of Su Mu, only ten feet away from him. Go. Seeing this situation, the long-awaited Su Mu thought. Then ten snake scales flew out in unison, forming a string that swept into a hurricane and flew towards the sword glow. Bang bang bang. In a burst of loud noises, the ten scales that had been refined by Su Mu, which looked like magic weapons, were all shattered, and the hurricane also dissipated. But they are not wasted in vain. After opening the mountain, the Baijiang Jinmang lost 30% of its power. Splitting the red blood ons lost 50% of its power. Ten pieces of snake scales smashed together, consuming 10% of the power of Jinmang. At this point, Jianmang has already eliminated Su Mu, and he has no chance to use his magical powers. But this sword glow has only 10% of its power left. As a monster, its own defense and vitality are comparable to those of a human. This powerful sword beam can't do anything to Su Mu, at least not eliminate him. Bah! After three hardships, this sword light finally fell on Su Mu. The first layer of demonic energy barrier he supported immediately shattered and turned into a bubble. The fierce sword light continued to fall, smashing dozens of snake scales and slashing on Su Mu's flesh and blood. In an instant, a huge wound of more than ten meters appeared on Su Mu's demon body, and blood gushed wildly. But two words appeared in Su Mu's heart, this is it. These injuries are not light, but they are not serious either. No damage at all. Without the talent of self-healing, it would take about a month for Su Mu to recover. But with this talent, at most three days can be cured. This is still in the case of residual sword qi obstruction. The Qinghong sword immortal is much weaker than the red dragon centipede, and it is more weak than I imagined. However, this sword glow has left a sword energy on me, and it is difficult to remove it quickly, I am afraid I will be tracked. Could this be the true purpose of that Qinghong sword immortal? It's not right. If you can eliminate me with a sword, why are you going around in this circle? It seems that the hard power is not enough, and I came up with a helpless move. Looking at the wound that was healing quickly, Su Mu thought a lot in his heart. This level of injury is nothing, but the residual sword energy is very troublesome. Not only will it delay the healing of Su Mu's wound, but it will also reveal his position. 
Su Mu estimated that it would take him at least half a month to refine these residual sword qi. During this period, he will definitely be chased and eliminated by Qing Hong Sword Immortal and the masters under his command. Although that Qing Hong Sword Immortal is not as powerful as I imagined, it is definitely not something I, a snake demon in the later stage of the Grandmaster, can deal with head on. It seems that a life and death race is coming. After making up his mind, Su Mu found Xiong Shan and Mengli, and quickly explained the current situation to them. I was marked by the sword energy of Qing Hong Sword Immortal, and I will be hunted down next, so let's part. Su Mu's meaning is obvious. He was the one that Chu State wanted to eliminate, Xiong Shan and Meng Li were both irrelevant people. Now that he is locked, as long as Xiong Shan and Meng Li are separated from each other, they can be safe. But what Su Mu didn't expect was that after hearing this, Meng Li rolled her eyes and said. Qing Hong Jianxian's sword energy is not so easy to eliminate. Why don't we continue to Qingqiu? The secret realm of my Qingqiu fox clan has the ability to isolate the breath. As long as you enter the secret realm, even the powerhouse of the martial god realm will not be able to find you. Any sword qi mark is false. Hearing this, Su Mu was a little surprised. Xiao Menli, are you not afraid that Qing Hong Jianxian will catch up and cut you down with one sword? This little fox demon was so bold that Su Mu didn't expect it. Meng Li put her waist on her back, and said arrogantly. Why do I have so many friends? It's not because I'm loyal enough. Since we are already friends, I will definitely help you. Stop talking nonsense and hurry up. I haven't been back for many years. I have to take a hot bath this time. This little fox demon has a sloppy appearance, which contrasts with the appearance and is cute, but it is even more cute. Su Myubin is not a person of ink ink, so he nodded immediately upon hearing this, and the demonic aura brought Xiong Shan and Meng Li with him, and hurriedly flew in the direction of Qi State. Su Mu didn't travel in person before, just to hide the trail. Now that it has been locked by the sword energy, there is no scruples. He directly revealed his original shape, brought Xiong Shan and Meng Li, and flew into the air at full speed. After the sword chi dissipated, the sky lit up again. A huge black shadow swept through the air, leaving behind a billowing demonic energy along the way, as if an immortal swiped a stroke of ink in the sky. Su Mu's escape has begun. On the other side, Qing Hong's sword immortal kept closing his eyes and resting after he used the supernatural power of Kendo. After a while, he suddenly opened his eyes, and a killing intent appeared on the old face. This sword really didn't eliminate the snake demon, but the sword chi mark has been left, and you can catch up with it by following the instructions. Also, although the snake demon has been injured, don't rush to attack after you catch up. Wait around and don't move, just wait for the old man to come. Saying that, Qing Hong Jianxian waved his hand, and a small sword the size of a palm flew out, chasing in the direction of Su Mu. Seeing this, the grandmasters followed behind and quickly chased after them. Soon, only Qing Hong Sword Immortal and a girl in yellow were left. Master, how are you? Are you okay? After everyone disappeared, the girl in yellow asked worriedly. This girl is not the one who surrounds the cloth Sumu, but is the direct disciple of Qing Hong Jianxian, who is responsible for taking care of her master. Hearing this, Qing Hong Jianxian waved his hand and said with a sigh. It's okay, it's just. Old. After taking the old man's sword, the snake demon can still move quickly, the injury is not serious enough. If it were thirty years ago, this sword would have at least inflicted heavy damage on this monster. There is even a possibility of direct beheading. But now. Hey. Saying that, Qing Hong sword immortal sighed. The reason why he didn't go after Su Mu himself was because the magical power just now had a lot of damage to him, and he needed some time to recover. The power of the Kendo magical power just now is secondary, the difficulty lies in locking the breath and attacking the target across space. Therefore, this is a very profound Kendo supernatural power. Cultivation to the extreme can even ignore the distance, and you don't need to know where the target is. You can eliminate the enemy with just a thought. But no matter how complicated this magical power is, it is enough to see that Qing Hong Sword Immortal is very weak. 
He is not injured, but simply old. Qing Hong Sword Immortal Martial God's mid-term cultivation base, at the peak of its strength, it is among the best in the same rank. But he is more than 200 years old now, and his life is about to end. The longevity effect of practicing martial arts is average. The martial god of the martial god realm can live for 300 years at the limit. As long as the qi refiner is perfect, he can have a lifespan of 200 years, and the great monk in the spirit transforming realm is said to live 500 years. In addition, Qing Hong Jianxian has some dark wounds on his body, and Jianxiu's exercises are a bit extreme, hurting others and hurting himself. So when he was in his early 200s, he was about to run out of fuel. The vitality is getting weaker day by day, it is estimated that it will not live for 10 years. Of course, only a few direct disciples under Qing Hong Jinxian's command, as well as the senior sects, knew about this news. Otherwise, I don't know what's going to happen. After all, the Liangyi Sword sect relies on Qing Hong Sword Immortal, a sword cultivator of the martial god realm, to support the facade, and is the Ding Hai Shen Gen of the sect. The sword Xiulong Chiu Feiyu who was eliminated by Su Mu was the eldest disciple of Qing Hong Sword Immortal. His talent and personality were all top-notch. This person originally had the opportunity to break through to the martial god realm within ten years, take over the class of Qing Hong Sword Immortal, and maintain the status of Liang Yi Sword Sect. But the future head of the Liang Yi Sword Sect actually died in the hands of an unknown snake demon. As a result, Liang Yi Jianzong has no successor, and the situation is embarrassing. This made Qing Hong Jianxian feel extremely worried in addition to his anger, worrying about the future of Liang Yi Jianzong. This time, he personally went out and led the team to strangle Su Mu. On the one hand, it is for revenge. In this way, after Qing Hong Sword Immortal dies of old age, the royal family of the Chu Kingdom can take care of him and take care of the Liang Yi Sword sect. All fame and power are empty. Only longevity can turn reality into reality and live forever in the world. I don't know if the realm above the martial god can live forever. It's a pity that this old man is hopeless in this life. With this thought in mind, Qing Hong Jianxian sighed again and closed his eyes to adjust his breath. In the next few days, under the guidance of the sword Qi Mark, a group of peak masters launched a frantic hunt for Su Mu. Su Mu had the idea of fighting back. But these masters surrounded him without attacking, and did not give him a chance to fight back. On the fifth day, Qing Hong Sword Immortal finally recovered and personally chased and eliminated Su Mu. This made Su Mu feel a huge threat and ran away with all his strength. Fortunately, Hematoxylin has a very high physique and an amazing recovery speed. After escaping for more than ten days without stopping, he finally left the Qin Chu Mountains and came to the territory of Qi. 195. Of course, the sword Qi still remains, but it has not been completely eliminated. It's a pity that the talent of Indomitable has reached its limit, and it is impossible for Su Mu to benefit from serious injuries. Otherwise, his strength can still rise. If next time there is a blue or even higher level Indomitable, Su Mu feels that he can choose it again. Let's talk about Qing Hong Sword Immortal. Qi state is not as powerful as Chu state. After discovering that Su Mu had entered the state of Qi, the old sword cultivator led a group of masters and rushed into the state of Qi unceremoniously to continue looking for someone. Qi Guo was very angry, but he had no choice but to let him pass freely. The premise is not to interfere with the people of Qi, let alone hurt others. Qing Hong Jianxian agreed casually, and then continued to pursue. Since he was dispatched, the distance between the two sides has been continuously shortened. If this goes on, there will be three days at most, and Su Mu will be caught up. Fortunately, at this critical moment, Su Mu finally ushered in good news. Have you seen the mountain in front of you? The Qingqiu Fox clan gathered there. In the air, Menli was lying on the platform that Su Mu had condensed with her demonic power, and pointed downwards. Su Mu glanced at it and frowned. There is no demonic fluctuation below, where did the Fox clan come from? Hey, trust me, you go down first and then talk about it. Hearing this, Su Mu could only slow down and landed on the mountain that Meng Li pointed to. This place is very barren, let alone the Fox Clan, 
there are not even ordinary little demons. If it flew from the sky, Su Mu wouldn't even look here. It's so common. But who knew that after landing, Munli came to a place with a purpose, and recited a large number of obscure incantations. Then, a space gap opened in front of her, revealing endless darkness and a terrifying wind that thirsted for blood. Come in. Munli stood on the edge of the crack and waved to Xiong Shan and Su Mu. This, this place, as long as your life is not guaranteed. Looking at the terrifying scene in the space crack, Xiong Shan was terrified and did not dare to go forward. You stupid bear, I'm not afraid, what are you afraid of? Forget it if you don't come. When those Chu warriors can't find Big Brother Su, they will arrest you for a drink. Mengli said something contemptuously, and then jumped into the crack of this space. And Su Mu also shrunk to ten meters long, followed by drilled in. Seeing this, Xiong Shan swallowed his saliva and walked in with courage. This is a strange and terrifying alien space. It was dark and dull, the wind was raging, and there was no life. There are even some hidden spatial turbulence. These spatial turbulence cannot be detected by the naked eye and are extremely concealed. Only with powerful demon power to detect, can one or two be sensed. There is another way to find these spatial turbulence, and that is to step on it yourself. But these spatial turbulence is extremely terrifying, and contains a power of destruction that consumes everything. If one accidentally steps in, even Su Mu cannot survive. But Meng Li, the little fox, led the way in front of him. She didn't pause in the slightest, like a dancer dancing on the tip of a knife, easily overcoming various crises and walking all the way to the depths. In the rear, Su Mu's movement was excellent, and he easily followed behind Meng Li. But Bear Mountain can't. It was huge, timid, and clumsy. The bear demon walked tremblingly, and after a while, Meng Li and Su Mu threw a large chunk out. Wait for me, wait for me. Don't leave my old bear. I I am a little scared. Seeing that the figures of Su Mu and Meng Li became more and more blurred, there was a hint of crying in Xiong Shan's cry. This place is too dangerous, take one wrong step and you will die. If there is no one to lead the way, Xiong Shan will not even dare to take a step forward. Su Mu looked back and found that Xiong Shan had been thrown far away, and sighed helplessly. I asked you to practice body control before, but you didn't listen. If you can shrink your body shape, you can be a little lighter here. You deserve to suffer. Although they cursed, Su Mu and Meng Li still stopped and waited for it for a while. Who let this big stupid bear be his own? After all, they carried them for thousands of miles, and there was no credit or hard work. After Xiong Shan followed, Meng Li continued to lead the way. After walking around in circles for almost half an hour, the little fox demon stopped in a place that was exactly the same as before. Another obscure incantation sounded from Meng Li's mouth. Then, a space crack appeared in front of the three demons. There is a second level secret world here. The second layer of the secret world is completely opposite to the first layer. It is no longer lifeless, dangerous, and terrifying. It is a place with lush trees, fragrant birds and flowers, and immortal air. It's like a fairyland. Come in. Meng Li moved her little paws. This time, without anyone urging him, Xiong Shan squeezed in with his big twisted, and a smile appeared on his fat face. Good place. It's much richer than the aura of my hill. Xiong Shan looked left and right, grabbed the butterfly beside him from time to time, and his face blossomed with joy. Who would have thought that in an inconspicuous barren land, there would be an eerie and terrifying alien space. And behind this different space, there is a paradise hidden. If there is no Meng Li to lead the way, the possibility of outsiders entering it is almost zero. Who is this? The little princess is back. Go and inform the ancestors, the little princess is back. Wu Sister Meng Li, I miss you to death. Yeah. Xiao Meng Li is back. Let my sister hug me. After entering this paradise, many fox demons of various colors emerged from the mountains, green grass, and streams, and came to Mengli's side. After hearing the names of these fox demons to Mengli, Su Mu squinted slightly, but was not surprised. 
He has long noticed that there is an unusual power in the blood of this little fox. Moreover, Munli is very young, it can even be said that she is young. At such an age, she has acquired the cultivation base of the acquired realm, which is very good. Breaking through to the Grandmaster realm in the future is a sure thing, but I don't know how far I can go in the end. Unlike Xiong Shan, it took hundreds of years of cultivation to break through to the innate realm, and even the day after tomorrow, he was stuck for twenty years and did not move at all. With its aptitude, if there is no adventure, the cultivation will stop there. Not long after entering, dozens of fox demons surrounded Su Mu and the others, greeting Mengli intimately. It can be seen that Mengli has a very good relationship with the fox clan in Qingxiu, and is almost loved by everyone. Of course, the existence of two outsiders, Su Mu and Xiong Shan, or foreign demons, made the fox demons a little afraid. But after all, it was brought in by Mengli, they didn't say much, waiting for the high level to deal with it. In the chatter, a white-haired old fox demon who stood up and leaned on a cane slowly walked over. Ancestor. Seeing it, all the fox demons saluted with respect. As for Su Mu, his heart skipped a beat and he was slightly vigilant. This turned out to be a demon king of the martial god realm. It's just that its breath is soft, far less fierce than the red dragon centipede. It may not even be as good as the red dragon centipede who has not become a national teacher. But no matter what, the martial god realm is the martial god realm after all. Xiao Menli, you are finally back. Seeing Menli, the old fox demon looked relieved. While speaking, it secretly looked at Su Mu and Xiong Shan. When he saw Su Mu, the old fox demon's expression froze, his eyes paused a little longer on him, and his eyes were a little dignified. But soon, the old fox demon, who looked like an old man from the human race, put away all his emotions and asked calmly. Xiao Menli, I'm very happy that you can come back obediently. But you know, our Qingxiu fox clan does not welcome outsiders. These two, what's going on? Hearing this, Menli explained. That's right, Brother Su is my friend, and this stupid bear is half of it. They were chased and eliminated outside, so I just wanted to bring them to our secret realm to hide and avoid the limelight. Hearing this, the old fox demon's hand holding the cane trembled slightly, and a very bad thought appeared in his heart. This snake demon is full of qi and blood, and the demon qi is condensed, and its strength is very good. The one who can push it to a desperate situation, is it a martial arts master? Thinking of this, the old fox demon asked solemnly. Isn't this little friend provoked by a strong martial artist? Hearing this, Menli shook her head again and again, denying it. Seeing this, the old fox demon breathed a sigh of relief and said. It's fine if it's not in the martial god realm. Since it's Xiao Menli's friend, you can take a break here and leave when it's safe. Cough cough. Old ancestor is not a martial god realm. Big brother Su made a name for himself in the Chu state, and now the entire Chu state wants to eliminate him. However, there is only a martial god realm Qinghong sword immortal in the chasing team. It's hard to say later. Mengli coughed lightly, and was a little embarrassed to tell Su Mu's actual situation. What? Hearing this, the old fox demon trembled all over, and almost threw the cane out of his hand. The whole body was also trembling, and it looked like he was about to faint. Ancestor, are you alright? Seeing this, Menli rushed forward and patted the back of the old fox demon to give it a good breath. Don't call me my ancestor, you are my ancestor. It's provoked the entire country of Chu, this is a disaster. How can my old bones stand up to the countless powerhouses in Chu? If it is discovered, our Qingqiu lineage will die. The old fox jumped his feet in a wicked way, wishing he could raise his crutches to beat Mengli. But seeing her pitiful and tearful appearance, she couldn't bear to start, she could only smash her crutches on the ground, and sighed. Seeing this scene, Su Mu was a little embarrassed. He originally thought that the Qingqiu fox clan was very powerful and could withstand the pressure of Chu state. Looking at it now, the Qingqiu fox clan may have a few giant monsters of the martial god level, but they are far inferior to the Chu state, or even the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. Menli should think that this secret realm is very hidden and difficult to be discovered. 
It is not that the Qingqiu Fox clan can be strong enough to fight against the Chu state. In this way, it is still a bit risky for the Qingqiu Fox clan to hide Su Mu here. After angrily reprimanded, the old fox demon calmed down and began to think about what to do next. It looked at Su Mu and Xiong Shan, its eyes flashing, not knowing what it was thinking. Menli may have guessed what her ancestor was thinking, and hurriedly said. Those chasing soldiers should be nearby. At this time, if you drive Big Brother Su out, you will be caught. At that time, our Qingqiu Fox clan will not be able to get rid of it. You. Hey. I'm really afraid of your little ancestor, you two come with me. The old fox demon sighed helplessly, and walked to a place with Su Mu and Xiong Shan, followed by Meng Li. Soon, the old fox demon took them to a forbidden place. No other fox clan could be seen in this forbidden area, only a few great monsters in the Grandmaster realm guarded the entrance. Under the leadership of the old fox demon, Su Mu and the others went all the way, and soon reached their destination. In the depths of the forbidden area is a bottomless cold pool. Then, a familiar scene reappeared. I saw the old fox demon reciting a series of obscure incantations. With the fluctuation of the demon power, the surface of the cold pool slowly swayed, and a space crack appeared. The secret realm of the Qingqiu fox clan actually has a triple dimension. This is too goofy. It's no wonder that there are still rumors of the fox clan in the era of Dagon. Maybe it was because of this secret realm that it was preserved. I just don't know if there is a fourth floor space. An idea flashed in Su Mu's mind. At the same time, the old fox demon pointed to the third layer of space behind the crack and said to Su Mu and the others. This place can isolate almost all the breath, even the martial arts master who is very good at tracking can't do anything. You go ahead and avoid it, make sure it's safe, and then come out. Hearing this, Su Mu bowed as a salute. Thank you senior. Upon seeing this, Xiong Shan also awkwardly arched his claws, and then thanked him. After thanking them, Su Mu and Xiong Shan jumped in together. He he, then you can avoid it inside, I'll go catch up with my friends first. I haven't seen them for a long time, I really miss them, I will see you again when I have a chance. Meng Li smiled and decided to leave. Unexpectedly, the face of the old demon fox sank, and with a wave of his hand, an invisible force poured out, and he threw Meng Li directly into the third layer secret space. I ran away from home quietly for so many years, and only thought of going home when I got into trouble. Is there a princess like you? Just stay inside and reflect on it. No. Old ancestor, I know it's wrong. Before Meng Li finished speaking, the space gap was closed. This made her look bitter and sat on the ground helplessly. After entering, Su Mu looked around the space and finally understood why Meng Li had this expression. Although the third layer of space is not inferior to the second layer of spiritual energy, it is even slightly higher. But here is bare ground, nothing. No flowers, no grass, no birds and no worms. There is no other fox clan. There are only three of them here, so it's no wonder that the lively and active Meng Li doesn't want to stay here. While it's over, I've been locked up. Meng Li sat helplessly, her face becoming more bitter. But Su Mu really liked it here. This place is full of spiritual energy, and there is no interference from foreign objects, which is suitable for retreat and practice. Staying is also waiting. It is better to practice well and improve your prompting strength. Su Mu didn't care whether Xiong Shan and Meng Li listened, and after losing these words, he circled his body and began to practice. His harvest in the Book C secret realm is far from being fully digested. I just took this opportunity to polish my realm and strength, and revise my exercises and supernatural powers. If he can advance to Grandmaster Consummation, Su Mu can consider shaping his own small world and impacting the martial god realm. Forget it, let me practice as well, otherwise I'll be bored to death. Me too. Under the leadership of Su Mu, Xiong Shan and Meng Li also began to cultivate. The three demons stayed in this third layer of space and entered a state of retreat together. The demons have a long lifespan, and the concept of time is different from that of the human race. Once this limelight is avoided, 
it will be ten years. One day ten years later, Yu Yu reading Su Mu was cultivating, when a space crack suddenly appeared, and the voice of the white-haired old fox demon came from the other end. You too, you can come out now. Following Princess Chu and Qing Hong sword immortal, King Chu also died. Now that the sons of Chu have seized the heirs, no one should have the time to take care of you again. 196. King Chu is also dead. Hearing this, Su Mu was a little dazed. Time flies, and ten years have passed in a flash. In the first year after he hid in the secret realm of the Fox Clan, the princess of Chu country died of medical treatment. It is said that some so-called thousand-year-old snake demons were also hunted and eliminated, and the snake gallbladder was used to make medicine. However, the demon power of those snake demons was not enough, which made the medicine pill ineffective. After another five years, Qing Hong Sword Immortal, who had nowhere to take revenge and could not find an heir, was exhausted and died in depression. It is said that before his death, he was still scolding the snake demon for being cunning. Now this is the tenth year, and even the previous king of Chu has died. At this time, the Chu country was temporarily caught in the turmoil of seizing the successor, and there should be no one to take care of Su Mu for a while. In fact, Su Mu has been silent for ten years and has been almost forgotten by the world. In this era, there are countless geniuses and heroes, each leading the way. Although Su Mu was famous for a while, but not many people can remember him since he didn't show up for so long. All kinds of things made Su Mu feel a trance. In the previous dungeon worlds, it was difficult for Su Mu to live for twenty years. But this dungeon world is not as rushed as before, and it did not put a big crisis in front of Su Mu as soon as it came up. In the past ten years, Su Mu has not encountered any accidents at all, and has been quietly cultivating. Unexpectedly calm. But the more this happened, the more serious Su Mu's heart became. The words peace and peace are in conflict with the copy world. Su Myuk never forgot the words at the beginning of the system. The longer the calm time, the more amazing the waves that follow. What will happen in this copy world? Boss, let's go out quickly, I'm going crazy. On the side, Xiong Shan looked excited and couldn't wait. If it wasn't for the big brother Su Mu still thinking about in his heart, he would probably have been rolling and crawling and escaped long ago. Su Mu has been cultivating so far, and he has to improve his own exercises and supernatural powers, and he is only one step away from the perfection of the master. In the past ten years, he has been very fulfilling and not boring. But Xiong Shan is the exact opposite. This bear demon has limited talent and impetuous temper, and the path of cultivation has basically come to an end. After practicing for half a year and not being able to make any progress, it gave up. For the next nine years, Xiong Shan was simply imprisoned. At this time, it's so hard to go out, how can you not be excited? Come on, let's get out of here. Under the urging of Xiong Shan, Su Mu passed through the space gap and came to the second floor of the secret realm of the Fox Clan. It was like a fairyland on Earth, and he couldn't help but feel relaxed. After all, it's not a machine. After ten years of penance, he was somewhat mentally exhausted. Relaxing at this time would be beneficial to his future practice. But Su Mu didn't plan to stay long. The Qingqiu Fox Clan has protected him for ten years and let him escape the pursuit of Chu State, which is already a great favor. Moreover, the Qingqiu Fox Clan does not like outsiders to enter, so it is really unnecessary to keep the dead skin and rotten face. The most important thing is that Su Mu intends to go out to find some opportunities and insights. Within five years, Su Mu will definitely be able to cultivate to Grand Master Consummation. Going forward, he has to consider casting his own small world and attacking the martial god realm. In this regard, Su Mu has no clue. So he plans to travel the world, looking for opportunities. After leaving the secret realm on the third floor, Su Mu stayed on the second floor for half a day. As a token of gratitude, he gave some treasures seized after killing the enemy to the Qingqiu Fox Clan, and then left with Xiong Shan. Munli, the little fox, also wanted to leave with Su Mu and travel the world. But it was stopped by the old ancestor. Meng Li had run away from home without a sound, and she had her own physique to cause trouble. 
The old ancestor spoke out in anger. When will she cultivate to the master realm and become a big demon, will she be allowed to go out alone? In this regard, Munli was very helpless, but she could only work hard to cultivate. Boss, where are we going? After leaving the secret realm of the Fox Clan, Xiong Shan asked Su Mu a question they were facing at the moment. But Su Mu was also a little dazed. Yeah, where to go? The previous dungeon world was full of crises, forcing Su Mu to race against time, he didn't dare to relax for a moment, and everything he did had a strong purpose. But now, Su Mu doesn't know what kind of crisis this dungeon will face and how to deal with it. In short, his life is very peaceful now. Suddenly lost the sense of crisis, but a little overwhelmed. After being stunned for three seconds, Su Mu suddenly smiled and shook his head. Isn't there any danger? Let's practice safely, first try to see if you can break through to the martial god realm. Thinking of this, the string that had been tense in Su Mu's heart relaxed, and he said to Xiong Shan with a chuckle. The world is so big, where can't you go? Just walk around, walk all the way, practice all the way. Wherever you go is home. After all, Su Mu only felt relaxed, hanging in the air and flying forward, with a great intention to travel around. Wait for me. Boss, wait for me. Xiong Shan didn't know that Su Mu's mentality had undergone such a huge change in just a few short breaths. It only knows, but it can't lose it. In the barren barrenness, a big fat bear rolled and crawled chasing after a black snake flying in the air. The picture is quite happy. This is the beginning of Su Mu and Xiong Shan's travels around the world. The Qingqiu Fox Clan is located in the state of Qi. After leaving, Su Mu and Xiong Shan naturally traveled in Qi first. After all, the human race is still the master of this world, and as a demon race, there is no way to sway the market. Fortunately, in the past ten years, Su Mu's body control technique has been improved by another point, and the minimum length can be reduced to five meters. Xiong Shan also learned the body control technique. Although he is not proficient, he can also shrink to three meters in height, which is much smaller than the previous target. Along the way, Su Mu met many top experts and saw the prosperity of the human race. He became more and more aware of why Bai Wanyao Palace and the old fox demon dared not offend Chu. The state of Qi is already so powerful, how powerful will the state of Chu, which is the top three in national strength, be? What shocked Su Mu the most was not how terrifying the top powerhouses of the human race were. But the entire human race showed an amazing vitality. It is just that life is full of vitality, and all things are in competition. The biggest difference from the Dagon era is that the major cultivation schools and sect forces in this era do not care about the leakage of their own cultivation methods. To be precise, it is not that it is not accidentally leaked, but that it is deliberately publicized and discussed with colleagues. Dagon's major cultivation forces have some good exercises, martial skills, and supernatural powers, and they can't wait to hide them in the eyes of their ass, so that they can't let outsiders know about them. If anyone learns it secretly, then they have to fight with him. But in the Warring States period thousands of years ago, the atmosphere was extremely open. Many warriors, chi refiners, and alchemists often get together to discuss Taoism and practice martial arts. The Dao and Wushu conference is where each participant tells about their own practice and experience, and others can question and debate. Many times, some warriors will be red-faced because of some small differences and small opinions in martial arts. Even a big fight. Of course, it's not a life and death battle, it's just a fight to understand and distinguish between right and wrong. Although the scene was a bit hotter, such a Dao and martial arts conference made all kinds of thoughts collide violently, generating countless new flames. In this era, whether it is practice exercises or martial arts supernatural powers, they are all updated and iterated at an amazing speed, constantly improving. The major cultivation forces will not hunt him down just because others have practiced their own exercises. Instead, they will be proud of the fact that there are many people who practice their own exercises. And the sect forces are not so strict. Sometimes if you practice the same kind of exercise, then everyone is brothers, and the whole world is one family. One hundred schools of thought are representatives of them. 
After quietly watching the two Taoist and martial arts conferences, Su Mu's eyes widened and he was amazed. Su Mu has no doubt that even if all the powerhouses above the human race master were eliminated in an instant, the demon race would not be able to become the ruler of this world. Because it only takes a few decades for the human race to produce a new batch of top powerhouses. This is the power of civilization. The cultivation civilization of the human race shows amazing vitality. If there is no catastrophe, continue to develop like this. Thousands of years later, this world may indeed have a situation where there are so many grandmasters and martial gods walking all over the place. But the opposite is true. If it was before, Su Mu would have to worry about what kind of terrifying catastrophe would happen in the future. But now he has relaxed. No matter what kind of catastrophe he has, hasn't it happened yet? Then play music, then dance. In this way, Su Mu traveled all the way and saw all kinds of things in the world. Although he didn't find the opportunity to break through the martial god realm, he broadened his horizons and learned a lot about the cultivation techniques of the human race. It can be considered to be accumulating information for oneself. Half a year later, Su Mu and Xiong Shan came to a remote village. Coincidentally, it is a lively scene when gongs and drums are played here, and there are huge crowds. Out of curiosity, Su Mu turned into a human with a blindfold and went to inquire about the news. Father, what are you doing in the village so lively? The old man who was stopped by Su Mu for questioning couldn't help but feel a little more cordial when he saw his handsome appearance as a traveling scholar. Of course, there is also credit for the talent of kindness. Ha! Today is our village's annual festival dedicated to offering sacrifices to the river god. Sacrificing to the river god? Hearing this, Su Mu's heart moved, and he became interested. After some inquiries, Su Mu learned a lot of information from the old man. There is a big river in this village, and there is a river in the river. It has existed for hundreds of years and was canonized by the heavenly court. The river looks like a long-haired ape and likes to eat fish, shrimp and fruits. He has never harmed anyone, and occasionally helps the villagers to catch fish. But this is normal. The prosperous human race cannot tolerate evil gods. The reason why this river can exist is because the village is remote enough. If this river dared to do evil, he would have been slaughtered by human race masters long ago. Heaven. What kind of is that? In short, over the past century, the village has gradually formed a festival to worship the gods, which has become a grand festival. On the festival day, villagers can take this opportunity to celebrate the harvest of the year and relax while offering sacrifices to the river god. In this era, as long as there is no war, the life of the people at the bottom can pass. Boss, let's go have a look. After learning about this, Xiong Shan was very interested. The presence of heavenly court is very weak, and there are not many mountain gods and river gods canonized. This was the first colleague that Xiong Shan met after he left Nameless Hill. Sure, let's go have a look. Su Mu has always been a little bit afraid of heavenly court. He must have seen it when he came here, and it would not hurt to know more about it. In addition, he had heard a lot of stories about the water monkey in his previous life, and was very curious. It's hard to find a real product, so you must take a look. In this way, the two demons concealed their figures and followed behind the crowd. Amidst the sound of gongs and drums, the villagers came to the river and began to offer sacrifices. There is nothing unusual about the sacrifice process, the key lies in the river god. In the middle of the sacrifice, I saw that the turbulent water flow of the big river suddenly stopped for a second, and then a huge spark burst out. A monkey monster with blue eyes and hair about two feet tall jumped out of the river and jumped to the shore. The monster of the innate realm. After the river god appeared, Sumu instantly saw through its cultivation. After the monkey river god jumped out, he began to frantically eat the sacrifices offered by the villagers, with a huge appetite. Seeing this, Sumu shook his head slightly. There is nothing strange about this river god, and there is no essential difference between it and Xiongshan. Thinking of this, Sumu lost interest in the water monkey, gave Xiongshan a look and was about to leave. Who would have guessed that at this time, the mutation protruded? 
The river ape suddenly stopped eating and turned to look at the crowd. A sharp gaze pierced through many villagers and locked onto Su Mu's body. Little demon, are you interested in becoming a god? There was a trace of inexplicable majesty in the voice of the river monkey. Although there are many villagers between the two demons, Su Mu instantly knew that it was speaking to himself. At this moment, the aura of the monkey river god has completely changed. It exudes a strange and obscure aura, and even Su Mu can't see through it. I just feel a little uncomfortable, and subconsciously makes people feel disgusted. What's going on? This little demon has a sudden change in breath and asks such a thing. Could it be someone from heaven? Su Mu's heart moved, and he secretly became vigilant. Your Excellency is a river god, is it possible that you are still qualified to confer other gods? Su Mu did not answer directly, but tried to speak out. Who knows, it was directly revealed by the other party. Why do you have to speak out? This immortal borrows his body for use, and will return it to him later. If you are willing to join the heavenly court, you will surely gain a land of abundance, and you will have the opportunity to ascend to the immortal realm in the future. This is a God-given opportunity. The monkey river God, or the person in the heaven who occupies its body, has a voice full of temptation and majesty. But Su Mu sneered in his heart, unmoved. If the body of the gods under his command is occupied, he will occupy it. What kind of heaven is this? Not interested. Su Mu knew that he couldn't find anything, so he wanted to leave after leaving a sentence. Who knows that the guy who calls himself Heavenly Court Immortal has long been prepared. As soon as Su Mu's voice fell, it immediately burst into flames. Can you refuse the canonization of Heavenly Court? With a loud shout, the monkey demon waved its claws, and the demonic energy raged, sweeping out like a blade. But the target is not Su Mu, but the villagers gathered here. What happened just now was too sudden, these villagers did not perceive the crisis, and all stood on the spot to watch. After all, the monkey river god has never hurt anyone, and his temperament is fairly mild. Moreover, I have never heard of this kind of conferring gods, so I am very curious. Never thought that if the two sides disagreed, they would have to splatter blood on the spot. These villagers are all mortals, how can they stop the ultimate move of the innate monsters? In the blink of an eye, dozens of people had their heads changed and were strangled to pieces by the demonic energy. The monkey monster swallowed and swallowed all the essence and flesh of the villagers. And while killing and swallowing. When it was swallowed, the monster body was wriggling, and a terrifying mutation was taking place. Seeing this, Su Mu was startled and wanted to eliminate the demon. Who knew that at this moment, there was a demonic aura full of killing intent. Roar. Only heard a fierce bear whistling sounded. Xiong Shan suddenly appeared in its original form, transformed into a giant bear monster nearly ten meters tall, with a distorted face and red eyes, killing Su Mu. Looking at that appearance, it is obvious that he has lost his sanity. Is even Xiong Shan under control? This heaven is really weird. A thought flashed in Su Mu's heart, and then a poisonous mist poured out of his body, trapping Xiong Shan. The out of control Xiong Shan showed his fighting strength beyond the usual, but he was still not the enemy of Su Mu. As soon as this move came out, the fierce and mad giant bear was immediately turned to the ground by the poison and fell heavily. But it is not dead yet, as long as it is detoxified in time, it can be rescued. On the other side, the monkey demon had already taken advantage of this kung fu to slaughter the surrounding villagers, turning into an ugly monster surging with flesh and blood. He could only vaguely see the appearance of a monkey demon, and the aura that made Su Mu subconsciously uncomfortable became more and more intense. It's ridiculous, the dignified heavenly court actually uses this method. Seeing that the other party has completed incarnation, Su Mu is not in a hurry to shoot. He wanted to take this opportunity to learn more about this so-called heavenly court. At least after this time, Su Mu knew that heavenly court could use some unknown means to control the gods that it had enshrined. Even Bear Mountain, who has been away from the fief for ten years, will be controlled. You know too much. The monster didn't have any interest in communicating with Su Mu, and after saying a word, it eliminated him outright. I saw its twisted and weird body burst open, 
turning into a blood mist shrouded in Su Mu. Su Mu's eyes turned cold, and he planned to eliminate the demon. But at this most critical moment, the demon power, blood, and even the muscles in his body all froze. Su Mu couldn't move at all, unable to mobilize even a trace of strength, let alone use powerful magical powers. Su Mu couldn't help being shocked, and immediately struggled frantically. Under his resistance, this strange state of rigidity gradually loosened. It is estimated that after three or five seconds, Su Mu will be able to break free and resume his movements freely but now is the time for the battle of life and death. Not to mention three or five seconds, even a pause of one-tenth of a second will affect the battle situation. Su Mu has run out of time. In the next instant, a thick and strange blood mist surrounded him and penetrated into his body. With the invasion of the blood mist, Su Mu was even more unable to control his body, and the struggle lost its effect. Even consciousness is being eroded. It turns out that there was a big crisis at the very beginning of this dungeon world. After this thought flashed through his mind, Su Mu's consciousness fell into darkness. He died. 197. Dungeon completion rate, 8%. Points earned, 300. Comment, crisis often occurs when there is relaxation. Hint, if the completion rate is less than 90%, the copy is not completed and cannot be left. After the first life, Su Mu returned to the standby space, and the familiar voice sounded in his mind. 8%. Is this dungeon world so complicated? After seeing the completion of the copy, Su Mu was a little surprised. It seems that this dungeon world is more complicated than he imagined, but he doesn't need to think about it for the time being. A problem that needs to be solved urgently stands in front of Su Mu, that is heaven. The death of the previous life was beyond Su Mu's expectations. The cultivation of the monkey demon innate realm cannot threaten him. Even after killing a large number of villagers and devouring flesh and blood, he is still not Su Mu's opponent. What really eliminated Su Mu was the strangeness in his body. Su Mu was suddenly unable to move at the critical moment of the battle. This is not the ability of the monkey demon, and it has nothing to do with the outside world. If you want to make a big monster close to the consummation of a grandmaster immobile, it is estimated that not many experts in the martial arts realm can do it. The reason why Su Mu froze was entirely because the demon power in his body was out of control. In other words, it is his own problem. However, it has been lurking very deep before, so I didn't find it. Thinking of the changes in Monkey Demon and Xiong Shan, Su Mu had no choice but to suspect that Heavenly Court had acted on him. How can I move my hands and feet? Where are the hands and feet moving? For the first question, Su Mu has no answer for the time being. He doesn't know how Tian Ting does this. But for the second question, he already knew the answer. It's a nameless hill. There is a big problem in this place where Su Mu was born and cultivated. Nameless Hill is the canonized place of Bear Mountain, where it will practice faster and be stronger. After conquering Xiongshan, Su Mu also tried to find the reason. However, he didn't know much about things other than cultivation, such as formations, alchemy, and so on, and he didn't study in depth. Therefore, nothing happened to Su Mu, and in the end, he had to let it go. It was not until the last life that Su Mu knew that there was a big problem with the Nameless Hill. And it's not just Xiong Shan who is a mountain god. Every demon clan who cultivated in the Nameless Hill will be affected. Su Mu must have been eroded a little bit in the process of cultivation. And with the improvement of cultivation, this erosion will become more and more serious. That is to say, no matter what choice Su Mu makes when facing Heavenly Court's invitation, his fate will not change. After cultivating in Wuming Shaoshan for more than ten years, he can no longer escape the fate of a puppet. At the end of the last life, the people of Heavenly Court did not destroy Su Mu's demon body, but his soul. I want to come and refine his demon body into a puppet and become a thug in the heaven. My cultivation speed is too fast, and it is estimated that I have been eyed by Heavenly Court. Thinking of this, Su Mu looked gloomy. That is why he said that there was a big crisis in the dungeon from the very beginning. Fortunately, in general, the harvest of the first world is still very large. First of all, 
Su Mu created some exercises and magical powers that are suitable for snakes to practice. Although it is not perfect, it is already decent. At least his next life will be much smoother. Secondly, Su Mu had a basic understanding of this brand new dungeon world, and obtained several important pieces of information related to Heavenly Court. 1. The gods that have been enshrined by the Heavenly Court are all its puppets, which can then be manipulated. 2. There is a big problem with the canonized land of the Heavenly Court, and you must not practice on it. It's a pity that Su Mu still doesn't know the purpose of this strange organization, and only continued to explore in the next few generations. After summing up the gains and losses of the previous life, Su Mu decided to start the second life. Before entering, Su Mu had to adjust his talent. Tian K this talent is extremely special, and once it is chosen, it cannot be replaced. Therefore, Su Mu has only two talents, indomitable and self-healing, which can be exchanged at will. After thinking about it for a while, he replaced these two talents with demon talking to confuse the public and old and stronger. Wow talk to confuse the public, increase the credibility of word cyan talent. Old and stronger, after a hundred years old, transform once every ten years blue talent. Su Mu always felt that this dungeon world would be very long. So he planned to bring old and Mijian to try. After all, it is a blue level talent. As long as it can survive until it takes effect, it can play a big role. If perseverance is an early stage talent, then old and stronger is a proper late stage talent. The effect must be strong, it depends on whether Su Mu can survive until that time. As for demon talking to confuse the public, although it is a cyan talent, it is very universal. As long as you live in an environment where there is a purpose for communication, this talent will work. In the second life, Su Mu planned to make a name for himself among the demon clan while cultivating. This talent is still very useful. Strengthen old and stronger and open the second world. After choosing the talents to be strengthened, Su Mu entered the Warring States dungeon world for the second time. The simulation starts. Host, Su Mu. Body, 18. Wisdom, 10. Life, minus 28. Talents, old and strong enhanced version, confuse the crowd, lack of natural resources, kindness, resentment, strengthening, empty net. Item, none. As the start interface faded, Su Mu's consciousness fell into darkness. Then, it appeared in the egg again. With the first experience, Su Mu immediately broke out of the shell and quickly went downstream to the foot of the mountain before being discovered by other hunters. This broken mountain has been manipulated by the heavens, and it is absolutely not allowed to practice here. Gotta leave quickly. Su Mu ran all night and escaped ten miles in one breath before stopping. For a newborn snake, shility is nothing short of a moat. If it weren't for Su Mu's amazing physique, he would have died of exhaustion in the middle of the road. But in order to eliminate future troubles, Su Mu gritted his teeth and insisted, completely away from the nameless hill before he started hunting, filling his empty stomach. After he was full, Su Mu practiced his own exercises and began to absorb the essence of day and night, the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. This little snake has started his own growth path. Ten days later, Su Mu grew up a little and continued to climb deeper into the mountains. Before he grew up, he didn't want to have any communication with Heavenly Court. As for Xiong Shan, he is temporarily incapable. This bear demon has been a mountain for hundreds of years, and it has long been eroded by Heavenly Court's strange methods. You can handle it whenever you want. Su Mu can't save Xiong Shan now, after all, he doesn't even know the means of Heavenly Court. For the next three years, Su Mu went deep into the Qin Chu Mountains while practicing cultivation. Due to the lack of the powerful talent in the early stage of perseverance, he only cultivated to perfection in three years. But Su Mu was not in a hurry. He plans to join the Ten Thousand Demons Palace, and rely on the resources of this great force to enter the martial god realm steadily. After reaching that realm, it is not too late to consider investigating the matter of Heavenly Court. Su Mu has been stuck on this last step several times. In this life, whatever he said, he must achieve the realm of the martial god. On this day, Su Mu caught a wild boar. Just as he was about to swallow it, 
a fluffy pink-white figure jumped out. I'm so hungry. Big snake, can you give me a taste? I eat very little, one. No. Half a pig leg is enough. A little fox jumped not far from Su Mu and looked at him pitifully. This fox demon is Munli. However, she did not know Su Mu at this time. Su Mu really likes this little fox demon who is loyal and has a bit of a vicious tongue. Eat. With a flick of his tail, he tore off a pig's hind leg and threw it to Mengli. Thanks. Mengli was not as vulgar as ordinary demon clan, and she politely thanked her before eating. Although this pig leg is bigger than Mengli's entire body, she eats it fast. After a while, a whole big pig leg entered Meng Li's stomach. Of course, hematoxylin is faster. Clean up those that can't be eaten, and just swallow the rest. I'm full, so comfortable. The little fox Meng Li was lying on the ground with all her arms upright, with a round belly eating, looking very cute. For some reason, she always felt that Su Mu was kind, and subconsciously developed some good feelings. Especially when Su Mu spoke, it made her feel more at ease. Munli thought she had a relationship with Su Mu. In fact, this is completely the ability of kindness and wishful words to confuse the public. Big snake, your cultivation is not bad. Would you like to go to Wanya Palace with me? Let's go there to learn from a teacher. You should know the 10,000 Demon Palace, right? This is the top power of the Demon Clan, and there are several Demon Kings in the Martial God Realm. Mengli was afraid that Su Mu didn't know the 10,000 Demon Palace, so she explained a few words. At this point in time, Mengli had not yet joined the 10,000 Demon's Palace. Her strength was the same as Su Mu, and she was in the perfect state of body refinement. That's the intention, so let's go together. Su Mu did not refuse. Mengli took a great risk in her last life to save him and Xiong Shan. With such a character, whether it is a human or a demon, it is worth meeting. Yeah. One more friend. Seeing Su Mu agree, Munli was very happy, waving her small paws in celebration. After digesting it, the fox and the snake set off. There are millions of demon clans in the Qin Chu Mountains. Not all monsters are willing to join forces. There are many powerful monsters who like to live freely and loosely. They are entrenched in the Qin Chu Mountains and have their own territory. Inside the demon clan, although they won't eliminate each other and devour each other, they can't say they love each other. With the strength of the little fox demons Su Mu and Mengli, it is still very dangerous to go deep into the mountains to find the 10,000 demon palace. If you accidentally stray into the territory of a strange monster, you may be eliminated. However, Su Mu is an old river and lake after all, and with kindness and Yu Yin confusion by his side, the journey went smoothly. He even coaxed and coaxed some spirit fruit and elixir from some big demons. The little fox Mengli was stunned and admired. The address for him also changed from Big Snake to Big Brother Su. Just like that, after more than half a year, Su Mu and Mengli finally came to the 10,000 Demon Palace. Although the 10,000 Demon's Palace used a formation to cover it up, the surrounding area was rich in spiritual energy and the terrain was extraordinary. Don't say that Su Mu has been here once. Yu Yu reading. Even if you have never been there, you will feel that this is an unusual place. Senior, let's go to Apprentice and learn art. Meng Li put her claws in front of her mouth, gathered into a trumpet shape and shouted. After shouting a few times, the high space in front of him fluctuated, and then a beautiful and mysterious blue-feathered bird flew out. It was the bell that Su Mu had seen before. 198. Remember for a second. Where did you two little demons come from? Where are the elders? After discovering Su Mu and Mengli, Ching Yu Big Bird Bell looked around them, but couldn't find the figure of the big demon, so she couldn't help being a little surprised. Senior Chi, the two of us are walking together, and there is no elder to lead us. Come all the way, just to join Wanya Palace. The little fox answered while looking at the big blue feather bird curiously. This is also the first big demon that she has seen in the perfect state of a grand master other than her own parents, and it is so beautiful. She likes to see pretty things. Su Mu was very calm. 
He knew that according to Ling's good-natured character, it would not be a problem for the two of them to join the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. Sure enough, after hearing Mengli's words, Ching Yu Big Bird was slightly surprised. The depths of the mountains are full of dangers. You two little demons are not even in the Hotian realm. It's not easy to be able to come all the way here safely. Since that's the case, I've decided to accept you. And you don't need to test, you can directly join the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. Thank you senior. Hearing this, Mengli and Su Mu's faces showed a hint of joy, and they thanked them in unison. Ling shook her head indifferently, and then with a flick of her wings, a soft invisible force wrapped them and carried them into the air. Under the leadership of Ling, they passed through the outer formation and entered the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. The majestic palace is in harmony with the heaven and the earth, hanging in the air, extremely domineering. Meng Li opened her mouth wide in shock, looking a little cute. Su Mu has seen it once, and naturally he can keep his calm. This made Lingao glance at him, and felt that he had a firm heart and was not something in the pool. Along the way, Qin Yu Big Bird Bell, Su Mu and Meng Li talked a lot about the rules of Wanyao Palace. Ten Thousand Demon Races in Ten Thousand Demon Palace The one at the top is naturally the palace master of Ten Thousand Demons Palace. But the palace lord is in seclusion all year round and does not ask about world affairs. The presence is relatively low, more of a symbolic meaning. Further down, there are several great elders of the martial god realm, who are also indifferent. Next, it is the big demon of the peak master like Ching Yu Big Bird Bell, or the deacon that the master can serve in the later stage. Deacon is the mainstay of Wanyao Palace, with great rights and obligations in his hands, and is the real power of Little Blue Bird. Finally, there is the position of teaching held by ordinary masters. Teaching is mainly responsible for managing and educating the little demons below, playing the role of a teacher. And the demon clan who have not reached the Grand Master Realm can only be an honest student in the Ten Thousand Demon Palace, and at most be a student cadre. Of course, Wanyao Palace did not forcefully keep people. As long as the interests of Ten Thousand Demons Palace are not damaged, the little demon who is a student can leave at any time. The minimum requirement for Wanyao Palace to recruit is complete body refinement. Therefore, after Su Mu and Mengli joined, they became the lowest first grade students. The acquired realm and the innate realm are equivalent to second grade and third grade. However, Wanyao Palace will only arrange accommodation, and there is no fixed course. Each instructor must hold classes at least ten times a year, which is a mandatory requirement of Wanyao Palace. And there will be a notification seven days before the class starts, so you can go if you want. In other words, in Wanyao Palace, you will be fine even if you miss class every day. But if the training speed is too slow, the resources that can be received every month will be very small. Conversely, if you perform well and show great talent, you can get key training. Wanyao Palace has a specific assessment for each student. These two rooms will be your houses in the Ten Thousand Demons Palace in the future. The rules are similar to what you said. If there is anything you don't understand, you can ask the classmates around you. Cultivation well, and strive to enter the acquired realm as soon as possible. Ling took Su Mu and Mengli to the east courtyard of Wanyao Palace, arranged accommodation for them, and left in a hurry. After all, he is the high-level executive of Wanyao Palace, and there are still many things in his hands. It is very good to be able to bring Su Mu and Mengli in and explain the rules and arrange accommodation for them. Is this our future residence? Coming to a brand new environment, Mengli is very fresh, and she looks around curiously, like a curious baby. Su Mu doesn't care about these things, he is more concerned about what he can learn and gain after entering the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. In any case, the two demons need to tidy up their respective houses and prepare for their new life. Hey, you two newcomers, come out for me. Just when Su Mu and Menli were about to pack up, a cold shout came from outside. Su Mu squinted his eyes and swam out unhurriedly. What caught my eye was a ferocious wolf monster standing upright, about three meters tall and very strong. This wolf demon is full of blood and demonic energy, and it is a demon of the innate realm. Roots of wolves are like steel needles, condensing a lot of demonic energy, you can see that they are not easy to mess with. 
Behind it, there are seven or eight Hotian realm monsters with fierce faces, looking like a thug's younger brother. In addition, outside this group of monsters, there are still nearly a hundred little monsters in the distance. Zero one second to remember. These little demons have perfect body refinement and acquired realm, but their aura is not as good as the ones in front of Sumu. They all looked at the wolf demon with a kind of fear and fear, and did not dare to approach. If you look closely, you will find that there is still a trace of hatred in the depths of his eyes. After taking these situations into his eyes, Sumu basically knew it. As the saying goes, where there are people, there are rivers and lakes, and so are the monsters. The group of monsters headed by the wolf demon must be the dominant force in this eastern courtyard, and they usually bully other little demons. The internal competition of the demon clan is very fierce, and it is common to fight to death outside. So even in the Ten Thousand Demons Palace, no one will care if the little demons below make a fuss, unless they make a fuss. What do you want? Bully the newcomer. I'm not afraid of you. Menli Xian Su Mu stepped out. She also stood upright, akimbo and bared her teeth, looking directly at the wolf demon. Although it is less than half a meter tall, it is not as tall as a wolf demon's legs. But Menli's aura was not weak at all. Don't look at this little fox is cute and lovable, but his temperament is very fierce, otherwise he would not have run away from home. Hey! A little monster in the body refinement realm, dare to be arrogant with our boss. Let's see how I deal with you. Before the wolf demon could speak, a monkey demon behind it jumped out first and slapped Menli. Although Menli's momentum is not weak, after all, her cultivation is not as good as the opponent's. Seeing this, his eyes narrowed, and he secretly prepared to use some means of pressing the bottom of the box. As the princess of the Qingxiu Fox clan, Menli naturally has something to save her life. But before she could take action, a loud shout rang out. Stop! For some reason, after hearing this violent shout, the monkey demon subconsciously stopped and froze in place, without fanning out the slap. After it reacted, a twenty-meter-long black snake demon had come to them, blocking the little fox demon behind. What kind of thing are you, just stop when you tell me to stop? In response, the monkey demon was very embarrassed. It was actually frightened by a snake demon in the body forging realm. If this is spread out, how can it be mixed up? However, what happened next made the monkey monster even more embarrassed. Su Mu's eyes narrowed, staring at the monkey demon coldly, cursing. What qualifications do you have to talk to me? Go away. Su Mu has lived for hundreds of years, and his hands are stained with countless blood, and he has repeatedly entered the peak of the master. Even if he only has the body refinement realm now, his power is not something that an Hotian realm little monster can resist. What's more, he still has this talent. After being yelled at by Su Mu, the monkey demon, who was still very angry just now, felt a chill in his heart. It retreated several steps with a pale face, and did not stop until it knocked down its companion. Almost fell to the ground. Even though he was supported by his companions, his legs were trembling uncontrollably. That look, humiliated and thrown home. Su Mu didn't care about this little thing, he stood upright until he was a little taller than the wolf demon, and then stopped and looked down at it coldly. The wolf demon first glanced at his little monkey demon in dissatisfaction, then sneered at Su Mu and said. Interesting and interesting, are the little demons so ignorant now? Hand over your valuables, I can barely care about what happened just now with you. Otherwise. Hum. The wolf demon snorted coldly, with a cold light in his eyes, full of threats. Even though Su Mu and Mengli were sent in by Big Bird Qingyu, but the deacon sent in a lot of little demons every year, she didn't have the energy to take care of them all. So the wolf demon has no scruples. After the wolf demon finished speaking, its seven or eight younger brothers also stepped forward and looked at Su Mu and Mengli fiercely. In fact, their purpose does not care about extortion. But to stabilize the position of the boss of the East Hospital. To be honest, with Su Mu's current state, he is definitely not the opponent of this group of monsters. But he didn't panic. Time to try out the abilities of this skill. Su Mu ignored the coercion of the wolf demon and his party. 
he looked around at the demons watching in the distance, and shouted in a bewitching voice. You little monsters watching, have you been bullied before, right? Otherwise, you won't look scared, if you shrink back like a chicken. Sad, ridiculous, deplorable. No matter how powerful they are, there are less than ten. You have dozens, hundreds, or even more. Why don't you dare to unite and overthrow these monsters who have oppressed you? Crush their heads. Are you so cowardly and incompetent? If it's such a waste, there's no need to cultivate. Walking out of the academy is also a life of being trampled under the feet by others. Life is a scumbag. I can't hold my head up for the rest of my life. Su Mu's voice clearly entered the ears of every demon, as if a needle pierced their hearts again and again. The demon clan who were watching listened and listened, all of them couldn't help blushing, and then their eyes were red. Zero one second to remember. It was blood red, as if it was about to drip blood. Angry flames spewed out of the eyes of the demon wolves and his party, as if they wanted to tear them apart. Seeing this, Su Mu was secretly surprised. It is a talent of cyan level, and can only confuse existences below the master. But this effect is very good. These bullied little demons usually have deep resentments in their hearts, but at this time, all the anger and hatred were drawn out by Su Mu's few words. What are you waiting for? Do you only dare to watch? Monster, swallow the essence of the heavens and the earth, and inhale the chi of the five elements. How can you gain the Tao without the courage to go against the sky? You can't conquer even some small enemies, are you still trying to conquer the great way of heaven? If you still have a trace of backbone, even if it's just a trace. You must unite together immediately and destroy this group of demons who are oppressing you. Although surprised in his heart, Su Mu's mouth did not stop, and he still shouted in a deep voice, there was a kind of demagogic magic in his voice. These words made the enraged monsters begin to approach the wolf monster step by step. All eyes are red, full of hatred and anger. The demonic energy is also accumulating secretly, and it seems that it will attack at any time. What do you want? Do you want to rebel? Seeing this, the monkey demon who had been scolded by Su Mu before shouted again and again, with a stern look, but it was difficult to hide the fear in his heart. You people who don't know how to live or die, do you want to try if my claws are sharp? The wolf demon couldn't sit still. It was full of demonic energy, and roared with a ferocious look on its face. But no matter what they say, the monsters who were oppressed before are still approaching step by step, with amazing momentum. It looks like he is going to fight the wolf demon. Damn! Seeing this, the wolf demon scolded lowly. It gave up other ideas, surging with demonic energy, and decided to fight to the death with the surrounding demons. But the younger brothers under the wolf demon do not have the courage. At this moment, he has been frightened by the angry demons, his body is paralyzed, and he has no intention to fight. The shivering places are together, how can there be that arrogant look before? It's not that they are timid. Nearly a hundred monster clans with red eyes and crazy expressions approach together, and their breaths almost merged into one. This is not something that the little demon of the Hotian realm can resist. Even the big monster in the early stage of the master would be shocked when he saw this scene. It's not easy for this wolf demon to maintain his fighting spirit. It can be seen that he is a ruthless character with a tough temperament. It even has the determination to die, but it will not back down. Stop! Just as the wolf demon was planning to fight to the death with one attack, Su Mu suddenly shouted loudly. As an existence that awakens the demons, Su Mu has been regarded as a leader by the bullied little demons. As soon as he made a sound, all the monsters stopped. However, the pair of blood-red eyes were still staring at the wolf monsters, and it seemed that they would be swarmed and shredded at any time. You! What do you mean? This scene made the wolf demon breathe a sigh of relief, and looked at Su Mu a little puzzled. If it is it, it will definitely pursue the victory and establish its position as the new boss. But Su Mu stopped, which made the wolf demon very puzzled. Su Mu's eyes were as bright as stars, and he looked down at the wolf demon with the power of all the demons, and asked. Tell me, why do you practice? What? 
Hearing this, the wolf demon was stunned. Cultivation is like eating and drinking water for the demon clan, it is a must-do every day. It never thought about why it should practice. Before the wolf demon could understand, Su Mu continued to ask. Are you cultivating just to oppress your fellow clan and make a fortune on the same clan's head? Now that the human race is powerful, the living environment of the monster race is not as good as day by day. You are talented, you are not an ordinary monster, but you can only do things to bully your fellow clan. You are a waste who only dares to bully his own family. You think you are very powerful and mighty? Then why don't you go to the territory of the human race to make a fortune? In the end, you're just a cowardly piece of. You don't even know it. How pathetic. These words, like a heavy hammer, smashed into Yao Lang's mind again and again. Said that its complexion changed dramatically, its expression was constantly changing. The wolf demon's indomitable fighting spirit disintegrated along with it, and a deep suspicion arose in his heart. Am I really a cowardly piece of? Am I really that bad? The wolf demon is in deep self-doubt. After sensing the change in the wolf demon's breath, Su Mu continued to ask without giving it time to breathe. Do you know why you want to practice now? With this question, Su Mu motivated him with all his strength, and at the same time carried the momentum of the demons, and launched the last question to the wolf demon. At this time, the wolf demon's mind was chaotic, and all kinds of chaotic thoughts were entangled. It has lost the ability to think. Of course, with the wolf demon's knowledge and strength, even if the brain is awake. Zero one second to remember. The old man could not answer this question of Su Mu. I don't know. After being stunned for a few breaths, the wolf demon said a little sullenly. It has been cultivating for decades, but it does not even know why it is cultivating. How sad. Thinking of this, the wolf demon raised his head and looked at Su Mu eagerly. It, want to know the answer. Seeing this, Su Mu knew that the time had come. He looked around, his solemn and deep eyes pierced into the hearts of every demon clan, imprinting them in the depths of their memories. In the end, Su Mu retracted his gaze and landed on the wolf demon. He stretched out his tail and pressed it on the wolf demon's head like a palm, shouting loudly. We should cultivate for the rise of the demon clan. Boom! The wolf demon only felt a blast of thunder in his mind, and the whole demon froze on the spot. After that, my mind gradually became clearer, and there seemed to be an aura illuminating it. Cultivating for the rise of the demon clan. Practicing for the rise of the demon race. Practice for the rise of the demon clan. I got it, I got it. I got it. Woohoo! The wolf demon only felt the weight of the snake's tail on the top of its head, it knelt to the ground with a bang, and burst into tears. Today, it has enlightened. I also realized that we should cultivate for the rise of the demon clan. Yes, practice for the rise of the demon clan. Everyone practice for the rise of the demon clan. After the wolf demon, one demon clan after another shouted this slogan, and the entire east courtyard was drowned out by the surging sound waves, and a terrifying aura rose up. All the little demons crowded around Su Mu. They are crying, they are screaming. At this moment, Su Mu turned into light in their eyes. The light that guides them and guides the demon clan forward. Snapped. In the chaotic soil, a sprout emerged. Why it can grow, no one knows. 199. Demon talking confuses the public this talent can only affect little monsters below the Grandmaster. At first glance, it doesn't seem to have much effect. However, apart from the pit of birthplace, there is no major crisis in the early stage of the new copy world. This means that hematoxylin has a long developmental period. In this way, he can use demon talk to confuse the public to first subdue a group of innate and acquired demons, and when they grow up, he can master a group of loyal powers. If used properly, Su Mu can even use this talent to sweep the entire monster race world. Exactly how far he can do it depends on how he does it. Demon talking to confuse the public it is not violent brainwashing, it needs Su Mu's own words and deeds to have the ability to inspire people. In short, from the first day he entered the 10,000 Demon Palace, Su Mu has gained a group of loyal fans. 
In particular, the wolf demon has become a diehard fan of Su Mu. He regards him as a demon mentor and serves by his side all day long. This wolf demon is called Cold Eliminate. The cultivation of the late congenital is not far from the master. But this step will get stuck more than 90% of the people. Fortunately, the wolf demon Lang Eliminate met Su Mu. There is almost no one who has studied the exercises of the major demon clans like Su Mu, and is familiar with the practice of martial arts and Qigong methods of the human race. The combination of all kinds makes Su Mu's understanding of the way of cultivation very profound, and it is not a problem to guide this wolf monster to break through to the master realm. Under the guidance of Su Mu, the wolf demon cold slaying solved several problems in cultivation in a row, and the cultivation level steadily improved. Seven years later, the advanced step is congenital consummation, and thirteen years later, he successfully broke through to the master realm. So far, it has officially become a big demon. But even after breaking through to the Grand Master Realm, he became a teacher at the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. Leng Sha still respects Su Mu and treats each other with respect as a master. It has been completely convinced by Su Mu's thoughts. Of course, there is the credit of Yunyan Huzong in it. But I have to say that the slogan cultivation for the rise of the demon clan is so exciting for the demon. Even a reckless existence like the wolf demon was convinced by Sumu, let alone other little demons. Teaching wolf demons is only a small part of Sumu's life. He spends most of his time using the resources of Wanyao Palace to cultivate and improve his strength. Sumu hardly missed any class, and he would listen to whatever was taught. He memorized and learned all kinds of exercises, supernatural powers, and magic arts, and his knowledge became more and more profound. Thanks to the talent of Kong Jing, Su Mu's learning ability has been improved, otherwise he wouldn't have learned so much even if he didn't sleep all day. Although there is no perseverance in this life, Su Mu's cultivation speed is still not slow. In the past 20 years, he has continuously crossed two great realms and cultivated to innate consummation. Such a speed cannot be called a monster, but it is definitely a genius. Naturally, Wan Yao Palace would not be stingy with such a genius. All kinds of elixir and elixir were enough, which further accelerated Su Mu's cultivation speed. For this progress, Su Mu is basically satisfied. After all, his first small goal in this life is to live to be 100 years old and activate old and stronger. In addition to cultivating, Su Mu did not forget to expand himself under the influence of Wanyao Palace. On the basis of the little demons he influenced on the first day, he established a society. The full name is Wanyao Fuxing Society, and the abbreviation is Fuxing Society. The core idea is cultivation for the rise of the demon clan. Over the years, the Fuxing Society has grown stronger and stronger, with more than 3,000 members. If it weren't for the stricter and stricter requirements for joiners, it is estimated that 80% of the little monsters in Wanyao Palace would join in. As the president and the demon mentor of all the members, Su Mu can't be idle. He would convene all members every two weeks and give a plenary speech to transmit his thoughts to all members and strengthen their ideals and fighting spirit. All three thousand members were comprehended by Su Mu's thoughts, and they became steadfast revivalists. They worked hard one by one, vowing to cultivate for the rise of the demon race. I vow to change the fate of the demon clan. I swear to stand up for ten thousand demons. Fuxing society is booming and growing. The upper levels of Wanyao Palace naturally knew the existence of Fuxing Society. But in the eyes of those big demons, there is no harm in Fuxing Society. After joining, the little demon's cultivation speed has been significantly improved. This is a great thing. Of course, Sumu not only washes regularly. Spreads his thoughts. From time to time, he will guide his members to practice help them solve the difficulties they encounter in cultivation, and improve their realm of strength. With such an operation, Su Mu became the great teacher of monsters in the hearts of all Fuxing Club members. It is the light that guides them forward. In the past two decades, Su Mu's influence has continued to expand. In the process, he discovered a very interesting phenomenon. When all the surrounding friends instill the same thought into a monster, the monster will be affected and assimilated unknowingly. 
the effect is no different from Su Mu's personal enlightenment, or even better. Many steadfast members joined in after being influenced by others. He had never had any contact with Su Mu before. This shows that the core idea of Fuxing society has a certain demagogic power and is highly disseminated. Think about it too. The human race is so powerful, and all countries are competing for the best in the world. But the demon clan can only nest in the deep mountains and old forests, the living space is constantly compressed, and the days are getting more and more sad day by day. Almost all the demon clans were suffocating in their hearts. At this time, a sentence cultivation for the rise of the demon clan can detonate the flames in their hearts. Su Mu had a hunch. A single spark can start a prairie fire. Maybe one day, the entire demon clan will be set on fire by the spark he threw. But what happened to him, he didn't know. Maybe reborn from the ashes. Possibly self-immolation. In short, by then, the current situation will definitely not be able to continue. Time flies, and more than two years have passed in the blink of an eye. On this day, Su Muzheng and Meng Li went together to take a class on defensive spells. This little fox is talented and intelligent, and in this life, Su Mu personally guides him. Therefore, the cultivation speed is much faster than in the previous life, and he has already stepped into the innate realm a few years ago. Brother Su, why don't you go to the secret realm of Shuhai? The exercises there are so good. If you want me to say, those teachings are not as good as yours, why are you still listening to their classes? It's better to go to the secret realm of Shu Hai to cultivate on your own and find an opportunity to break through the master realm. On the way to the classroom, Meng Li asks Su Mu curiously. There are restrictions for the students of Wanyao Palace to enter the secret realm of the Sea of Books. But for geniuses like Su Mu and Meng Li, the conditions are not difficult to achieve. In the past twenty years, Meng Li has visited the secret realm of the Sea of Books seven times, and each time she has gained a lot. But Su Mu has never been there once, which is very strange. Hearing this, Su Mu smiled and shook his head, but did not answer. In his last life, he had ascended to the fifth floor of the Book C secret realm, which was the first floor of the Grand Master. If you want to see new things in this life, you must go to the sixth floor. But Su Mu's current cultivation is not enough, so he can only watch. As for why the class should continue, the reason is equally simple. Although the teaching and learning of those masters in the early and middle stages is far inferior to that of Su Mu. However, there is still something worth learning about some magical powers, magic methods, or the details of the exercises. As the so-called three-person line must have my teacher. A true master always has the heart of an apprentice. Everyone has something to learn from. Just as the two demons were chatting and walking away, there was a loud shout like a bell from outside. Zhong Liang, the great general of the Chu state, come to visit the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. After this loud shout, there was another roar of tens of thousands of people shouting in unison. Flying Dragon Army of Chu State, come to visit Ten Thousand Demon's Palace. The loud shout at the back was shouted by thousands of elite soldiers in unison. The sound waves carried an astonishing killing aura, swaying out layer by layer like a tsunami, impacting the mountain protection formation of Wanyao Palace. Although this great formation was strong, it only resisted for three seconds before it fell apart. Then, an elite and powerful army of the Chu state appeared in front of Su Mu. Similarly, after the formation was broken, the army could see the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. The Chu army. What an elite soldier. What a terrifying military soul. Su Mu's face was solemn and he was secretly shocked. This army numbered 100,000 people, including cavalry and infantry, about 28. The infantrymen were all trained to perfection, and the cavalrymen were all in the middle of the day after tomorrow. The weapons and equipment are also extremely sophisticated, and they are also equipped with some Taoist talismans and magic weapons. There are even a lot of big killers like fire dragon cannons. The most terrifying thing is that the breath of 100,000 soldiers is condensed into one, and you can vaguely see a dragon flying and tossing above the army. Such military might is truly amazing. 
Even without the generals and lieutenants of the Grandmaster Realm, this flying dragon army can still compete with the powerhouses with perfect Grandmasters. The army created by Qilong Centipede pretending to be King Jinshan was considered an elite in the era of Dagon. But compared with this army of Chu State, it is simply rubbish. Su Mu estimated that if the two armies went to war, Chu's flying dragon army would only need one charge to defeat the army of the Red Dragon Centipede. Even if it had 300,000 people it wouldn't do anything. Such an elite army, what are you doing in Wanya Palace? And it looks like a bad visitor. Thinking of this, Su Mu's expression darkened slightly, and he used his eyesight to look over there. Who are you waiting for? Why did you come to my 10,000 demon palace? After the great formation was shattered, several great monsters who were in the late stage of the Grandmaster and who had completed the Grandmaster immediately flew out from the 10,000 demon palace. Among them are the blue feather bird and the black panther spirit. This black panther spirit is called Shintu, and it is one of the deacons of the 10,000 demon palace. His power and strength are higher than Ching Yu Big Bird Bell. That's what it just said. As soon as the words fell, a general wearing purple golden armor flew out of the Chu army. This man is nine feet tall, with a leopard head and eyes, and a yen chin and a tiger beard. At a glance, you can tell that he is a fierce warrior. And his surging blood and condensed astral chi also clearly showed his cultivation realm, Grandmaster Consummation. The general looked down at the big demon in the Ten Thousand Demon Palace, raised his chin slightly, and said arrogantly. I am Zhong Liang, the general of the Chu state. I came here this time to. As he said this, the careful Ling waved his wings and stepped down the soundproof formation. As a result, the soldiers and demons below would not be able to hear the conversations of their respective high-level officials. But even so, the demons below didn't have the heart to do other things. All raised their heads and looked at the sky solemnly. Some instructors also flew over quickly to see what was going on. Including the wolf demon Cold Eliminate. Su Mu saw that the general of the Chu state named Zhong Liang said something. After he finished speaking, the faces of the big monsters in Wanyao Palace all turned gloomy. Among them, the wolf demon Leng Sha was even more excited and shouted, looking very angry. But it was quickly stopped by other big demons and twisted to the rear. Immediately afterwards, Black Panther Jing Shintu communicated with Zhong Liang with a calm face. After talking back and forth for seven or eight sentences, the two sides seemed to have discussed it. A satisfied smile appeared on the face of Zhong Liang, the general of the Chu state, and he left with a casual laugh. The attitude is very arrogant. After Zhong Liang returned, he took the army back for twenty miles, and then set up camp there. The high-level officials of Wanyao Palace flew away, but the deacons at the peak of their strength did not separate. They entered the central palace together, as if they were going to hold a small meeting to discuss what happened just now. At the same time, the wolf demon flew back coldly and immediately found Su Mu. Master, I have something important to tell you. Hearing this, Su Mu knew that what Leng Sha wanted to say must have something to do with the Chu army just now, so he nodded slightly and walked towards the East Courtyard. Over the years, the East Court has become the conference room and base of the Fuxing Society. Any gatherings will take place there. On the way, Su Mu did not forget to warn against cold killing. Don't call me Shirzuan, I am in the innate realm, how can I be qualified to be your Shirzuan? Let others hear it, what will they think? Such a title should be called in private at best, but not in public. Hearing this, Ling Sha hurriedly bowed his head to admit his mistake. Yes. I was so excited and angry just now that I forgot it for a while. Please forgive me. Seeing that it had changed to a similar name, Su Mu could only helplessly shook his head and ignored it. The sudden visit of the army of the state of Chu plunged the 10,000 demon palace into a brief chaos. At this time, no one will specifically care how cold eliminate is called Su Mu. If it likes to bark, let it bark twice. Soon, the three demons came to the east courtyard, entered Su Mu's house together, and started the formation. This array can isolate sound and breath and prevent outsiders from exploring. It was arranged by Su Mu, a demon proficient in formation in the Fuxing society. 
Now that demon has advanced to the master and has become a big demon. But like Ling Sha, she still respected Su Mu, even more respectful and worshipped. Say now. With the formation together, Ling Eliminate couldn't help scolding with anger on his face. The state of Chu is really abominable. It doesn't take the 10,000 demon palace or even the demon race in its eyes at all. They want to pass through the Qin Chu mountains and attack Qin state. Order my 10,000 demon palace to open up the road behind. That tone and attitude is not a request, but an order. The most annoying thing is that those deacons agreed directly. How can they be so weak? So humble? If it goes on like this, how can the human race take our demon race in the eyes? If it goes on like this the demon race will completely become a vassal of the human race, even a slave. I can see it clearly. The only one who can save the demon clan now is you, master. You and Fushin Club are the hope of our demon clan. At the end, there was a touch of piety on Leng Sha's angry face, and there was also a ray of hope in his eyes. It was not the attitude of the general of the state of Chu that was most angry, but the weakness of the deacons of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. In contrast, Su Mu's thought is even more valuable. On the other hand, through the narration of the cold killing, Su Mu basically figured out what was going on. 200. Counting the time, Su Mu has been practicing in Wanyao Palace for more than 20 years. The last king of Chu died of illness the year before, and then the state of Chu fell into civil strife. Qin state took advantage of this opportunity to send troops to attack Chu state and seized several cities in a row. Now that Chu state has finally settled down, he is thinking about finding a way back. In this way, there is the matter of attacking Qin by way of this time. There are many demon clans in the Qin Chu mountains, and there are many dangers. With the strength of the Flying Dragon Army of Chu State, it is possible to eliminate them all the way to Qin State. But doing so will inevitably lead to casualties, and if the movement is too large, the purpose of the raid will not be achieved. Therefore, Chu State wanted Wanyao Palace to help and open up the second half of the road. With the status of 10,000 Demon Palace in the Demon Clan, it is enough to complete this matter quietly, so that the Qin State does not take precautions. But there are too many hidden dangers in this matter. First of all, it is necessary to consider whether the goal of Chu State is really Qin State. If what Chu State wants to deal with is the 10,000 Demon Palace, then they can't be foolish to open up a path. However, considering the attitude of the Chu State General, Su Mu felt that this possibility was relatively small. The General Chu, named Zhong Liang, looked arrogant and domineering, and his attitude was extremely bad. He said that he would ask Wanyao Palace to help, but he did not promise any benefits. That gesture was like giving orders to the servants. It's no wonder that the cold killing of the wolf demon would be so angry. However, it is precisely because of this that Su Mu felt that the goal of the Chu state should not be the 10,000 demon palace, otherwise he would not have acted like this. But even if the real purpose of Chu state is consistent with what they said, this is still a very tricky thing. If the 10,000 demon palace swallowed its anger, it would open up a path according to the requirements of the Chu state. The Chu country is fine, what should I do when I look back at the Qin country? But if you don't agree, you will immediately offend Chu. At present, the national strength of the Chu state is stronger, and the 10,000 demon palace is closer to the Chu state. This is a dilemma. After Su Mu reviewed the matter in his mind, he could basically guess how the senior management of Wanyao Palace would decide. Master, will our 10,000 Demon Palace really agree to choose unreasonable request? At this moment, Leng Sha asked Su Mu unwillingly. Su Mu pondered for a while, and said calmly. According to the consistent behavior of the upper levels of Wanyao Palace, they should agree. However, it is very likely that at the last moment, I will find a way to remind Qin State, and try not to offend both sides. It seems to have both sides. It's not wise. Hearing this, Leng Sha's face became very ugly, and his eyes were full of humiliation. The 10,000 Demon Palace was sandwiched between Chu and Qin, and it could have controlled the balance and benefited from both sides. However, in the past century, the national power of Qin and Chu has become stronger and stronger, 
but Wanyao Palace has not made much progress. The widening of the strength gap made the situation of Wanyao Palace very embarrassing. Over the years, the top management of Wanyao Palace has compromised everywhere, becoming weaker and weaker. I'm almost out of breath. If Su Mu is the master of the house, he will be tougher. For example, this time, if you want to borrow the way, you can, but you have to take advantage of it. If the state of Chu dares to threaten, Su Mu will dare to bring the entire 10,000 demon palace to join the state of Qin. Even if Qin state did not accept the 10,000 demon palace, it would not be easy for Chu state to destroy the 10,000 demon palace. The Qin Chu mountains stretch for thousands of miles, and there are millions of demon clans. As the largest force in the Qin Chu mountains, Wanyao Palace only needs to raise its arms when facing the invasion of Chu State, and there will definitely be a large number of responders. The Chu State is indeed capable of destroying all the demon clans in the Qin Chu mountains. But this level of war will cause the Chu country to suffer heavy losses. Now that it is in a world of great competition, it is impossible for Chu State to spend its national strength on this. Therefore, as long as the 10,000 Demons Palace puts on a gesture of daring to work hard, the Chu state will definitely be in awe. However, Wanyao Palace has always compromised and has lost its prestige among the Demon Clan. After all these years, it has been pinched by the state of Chu. Master, I'm not reconciled. Leng Sha clenched his claws, his palms were cut by his wolf claws and blood spilled, but he didn't know it. It doesn't want to live in such humiliation. It wants to change its way of life. Hearing this, Sumu comforted. Only great strength can change the status quo. We are not strong enough now, let's endure it for the time being. One day, I will lead you to open up a new world for the demon clan. Hearing these words, the wolf demon finally felt better, and looked at Sumu with more admiration. Seeing Ling eliminate recovering his mood, Sumu ordered. Go ahead and inform that all the members of the Fuxing Society should not participate in this opening operation, and stay in the 10,000 Demon Palace to cultivate honestly. Yes, I understand. Leng Sha and respectfully agreed, then remembered something, and asked Su Mu. By the way, Master, when will you be able to break through? Come on, it's almost the last few days. Su Mu replied casually. Just recently. That's great. Master's foundation is solid. Once you enter the master realm, your cultivation speed will definitely be much faster than me. It's only a matter of time before you catch up with me. Hearing this, Ling Eliminate's face finally showed a hint of joy. In its eyes, Su Mu is the light that can guide the demon clan forward. As the hope of the demon clan, Su Mu is naturally the stronger the better. The stronger he is, the brighter the monster's future will be. Okay, let's talk about it, you can quickly explain the things that should be notified. Yes. Disciple is going now. Cold Killing agreed, got up and backed out. Seeing its leaving figure, Su Mu's eyes flashed slightly, and he pondered. The historical records of the Warring States period are very strong, and Su Mu does not know what will happen in the next 200 years. But one thing is certain. 200 years later, the Qin unified the world. This process must be accompanied by chaos and slaughter, which will be a great opportunity for the rise of the demon clan. Of course, what Su Mu wants to achieve is to advance to the martial god. Growing the demon clan is just a means on his way to advance. What happened next was similar to what Su Mu had predicted. After some discussion, Wanyao Palace agreed to Chu State's request and helped to open up a way to lead directly to Qin State. Afterwards, the Flying Dragon Army quietly approached Qin State along this road. However, just as it was about to approach, a big demon with a complete master suddenly appeared. This demon is a giant earth dragon, and no one can handle it in the martial god realm after sneaking into the ground. This land dragon demon is extremely difficult to deal with. Hiding in the ground keeps causing earthquakes and casting magic spells. The Flying Dragon Army was a headache, and there were some casualties. In the end, it was a marshal in Chu who was lurking in the dark who made an outrageous shot, and only severely injured the dragon and demon of the land and forced it back. But at this time, Qin State had already discovered the flying dragon army. 
the two armies collided violently on the edge of the Qin Chu Mountains. After a major war, both countries suffered casualties. The Flying Dragon Army failed to make a sneak attack and had no choice but to withdraw. Since the Great Dragon Demon appeared suddenly, Chu State couldn't blame the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. This matter can only be left to nothing, and I don't know if I secretly hold grudges. At first glance, this is a thing. But in fact, while paving the way for the Chu State, the status and reputation of the Wanyao Palace among the Demon Clan dropped a lot. Some extreme demon clan even called the Ten Thousand Demon Palace a lackey of the human race, and they are very contemptuous of it. These, Su Mu does not know for the time being. When Qin and Chu were at war, he retreated and cultivated, and successfully broke through to the master state. With all kinds of accumulation, everything comes naturally without any bottlenecks. Su Mu's breakthrough made all the demons of Fuxing society excited. At this time, the Fuxing society already had several great monsters in the Grandmaster realm. Although it is in the early stage of the master, the overall strength of the community is constantly growing. Su Mu's breakthrough represents a brighter future for Fuxing Club. Since then, Hematoxylin has entered a stable and peaceful development period. Every day is not a closed-door practice, but also instructing the members under his command and passing on the ideas of the Fuxing society. Been very fulfilling. Days go by. Time flies, and thirty years have passed in a flash. At this time, Su Mu was almost sixty years old, and his cultivation base had also come to the late stage of the master. During this period, he went to the secret realm of the Sea of Books several times for further study and epiphany. On the sixth and seventh floors of the secret realm of the Sea of Books, there are books related to the middle and late stages of the Grand Master, respectively. After Su Mu carefully read the Epiphany, and fully supplemented the self-created practice method, he has been able to cultivate almost perfectly to the later stage of the Master. At this level, this self-created practice method already deserves a name. Su Mu named it Dragon Transformation. Of course, cultivating this technique cannot turn into a real dragon. But the cultivation method of the Snake Clan should not be weak. As for Su Mu's self-created magical magic, it has also been improved and become more powerful. The combination of all kinds makes Su Mu's strength in this life and the realm much more than the previous life. This is the foundation. In addition to its own strength, Fuxing society has also developed very well. The earliest group of members, under their own efforts and under the guidance of Su Mu, many of them have broken through to the master realm. There is no shortage of talent and hard work like Ling Xiao, and he has cultivated to the middle stage of the master. It's not far from the late master stage. If you think about it carefully, today's Fuxing society has 8,000 little demons, nearly a hundred early masters, two middle masters, and two late masters. In addition to Sumu, the little fox Mengli also cultivated to the late stage of the master. She was the second person in the later period of the master of the Fuxing society. The talent of this little fox demon is very amazing. After entering the master, the training speed does not drop but rises. Thinking of Menli Qingqiu's identity as a fox princess, Su Mu suspects that she has the blood of a nine-tailed fox. After stepping into the grandmaster realm, the power of the bloodline is gradually exerted, which is why the progress is rapid. In short, today's Fuxing society has developed into an extremely strong organization. Although it is attached to Wanyao Palace, it is still not to be underestimated and its independence is getting stronger and stronger. The little demons in Wanyao Palace are proud to be able to join the Fuxing society. In addition to the 8,000 members, there are many demon clans who agree with the ideas of the Fuxing society, but they cannot join because they cannot meet the recruitment requirements. These are the potential strengths of the Fuxing society. I don't know when, the weight of the three words Fuxing society has exceeded that of Wanyao Palace. Speaking of the outside world. In the past 30 years, the friction between Chu and Qin has become more and more intense, and dozens of wars, large and small, have been fought. This King of Chu is a powerful character. With the passage of time, the state of Chu gradually gained the upper hand. Not only did he bring back all the cities that were lost before, but he also bit a piece of meat off Qinguo. 
the Qin state was defeated and the Chu state was prosperous. As a result, the situation of Wanyao Palace became worse and worse, and it was suppressed many times by Chu state. Faced with this situation, the senior management of Wanyao Palace continued to give in step by step, daring not to resist at all. This made the demons in the Ten Thousand Demon Palace extremely dissatisfied, and the anger in their hearts was accumulating more and more. Just wait for an opportunity, and it will explode. On this day, as a teacher, Su Mu was giving a lecture, and there were all kinds of little monsters sitting below. There are many teachings in Wanyao Palace, but Su Mu's class is the most popular. If you come a little later, you won't have a seat, so you can only grab it next time. There are several reasons why Sumu's classes are so popular. On the one hand, he is the leader of the Fuxing society, the monster mentor in the eyes of many little monsters, and the only light. On the other hand, the level of Su Mu's lectures is several grades higher than other teachings. It is easy to understand and can learn a lot. Moreover, he is very knowledgeable and covers a wide range of subjects, so no matter what questions the little demon below him asks, he can get the answer. This further enhances Su Mu's reputation. In terms of prestige, he is already the number one person in the Ten Thousand Demon Palace, and I don't know how much he can get rid of the number two. Such astonishing fame will surely play a role in the future. Master, something happened. While Su Mu was lecturing, a ferocious wolf demon flew over, looking anxious and angry. What's the matter? Seeing the cold killing, Su Mu's heart sank, knowing that something big must happen. If there were no major incidents, this wolf demon would not have barged in while he was in class. It still understands the rules. Several little monsters from Fuxing society clashed with the Chu people when they were training in the mountains, and they all wiped out each other after a fight. Shintu wants to take them to make amends for Chu. Wow! Hearing this, there was an uproar below, and hundreds of little demons began to talk in low voices with ugly expressions. Quiet. Su Mu glanced at the students below, and after a low shout, all the little demons immediately stopped talking. The class fell silent for a moment. What's the situation now? Su Mu turned back and asked Ling Sha. How can we agree to such a ridiculous thing? Hundreds of members stopped Shin Tu, and Master Ling was also on our side. Cold Eliminate is very disgusted with the Black Panther Jing Shen too, and it can even be said to be disgusted. However, it respects the big bird with blue feathers and calls it Lin Shi. Go, take me there. Yes. After getting a general understanding of the situation, Su Mu did not hesitate, and immediately let Ling Sha bring him to the scene. At the same time, all the students in Su Mu's class also followed. In this regard, he did not stop. Soon, Su Mu and his party came to the scene of the incident. I saw the Black Panther Jing Shintu holding seven or eight little demons of the innate realm with supernatural powers, confronting hundreds of demon clans, and the big blue feathered bird bell stopped in the middle. The seven or eight little demons being held by Shintu did not show any signs of fear, but instead had unyielding and angry expressions on their faces. And the hundreds of little demons who confronted Shintu also looked angry. These Fuxing society members will never give in. What do you want? Rebellion. Shen Tu shouted in disbelief, vaguely feeling that something was wrong. In recent years, Shen Tu always felt that something was wrong with the Fuxing society, but he couldn't say what was wrong. It never thought that the members of this society would be so arrogant and dare to openly oppose it, the deacon. Do you know what you are doing? Several of them eliminated the disciples of the great sect of the Chu country. What's wrong with killing people? If you don't hurry, get out of the way, and when Chu is to blame, you will all be screwed. Even the Ten Thousand Demon Palace will be implicated. But no matter what Shintu said, the little demon of Fuxing society would not give in. Seeing this, Shintu's eyes became fierce. You Fuxing society, don't you really want to rebel? Are you courting death? It looked hideous, and had already moved to eliminate. Belle's complexion changed slightly, and she didn't know what to do for a while. Just when the swords were drawn, a loud shout sounded. I think it's you who rebelled. It's the entire monster clan that you want to betray. 
After this loud shout, a path was automatically opened up among the demons of Fuxing society. Su Mu flew through the group of demons, followed by Mengli, Leng Sha, and several master demons from the Fuxing society. They all came over after learning about this, and they came together when they met Su Mu on the road. It's the president, the president is here. It's okay, it's okay, the president will call the shots for us. Only his old man is for the sake of our demon clan. Unlike some demons, he only wants to maintain his identity and status. That's it. Saying something for the sake of the demon clan is actually betraying the interests of the demon clan. Bah! Monster clan scum! After Su Mu arrived, the little demons of Fushing Club seemed to have found their backbone, and they didn't forget to curse Shintu while they were excited. Shintuki's eyes were blood red, and he could not wait to eliminate on the spot. It has been the deacon of Wanyao Palace for more than 200 years. Before Su Mu appeared, who wouldn't respect it? Don't even dare to speak ill of it behind your back. But now, he actually dared to scold it in person. How can this make Shintu angry? It feels that its status has been seriously challenged. What do you idiots know? With your meager strength, how dare you fight against Chu? Don't say it's you, even the great elder has to endure, why can't you bear it? Shintu glared at all the demons, especially Su Mu. That look, I can't wait to swallow him alive. Hearing this, Su Mu sneered and roared. Concession step by step, patience everywhere, what did you get in return? What you get in return is to continue to give in next time. Our monsters are born and raised, and would rather die standing than live on your knees. As soon as these words came out, the crowd was excited, and hundreds of little demons from Fushing Club followed Su Mu and started drinking. We would rather die standing than live on our knees. At first, only the hundreds of little demons from Fushing Club were shouting. After a few times, many monsters who were on the sidelines before and did not dare to participate also shouted. Hundreds at first, then thousands and finally thousands. The breath and sound of the demons merged together, and their unyielding will was oppressing Shintu. You. Seeing this situation, Shintu changed his face for the first time. It is a great demon with a complete master, and it is one of the best masters in the martial god realm of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. But at this time, I couldn't help shaking my heart and I couldn't help myself. Shen Tu had never seen such a momentum before, and he trembled uncontrollably. All the demons are single-minded, so powerful. At this moment, Shen Tu's mind couldn't help being a little dazed. Today's update, good night everyone. 201. As time passed, more and more demons from Fuxing society received news, and after coming to the scene, they confronted Shintu with Su Mu. Although several deacons from the late Grand Master came to Shintu, their momentum was still no match for the Fuxing society, which was united by everyone. I would rather die standing than live on my knees. These ten words made many little demons who were originally dissatisfied and angry feel relieved. They are not members of the Fuxing society, but at this time they also shouted together and chose to stand on the side of the Fuxing society. In other words, the choice is on the side of dignity. Shintu, stop it. Seeing the excitement of the crowd, Qingyu Big Bird Bell looked solemnly at the Black Panther Jing Shintu, hoping to persuade it. Although Shintu is powerful and powerful. But now this situation is extremely dangerous, and it will detonate if you are not careful. It can't be allowed to go its own way. Can Shintu ever give in like this? It believes that it has the blood of an ancient beast, and it is noble and extraordinary. How can you just bow your head like this? And they bow their heads like a group of little monsters whose cultivation is not as good as it. In addition, in addition to his own face, Shintu also had to take into account the reaction of the state of Chu. The few people eliminated by the little demon of the Fuxing society came from a sect in the state of Chu. If they don't give an explanation, they won't let it go. The Ten Thousand Demon Palace cannot offend Chu. At least Shintu thinks so. With this in mind, Shintu looked at the demons and roared. Do you think I'm doing this for myself? No. I'm thinking of Wanyao Palace and you. They eliminated the disciples of the first class sect Yuhua sect of Chu state. 
If we don't give an explanation, our 10,000 demon palace will not be peaceful, and more demons will die. Can't you even see the pros and cons of this? After the Black Panther spirit finished speaking, Su Mu sneered and retorted disdainfully. Don't use false righteousness to oppress people, we don't eat this. Your behavior seems to be a dispute to avoid, but the price you pay is the dignity of our demon clan. I broke my own spine, can such a race continue? What about the future rise? No matter what you say today, you can't the members of my Fuxing society to choose state to die. I'm different from you. Our Fuxing society has no habit of selling out our compatriots in exchange for temporary peace. This kind of peace is not peace, but a temporary survival. This conversation between Su Mu and Shintu made the surrounding demon clan excited and excited. At the same time, there is a deep emotion, almost to tears. How long? How long have they not felt the taste of being sheltered? As long as something happened before, the first thing the senior management of Wanyao Palace wanted was to give up their own interests and keep giving in. Those who have been sacrificed the most are the little monsters below. Today, Su Mu has shown the opposite attitude. Never betray your compatriots for temporary peace. Even if you want to bleed, you will not hesitate. At first glance, Shintu's words sounded somewhat reasonable. But after Su Mu finished speaking, he was stepped into the dirt, which looked ridiculous. In contrast, Su Mu seems to be exuding bursts of dazzling light, guiding the hearts of many demon races to move towards him. Such a leader, who would be unwilling to be loyal to him and fight for him. Because he represents the interests of the entire monster race. At this point, Shintu's expression was extremely difficult to see. After Su Mu finished speaking, it knew that it had already lost in the window. Not to mention members of the Fuxing society and ordinary little demons. Even some of the instructors who were originally standing on its side have their eyes flashing, and they look deeply touched. If it wasn't for some sense of reason, maybe he would have already clamored to join the Fuxing society. Shen Tu secretly hated in his heart, and quietly mobilized his demon power. It's ready for a fight. From Shen Tu's point of view, as long as Su Mu can be quickly captured, most of this turmoil can be calmed down. It can regain its majesty. Shen Tu, calm down. But before the Black Panther could make a move, Ling waved its cyan wings and shed a tinge of cyan blue light to block it in front of it. The two of them have known each other for many years, and Qingyu Big Bird knows very well what Yi Shintu's character will do next. So set up defenses in advance. Seeing this, Shen Tu's expression became even more ugly. The three tails behind it swayed restlessly, and the anger in his heart was almost unstoppable. Lin, these little demons are just messing around. Why are you still so ignorant? Quickly withdraw the magical powers and settle this matter with me. Shintu suppressed his anger and tried to draw Qingyu Big Bird into his camp. But Ling was unmoved and said calmly. I've given way enough, and now there's no turning back, you should wake up. You. Okay, great. Shen Tu's eyes were red with anger at Ling's words, and his demonic energy rolled violently uncontrollably. It's almost going crazy. But in the face of such a situation, he could only forcibly endure it, until his eyes were almost bleeding. No matter how angry the Black Panther was, Su Myuk said to Shen Tu coldly. Let them go immediately. My demon of the Fuxing society, innocent. Yes, let them go. They are innocent, let them go. Hurry up and let the demon go. Thousands of monsters around him shouted in unison with Su Mu. The sound was like thunder, forcing Shintu to let go of the seven or eight little demons he had captured. Although Shintu was powerful and had more than a dozen subordinates of the Grandmaster realm beside him, he still felt a huge pressure. This is the power of the crowd. Gathering sand can form a tower, and dripping water can form a sea. This made Shintu angry and anxious, and his heart was in a mess, and he didn't know how to deal with this matter. If I had known today, it would definitely dissolve the Fuxing society decades ago, and prevent this organization from appearing in the 10,000 Demon Palace. Wrong. If time could be reversed, Shintu would immediately eliminate Su Mu and strangle everything in the beginning. He is a scourge. But it is too late to say anything now, 
how to solve this matter is the big question now. When Shintu was distressed and angry, Su Mu brought the backbone of the Fuxing society in thousands of little demons, and approached it step by step. I'll give you another five breaths. If you don't let go of my members, you and I can only live one day today. Five. Four. Three. After Su Mu left a sentence, he counted down. His face was cold and his voice was calm, but there was an indomitable determination in his eyes. Shintu has no doubts, this guy has the determination to die. At this moment, even though he felt that his side was stronger, Shintu couldn't help but be intimidated by Su Mu's aura. Start to back off involuntarily. It never thought that Su Mu would turn his face against it for the sake of the little demons under his command, or even make a fight. Just a few little demons, as for. Wouldn't it be beautiful to throw it to the state of Chu in exchange for peace? What Shen Tu didn't know was that this was the biggest difference between him and Su Mu in the eyes of the demons. You don't care about them and they don't care about you. People are lost like this. And Su Mu's ultimate calf protector made all the little demons feel unprecedented warmth, who wouldn't be moved. It feels good to be cared about. Wait for me. Seeing that the countdown was coming to an end, Shen Tu was resigned and was ready to let go of these little demons. But at this moment, a loud voice resounded through the sky and entered the ears of every monster. Stop for the old man. This loud shout seemed to have magic power, causing all the monsters to stop in place instantly, and the tense atmosphere also dissipated. Can you finally sit still? Su Mu's heart moved, knowing that the demon king of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace's martial god realm was finally about to take action. He looked up and saw an old goat walking in the air with a cane, its long white beard fluttering in the wind, and it was quite immortal. This is a great elder of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace, named Venerable Ares. It seems to be moving slowly, but in fact, it spanned several miles in just a few steps and came to the middle of Su Mu and Shintu. What's going on? It's like this. Venerable Ares looked at Su Mu and Shintu, and asked slowly, like a kind old man. The arrival of this great elder gave Shintu his confidence again. It first bowed respectfully to the old goat, and then said. Elder, it's like this. These little monsters eliminated several disciples of the Chu Kingdom's fire sect. I want to them to the fire sect to quell the matter. There is an old saying, killing for life is justified. My subordinates admit that there is nothing wrong with this approach, but the teacher or the president of the Fuxing Society refuses, and even brings a bunch of little demons to force me to release the demon. It's really abominable to commit such a crime. If you don't punish it, I'm afraid it won't take long before you will ignore the elders and even the suzerain. Under Su Mu's coercion, Shen Tu held back his stomach. At this time, when he caught the opportunity, he frantically added fuel to it, wishing that Venerable Ares would directly slap Su Mu to death. It even emphasized the identity of the president of Su Mu Fuxing Club, implying that he had objections. Hearing what Shen Tu said, Ling, Ling Sha, Meng Li, and the other little monsters all looked worried, for fear that Venerable Ares would blame Su Mu. But Su Mu did not panic at all. Over the past few decades, he has long figured out the situation of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. Those elders and palace masters in the martial god realm did not ask about world affairs all the year round, and they concentrated on seclusion and cultivation. To put it bluntly, it is just enjoying the resources brought by the Ten Thousand Demon Palace, but not doing anything. Of course, the Ten Thousand Demons Palace was able to stand still by virtue of their name. Without the support of the powerhouses of the martial god realm, the Ten Thousand Demon Palace has long been wiped out by the Chu state or other demon races in the mountains. For these elders and palace masters, maintaining the status quo is the most important thing. Su Mu is now what people want, and most of the little demons in the Ten Thousand Demon Palace are on his side. In order to maintain stability, it is impossible for Venerable Ares to punish him heavily. However, the preference for Shintu is certain. Shintu's attitude towards things is actually the attitude of those elders and palace masters. Otherwise, the deacon would not be able to continue. After Shintu finished speaking, Su Mu bowed slightly to the Venerable Ares, and said calmly. Elder, 
The disciples of Yuhua sect sneaked into the mountains and clashed with my ten thousand demon palace disciples, and then it turned into a battle. In this battle, eight disciples of Yuhua sect were eliminated, and one of the demons in my ten thousand demon palace also died and two demons were seriously injured. It was the fire fire sect that invaded our ten thousand demon palace's territory, which caused this battle. We are just on the defensive, what about killing people and paying for their lives? Why do we need to apologize? If you really want to count, Yuhua sect has to apologize to us. Hearing these words, Shintu's expression darkened again. In terms of mouth skills, it couldn't compare to Sumu, and he hated it so much that his teeth itch. On the other hand, Venerable Ares, with a slow look, his expression did not change in the slightest. After Sumu finished speaking, it paused for two or three seconds, and then said slowly. It's true that my ten thousand demon palace is more responsible for this matter. But you must know that the principles of this world are in the hands of the strong. Let's do it, pick one of these eight criminals and it to Chu state to apologize to Yuhua sect. Venerable Ares' voice was not loud, and he spoke slowly. But there is an unmistakable feeling. The phrase the truth is in the hands of the strong is a pun, pointing out the situation on both sides. Outside, Chu state is a strong one and needs to make appropriate concessions. Inwardly, Venerable Ares is a strong man, and his decision cannot be questioned by others. This is the repression brought about by absolute power. As the demon king of the martial god realm, Venerable Ares has this confidence. I'm going to apologize to Yuhua sect. I should go, it's my first move. I am the strongest, let me go. What nonsense! It's clear that I'm stronger, and I'm taking care of this. After Venerable Ares finished speaking, the eight evil demons quarreled. What they are fighting for is actually the place to be escorted to the Imperial Fire sect. They are very clear in their hearts that they are basically dead and alive when they go to Yuhua sect. However, as members of the Fuxing society, these little demons have different ideological realms from ordinary demon clan. It's just death, why fear it? The road to the rise of the demon clan requires a demon to throw its head and shed blood. With my blood, the avenue to the sky will be forged. Seeing this situation, all the demon clan present were shocked and couldn't help themselves. Even Shintu couldn't help being stunned. It did not expect that these little monsters are not afraid of death. What kind of force supports them? What's going on with this Renaissance society? At this moment, Shintu felt a deep fear. There are nearly 10,000 monsters in Fuxing society who are not afraid of death. What kind of power made them condense together and become what they are now? Shintu looked at Su Mu, with a hint of trembling in his eyes. It found that he still underestimated this snake demon. Perhaps, he is the real evildoer. The eight demons of the Fuxing society couldn't argue, and none of them would give in. In the end, Venerable Ares personally selected a tiger demon to fight against this. During the whole process, Su Mu didn't speak, but his face was heavy. With his current strength, he has not been able to compete head-on with the demon king of the martial god realm. That doesn't mean it's over. Su Mu had already figured out a countermeasure in secret. Under the single-handed suppression of Venerable Ares, this matter soon ended. Ten days later, the tiger demon will be escorted to the state of Chu to apologize to the people of the fire-fighting sect. After the apology, how to deal with it, it is up to the royal fire sect to decide. The other seven little demons were released. Although unwilling, they can't do much either. After deciding how to deal with it, the demons were dispersed by Venerable Ares, and the matter was temporarily settled. Su Mu kept silent and returned to the East Court with the backbone of the Fuxing society. Master, is this the case? Xiao Hu ranks in the forefront of the Fuxing society in terms of cultivation and ideological realm, and it is only a matter of time before the advanced master realm is reached. To die like this is really. Hey! As he spoke, Wen Killian let out a helpless sigh. Cold Eliminate is very unwilling. But it is very clear in its heart that the Fuxing society has no ability to resist in front of the demon king of the martial god realm. But when he thought that the tiger demon named Luo who would be escorted to the state of Chu and died in the torture of the human race. The heart of cold killing is very painful. 
the humiliation of powerlessness, like thousands of ants gnawing at his bones. But Su Mu's next words exceeded Lang eliminates expectations. No. Xiao Hu won't die. We can't compete with the demon king head on, but we can save it from the hands of Yuhua sect. Su Mu's face was cold, and he calmly expressed his thoughts. As soon as these words came out, all the backbones of the Fuxing society were stunned. Brother Su, Yuhua sect is the main sect of Chu state. With our strength, I'm afraid we won't be able to rescue Xiao Hu. Meng Li said worriedly. She has been by Su Mu's side all these years, helping him solve problems and manage Fuxing Club. The two demons have never experienced strong winds and waves, life and death. But the feelings have grown deeper and deeper in the quiet and long years. Hearing this, Su Mu sneered disdainfully. The big sect is just Shintu's rhetoric, and the Yuhua sect is just a second-rate sect of the Chu state. The strongest person in the door is a half-step martial artist, and also their suzerain. And this person has not much life expectancy, his combat power must have dropped a lot, and he will no longer be at his peak state. Although Su Mu has been staying in the 10,000 Demon Palace all these years, his vision is not limited to this. He often let the members of the Fuxing Society go out to travel, spread the ideas of the Fuxing Society to other demon clans, and at the same time secretly set up an intelligence network. As the country of Chu, which is currently the biggest threat, it is naturally impossible for Su Mu not to understand. He is even more aware of the situation of Chu country than the average Chu people. This royal fire sect is just a second-rate sect. What Shintu and Venerable Bai Yang were afraid of was the state of Chu. However, in order to save face, he called Yuhua sect a major sect, so as to reduce the grievances in the hearts of the demons. The backbones of Fuxing Club such as Menli and Leng Sha are not stupid. Hearing this, I immediately understood the plans of those high-level officials of Wanyao Palace. This made their faces a bit ugly. A second-rate sect has made Wanyao Palace so backward, and even sent a potential disciple to pay for his sins. This kind of behavior is really heartbreaking. There is no hope of rescuing Xiao Hu if there is no martial arts expert, but it is still a bit difficult for a half-step martial arts master. A monster with a beautiful upper body and a spider on the lower body spoke from the side. This spider spirit, named Zhu Zhu, is the second batch of little demons to join the Fuxing society. It is extremely loyal to Su Mu, and even regards him as a belief. Zhu Zhu has a good talent, and has cultivated to the middle stage of the master, and is one of the backbone members of the Fuxing society. And she is very good at formation, is a master of this way. She arranged the big formation outside Su Mu's house. Hearing this, Su Mu said calmly. Let me handle the half-step martial god's warrior. Hearing this, Menli, Leng Sha and other demons were stunned at first, and then overjoyed. Master, has your realm broken through? Asked coldly excitedly. What Su Mu means is that he can deal with the half-step martial artist. This makes cold killing how not to get excited. Su Mu shook his head slightly. It's still a long way from the master's consummation, but I have some insight into the magical powers, and the combat power has improved a lot. To deal with an aging half-step martial god, you can be sure. In this life, Su Mu's cultivation path has been extremely solid. The self-created dragon transformation art is extremely exquisite. The demon power and chi and blood crushed the demon clan of the same realm, and have mastered a variety of powerful supernatural powers. Taken together, the combat power is amazing. Therefore, in the previous confrontation, Su Mu was not afraid of the Black Panther Jing Shen Tu at all. Because he has the confidence to fight against it. In this world, strength is the source of all confidence. In addition to the suzerain of a half-step martial god, Yuhua sect also has several guardians of the late masters. If we go to war head-on, the situation will be very bad for us. After all, it is in the territory of Chu state, and it will be difficult to get away with a little delay. So, we have to rescue Xiao Hu as quietly as possible and fight less. Fighting against the sect master of Yuhua sect is the worst case. Once this happens, you should leave as soon as possible, and I will help you to delay for a while. As for how I go, you don't have to worry about it, I have my way. 
Also, you. Afterwards, Su Mu discussed various details of the rescue plan with Menli, Leng Sha, and other backbones of the Fuxing society. Strive to be foolproof. After discussing it, they made their own preparations. Ten days passed in the blink of an eye. On this day, the Ten Thousand Demons Palace sent several great masters and demons to Luo Hu to the state of Chu to apologize to Yuhua sect. Perhaps he didn't expect Su Mu to be so bold, whether Shintu and Venerable Ares didn't pay too much attention to him after the matter was settled. Su Mu and the other backbones of the Fuxing society smoothly and quietly left Wanyao Palace and followed behind the team. Before that, Wanyao Palace had already discussed this matter with Yuhua sect, and everything was going according to the scheduled itinerary. The two sides handed over at the border of the Qin Chu Mountains, and the tiger demon Luo who was sent to the hands of the people of the fire control sect. At the same time, Wanyao Palace also presented a box of treasures as compensation. After offering this, the leader of the team even made a humble apology, a gesture that made the secret cold eliminate feel contemptible. The people of Yuhua Zone accepted the apology and indemnity arrogantly, and escorted the tiger demon into the state of Chu. At this point, the matter is over on the bright side, and the two sides are separated. I don't know if it's too careless or if I look down on Wanyao Palace. The team of the Imperial Fire sect actually has only one middle stage Grandmaster leader. This situation made Su Mu immediately change his mind. The team will pass through the bustling city of Chu State. As long as the team has a little strength, Su Mu can't move them, otherwise it will attract the attention of the Chu army. In contrast, most sects can only be established in relatively remote places. Because the royal family of Chu Kingdom is the real master of this country the prosperous land is their territory. Needless to say, the second-rate sect of Yuhua sect is naturally located in a remote location. So the sect is relatively easy to start with. According to Su Mu's original plan, after escorting the team back to Yuhua sect, he slowly figured out the situation, and finally managed to rescue Luo Hu, the tiger demon. But now, this team is so weak. Su Mu was sure to eliminate them without disturbing anyone. He decided to give it a try. 202. Chu State and Danyang City. The group of Yuhua sect led the tiger demon into a mansion. Although most of the sects are located in remote areas, they still have the ability to buy some industries in the city. This mansion is the property of the fire-fighting sect. I finally came to the city once. The old man wants to go out for a walk. Is there anyone with me? After dealing with the matter at hand, the grandmaster of the fire control sect couldn't bear to be lonely anymore. This person's name is Chin Jiang. He is not young, but he is old and not old. Now that I have the opportunity, I want to go out and play. Seeing my own elder say so, the other disciples were also moved. Soon, Chin Jiang went out with a dozen disciples, and only three remained to guard. These people from the fire control sect have no sense of crisis, and they never thought that someone would attack them in the city. After the elder Chin Jiang left, the remaining three were bored and wanted to have some fun. Senior brother, shall we go play with that tiger demon? Hey, that's exactly what I meant. That tiger demon has the blood of our fire-fighting sect disciple in its hands, how can it be allowed to die happily? It must be told that it can't survive without dying. Let's go. This monster is not far from the Grandmaster realm, it must be quite refreshing to be tortured. The three disciples of the fire control sect sneered a few times and walked together into the underground secret room where Luo who was being held. I saw that the tiger demon's limbs were firmly locked by four iron chains, the body of the demon hanging in the air was full of wounds, and blood was dripping down continuously. Apparently he had been beaten and tortured before. The most terrible thing is that Luo whose demon body has seven bone-penetrating black nails nailed, which locks the demon energy in its body. In this way, it has no room for resistance, and can only be manipulated by others. But even so, Luo Hu is still fierce. Roar. After the three disciples of the fire control sect walked in, it roared violently, and its bloodshot eyes were full of killing intent. The sudden roar startled the three. After being frightened, the leading senior brother couldn't help but get angry, and punched Luo Hu in the face, 
causing him to vomit blood. Damn beast, what is it called? Do you want to scare your grandfather to death? You sick cat is so brave. How dare you yell at us without even looking at your own condition. Don't talk to it too much, today I will let this tiger demon know how to write the words, life is better than death. After scolding a few times, the three disciples of the fire control sect plan to torture Luo Hu. Among the three, the strongest one is in the innate realm, and the other two are in the acquired realm. If they were to fight head on, three people tied together would not be enough to eliminate. But now, Luo Hu was easily escorted by his parents to the other party's hands. To meet its end, it seems that there is only a painful death in endless torture. Thinking of this, Luo Hu's heart seemed to have a fire burning. But it doesn't regret it. Luo Hu stared at the three disciples of the fire control sect, as if to write down their appearance. One day. One day my demon clan will rise again under the leadership of the saint teacher. You will definitely pay the price for what you did today. Hearing this, the three who just wanted to continue torturing Luo Wu stopped. The man in the lead laughed disdainfully at it. The rise of the demon clan. Ha ha ha. What spring and autumn dream are you doing? How can you beasts be compared with my human race? It's merciful enough to not destroy you all. And what kind of saint teacher, what character can your demon clan produce? Give up. With that said, the man took out an iron block with the word slave engraved on it, and gave Luo Hu a pitiful smile. You and other monsters are only worthy of being slaves to our human race. As he spoke, he opened his mouth and spit, and a fiery flame gushed out, burning the iron block red. Senior brother, stop talking nonsense with it, brand it. Bullying this kind of monster that is stronger than themselves makes them very satisfied, as if they can surpass the tiger monster. Hearing the words, the fire-fighting sect disciple raised the soldering iron and stretched it out towards Luo Hu with a grin. Facing the coming torture, Luo Hu Hu looked at them with anger. That momentum is extremely terrifying. If it weren't for the fact that its body was locked and its demonic energy was sealed, these fire-fighting sects would have been a little scared. But now, Luo Hu could only watch this cruel thing happen to him. Who knows the next moment, Luo Hu's expression suddenly changed. It was stunned for a moment, as if he couldn't believe his eyes. But soon after confirming that he had no dizziness, his whole body trembled with excitement, and hot tears flowed from his eyes. Holy! Holy teacher! In the hearts of the younger demons of the Fuxing society, there is only one person who can be called the saint teacher of the demon clan. That's Su Mu. What? Luo Hu's change greatly changed the expressions of the three fire-fighting sect disciples. They turned around abruptly, and then stayed on the spot, looking extremely terrified. The rock above this underground secret room was corroded unknowingly, turning into a grey-green gas and wafting into the air. Outside the secret room, several terrifying monsters were looking down at them, as if they were looking at the slaughtered chicken. A black giant snake with a body thicker than an elephant and scales like a steel shield. A terrifying wolf monster with a strong body, scars all over its body, and a ferocious look. Eight spider legs hang upside down on the spider web, a spider spirit with a strange beauty. There is also a mysterious fox demon with a small size, but all kinds of illusions around him are constantly on and off. Behind these four big demons, there are many demon clans with slightly inferior cultivation, and all of them are grandmaster realm demons. So many big demons of different shapes all looked coldly at the three disciples of the fire control sect. The terrifying demonic energy drowned them like an ocean. Ah ah ah. Help, come and help. After coming back to his senses, a disciple of the fire control sect with a slightly poor mind was so frightened that he shouted indiscriminately, and almost didn't pass out. The other person leaned against the corner with trembling all over, looking at the many big monsters in front of him with despair, his face was bloodless. The two of them are only warriors of the Hotian realm, how can they resist the aura of several grandmasters and demons? It's not bad to pass out without being directly frightened. Only the disciple of the innate realm, Yuhua sect, took out a communication talisman immediately after reacting, and threw it into the sky after activation. 
but as soon as this aura flew out of the underground secret room, it suddenly went out. Obviously, this mansion has been blocked by the formation. No movement can get out. After discovering this situation, the disciple of Yuhua sect, who had a cruel face before, was full of despair, and drew his sword and stabbed him in the heart. But a poisonous smoke arrow shot instantly, corroding the sharp sword in his hand into a pool of green water. This person is also decisive. Seeing that the situation is not right, he wants to commit. It is better to walk peacefully. But if Su Mu wanted to eliminate these three people directly, they didn't even have time to react, so how could they have the chance to commit? The people of the Yuhua sect tortured the little demons under his command like this, and Su Mu naturally wanted to treat him with his own way. Want to die happily? Dream. Zhu Zhu, these three people will be handed over to you. Let them experience ten times the pain of Xiaohu. Su Mu coldly issued an order. Yes. Zhu Zhu agreed, with a demonic smile on her face, she waved several threads of spider silk to entangle the three, and then pulled them onto the spider web. Do not. At the last moment, the disciple of Yuhua sect in the Xientian realm let out an incomparably shrill and desperate scream. After that, the spider silk was entangled layer by layer, causing him to lose control of his body, and even screaming became an extravagant hope. The next thing to greet them is the punishment of purgatory. After dealing with the three people, Su Mu came to Luo Hu and personally untied the chains and black nails on his body and set him free. Suffering Su Mu supported Luo Hu with the tail of a snake and said solemnly. Saint Teacher This situation made Luo Hu so excited that he could hardly speak. It knelt down on the ground, tears streaming from its eyes. This fierce tiger demon has never shed as many tears in this life as it does today. But these are not tears of sorrow. But it contains tears of excitement, joy, and moving. At this moment, Luo Hu knew that his choice was right, and his firm ideal was also right. This is the existence that can lead the demon clan to rise. It's alright, my Fuxing society will never abandon any of its companions. While Su Mu comforted Luo Hu, he fed him the healing medicine he had prepared. At the same time, the wolf demon cold eliminated and found the box of treasures sent by the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. Master, look at these things. Leng Sha gritted his teeth, obviously extremely angry. Su Mu took a closer look and found that the treasures in this box as compensation are all good things. The box is divided into three compartments. Thirty bottles of medicinal pills are neatly stacked in the first grid, which is a great blood coagulation pill that is of great benefit to the master realm. This kind of medicine pill is very precious, it can help the masters and strong masters to condense blood energy, demon power, astral energy and even spiritual energy. Generally, they are willing to take it when they encounter bottlenecks or breakthroughs, and use the medicinal power to break through. On the second grid is a large piece of mysterious iron. This is a precious metal that can be used to create high-level magic weapons, and its value is slightly higher than the 30 bottles of blood coagulation pills. In the last box is an ancient animal skin book, which seems to be an isolated copy of some ancient practice. The text above is extremely mysterious, and Su Mu cannot understand it. But thinking about it, it must be extremely precious, and its value will not be weaker than the other two grids. I applied for the Great Blood Coagulation pill before, and I wanted to use this pill to break through to the later stage of the Grandmaster, but it was rejected. You said that the Blood Coagulation pill is a little nervous, you need to wait a little longer. It turned out to be reserved for this time. Leng Sha said with gritted teeth, the anger and dissatisfaction in his heart had already climbed to the peak. The original intention of the Wanyao Palace was to lay out a cultivation road for thousands of demon clans and revitalize the entire demon clan. But after so many years of development, the original intention of Wanyao Palace has changed. He even went the opposite direction and began to sell the interests of the demon clan. In this regard, Su Mu was very calm, but was a little surprised by the generosity of Wanyao Palace. Just a second-rate sect, what about it? This is too cowardly. Although Su Mu was a demon in this life and created the current situation, he has become a holy teacher admired by countless little demons. 
But his vision has always been in a higher dimension, looking at all kinds of things in the world from a top-down perspective. Whether it is a human race or a demon race. In the coming catastrophe, everyone will be hit hard. All Su Mu did was just based on his identity as a monster, and chose a path that was most suitable for his own development. From the heart, he is not biased towards the demon race or the human race. After all, he has been a human, a demon, and a ghost. But the situation in this dungeon world decided that Su Mu had to stand on the side of the demon clan. The argument doesn't matter. This is enough for his demon clan. Su Mu accepted the box and instructed Leng Sha and Meng Li. I'll keep these things first, and prepare to ambush and eliminate the other members of the fire fighting sect. Remember, don't make any noise. This is the state of Chu. Understood, disciple will make arrangements now. Leng Sha put away his anger, and after agreeing, took the other demons to prepare. This time, Su Mu brought out most of the elites of the Fuxing society. More than a dozen early masters and mid-stage digital masters whose combat power surpassed those of the same rank. And Su Mu and Meng Li, the two great monsters in the later stages of the Grand Master. This time, what Su Mu planned was not just this ordinary fire-fighting sect team. He has already set his sights on the Imperial Fire Sect. In this regard, the dozen or so disciples who were eating, drinking, and having fun in the fire sect didn't know anything about it. Qianxiang restaurant in Danyang City is very good. Especially the dragon and phoenix that is auspicious, not only delicious, but also replenishing essence and transforming qi, which is of great benefit to cultivation. Qianxiang was a little drunk and slapped his lips with a look of memory. This elder is like this, not to mention other disciples. Everyone was drunk and walked to the mansion swayingly. He even packed some food and brought it to the three left behind. In the evening, this mansion was gloomy and inexplicably cold. But Chen Jiang and others didn't notice it, and still staggered through the door and walked in. In fact, even if they weren't drunk, they still couldn't avoid this disaster. This is the calamity of death. Wait. After walking a dozen or so steps into the mansion, Chen Jiang finally realized something was wrong. He stopped suddenly and looked around vigilantly. But there was no response from behind. Chen Jiang was startled, and hurriedly looked back. But at this time, where is there anyone behind him? The dozen or so disciples have all disappeared. As if wiped from the world by a mysterious force. What happened? Chen Jiang was shocked, and he woke up most of the time. But in the next second, a nearly transparent cobweb shrouded him. After sensing the crisis, the elder of the middle stage Grandmaster Yuhua Sek took out a sword, and with a flick of his hand, the blade left and ignited a raging flame. Where is the evildoer at work? Taste this old man's flaming knife. Chen Jiang shouted loudly, swung his sword into flames, and cut through the cobweb with difficulty. He acted like this, on the one hand, to give himself a boost, on the other hand, he wanted to make a big noise. But after Chen Jiang took action, a large formation immediately rose up around the mansion, isolating all movement. This kind of isolation formation is very common, and many houses and mansions have it. Appearing at this moment is not abrupt, and will not attract the attention of the surrounding neighbors. But this isolation formation is extraordinary, even the aftermath of the Grand Master's battle can be blocked as much as possible. As a result, Chen Zhang's plan also came to nothing. This situation caused Chen Zhang's complexion to change greatly. The enemy's preparations have already shown his determination and confidence to eliminate him. At the time of life and death crisis, he burst out with all his potential. If you want to eliminate this old man, you are still early. How could I fall here? Chen Jiang roared, and purple flames ignited all over his body, turning into a ray of light and rushing out of the formation. But the next moment, a dozen cobwebs flew from all directions, blocking all his escape routes. And the cobweb that was split by a knife just now has healed again, eliminate him. These cobwebs not only contain powerful demon power, but also a power of formation. More than a dozen spider webs are arranged all over the sky, seemingly chaotic and disorderly, but in fact, they match the way of the formation. The breath is connected, it is extremely difficult to deal with. 
Unless all the cobwebs are broken in an instant, as long as the magic power of Zhuzhu hiding in the dark is not exhausted, the cobwebs can continue to recover. What's even worse is that when the spider web was strangling, a ferocious wolf monster came out from the shadows. The blood smelling demonic aura made Qin Jiang shudder. How dare you do this? Aren't you afraid of being exterminated? At this moment, Chen Zhang's face was pale, and he knew that he might not be able to escape today. He never imagined that the Ten Thousand Demon Palace, which has always been submissive, would turn his face, and would dare to assassinate them directly in the city. Such a radical behavior style is completely different from before. Otherwise, Chen Jiang would not be defenseless. The elder of the fire control sect would never know that even though the big demons like Leng Sha and Zhu Zhu came from the Ten Thousand Demon Palace, they had already taken a completely different path under the leadership of Su Mu. As soon as they walked into this mansion, the ordinary disciples behind were silently assassinated by Zhu Zhu using cobwebs. With the remaining elders in the middle stage of the Grand Master, it is impossible to escape the killing formation arranged by their digital giants. During the whole process, Sumu didn't make any move, just watched silently from the side. Although he knew that he would basically die, Chen Jiang was still unwilling. Violet flames poured out of his body, and the blazing sword light swept across the four directions, trying to find a way out. But Chen Jiang's strength can only be described as unremarkable. His martial arts are very fancy, but his combat power is just that. In a head-to-head -head fight, one cold eliminate is enough to defeat him, but there is a chance that he will escape. But now, not only did the demons arrange the ultimate move of the formation, but Zhu Zhu and a dozen other powerful demons were also there to assist. Even if Qin Jiang breaks through to the late stage of the master, he may not be able to escape. This is still under the premise that Su Mu does not take action. What? Soon, a scream came from the sky. A charred corpse with flames fell to the ground, beyond recognition. At the last moment, Chen Jiang did not hesitate to burn blood essence and use a powerful supernatural power. The surging purple gold flame gushed out from his body, burned through all the spider webs, and barely broke the first layer of the great formation. But after colliding with cold eliminate, Chen Jiang was unable to control those purple gold flames due to his declining strength. The purple gold flame then ran wild and began to devour the master. In the end, Chen Jiang burned himself to death. Good job. When the battle was over, Su Mu praised with satisfaction. These demon clans under his command have gradually grown up and are qualified to stand on their own. Hey hey. Facing Su Mu's praise, the always cold wolf demon scratched his head a little embarrassedly, his eyes full of joy. Like a child who was rewarded by an elder. To be recognized by Su Mu is more important than anything else. Not only the cold killing, but the other demons also showed joy on their faces, and their hearts were full of fighting spirit. A compliment from Su Mu is worth more than a thousand gold in their eyes. Let's divide these big blood coagulation pills. Su Mu didn't just praise her verbally. He took out the thirty bottles of blood coagulation pills and distributed them to the demon clan under his command. Besides Su Mu, there are thirteen demon clans working with him this time. After a demon got two bottles, he still had four bottles left. But Su Mu didn't forget Luo Hu. He gave one of the bottles to the tiger demon who had suffered a lot, and it made him extremely pleasantly surprised. The Great Blood Coagulation Pill is an elixir used in the Grandmaster Realm, and it is very precious. Luo Hu, as the target of this rescue, was not strong enough, so he didn't have a blood coagulation pill to take. But considering the sacrifices it made before, Su Mu must score a bottle for it. Cultivation well, and strive to break through to the Master Realm as soon as possible, and be qualified to use the blood coagulation pill. After delivering the elixir to Luo Hu, Su Mu patted it on the shoulder to show her encouragement. This made Luo Hu tremble with excitement he wanted to say something to express his emotion and loyalty in his heart. But when he was too excited, the tiger demon's mouth trembled and he couldn't say a word. Seeing this, Su Mu smiled and said nothing. He was afraid that if he said a few more words, this simple tiger demon would be excited for a long time. After distributing the medicinal herbs, Su Mu's expression turned solemn, 
and solemnly said to the demons. A second-rate sect of Yuhua sect dares to oppress my demon clan like this. If it goes on like this, how can the demon clan rise up? It's time for the world to see the fangs of my demon clan again. It's time to unleash the blood that my demon clan should have. Repair on the spot for three days, and after three days, join me in killing the Yuhua sect and destroy them. I want to tell the world, the demon clan, don't be deceived. Hearing Su Mu's words, all the demons present flushed with excitement and their blood boiled. They have been oppressed and backed down for too long. It's been so long that I forgot what the smell of blood smells like. Now, Su Mu will take them with him to regain the blood of the demon race. 203. The genius remembers the address of this site in one second, Luachio Chinese HTTPS colon slash slash the fastest update. No ads. No one could have imagined that there would be a group of big monsters lurking in the city of Chu Kingdom for three days. Although it was only three days, but after taking the blood coagulation pill, the strength of all the monsters increased a little. Among them, Su Mu and Cold Eliminate also broke through. Both of them have cultivated to a natural level, and with the help of spirit pills, they easily broke through. Su Mu advanced to Grand Master Consummation, and Cold Eliminate advanced to the late Grand Master. They all have bright futures. At the same time, it also adds a bit of confidence for the next battle. As soon as the third day arrived, Su Mu immediately took action. He led the demon clan under him to eliminate the Yuhua sect. Now countries are fighting frequently and annexing each other. As one of the most powerful countries in the country, Chu State is heavily guarded everywhere and is in a state of national martial law. Fortunately, Munli is very good at illusion, and even a grandmaster cannot easily see through her magical powers. With the help of Mengli, Su Mu and his group of big demons turned into human beings and traveled through the territory of Chu State. Seven days later, Su Mu Isin finally came to the side of Yuhua sect. This second-class sect is located near a small town, built on a high mountain, with few people around. Cold Eliminate, you go to investigate the defense of Yuhua sect. Beads, get ready to set up the formation, and try to keep the movement to a minimum after the battle begins. Munli, you. After reaching the destination, Su Mu began to give orders. He sent out all the monsters under his hands and prepared various matters before the war. This is the destruction of a sect. Even a second-rate sect is not so easy. What's more, this place is located in the hinterland of Chu State, and if you are not careful, you will be left behind. Therefore, Su Mu must plan well. Under his command, all the demons under his command got busy. A day later, all the information was gathered into Su Mu's hands. After thinking for a moment, he came up with a simple but effective plan. Tuck tuck tuck. Tuck tuck tuck. Late that night, there was a knock on the door of the great elder of the fire sect. Who? In the middle of the night, what's the matter with the old man? The sullen voice of the elder came from the house, and the hurried knock on the door made him a little annoyed who was still sleeping just now. Elder, the big thing is bad. The ten thousand demon palace pretended to apologize, but secretly attacked Elder Chen and his party. Elder Chen Jiang died tragically at the hands of the demon clan. What? Hearing the voice outside the door, the great elder of the fire control sect woke up instantly. He jumped up from the bed, came to the door with a swoosh, opened it and looked outside, while asking eagerly. How can the ten thousand demon palace be so courageous? These monsters are not afraid of my big Chu. Wait. Your breath is not right, who are you? Standing outside the door was a handsome and handsome man, but there was something wrong with his breath. As a powerhouse in the late stage of the master, the great elder of Yuhua Zong had insight into the difference. But that stun skill was enough for Su Mu. Boom. With a muffled sound, the originally handsome man suddenly exploded and turned into a black giant snake. A red blood glow spewed out from the mouth of the giant snake, covering the entire body of the great fire fighting sect elder like a waterfall from top to bottom. At the same time, hundreds of shield sized snake scales fluttered and spun, strangling away from the fire controlling elders from all directions. Not only that, but behind Su Mu, 
several great monsters popped up, all of them exerting their strongest magical powers, and exerting their strength to one point. Boom boom boom. A violent roar sounded, and the rich demonic energy splashed wildly. The place where the great elder of the royal fire sect is located has been razed to the ground. The house behind him disappeared and became a big pit. And the elder of Yuhua sect himself was also bombarded into a broken corpse. In addition to the suzerain, the strongest person in the royal fire sect is this great elder. In the later stage of the master's cultivation, except for Su Mu and Mengli, the other big monsters are not his opponents one on one. Su Mu's plan was simple. The first step is to let Zhu Zhu quietly break through the defense formation of the fire fighting sect, and destroy the elder first, greatly weakening the top combat power of the fire fire sect. The plan was a success. This great elder did not expect this fatal crisis at all, and died instantly under the siege of several great demons. This movement naturally attracted the attention of other disciples of Yuhua sect. What's going on? Has something happened? Someone invaded, hurry up and assemble. There is something wrong with the elder, go and call the sect master. The entire imperial fire sect was restless. But Su Mu was in no hurry, and instructed the big demon under his command. The sect master of Yuhua sect will be handed over to me, and the other elders of the Grand Master Realm will be handed over to you. Remember, it's enough to eliminate the high rise, it must be fast. Yes. The demons agreed in unison, and then acted together. Su Mu didn't think about killing all the disciples of Yuhua sect, they didn't have so much time. As long as the high level is destroyed, the sect is considered dead. There is no need to go to great lengths to eliminate those ordinary disciples with low strength. After separating from the demons under his command, Su Mu revealed his true form and flew to the position of the sect master of Yuhua sect. Now, Su Mu's demon body has grown to 200 meters long, with black energy billowing and demon energy surging all over his body. The appearance of that wild beast is extremely terrifying. Some of the disciples who were going to go to the sect master to report the incident saw such an amazing monster eliminate them, and they turned around and ran away in fright. Although the half-step martial god is not a real martial god, there is still a difference in the grandmaster state. The aura unique to his own small world made it easy for Su Mu to know where the sect master of Yuhua sect was. Of course, this was because he did not restrain his breath, Otherwise Su Mu would not be so easy to lock the sect master of Yuhua sect. But it doesn't make sense to say that at this point. Halfway through the flight, poisonous mist overflowed from Su Mu's body, condensed into a huge poisonous arrow and shot at the house where the sect master of Yuhua sect was. Outside this sovereign's bedroom, there is a well-defensive formation. But Su Mu's poisonous arrow seems to corrode everything. After an arrow was hit, the formation made a shishi sound, and after the aura flashed, it gradually dimmed, and the spiritual energy continued to escape. In this life, Su Mu has polished several of his own magical powers, making the power soar. If this goes on, at most three breaths of time, this formation will collapse. But before the formation collapsed completely, a red figure was eliminated. A flame of fire spewed out of him, burning the poisonous arrow to nothing. Then, the figure broke through the remaining poisonous mist and flew out. This is an old man with white hair and beard, but he is imposing and his eyes are piercing. The red-gold flames lingering around him made him even more mighty and extraordinary like of war. Needless to say, this person is the suzerain of the Yuhua sect, Jiang Kuan, who has the strength of a half-step martial god. The strong appearance of the sect master made the disciples of the fire control sect excited. The elders of the Grand Master Realm fought harder against the big monsters such as Leng Sha and Zhu Zhu. It seems victory is at hand. But Su Mu was keenly aware that this majestic old man had an aura of death on his body. This person's lifespan, I'm afraid not much. What happened next also verified Su Mu's conjecture. Jiang Kuan, the sect master of Yuhua sect, did not directly eliminate Su Mu, the invading evildoer, but instead scolded him sharply. Where are you from? You dare to invade my fire control sect. Aren't you afraid that the Chu will send troops and destroy the demon clan? Hearing this, Su Mu smiled. 
As a powerhouse in the half-step martial god realm, seeing the invasion of the demon clan and the killing of the great elder, the first reaction was to scold. That's pretty telling. Looking at Jiang Kuan's hair and beard, and his fierce eyes, he knew that he was not a good-tempered person. There was only one reason for not directly killing Su Mu. His strength is not as strong as it seems. Su Mu's hideous smile made Jiang Kuan's eyes twitch. But he still didn't make a move, and said coldly. The old man has fasted and cultivated himself recently, and is preparing to break through to the martial god realm, so he will not eliminate. It's good luck for you, now make amends and retreat, but spare you not to die. Hearing this, Su Mu laughed out loud. Ha ha ha. Break through to the martial god realm? Are you deceiving me as a fool? Not to mention that your body is filled with death energy, and your blood and blood begin to decline rapidly. It's more difficult to make up and break through to the martial god realm just from your broken little world, than it is to create a small world from scratch. If you have such talent, how can you get stuck in the realm of half-step martial god? After these remarks, Jiang Kuan's face changed greatly, and his body trembled uncontrollably. You. How do you know this? You are just a monster in the Grandmaster realm, how can you know about the martial god realm so clearly? Hearing this, Su Mu just smiled coldly and was too lazy to answer. Although Su Mu has not broken through to the martial god realm, he has not even condensed his own small world. But he has encountered many half-step Wushan or even Wushan realm demon clan. With the knowledge, combined with the knowledge learned in the 10,000 demon palace in this life, Su Mu has a clearer understanding of the martial god realm. Jiang Kuan didn't hide his breath, and his depth was easy to see. Although your realm is half a step higher than mine, you are already old, and your qi and blood have declined drastically. You are not my opponent at all. If you capture it without your hands, I'll let the rest of the fire-fighting sect go and let the fire-fighting sect continue. How about it? With just two words, Su Mu reversed the verbal situation and put Jiang Kuan into a very passive situation. It seems to give him a choice, but in fact it is a proposition. But the first time he heard this, Jiang Kuan couldn't help but feel a little moved, and even thought about the pros and cons in his heart. He is already old, and there is no further possibility. What he said just now was just deceiving Sumu. Not even a few years to live. When it came to Jiang Kuan's situation, the only thing he cared about was the younger generation. To be honest, he was really moved by Su Mu's condition. But in the next moment, Jiang Kuan immediately reacted. How can you trust the words of the demon clan? And he is not necessarily defeated. However, when Jiang Kuan thought of this, Su Mu had already made a bold move. He never thought that this half-step martial god realm powerhouse would be captured without his hands, even if his blood was weak and his strength was far from his peak, he would not be a waste to that level. The few words just now were just to distract Jiang Kuan and reduce his fighting spirit. With Su Mu's shot, hundreds of snake scales fluttered and spun, strangling away at Jiang Kuan incomparably fierce. At the same time, his giant tail swung and smashed towards Jiang Kuan. This flick of the tail is one of the magical powers created by Su Mu. It combines several sword techniques, leg techniques, and some other martial arts, and finally turned into this special snake martial arts. Combined with the power of Su Mu Gao Wan Jun, it has an incomparably terrifying power. The evildoer is despicable. Facts have proved that Su Mu's strategy has worked. Jiang Kuan, who was in a distracted state, was stunned for half a breath, and then he hurriedly condensed the fire into a knife and split the sharp snake scales apart. But missed the opportunity. And he could only split Su Mu's snake scales, but he couldn't. These hundreds of snake scales, which Su Mu has been refining for decades, are already comparable to the best magic weapons. Even Jiang Kuan, the half-step martial god, couldn't smash him with a single knife. Of course, it would not be defeated by Su Mu with one move. A long knife that was completely condensed from the spirit fire turned into a fire dragon in Jiang Kuan's hands, circling rapidly, drawing red awns, and seeing the snake scales repelled. Jiang Kuan's swordsmanship is very strong. Even if a hundred snake scales attack together, they can defend without leaking and with ease. But the next moment, a huge coercion hit. 
Jiang Kuen looked up and saw a snake tail that looked like a giant city hammer smashed towards him. The power contained in it condenses the surrounding air. How can this snake demon be so powerful? Jiang Kuen was secretly frightened, and he truly felt the danger of death. Although his strength has declined greatly, he has touched the mystery of the martial god realm after all. Ordinary Grandmaster Consummation is not necessarily his opponent, at least he cannot defeat him in a short time. Jiang Kuen thought very clearly. This is the state of Chu. As long as you delay for a while, none of these monsters can get away. But Jiang Kuen never thought that the strength of this snake monster was so powerful, far surpassing the warriors and monsters of the same rank. How can this be good? At the time of crisis, Jiang Kuen tried his best to wield a sword beam of a hundred feet, slashing at Su Mu's giant tail. With a loud bang, the blade shattered. Su Mu was also injured on the tail of the snake. But it's just some skin trauma, it didn't hurt the root at all. The next second, he smashed Jiang Kuen with a tail again, not giving him a chance to breathe. Where did the monster come from? Jiang Kuen complained in his heart, so he could only do his best to pick up Su Mu's ultimate move. In the usual battles, Su Mu will consciously use more magical powers. Because he has practiced martial arts for several generations, his martial arts attainments are extremely profound. Even if you are a demon in this world, you can easily master the melee martial arts of even your own demon clan. But Sumo, the magic power demon, is not very familiar with it, and wants to practice more often. But now this battle is different from the past and needs to be resolved as soon as possible. Therefore, Sumu used all his strength. For a time, the roar of the sky above Yuhuozong continued. The 200 meter long giant snake sometimes breathed, sometimes fought melee, and sometimes swirled its scales, constantly blasting out various ultimate moves. Defeating the old sect master of the royal fire sect, blood spurting out of his mouth. Sect master is defeated. Seeing this situation, the disciples and disciples of Yuhua sect were ashes in every face and howled in mourning. 100% of the fighting intent went to 70% to 80%, and some people even wanted to escape in the chaos. It's a pity that Zhu Zhu has already arranged the formation, which can not only isolate the movement in the fire control sect, but also prevent people from escaping. Those cowardly deserters have all become prey on the spider web. The demon clan is the exact opposite. After seeing Su Mu's powerful strength, the demons such as Ling Xiao were very excited, and they all showed their twelve points of combat power, beheading the elders of Yuhua sect one by one. So far, the outcome of this battle has been obvious. I'm going to capture it now, can you bypass Yuhua sect? Jiang Kuen was bleeding all over, and the flames around him also dimmed a lot. Hearing this, Su Mu sneered. Of course, as long as you can take another move from me. It's too late to say such words when you are defeated. After all, Su Mu's snake tail was condensed with a surging black demonic energy, which drew a desperate arc in the air and slapped Jiang Kuen heavily. This time, he was powerless to resist. The air around me was solidified like iron, and escaping became an extravagant hope. A muffled sound. Several defensive barriers on Jiang Kuen's body were instantly blown up. Exploding together, and his body. In the sky, a blood flower bloomed. Compared with Su Mu's huge monster body, it looks a little small, but it is extremely dazzling. The lord of the sect has fallen. The death of sect master Jiang Kuen heralded the end of this battle. It didn't take long for Mengli and Leng Sha to eliminate all the elders of Yuhua sect. At this point, there are no masters in the master realm of the Fire Fire sect. For a sect, this is no different from extinction. Even worse. Because the enemies of Yuhua sect in the past will come to the door, the remaining disciples are afraid that the death will not be so happy. All of these, don't care about Su Mu. Master, all the masters in the Grand Master Realm of Yuhua sect have been beheaded. We have no monster casualties here, at most only some minor injuries. Leng Sha reported the victory to Su Mu. Well done, let's withdraw. Su Mu had no ink marks, and immediately led the demons out of the place after destroying the fire control sect. Zhu Zhu's formation in Yuhua Zong did not withdraw. 
those disciples and disciples under the Grand Master could not break the formation to escape and publicize the matter. Su Mu estimated that after five or six days, or seven or eight days, someone would notice the strangeness of Yuhua sect. That is to say, they must escape from Chu State before that. Otherwise, the situation will be bad. When they came, Su Mu and his party spent seven days. But they didn't hurry at full speed, and they took the time to plan the best way to evacuate from Chu. After coming out of the Imperial Fire Sect, Su Mu led the demons on the path that had been planned before, and left Chu State as quickly as possible. It only took four days. Two days after they left, the strangeness of Yuhua sect attracted the attention of those who cared. Then, the demon clan annihilation incident was revealed. This incident caused an uproar in Chu, and countless people were shocked. Since the rise of the human race, the demon race has become worse day by day. In the past few hundred years, there have even been signs of becoming a vassal of the human race, and even the incidents of the monsters hurting people have become less and less. But this time, the demon clan actually went deep into the hinterland of Chu State and destroyed a sect. This reminds many people of the glorious era of Yaozu in ancient times. At that time, the human race shivered under the fierce power of the demon race, struggling to survive. When did the demon clan become so brave? Not only the Chu State was shaken, but also the monsters near the Chu State were shaken. Even more shocked. As the incident unfolded, many demon clans heard the details of the incident. The matter has to start with a few disciples of the Chu Kingdom's fire control sect. These disciples of the fire control sect entered the mountain range to oppress the disciples of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace, and they were eliminated. The senior officials of Wanyao Palace, as always, gave in softly, and sent their disciples to the Imperial Fire Sect of Chu State to apologize. This is obviously to let it die. With the life of this little demon, quell the anger of Yuhua Sect. This approach made many demon clans feel cold, but it was also in line with the usual behavior of Wanyao Palace. However, Wanyao Palace has a society called Fuxing Society, and the concept of Fuxing Society is completely opposite to that of the top management of Wanyao Palace. The little demon who was sent to Yuhua Sect to die is a member of the Fuxing Society. Next is the crux of the matter. The president of the Fuxing Society actually led the demons under his command into the Chu Kingdom for this little demon. After running for thousands of miles, he rescued the little demon, and took advantage of the situation to destroy Yuhua Sect. Under the intentional spread, the matter gradually fermented and spread within the demon clan at an alarming speed. In the past few decades, Su Mu has been sending out the little demons under his command, letting them practice outside, and at the same time spreading his thoughts and deeds. With the occurrence of this incident, Su Mu suddenly became popular among the demon clan some of the words he had said before were dug up and became the most reasonable words in the hearts of many demon clans. Such as cultivation for the rise of the demon clan, would rather die standing up than live kneeling and so on. Su Mu's influence in the demon clan is skyrocketing. More and more demon clans were inspired by the ideas of Fuxing society. There were even many demon clans who had been extremely disdainful of Wanyao Palace before, and wanted to join Su Mu and join the Fuxing society. The fire of a single spark has a trend of burning more and more prosperous. 204. While becoming the top stream of the demon clan, Su Mu has returned to the Ten Thousand Demon Palace with all the demons under his command. But just a few days after he returned, the Black Panther Jing Shintu came to the door. Shintu's face was black, but now his face was gloomy, and his appearance was even more frightening. It looked at Su Mu coldly and asked angrily. Did you infiltrate the state of Chu and destroy the Yuhua sect? Do you know how much trouble this will bring to the Ten Thousand Demon Palace? If you want to die, I can fulfill you, don't take Wanyao Palace with you. Tell me. Did you do this? Shintu's roaring voice spread throughout the east courtyard, and many little demons were alarmed and ran out to watch this scene. But what happened next, no one expected. With a loud bang, Su Mu suddenly revealed his original shape and burst the house. A huge coercion was exerted on Shintu's body. Its demon body was crushed, and at the same time it spit out blood. Nothing more than three things, don't chatter in front of me again. 
Otherwise, you will die. Su Mu's two blood-colored vertical boys showed cold killing intent, looking down at Shen Tu with contempt and disdain. This made Shen Tu angry and angry. It wanted to resist, but found that Su Mu's demon power was as powerful as a mountain, and it was out of breath. How is that possible? How can this guy be so much stronger than me? Under the enormous pressure, Shen Tu's demon body was pressed to the ground, his limbs trembling slightly. The injuries in the body are gradually getting worse. This made it humiliated to the extreme, and at the same time shocked by Su Mu's strength. If it was before, Su Mu would spend some time wrangling with this Black Panther. But now, he has cultivated to the consummation of the master, and Shintu of the same realm is not his opponent at all. As a result, Su Mu was too lazy to talk nonsense with it. Dare to ask? Then press directly. If you don't accept it, Su Mu really dares to eliminate it. Feeling the condensed killing intent on Su Mu's body, he thought that he even dared to provoke Chu. After a brief period of shock and anger, Shintu immediately scolded. I know, I won't bother you anymore. Shintu was lying on the ground and said in a humiliating manner that his resentment towards Su Mu had reached its peak. But it tried desperately to make its voice seem calm and not reveal the hatred in its heart. I was afraid that Su Mu would eliminate it if he noticed it. At this moment, Shintu had a strong sense of fear from Su Mu. This snake monster terrifies it. Get out. After Shintu finished speaking, Su Mu's big tail flicked and threw it away. After drawing an arc in the air, it slammed into the far flung west courtyard, and was extremely embarrassed. Su Mu smiled contemptuously, shrank the demon body, turned around and left. How could he not sense the resentment in Shintu's heart? But Su Mu was too lazy to answer. The last confrontation was the only chance for this Black Panther spirit. After that, the strength gap between the two of them will only get bigger and bigger. When we meet again next time, Su Mu will make Shen Tu dare not even have a trace of hatred. If it dares to have it, it will be met with death. This time, Shen Tu was completely disgraced and lost his prestige. And Su Mu's reputation in the Ten Thousand Demon Palace is getting stronger and stronger. I don't know how many little demons admired him to the extreme and regarded him as a lifelong idol. For the sake of the little demons under his command, he rushed into the state of Chu and destroyed the human clan. Such deeds could only be heard in the stories of the demon clan in the past. And now, it really happened. How many monsters are not shocked by what Su Mu has done? Not in reverence. It is no exaggeration to say that even the demon king of the martial god realm is far less prestigious than Su Mu. He's on the move. After the strength is in place, you can raise your arms and stir up the general trend of the monster clan. It's just that the four word strength in place are not easy to achieve. Su Mu's next core goal is to attack the martial god realm. After Shintu was blasted away, Su Mu went to Mengli's house for a few days. Looking at this big demon that she has followed for decades, Meng Li's eyes are very complicated. There is reverence, love, and worry. Brother Su, aren't you afraid that Chu State will deal with you by doing this? Even the high-level officials of Wanyao Palace may take action against you. After all, this is not the first time such a thing has happened. Hearing this, Su Mu explained. Don't worry. This time the matter is no trivial matter. If Wan Yao Palace wants to make peace, the price to pay is too high. Also, I'm not an ordinary little demon who lets them handle it. The high-level officials of Wan Yao Palace will choose to deny this matter. After all, there is no substantial evidence from Chu State. As for Chu, don't worry. Zhao and Chu have been in constant friction in recent years, and war may break out at any time, and they have no energy to deal with us. Su Mu acted recklessly but that was because he had absolute power. Dear, this chapter is not over, and there is another page zero. Infiltrating the Chu state to destroy the sect this time is not a hothead, but Su Mu has carefully considered. First of all, there was constant friction between Chu and Zhao, and war would break out at any time. In this case, Chu state would not allocate too much power to attack Qin Chu mountain range and 10,000 demon palace, otherwise Zhao state would seize the opportunity. 
On the Wanyao Palace side, things are too turbulent to be settled. You can only bite the bullet and deny it, and there will be no case of sending Su Mu out to take the blame. What's more, Su Mu is already a great demon with a complete master, and his reputation is terrifying. If he was sent to the crime, the 10,000 Demon Palace would collapse immediately. That is to say, neither Chu State nor 10,000 Demon Palace will come to Su Mu to settle accounts for the time being. The benefits of entering the Chu Mie sect are obvious. Su Mu's reputation among the Demon Clan, especially the Demon Clan near Chu State, has reached its peak. As long as the strength is in place in the future, what you want to do will definitely be answered. After listening to Su Mu's analysis, the little fox demon Mengli felt a lot more at ease, she asked. So, are we safe? Su Mu first nodded, but then shook his head slightly. It's safe for the time being, but if you want to gain real safety, you must improve your strength. I plan to retreat and attack the martial god realm. Hearing this, Mengli was shocked. Big Brother Su, you have just broken through to Grand Master Consummation, are you going to try to attack the martial god realm? If you fail to condense the small world, you will be stuck in a half-step Valkyrie, and you will be in an embarrassing situation. Severely, it will damage the blood and lifespan, or even die on the spot. Why don't you settle for a while? Su Mu said calmly. I've been preparing for this day for a long time. Every day in the past few decades, I would review in my mind and deduce how to condense my own small world. And it took a long time to consolidate the foundation, so that the condensed demon power fills every corner of the body, without any gaps. My accumulation is enough. The next thing to do is comprehension, and that little bit of luck. Mengli knew that Su Mu had always been prudent in her practice, she nodded slightly when she heard the words, and said nothing, she just gave a word of encouragement. Brother Su, you must do your best. If you take this step, you will have a vast sky. Su Mu smiled confidently and said. Don't worry, next time I see you, I will be the demon king of the martial god realm. You also have to work hard, strive to break through to grand master consummation as soon as possible, and make plans to attack the martial god realm. Um. Meng Li agreed. The two demons looked at each other and smiled, their eyes full of confidence and hope for the future. Breaking through the martial god realm is an extremely important matter. Before that, Su Mu spent a full month preparing, and the demons under his command also helped a lot. Find a spiritual retreat. Prepare the required medicinal herbs. Arrange a defensive formation to prevent someone from disturbing you at critical moments. There is also Fushin Club. Su Mu needs to formulate a development plan to ensure that he can still develop normally during his absence, at least not collapse. Waiting for things, all need to be arranged steadily, otherwise how can you retreat in peace? A month later, everything is ready. Su Mu said goodbye to all the monsters under his command in front of a waterfall not far from Wanyao Palace, and then shrank down and got into a cave behind the waterfall. This is a blessed land with abundant spiritual energy, originally occupied by a big golden toad monster. The strength of this golden toad can be imagined if it can divide a territory not far from the 10,000 Demon Palace. It has ancient alien blood, and has awakened several terrifying innate magical powers. It is difficult to find rivals for monsters and warriors of the same rank. And this Jin Chan is used to being arrogant, and his vicious name spreads. After Su Mu selected this treasure, the demons under his command thought there would be a fierce battle. Who knew that Jin Chan immediately gave up his place after hearing that the visitor was Su Mu, and admired Su Mu unceasingly. After talking for a while, I wished that I would bow to Su Mu's command on the spot and saddled the horses for him. This kind of tiger body shaking and accepting the younger brother happened to him, making Su Mu a little dumbfounded. But he knew that this was not a tiger body shock. But the prestige is high to a certain extent, and the ideas of the Fuxing society have a fatal attraction to many demon clans. There are a few more demons, don't you want the demon clan to rise? The thought, Strength, ability, and attitude revealed by Su Mu have convinced countless demon clans. Jin Chan's obeisance to the service is only a matter of course. Hearing that Su Mu was going to use his own territory to attack the martial god realm, 
the big demon Jin Chan didn't dare to disturb him, so he left after chatting with Su Mu for a while. Before leaving, the big demon Jin Chan left a sentence. When Su Mu achieves the martial god realm, it will definitely come back to help Su Mu saddle and cut through thorns. Seeing this, Lin Sha, Zhu Zhu and other demons were also deeply touched. The demons secretly decided in their hearts that they must properly manage the Fuxing society before Su Mu returns, and work hard to improve their own cultivation. After everyone leaves, Su Mu can finally start. Dear, this chapter is not over, there is another page zero your own retreat journey. The goal of this retreat is to shape one's own small world and impact the martial god realm. Su Mu entrenched his body, mobilized all the demon power in his body, and began to realize an epiphany. In fact, whether it is a human race or a monster race, it is a small world itself. But this small world is too weak. The process of cultivation is to continuously expand this humble little world of oneself. First forge the body, then gather qi, and then condense to obtain higher quality astral qi, demon qi, or reiki. These are the three major realms of cultivators, the five realms of body refinement, innate and acquired, and master. By the time the grand master is consummated, the condensed demon energy fills the whole body, and from the perspective of quantity, there is no room for improvement. At this time, it is necessary to reshape the original small world and cast it into a real small world. This is the profound meaning of the martial god realm. After retreating, Su Mu mobilized the whole body of demon power to wash his body side by side, trying to sense the original small world. Only by perceiving the original small world can we reshape it and create a new world. This is an extremely long process, and it is often after trying thousands of times that you can catch a little inspiration and shape a corner of your own small world. This feeling is a bit like a blind man touching an elephant. But its own small world is countless times more complicated. And it is very mysterious, invisible and formless. People who are not savvy enough will never be able to perceive the slightest bit in their lives, and they can only be stuck in the consummation of the Grand Master forever. Fortunately, Su Mu's comprehension is good, and after half a month, he finally perceives a corner of his own small world. It's a translucent snake scale. It is not real, but a stream of consciousness existence. This piece of snake scale is only the size of a mortal fingernail, but the lines are very clear, and there seems to be a mysterious rhyme between twists and turns. After sensing it, Su Mu's spirit was shocked, and he immediately mobilized his demon power to start reshaping this snake scale. Ho ho. Su Mu seemed to be able to hear the surging sound of rivers coming from his body. This is actually an illusion caused by the massive consumption of demon power and the rapid devotion of this void of snake scales. This small snake scale actually swallowed half of the demon power in Su Mu's body. This surprised him. However, after this, Su Mu has no new perception and has time to recover. Of course, even if he immediately perceives other parts of his own small world. Su Mu can also use the medicinal herbs prepared in advance to quickly replenish the magic power. A month of preparation is not a waste of time. In this way, Su Mu began a long retreat, reshaping his own small world step by step. Although this process is slow, it is progressing steadily, with almost no particularly long lags. This kind of comprehension is already considered the best. Su Mu has reincarnated and read books for several generations, and finally showed his value at this moment. After Su Mu retreated and practiced for half a year, the kingdom of Chu and the kingdom of Zhao really went to war. The scale of this battle is huge, and the total number of troops sent by both sides exceeds one million. After three years of fierce battles, the state of Chu defeated the state of Zhao with the weak defeating the strong. But just as the whole country was celebrating, Qin state took the opportunity to sneak attack on Chu state, and even went down to thirteen cities. Let the state of Chu be hit hard. But at this time, the state of Chu had been fighting for three years and was unable to fight again. In desperation, he could only choose to make peace, and after paying a small price, Qin Bing was finally allowed to withdraw. In the following years, dozens of battles took place, and many small countries died. 
In the past 100 years, more than 30 small countries have perished and been annexed by other big countries. The world has shown the trend of great unification. In such a world of great competition, all the powerful countries are gearing up to compete in the world and become the ultimate winner. Spring and winter come, and time flies. In a flash, ten years have passed. For the human race, a lot has happened in the past ten years. Zhao state declined slightly, and was on par with Chu state. Not to be outdone, Qin state has gained a lot of benefits in several battles, and it has the potential to overtake Xiao Chu. But for the demon clan, ten years is not too long. Compared with the human race, the demon race is less creative and slower to cultivate, but its lifespan is much longer. This is not a good thing for a race, which means that the update iteration is slower and cannot keep up with the progress of the human race. But for individuals, living longer is naturally good. In the past ten years, almost no traces have been left on the bodies of the big monsters such as Ling Sha, Zhu Zhu, and Meng Li. Except for Mengli's breakthrough to Grand Master Consummation, the other realms of the big demons did not move. The further back you go, the more difficult it will be to break through. A realm stuck for 10 or 20 years is normal for the demon clan. At this time, several key members of the Fuxing society were gathering together, their faces full of anger and sadness. After the master retreated, Shintu became more and more arrogant, suppressing my Fuxing club everywhere. Although we have also fought back, we are still at a disadvantage overall. That's all, but this time Shintu didn't know what to say, so that venerable Ares was determined to ban the Fuxing society. Today is the most limited time. Dear, this chapter is not over, there is another page zero it's a day later, what do you think? Leng Sha looked gloomy and looked at the other big demons. Hearing this, Zhu Zhu said helplessly. If the upper levels of Wanyao Palace deliberately suppress it, the Fuxing society can only be dissolved, but it can go underground. Hearing this, Leng Xiao's breath became heavy, and the wolf's face was full of killing intent. Going underground means that the development of Fuxing society will be stagnant, and the good situation will be ruined. I will not allow this to happen. Zhu Zhu moved the eight spider legs and said in anguish. What can we do if we don't agree? This is a giant monster in the martial god realm. It's a monster king outside, and we can't put it together enough to get it stuck between its teeth. If the face is torn apart now, the loss of the Fuxing society will be even greater. After listening, Leng Sha was a little unwilling, and seemed to want to say something. At this time, Meng Li spoke up. Go underground and go underground, as long as you can maintain your vitality. Don't forget, the key to the Fuxing society lies in Big Brother Su. As long as he can break through to the martial god realm, what if he loses some temporarily? When he returns, everything will be back on top. No. It is to ascend to a higher level. Mengli usually doesn't express her opinions, and she doesn't care about the specific affairs of Fuxing society. But she is Su Mu's close person, and her strength is the strongest outside Su Mu. Therefore, its status in the Fuxing society is higher than that of other big demons. After Mengli spoke, the other big demons stopped talking and nodded together to accept the decision. Seeing that the matter was settled, Mengli breathed a sigh of relief, and said with a look of longing. I don't know how Big Brother Su has been cultivating, and whether he has touched the mystery of the martial god realm. I miss him a bit. Pearl said. If it goes well, Master should break through to the martial god realm within twenty to thirty years, at least ten to twenty years to wait. The monsters are huge and have different races. It is much more difficult to shape your own small world than the human race. And the comprehension of the demon clan is relatively poor. That venerable Ares, it took more than eighty years to successfully break through from the master to the martial god realm. However, it did not retreat, but practiced normally every day. Converted into retreat time, at least fifty years. This is already a good talent. So even though Menli and Leng eliminate, they are very confident in Su Mu. But the expected closure time is also around thirty years. Only ten years have passed at this point, which means they will remain stable for another twenty years. You can't hand over a mess to Su Mu when he comes back. Just when the backbone of the Fuxing society, the big demon, 
was almost discussing, there was a sudden loud noise outside. Zhu Zhu's complexion changed, and she said bitterly. My formation was violently broken, it must be that black panther spirit. With that said, Munli, Zhu Zhu and other demons walked out together. As expected, Shintu broke through the formation outside the east courtyard, and respectfully welcomed Venerable Ares in. Why do you want to destroy my formation? Zhu Zhu said with a cold face and angrily. Your formation. This is the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. How dare you set up a formation in the East Court privately, why should you be blamed? When facing Zhu Zhu, Shintu's expression turned 180 degrees, and he questioned her with a little murderous intent. Hearing this, Zhu Zhu gritted her teeth, but was unable to refute anything. Okay, let's talk about the dissolution of the Fuxing Society. At this time, Venerable Ares came out and made a round. Over the years, Shintu and Menli, Leng Sha, Zhu Zhu, the backbone members of the Fuxing Society, have long been inseparable. But in the eyes of Venerable Ares, they are all disciples of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. Menli and the others are quite strong. As long as they don't engage in the Fuxing Society, they can become the backbone of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. For these backbones that can support the Ten Thousand Demon Palace, Venerable Ares is still willing to give a good face. Especially Menli, it can basically guess the bloodline and origin of this fox demon. If you don't need a big deal, you still have to get along with it. Humph. I'll spare you this time. Even if Venerable Ares rounds up the game, Shintu doesn't care about anything. After a cold snort, it raised its chin slightly, and said with a hint of pride in the cold. From today, the Fuxing Society is officially dissolved, and no more members can be recruited. Furthermore, the backbone demons above the Grandmaster realm must live and cultivate separately, and must not have any contacts for thirty years. What? Cold killing them has decided to take a step back and disband the Fuxing Society on the bright side. Unexpectedly, Shintu actually added a condition temporarily, so that these backbone members must not have any contacts for thirty years. As a result, Lang Eliminate and Meng Li cannot communicate with each other. Go underground and lose the upper management. The revival society will be completely destroyed. Moreover, even if you don't want to maintain the Fuxing society, this. Dear, this chapter is not over, and there is another page zero it's too much to ask. There are hundreds of great monsters in the Grand Master Realm of Fuxing Society. The Ten Thousand Demons Palace is so big that it can't even meet each other, how is it going to live? Under extreme anger, he coldly eliminated and roared filial piety, staring at Shen Tu viciously. Shen Tu, don't go too far. Have you forgotten how embarrassed you were when you were hit by your master ten years ago? Aren't you afraid that master will come back to destroy you after breaking through to the martial god realm? Hearing this, Shen Tu was extremely angry. Don't mention that guy to me. Do you really think he can break through to the martial god realm? As soon as he broke through to Grand Master Consummation, he wanted to attack the martial god realm. This is obviously fake. It's his excuse to escape. Su Mu, this ignorant snake monster, annoyed the state of Chu. He just used this method to escape. You should take it seriously. Ridiculous. After being crushed and humiliated by Su Mu that day, Shen Tu felt that the sky was falling. Its dignity, its rights, its status. It was crushed by Su Mu. But before Shen Tu was depressed for a long time, he was pleasantly surprised to find that Su Mu was gone. After many inquiries, he heard that Su Mu had left the Ten Thousand Demons Palace and found a hidden place to retreat, preparing to break through the martial god realm. When he first heard the news, Shintu was extremely frightened and could not sleep all night. Once Su Mu entered the martial god realm, how could he have a good life? Whether you can save your life is a question mark. After many days of anxiety, Shintu couldn't take it anymore and asked to see Venerable Ares. Who knows, after listening to its narration, Venerable Ares laughed three times. Ha ha ha. What do you think of the martial god realm? After the old man practiced until the Grand Master was consummated, it took more than thirty years of accumulation before he began to try to touch the profound meaning of the martial god realm. Then it took more than eighty years of ascetic cultivation to finally reach this step. 
Even if the little snake demon has some talent, how could it be possible to attack the martial god just after breaking through to the master's consummation? I must be afraid of Chu, and I went out to avoid the limelight. Hearing these words, Shen Tu finally felt relieved. In the following years, Su Mu never appeared again, and Shen Tu gradually regained his former confidence. Without Su Mu's suppression, the power and status gradually returned to the hands of the Black Panther. The Fuxing society is on the rise again, and many conflicts have broken out in Shuangfang, and the troubles are getting bigger and bigger. However, the backbone of the Fuxing society has grown up now, and Shen Tu is unable to suppress Mengli and them by himself. So some time ago, this Black Panther spirit invited Venerable Ares and let the old man handle this time. Venerable Ares also felt that the Fuxing society had developed too much. If it goes on like this, I am afraid that the foundation of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace will be shaken. So also gave birth to the idea of disbanding the Fuxing society. Then came today's scene. Hearing that Shintu said that Su Mu left them behind and ran away, all the members of the Fuxing society sneered with disdain. Yen Kei knows the ambition of Hong Hu. In Shintu's eyes, it was impossible for Su Mu, who had just broken through to the perfect master, to immediately hit the martial god realm. But the great demons of the Fuxing society know very well that the sage masters they admire and worship have this talent and ability. Shintu originally wanted to see the panic and fear on the faces of the demons of Fuxing society. Unexpectedly, it was waiting for this kind of disdainful sneer. This made Shintu couldn't help but get annoyed. Stop talking nonsense. Hurry up and implement the two conditions I said, otherwise don't blame Deacon for being rude. Hearing this, the cold eliminate did not give in, and responded with a cold expression. It's okay to dissolve the Fuxing society, but the second rule doesn't work. Why can't the big monsters in the Grand Master realm of Fuxing society communicate with each other? What kind of rule is this? Shintu roared with a ferocious expression. This is my rule. Before the rise of Sumu, Shintu had the greatest power in the Ten Thousand Demon Palace, and basically what he said was what he said. After all, the elders and palace masters of the martial god realm don't care much. But with the rise of Su Mu, Shintu's status and power plummeted. The time he was crushed and humiliated by Su Mu ten years ago was even lower. Fortunately, after Su Mu left, Shintu gradually climbed back from the bottom of the valley. This time, it's going to take revenge even harder. Even if he can't get revenge on Su Mu, he has to get revenge on the big monsters under his command. Idiot your rules. Seeing that Shen Tu didn't intend to reason, Leng Sun immediately broke open and cursed. It crossed its arms and arms across its chest, and its expression was icy cold. It doesn't mean to cooperate at all. Shen Tu's second request was too much, and he had never mentioned it before, but it was suddenly added today. Idiot your rules. After the cold killing, the other big monsters in the Fuxing society also cursed one after another, without any intention of subduing. Seeing this, Shen Tu showed a strange sneer. No, right? Okay. Saying that, it turned to look at Venerable Ares, and said respectfully. Dear, this chapter is not over, and there is another page zero Elder Ares, these backbones of the Fuxing society are arrogant and unreasonable. I am afraid that there is already a rebellion, and the Elders are asked to suppress it quickly. If they cooperated directly in the cold killing, Shintu would feel a little unhappy. At this time, resistance is the best, and Venerable Ares can teach them a lesson. Hearing this, Venerable Ares raised his brows and looked at Leng Sha. It can be seen that the cold killing is an important high level in the Fuxing society, and it is a big thorn. Such an existence is suitable for killing chickens to warn monkeys and intimidating other members of the Fuxing society. Cold eliminate, right? You can take the old man's move, and the second rule will be removed. Not only that, the Fuxing society does not need to be dissolved. Would you like to? Venerable Ares looked at Leng Sha with a stern look, but it brought a huge pressure to the demons of Fuxing society. This is the demon king of the martial god realm. Even a light sentence seems to weigh a thousand pounds, and the person under pressure can't breathe. After Leng Eliminate heard this, a flash of determination flashed in his eyes. 
Seeing this, Menli and Zhu Zhu felt bad and immediately discouraged them. Don't go. You are only in the middle stage of the master, and the gap in strength is too great. You will die. Cold eliminate, calm down. The big deal is to wait for the master to come back and start all over again. But the cold eliminate did not change his mind. It ignored Menli and Zhu Zhu's dissuasion, and resolutely said to Venerable Ares. I do. After speaking, he coldly glanced at Menli and Zhu Zhu, and said solemnly. Master will rejuvenate the society in my hands when he leaves. I can't let him see a ruin when he comes back. After that, Leng Sha turned his head to look at Venerable Ares, took a deep breath and said calmly. Also ask the elders to enlighten me. Good. Have backbone. Venerable Ares looked at Leng Sha with some admiration, but he did not slow down. I saw the old Ares spit out a cloud of turbid air, drifting towards Leng Sha. This wisp of turbid air traveled like electricity, and instantly crossed the space to the front of Leng Sha. Eliminate. Leng Sha sensed the rich crisis, and swung his wolf claws with all his strength after shouting angrily. Several lines of extremely condensed and extremely sharp cold light shot out from the wolf's claws and slashed towards the turbid air. But this wispy turbid air seemed to be a solid object in the world. The cold killing supernatural power shattered immediately after touching it. It's like an egg hits a stone, and it doesn't last for a breath. In the next instant, this turbid air came to Ling Sha, and easily defeated the defensive barrier formed by its demonic power, and got into its body. Well. The turbid chi entered the body, and the always tenacious Leng Sha groaned, the blue veins on the neck and forehead burst out, and the cold sweat also flowed wildly. If it hadn't clenched its teeth, it would have screamed. In fact, to be able to just snort under this move, its shinching is already extremely terrifying. After that wisp of turbid air submerged, the body of the slaughtered and strong monster actually cracked inch by inch, and blood spurted out like a porcelain doll about to shatter. It was not only its body that was torn apart, but also the demon power within it. This feeling of being torn apart from the body to the demon power to the soul is extremely painful. Cold kills can't even make a move. This is the demon king of the martial god realm. With a magical power at hand, the cold killing will be completely defeated from the inside to the outside. Cold eliminate, the old man thinks that your practice is not easy and your talent is good. I would like to give you a chance to reform. If you go to the old man's door, you will write off your previous mistakes. But in the future, you must not have anything to do with Fushing Club, Su Mu and others. The performance of cold killing made Venerable Ares love talents. It has no hope of continuing to break through. Over the years, I have gradually had the idea of finding a direct disciple. Cold Eliminate is a good candidate. Hearing this, Shen Tu went mad with jealousy. Hate that the Chosen One is not it. But what Shen Tu did not expect was that the cold killing did not agree. I saw Ling Xiao froze in place and couldn't move, he tried his best to pull a sneer on his face, and said with difficulty. This, this life, do not kneel to heaven and earth, not to gods and Buddhas, but only to holy teachers. He, he is my master you do not deserve. As soon as these words came out, Venerable Ares, who had always looked like a good man on the surface, had a gloomy look on his face, and his expression became extremely terrifying. I don't eat and drink for a toast. Today, this old man is going to clean up the door. With that said, Venerable Ares disregarded the promise of a move and made another move. A grey on flew out from its fingertips and shot at Ling Sha. Do not. Although they didn't know what supernatural powers were, Menli and Zhu Zhu knew that the demon king of the martial god realm had eliminated them, and there was no way to survive cold killings. This makes their faces full of despair. Who dares to touch my people? At this critical moment, a long howl came from the distant horizon. Under the long roar, the clear sky was shattered by all the thousands of white clouds, and the grey light spots were also blocked. A huge black figure flew quickly, and at first glance it seemed to meander. Dear, this chapter is not over, there is another page zero the magical black dragon. Martial God Realm. 
Venerable Ares' expression froze, Yu Yu reading looked more solemn than ever. The visitor turned out to be a demon king of the martial god realm. It stops its magical powers from a long distance, and its strength is unfathomable. Just looking at that appearance, why does it vaguely resemble the snake demon named Su Mu? Could it be? Venerable Ares' heart beat violently a few times, thinking of an absurd possibility. Su Mu, have you achieved the martial god realm? 205. On the horizon, endless black demonic energy surging, replacing the original clouds, dyed the entire sky black. At first glance, like a black skyline, it is rapidly approaching the 10,000 demon palace. The terrifying coercion made countless little demons breathless, and even Shen Tu, who had completed the master, shuddered. That scene, it really is a black cloud pressing the city to destroy it. In the middle of the black sky, there was a 300 meter long hideous giant snake. His pair of vertical pupils are like two suns, reflected in the air. Sen Leng's killing intent is coming. The endless demonic energy, the extremely tyrannical demonic body, and the ocean-like energy in blood all reveal the identity of the Comer. The demon king of the martial god realm. This level of giant monster, the speed is really fast like lightning. It was still far away at the beginning, when all the demons were shocked, the terrifying giant snake crossed a distance of dozens of miles and came to the top of the 10,000 demons palace. It's really Su Mu, how is this possible? After getting closer, Venerable Ares finally confirmed the identity of the demon king of the martial god realm. It is Su Mu. This made it almost impossible to believe his eyes, and there was a strong sense of frustration in his heart. It took the old Ares hundreds of years to cultivate to the martial god realm with difficulty. After entering the martial god realm, it is already old age. Due to factors such as longevity, talent, etc. It has not yet broken through to the middle stage of the martial god, and it can't even touch the edge. And Su Mu was less than a hundred years old, and he broke through to the martial god realm, and the future is bright. This makes Venerable Ares so jealous. In fact, the speed of Su Mu's cultivation in front of him was fairly normal. A genius, but not a monster. But Su Mu can only be called a demon in the past ten years. He continuously broke through Grandmaster Consummation and Martial God Realm, it was incredible, almost breaking common sense. His Holiness Ares was just shocked and jealous. The Black Panther Jing Shintu was completely frightened. Martial, Martial, Martial God Realm. Impossible, impossible, it must be fake. It's a trick. Elder Ares, quickly take action to destroy this bluffing rebellion. He's not in the Martial God Realm it's definitely fake. There was a buzzing sound in Shintu's mind, and the scene in front of him twisted and trembled. What happened in front of him made it unbelievable, and even produced a feeling of being in a false world. The entire demon seemed to be floating in the air, helpless. When Su Mu first joined 10,000 Demon's Palace, he was just a little demon with a perfect body, not even in the Hotian realm. At that time, Shintu was already a big demon in the late master stage. Now, Su Mu has cultivated to the realm of martial god. And it is still spinning in the Grandmaster realm. It just broke through a small realm and came to Grandmaster consummation. Especially in the past three decades, Shintu's realm has hardly improved at all, and the card has remained motionless. It cannot perceive the existence of its own small world. Can't feel it at all. In desperation, Shintu could only focus his energy on power, and his cultivation became more slack. But Su Mu rode the wind and waves, broke through the moat in its eyes, and walked in front of it. Such a huge gap made Shintu almost crazy, and subconsciously questioned the authenticity of the matter. It would rather believe that the whole world is false, and it would not believe that Su Mu would cultivate to the martial god realm so easily. Snapped. A crisp sound. Venerable Ares slapped Shintu fiercely and slapped it out dozens of meters away. Shintu was spit out blood, and a few leopard teeth broke out. Presumptuous. You can also slander the demon king of the martial god realm. Or, do you think the old man's eyes are so dim that he can't even see the realm? Venerable Ares scolded coldly and showed no mercy. After the initial shock and jealousy, this cunning old demon reacted immediately. 
Tzu Mu can stop the supernatural power from being eliminated by a long distance, and his strength is obviously stronger than it. At this time, you can only be soft. As an elder, Venerable Ares was a little embarrassed and did not want to be soft on himself. Simply use Shen Tu to express his position, implying the meaning of concession. Shen Tu was stunned by this fierce slap, fell to the ground with a sluggish face, and didn't get up for a long time. On the other hand, the demons of Fuxing society fell into ecstasy. Brother Su, you succeeded. You have really broken through to the martial god realm. Menli flew to Su Mu's side, looking extremely excited, even more excited than herself. The holy teacher has broken through, and the holy teacher has cultivated to the martial god realm. Great! Not only Menli, but also the big and small demons from Fuxing Club flew in together, so excited that they trembled all over. Some even shed tears of excitement. Su Mu did not reply to them, but pulled the severely injured cold eliminate in front of him. Master, I'm useless, I. Shivering coldly, he wanted to say something. But as long as it moves a little bit, the countless wounds on its body will burst and expand, and there is a tendency to aggravate it. Don't talk. Next, just leave it to me. Su Mu's face was as cold as water. With a thought, he extracted the strange turbid air from Leng Xiao's body, and then handed it over to the big monsters under his command to help them heal. After dealing with the cold eliminates injury, Su Mu suddenly burst out. Die! Su Mu roared, and an invisible shocking force crossed the space and slammed into Shintu's body. This move uses the shock in shaking the mountain fist. The realm of Su Mu's martial arts has been cultivated to a natural state. Various moves are not restricted to formalities, and every move can display the core meaning of martial arts. Exhale can also eliminate the enemy. Under the shock, Shintu's strength was too late to exert the slightest, and the demon body was instantly smashed into slag, and the hole burst apart. This scene is terrifying. It made countless little demons stand on the spot, shocking to an incomparable degree. For the first time, they felt the gap between the Grand Master Realm and the Martial God Realm. Su Mu just roared, and Shintu fell down in response, dead without a whole corpse. See you in ten years, the two of them are no longer on the same level. To eliminate it, Su Mu only needs one move. You. Su Mu's act of killing Shintu at will, surprised Venerable Ares and felt a strong threat. In its view, Su Mu this demon is really lawless. When he was in the master state, he dared to sneak into the state of Chu and wiped out the Yuhua sect. Now that Su Mu has cultivated to the martial god realm, his strength is even higher than Venerable Ares. What will happen, no one can say. Thinking of this, Venerable Ares couldn't help but feel a little flustered. The older he gets, the more he cherishes his life. Facing Su Mu, the lawless junior, there was only panic and fear in his heart. Angry or something, but to the back row. Venerable Ares, right? I joined Wanyao Palace for decades, and I have never seen your old man take action before. I didn't expect that the first time I saw it, it would be cruel to my own people. Su Mu looked at Venerable Ares coldly, his words were full of ridicule and killing intent. Su Mu, since you have achieved the cultivation base of the martial god, let's not mention the previous things. The old man will report the good news to the sect master and promote you to the position of elder. At that time, your authority in the Ten Thousand Demon Palace will greatly increase. You can do whatever you want, Fuxing society, you can do whatever you want. Under his heart palpitations, Venerable Ares did not mention Shintu's death anymore, as if it did not exist at all. This Ares Lao Yang made a 180 degree turn in his attitude, and promised benefits kindly, trying to win over Su Mu. Hearing this, the smile on Su Mu's face became even more disdainful, and there was a trace of contempt in the eyes of Venerable Ares. Promote me to grow old, and then become a waste like you who eat and die. You. As soon as these words came out, Venerable Ares couldn't hold back, and the complexion that had just been adjusted changed drastically again. The Qi Xiao who was so angry almost didn't break the defense on the spot. But this is Su Mu's truest thought. Who was the first Wuxian realm monster that Su Mu came into contact with? It's a red dragon centipede. 
The strength of this peerless monster is unfathomable, swallowing the luck of a dynasty, and now it is only one step away from turning into a real dragon. Whether it is talent, talent, scheming and wisdom, they are all top-notch existences. After suddenly arriving at the martial god realm, Sumu couldn't help comparing himself with the Qilong centipede. But helplessly found that the gap between him and the Qilong centipede was still huge. Su Mu couldn't even see through the realm and strength of the red dragon centipede, and he didn't know how strong it was. Not to mention a head-to-head -head battle with the red dragon centipede. Not to mention the giant undersea monster that he encountered later, it was even more terrifying than the red dragon centipede. Su Mu suspects that it is not the cultivation of the martial god realm, but an existence of a higher realm. This made Su Mu restrain the joy when he just broke through, and secretly warned himself that there was still a long way to go. But when Su Mu returned to Wanyao Palace and saw Venerable Ares, he suddenly realized that it was not that he was weak, but that the Red Dragon Centipede was too strong. This old Ares demon cultivated to the martial god realm a hundred years ago, but his strength is not as good as his. Whether it is blood, demon body or demon energy, Su Mu is better than it. This venerable Ares is not his opponent at all. Forget it, I'm too lazy to talk nonsense with you. You just let Ling eliminate take your move, then you can take my move too. With that said, Su Mu's body was full of demonic energy, and he shot violently. A 100 meter wide red blood light blasted out like a torrent, heading straight for venerable Ares. Shizir Dare. Venerable Ares, his eyes were split, and he shouted in anger. It did not expect that Su Mu would be so reckless, and he would take action as soon as he said it, without the slightest hesitation. In the face of such a killer move, this old Ares demon can no longer maintain the sluggish attitude before. After a loud roar, its demon body skyrocketed, instantly turning into a ferocious giant monster more than 100 meters tall. Not only has the demon body become countless times larger, but its appearance has also become extremely ferocious, and there is no longer the kindness and kindness that was disguised before. Above his head, two huge black horns twisted and pierced into the sky. It is nearly a hundred meters long, almost flush with the demon body. The horns of the sheep are surrounded by a lot of strange grey turbidity, which contains the aura of destruction. Just stepping into the martial god realm, do you really think you are invincible? Today, this old man will teach you a lesson. Sen Leng's distorted voice sounded from Venerable Ares. At the same time, the grey turbid air gushed out and turned into a terrifying skeleton sheep's head to eliminate Su Mu. As soon as Venerable Ares came up, it was the ultimate move to press the bottom of the box. It's just because the pressure caused by Hematoxylin is too great. The two martial gods and demon kings fought, alerting all the 100,000 demon clans in the 10,000 demon palace. The hearts of almost all demon races are occupied by fear. The demon kings are fighting, and the aftermath is not something they can bear. But there was a look of disdain in Su Mu's eyes. The power of Venerable Ares' full-strength move could not make him feel threatened at all. You know, Su Mu only used 50% of his strength. Although it is of war, I'm afraid it is the existence at the bottom of the of war in the early stage. This battle should be over soon. With this thought in mind, Su Mu jumped up, and the huge demon body went straight towards Venerable Ares. At the same time, the red blood glow had collided with the skull and sheep head. The two martial god-level magical powers collided violently, and the surrounding light was dimmed, and then a massive amount of demonic energy erupted, and the terrifying aftermath swayed around. The aftermath of the battle between the demon kings in the martial god realm was difficult for even the great demon in the grand master realm to resist. Not to mention those little demons who were born, acquired, and even just completed their body training. Fortunately, at this time of crisis, a silver-colored piece of training that looked like moonlight flew out from the central palace of the 10,000 demon palace. Blocking the aftermath of the battle between Su Mu and Venerable Ares, and protecting the other demon races. The red blood light and the skeleton sheep head entangled and strangled, and exploded together after a few breaths. In terms of the first move alone, Su Mu and Venerable Ares were a draw. But Su Mu only used five points of strength, but Venerable Ares has used the strongest supernatural power. 
the difference between the two is very obvious. After the two supernatural powers were reduced to nothingness, Sumu had already eliminated Venerable Ares, with his giant tail raised high. Didn't you say let me pick you up? Why don't you follow the rules? Seeing this, Venerable Ares roared. Sumu sneered. Why didn't you mention the rules and you took action against Leng Xiao? Talk about the rules now. It's too late. After all, the tail of the snake carrying the great power of Wan Jun slapped the body of Venerable Ares. Boom boom boom. A series of violent noises came out. The air around Venerable Ares rippled, as if it was about to be torn apart. Its huge monster body was shot and flew out. After flying over a thousand meters, it smashed heavily on a hill, smashing the hill and collapsing most of it. Su Mu immediately followed and smashed his tail with another blow. At the same time, hundreds of giant snake scales several meters in length fluttered and spun, strangling towards Venerable Ares, incising countless wounds and blood flowing on his body. Stop! Everyone is a demon clan, and they are all members of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. There is no need for this. Before Venerable Ares finished speaking, he was drowned out by a loud noise. Under Su Mu's onslaught, the hill behind it completely collapsed, and countless rubble submerged it. Some of the broken boulders were completely dyed red by the blood of Venerable Ares, showing its injuries. But Su Mu still didn't stop and continued to beat Venerable Ares. Based on what it did to Ling Eliminate and Fuxing Society, it was no exaggeration for Su Mu to eliminate it. Moreover, Su Mu needs a whetstone to sharpen his strength. After breaking through to the martial god realm, his own small world condensed, and his demon power underwent a qualitative change. There will also be great changes in the use of magic magic powers. Su Mu was in need of a sparring partner to help him familiarize himself with his current strength, and Venerable Ares was the best candidate. Su Mu deliberately kicked Venerable Ares out to keep the battlefield away from the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. In this way, you can let go of the battle. His first move only used five points of effort, that is, he was worried about the monsters of the Fuxing society around him, for fear of affecting them. But now, Su Mu has no such estimate. He exerted all kinds of magical powers with all his strength, and bombarded Venerable Ares in turn. The red blood glow, the hurricane of flying scales, the rain of poisonous fog arrows, and various melee martial arts, each magical power was used back and forth three times. And as the battle continued, Su Mu's mastery of his own power became higher and higher, and his combat power also became stronger. Venerable Ares was beaten and miserable. Even the horn of the sheep was broken by Su Mu. Three of the surrounding hills were also destroyed. In such a fight, Venerable Ares would really die in the hands of Su Mu. Don't fight, don't fight, spare your life. Forgive me, the old man. Su Mu seems to be born to fight, the more he fights, the more fierce he becomes. Venerable Ares could handle one or two at first, but it became more and more difficult as he went to the back. This time, he was only beaten on defense. The fierce appearance of Su Mu during the battle made this old white sheep terrified, and even smelled the breath of death. It didn't care about any face, and cried out for mercy. But Su Mu didn't care how Venerable Ares begged for mercy. He didn't mean to stop at all, and continued to make moves. Just at this moment, the silver pistol that protected the demons in the Ten Thousand Demon Palace flew towards them. In an instant, he came to the middle of Su Mu and Venerable Ares, separating them. Enough stop calling. After all, Wan Yao Palace has cultivated you, give me some thin noodles. Along with this voice, a ten meter long silver mink appeared on the silver light curtain and looked at Su Mu calmly. This one is the palace master of the Ten Thousand Demons Palace, Yu Lingzuan. A demon king in the middle stage of the martial god. In addition to it, four other demon kings of the martial god realm flew over and looked at Su Mu together. These four, like Venerable Ares, are the elders of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace, the realm of the early stage of the of war. At this point, all the demon kings of the martial god realm in the Ten Thousand Demon Palace are here. Zhang said, Comments have been restored, everyone can speak freely. 206. 
there are six demon kings in the martial god realm in the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. Except for the palace master Yuling Zun, the other five were all martial gods in the early stage, and they didn't seem to be very strong. There is an aura of decay that seems to be absent, and there is no vitality at all. Seeing them, Su Mu finally understood why Wan Yao Palace was so cowardly. Unbearable. Too bad. With such strength, it is no wonder that they dare not provoke them. The upper floors of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace are not as powerful as he imagined. Moreover, in the past one hundred years, except for Su Mu, the Wan Yao Palace has not had any new martial gods and demon kings. They didn't even touch the profound meaning of the martial god realm. This is enough to show that there is a problem with the entire ecological environment and education system of Wanyao Palace. The demon clan is born and raised, and has its own unyielding will. However, the Wanyao Palace is subject to others everywhere, and it keeps giving back everywhere. This style of behavior goes against their hearts, and most of the monsters lose their temper. A great monster with a consummate master like Shintu, all day long in his mind, he thinks about how to fight for power and how not to provoke the human race in order to protect himself. How can this mentality break through to the martial god realm? Thinking of this, Su Mu only felt dull. These high-level officials of Wanyao Palace are not worthy of being his opponents at all. At most, it can only be regarded as a few stepping stones on the path of his demon life. Su Mu doesn't need to waste time on them. So, he rolled his giant tail and dragged Venerable Ares out of the gravel ruins. At this time, the old Ares demon was covered in blood, with broken horns, and passed out. It looked so miserable, like a dead dog. But the demon clan's vitality is tenacious. This level of injury is far from enough to eliminate this old Ares demon in the martial god realm. It doesn't even have to be actually passed out. In the current situation, only by passing out can he maintain the pitiful face of venerable Ares. Sometimes, escaping can be regarded as a helpless choice. Give it back to you. With a flick of his tail, Su Mu threw venerable Ares, as if he was throwing some garbage. Seeing this, the other four elders of the martial god realm showed anger and stared at Su Mu. However, the palace master Yu Lingzuan had no waves in the ancient well. With a wave of his claws, he drew a silver horse to practice, and firmly caught Venerable Ares and placed him beside him. After being placed, Venerable Ares' eyelids trembled a few times, and the demon body relaxed. It seems that it was indeed pretending to be dizzy before. Seeing this, Yu Lingzuan sighed helplessly in his heart. Are these big demons of the older generation already unbearable to such an extent? Ten thousand demon palace, when there is this disaster. Su Mu's gaze swept across the elders of the martial god realm and said calmly. The Ten Thousand Demon Palace is indeed kind to me, but how can you represent the Ten Thousand Demon Palace? If there are not thousands of little demons, how can you come to the Ten Thousand Demon Palace? You can take all the credit for yourself, and you have led the Ten Thousand Demon Palace astray. Don't you feel any guilt? Hearing Su Mu's rhetorical question, Yu Lingzuan's eyes flickered slightly, and his heart was slightly moved. The rise of Su Mu has made him begin to doubt whether his choices over the years are wrong. Shouldn't the demon clan give in? How to survive without refunding? But if its decision is correct, why is the Ten Thousand Demon Palace getting worse every day? These questions made Yu Lingzuan a little confused. Forget it, I'm too lazy to say anything to you. Do you still remember the rules of Wanyao Palace, you can come and go freely? Today, I officially resign from my teaching post and leave 10,000 Demon Palace. At this point, Su Mu no longer intends to stay in the 10,000 Demon Palace, and will stay. There is no major enmity between the two sides, but there is a fundamental difference in philosophy. Doomed to be incompatible. I will also withdraw from the teaching position and leave the 10,000 Demon Palace. Me too. Me too, this 10,000 Demon Palace doesn't have to wait. After Su Mu finished speaking, all the big demons from Fushing Club flew over and stood behind Su Mu to advance and retreat with him. Not only the big monsters in the Grandmaster realm, but also thousands of little monsters also chose to stand on Su Mu's side and withdraw from the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. Some of these little monsters are members of the Fushing Society, 
and some are not. But they have all had enough of Wan Yaogong's timid and retreating behavior. They want to change their way of life. Seeing this scene, the expressions of several elders changed drastically and were shocked. Su Mu was right, thousands of little demons were the foundation of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. And now, the foundation has been shaken. The elders of the martial god realm wanted to stop them, but Su Mu and their actions did not violate the rules of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. The freedom to come and go is determined by them themselves. Let's say goodbye today, each has his own way. I hope you are doing your best and don't go further and further down the wrong path. Let's go. After leaving the last word of advice, Su Mu's mind moved, and the billowing demonic energy turned into a sea of clouds, bringing with him all the demon clans who had left the Ten Thousand Demon Palace and flew away. Wait, take me one. Just as Su Mu was about to leave, a crisp and pleasant voice came from the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. Su Mu looked back and saw a beautiful and gorgeous blue feathered bird flying towards them. It's a bell. Seeing her, Su Mu couldn't help showing a knowing smile on his face. Ling was the leader who led him to join Wanya Palace. Now that he has left the Ten Thousand Demon Palace, Ling has also left with him, and it has become a complete reincarnation. A few decades ago, Ling's cultivation was weaker than Shintu's. But now he has practiced until the Grandmaster has reached consummation. With her joining, the strength of Su Mu's side has grown by another point. More than 10,000 monsters of different races and cultivation bases left the 10,000 Monster Palace together with the same ideal. From today onwards, they will work hard and give everything to open up the ideal world in their hearts. This is an extremely dangerous road. But they never regret it. Palace Master, what should we do? Let them leave. An elder white ape asked Moon Lingzuan very unwillingly. Su Mu took 18,000 demons away. And it is the most elite and most backbone group. After this batch of demon clan left, the strength of the middle and lower levels of the 10,000 demon palace will lose more than half, and their reputation will be severely damaged. Hearing this, the other elders of the martial god realm were also eager to try, as if they wanted to stop Su Mu and his party. But Yu Lingzuan just sighed in despair and said helplessly. Hey, what about forcibly leaving them behind? The demon heart has been scattered, scattered. The 10,000 demon palace is no longer the 10,000 demon palace. After all, Yu Lingzuan turned into a silver streamer and flew into the central palace, no longer asking about it. Seeing this, the other elders looked at each other in dismay. In the end, they could only helplessly disperse. They have seen Su Mu's combat power before, and they have no determination to win if the palace lord does not take action. If you can't win, don't dare to fight. This is the usual behavior of this group of elders. After all the demons left, Venerable Ares, who pretended to be dizzy, also got up. Looking at the background where Su Mu and his party left, their expressions became extremely complicated. After a long time, he left with a sullen face. The back, which was originally quite straight, bowed a bit. This matter shattered its unsteady Tao heart. It is conceivable what kind of fate awaits Venerable Ares. These giant monsters in the martial god realm are very clear in their hearts. After this incident, the Ten Thousand Demon Palace will be completely in decline. Blame Su Mu. Without Su Mu, there are Zhao Mu, Wang Mu, and Zhou Mu. The real blame, perhaps, is themselves. But they can't make any changes, they can only watch the old flowers gradually wither and decay. Fortunately, before it completely decayed, a caterpillar left in time and did not decay with it. Whether it can turn into a butterfly depends on its creation. Master, where are we going now? Do we want to form a new force? Although he was asking, there was no confusion on Lang Eliminate's face. Instead, he was excited and full of longing for the future. Su Mu shook his head slightly, then found a big mountain to temporarily settle down. He announced the next development route to the demons who followed him. I will not form a sect, a force. What we pursue is not the prosperity of one family and one faction. It is the rise of the entire demon clan. Next, we need to do this. Su Mu gushed out his thoughts. According to his idea, 
all the demon clans of Fuxing society should go into the world individually after comprehending the thoughts of Fuxing society. While improving their own strength, while spreading the ideas of Fuxingshou. Every ten years, you can come back and meet again. Share your own gains and exchange your cultivation experience. Saint Master is wise. We understand. After listening to Su Mu's story, the demons deeply felt the difference between Fuxing society and other demon clan forces, and they were deeply touched. They used the power of thought to awaken and inspire all the demon clan. Unity together, there is only hope for the rise of the first line. Everyone, please accept these things. Outside, remember to help each other. All Fuxing society members, regardless of race, cultivation, or age, are brothers and sisters. Everyone strives for the same goal and encourages them together. Before leaving, Sumu once again fiercely attacked the demons, and took out all the cultivation resources he had accumulated over the years. After breaking through to the martial god realm, ordinary medicinal herbs and herbs have little effect on him. It is better to distribute it to the monsters under his command to maximize the effect of these cultivation resources. Thank you, master, I'll go. Everyone, let's encourage each other. There are too many monsters, and there are not many individual points. But it's a distraction. All the demons were extremely grateful, and they each left after thanking them respectfully, full of enthusiasm and passion in their hearts. Most of the members dispersed, but Su Mu kept the demon clan who were in the middle stage of the master and above. Then I told them all my insights and experiences of breaking through the martial god realm without reservation. Su Mu has extensive knowledge, has studied the cultivation methods of various ethnic groups, and has also experienced the precipitation and accumulation of more than ten generations. His insights are much more useful to the demon clan in the Grand Master realm than the powerhouses in the middle and late stages of the common martial god. Thank you master for preaching. I went to cold eliminate. After three days and three nights of preaching, the first one left. The demon wolf's expression was incomparably determined, and his eyes were full of confidence. It has made up its mind that it must cultivate to the realm of martial god. Only in this way can we help master and contribute to his great cause. After the cold killing, the big demons one after another saluted and thanked Sumu, and then flew all over the world. They seek and preach. Here goes, the task is arduous. Action must be taken as soon as possible. But there was a demon who refused to leave and wandered back to Su Mu's side. Xiaomenli, why don't you leave? Su Mu looked at the small figure dotingly. The last demon was the little fox Menli. Even though she is a big demon with a complete master, her body is still only the size of an ordinary fox. But cute, beautiful, and not much changed. As if the first acquaintance decades ago was just yesterday. Who would have thought that this little fox would have the power to destroy the world if he restrained his demonic energy? Hearing this, Menli said tangled. Brother Su, do I have to leave? Menli and Su Mu have been together for more than half a century, and she is used to the days when Su Mu shelters her from the wind and rain. The relationship between the two demons is complicated. Siblings? Lovers? Best friend? Maybe some. But one thing is certain. Menli didn't want to leave Su Mu. Su Mu patted the little fox demon's head with his tail and said with a smile. Even if you understand all the insights I teach, breaking through the martial god realm is still difficult. You need to find opportunities and opportunities yourself to break this level. It's time to pursue your own path. Su Mu is different from ordinary monsters, or in other words, different from all practitioners. He has been reincarnated for more than a dozen lives, and each life is full of ups and downs, full of crises and opportunities. The reincarnation of one life after another is painful and tortuous. But it also left a precious treasure to Su Mu, that is, an extremely rich experience. Therefore, Su Mu can start to attack the martial god realm as soon as he cultivates to the Grand Master Consummation. Because his accumulation in all aspects is enough. Menli couldn't, she was too immature, and belonged to the cultivator of the academic school. Even if she is extremely talented, her closed-door retreat can only be caused by closed doors, and it is difficult to make progress. 
she has to go out for a bit. Brother Su. After hearing these words, Munli looked at Su Mu with tears in her eyes, her eyes full of reluctance. This little fox is very smart, she understands all these things. However, still reluctant. Go, go, it's not life or death, it's no big deal. By the way, you haven't returned to Qingqiu for so many years, so it's time to go back and take a look. Don't let the elders in the clan worry. Go back and travel the world again. Um. The little fox nodded heavily, wiped away his tears, and finally left. Although she turned back in three steps when she left, she finally embarked on her own path. As for, only Su Mu Yi Yao is left. The coldness around him was restored, but his heart was hot. A single spark can start a prairie fire. But now, Su Mu has spilled thousands of sparks. What will happen to the monster clan in the end, he can't say for sure. But it is destined to be a big fight. Hopefully, this is the right path. After muttering to himself, Su Mu began to worry about his own affairs. After breaking through to the martial god realm, Su Mu discovered a major problem. This body of his has cultivated to the limit. Talent can be divided into two parts. One is comprehension, and the other is the basic attribute of oneself. Both are indispensable. Without one thing, you cannot become a top master. Needless to say, Su Mu's comprehension. It's not bad in itself, there are more than ten lifetimes of reincarnation accumulation, and the talent of Kong Jing enhances learning ability. Just looking at his comprehension, Su Mu is considered to be a genius at the level of evildoer. But the talent of this monster body can only be regarded as mediocre. It can devour the essence of the sun and the moon and absorb the aura of the weather, and it is already more than 60 to 70 percent of the beasts. But Su Mu's body is an ordinary little black snake after all, and all basic attributes can be ordinary. Being able to cultivate to the martial god realm is entirely due to his enchanting level of comprehension. But in the early stage of Wuxian, Su Mu has already reached the limit. Now, the spiritual energy he absorbed cannot be stored, and it will drift out again. It is like a pond full of water, and it is impossible to pour even a drop of water into it. There is a shackle in the depths of the bloodline, which limits the development of Su Mu. Only then did Su Mu finally know why the Qilong centipede was obsessed with transforming the dragon. Obviously, the bloodline of the red dragon centipede is far stronger than his. But it was still unable to support this monster to break through to the level above the martial god realm. Therefore, it must be transformed into a real dragon to realize the transformation of its bloodline. Thereby breaking the invisible shackles and entering a higher realm. I have to say, Without personal feelings, the experience of the Red Dragon Centipede can be called inspirational. The spirit of constantly hitting a higher realm at all costs is worth learning by every cultivator. However, the better the Red Dragon Centipede, the greater the pressure on Su Mu. Fortunately, there is no need to think about this evildoer. In other words, I have to find a way to evolve my own bloodline now. Thinking of this, Su Mu was very distressed. Evolving bloodline is not an easy task. Otherwise, the red dragon centipede would not go to great lengths to infiltrate the Dagon, incarnate as a national teacher, and steal a country's luck. Su Mu has no such ability. Today, there are many powerful countries. If Chu State hadn't been busy attacking other countries, it is estimated that they would have come to Su Mu to settle accounts. How could he have the ability to steal the luck of these powerful human races? It's good not to be knocked on the door. Obviously, this road does not work. Fortunately, Su Mu has another way. That is the blue level talent he carried in this life old and stronger. Old and stronger, after a hundred years old, transform once every ten years. Before, Su Mu didn't quite know what metamorphosis meant. But now, he can basically be sure that the so called degeneration is the evolutionary bloodline. Right or wrong, Wait another 30 years to find out. Today, Su Mu is 70 years old, the longest he has ever lived. According to this trend, there is no problem in living to 100. All you have to do now is wait quietly. Spring to winter to another spring. Time is the coldest and fairest. 
In countless days and nights, thirty years passed quietly. In the past thirty years, the war in Kyushu has become more and more fierce. Countless small countries have perished, and the world has shown a situation of seven kingdoms competing for the hegemony. Zhao and Chu are the strongest, followed by Qin, and the other four are the weakest. The demise of a small country means that the seven countries will increase in size and become more powerful. If things continue like this, the final winner will be decided in the past 200 years. In the past few decades, countless famous generals and heroes have emerged. I don't know how many wonderful open and secret battles have taken place, which can be admired by future generations. The world of great contention is nothing more than this. Speaking of monsters. The human race gave the monsters time to breathe. In the past thirty years, the original 18,000 demon clan of the Fuxing society have traveled the world, spreading Su Mu's ideas while cultivating. Although he doesn't have the talent of demon talking to confuse the public, the thoughts spread by Su Mu are very attractive to the oppressed demon clan. Over the past thirty years, the Fuxing society has grown exponentially. There are members of the Fuxing society all over the world, who sing the name of the great sage of Su Mu. His deeds and thoughts, countless monsters are familiar with him, and they revere him extremely. Now, Su Mu himself doesn't know how many monsters there are in the Fuxing society. But you don't need to know. His ultimate goal is to turn all the demon races into revivalists. In addition, the backbone members of the Fuxing society will gather once every ten years at the Somu dive. While meeting with Su Mu, they can also exchange their cultivation experience, what they have seen and heard, and materials. All in all, it's a splendid sight. Today is the third decade. It is also Su Mu's 100th birthday. The key members of the Fuxing Society learned of the news very early, and they each prepared gifts and came to Lingshan, where Su Mu was entrenched, to celebrate his birthday. But this time, the holy teacher who usually greeted the demons at the top of the mountain in advance did not appear. This made the demons a little strange, and even a little worried. Cold eliminate, you came early, do you know what happened to the saint? A spider spirit as huge as a hill stood in the air, and if you looked closely, you would find transparent spider silk on her feet. And what she asked was only the hideous wolf demon who had been exuding murderous aura. These two demons are Ling Sha and Zhu Zhu. Both of their talents are very good, and they have been instructed by Su Mu, and the speed of improvement is very good. Now, Ling Sha and Zhu Zhu have both cultivated to the late stage of the Grand Master, and it is not far from the Grand Master consummation. After being questioned by Zhu Zhu, Ling Sha shook his head and said. I don't know. I came first, but I didn't see the figure of Master. Hearing this, Zhu Zhu said with some worry. Could it be that something happened to the sage? At this moment, a pink and white little fox stepped on the colorful light of disillusionment, and several dodged across a distance of several miles, and came to Ling Sha and Zhu Zhu's side. Don't worry, big brother Su's breath is as strong as usual. He seems to be in retreat, but it doesn't feel like it. It's weird. It was Meng Li who came. Thirty years later, she still failed to break through to the martial god realm. But there is already a mysterious breath on his body. Thinking about it, the harvest is not small, and it is just around the corner to enter the realm of the martial god. After hearing Meng Li's words, Leng Sha and Zhu Zhu were relieved. Although the other big demons and little demons didn't know the situation, they didn't panic. Tens of thousands of demon clan quietly waited at the foot of the mountain, waiting for Su Mu's reception, congratulating the great sage master in their hearts. At this time, Su Mu was entrenched in the mountains. His eyes brightened, revealing a touch of joy. Finally, it's almost one hundred years old. Old and strong this talent is about to play a role. Time passed by minute by minute. Kata. Su Mu seemed to hear a crisp sound after the gears were engaged. At this moment, the annual ring on his body has rotated a full hundred times. Su Mu is one hundred years old. In the next moment, a strange heat flow suddenly appeared in his body, flowing freely. Well. Su Mu felt a strong burning sensation and couldn't help groaning. But this burning sensation is not painful, but a refreshing feeling of rebirth. 
This strange heat was washing his huge demon body side by side. Every time you wash it, you get weaker. After a few times, it was completely exhausted. But Su Mu's blood has changed. This was a boundless and mysterious feeling that he could not describe clearly. But Su Mu can feel that his demon body is different from usual. The most intuitive performance is that Su Mu may absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth again. In the past thirty years, Su Mu's realm had not improved in the slightest, and he was stuck and motionless. This has nothing to do with comprehension, it is simply that this body has reached its limit. In desperation, Su Mu could only ask the demon clan under his command to help collect ancient books from all over the world. Spend your time learning all kinds of supernatural powers, martial arts, and magic tricks. He even read many books that had nothing to do with cultivation. No way, the realm is stuck, and I can only pass the time in this way. Until then, Su Mu finally felt the improvement of his cultivation again. This feeling is really wonderful. It was as if a man who had been thirsty for countless years in the desert saw a rain again. Su Mu fiercely swallowed two mouthfuls of spiritual energy before suppressing the urge to cultivate immediately and observed his own changes. There was no significant change in his demon body. Just on the right side under the neck, there was a fiery red pattern more than ten meters long. This twisting and twisting slender pattern looks a bit like a flowing cloud of fire it is quite beautiful, and it also has a little mysterious atmosphere. If it is an ordinary person, it is estimated that there is no reason for it. But Su Mu was knowledgeable and knew the origin of the red pattern at a glance. The Nine-Winged Flowing Cloud Python, also known as the Nine-Winged Serpent. One of the superior bloodlines of the Snake Clan, each additional wing makes the bloodline stronger. I should only have one wing now, and I am the weakest being among the nine-winged floating cloud pythons. But enough. Evolving bloodline is a matter of changing fate. Although old and stronger is a blue talent, and it has also been strengthened. But it is obviously impossible to reach the sky with just one transformation. Su Mu is already very satisfied with the ability to raise the bloodline to this level. I don't know if my current bloodline can support me until I reach the middle stage of the martial god. We'll talk about this later. Let's go and see the returning demons first. We can't let them wait too long. Thinking of this, Su Mu moved. In the next instant, his huge 300 meter long monster body appeared above Ling Shan, and the powerful aura swept away unscrupulously. After seeing Su Mu, more than 10,000 large and small demon clans all fell into a frenzy and went to worship at the same time. Welcome to the great sage master. We live up to our mission and come back again. 207. Centennial birthday, bloodline evolution. Su Mu couldn't help being in a good mood. The more than 10,000 large and small demon races offered congratulations to him on his birthday. Su Mu took this opportunity to open the altar and preach for three days and three nights. Hearing that all the demons in the audience were fascinated and intoxicated, they all had feelings. Afterwards, he individually dispatched a few great demons who were in the late stage of the Master and who had completed the Master. Hoping that they would break through to the martial god realm as soon as possible and contribute to the great cause of the demon clan. Among the demons, Meng Li and Qingyu Big Bird Bell have the highest cultivation. They have already touched the profound meaning of the martial god realm, and there is a possibility of breakthrough at any time. Maybe tomorrow, maybe ten years later, or maybe it will never be able to break through. It's hard to say exactly what is the right breakthrough. But at least there is hope. This meeting was longer than the previous two. It wasn't until a month later that the tens of thousands of monsters gradually dispersed. Just when Su Mu's life was about to enter a peaceful state again in the future, an accident quietly approached. On this day, there are still two or three hundred monsters who have not left. These are all great monsters in the Grandmaster realm. They stay by Su Mu's side for as long as possible, hoping to listen to his teachings more. Before parting, Su Mu issued a new order to these big demons. Have you all heard of the organization Heavenly Court? I know. This Heavenly Court claims to be the ruler of the Heavenly Realm, but its strength is very weak, and it has almost no sense of existence. What, is there a problem with this power? 
Ling has lived for hundreds of years and has the most extensive knowledge. Su Mu started speaking as soon as he finished speaking. After speaking, she looked at Su Mu curiously. Su Mu nodded slightly and said. Yes, those are just the appearance of heaven. This is a very dangerous and very strange organization, and I have suffered a lot from its hands. You guys go out this time, help me pay attention to the movements of the heaven, and investigate again if you can. But remember, don't conflict with it. If it happens, be careful. Every seemingly weak mountain and river can erupt several times, or even dozens of times, his own power. Don't overturn the boat in the gutter. Hearing these words, all the demons froze in their hearts, and they all became vigilant after agreeing. In the eyes of all the demons in the Fuxing society, Su Mu's words are the most wise words. The sage said yes, that's it. Okay, you don't have to rely on you to leave what are you going to do? Remember to help me keep an eye on the movements and related information of Heavenly Court, let's go. Su Mu finally exhorted, and then waved his tail to chase away the demon. Under his urging, the demons finally dispersed. In this mountain with abundant spiritual energy, again only Su Mu is left. Hey I'm clean, I can continue to practice. Su Mu's eyes flashed an impatient look. He can't wait to retreat and cultivate immediately to see how far he can cultivate with his current bloodline. Never thought that at this moment, a thunderstorm suddenly sounded in the sky. Then the fairy sound burst into bursts, and the rain of flowers fell from the sky. Such a vision made Su Mu frown and look up at the sky. I saw that the sky above his head split quickly, and the rays of light condensed into a spiritual bridge, which was laid all the way to a hundred meters above the Lingshan mountain. Afterwards, a celestial, elegant and easygoing man walked toward Su Mu across the Lingxiao with a smile on his face. This man used his magical power to shrink into an inch, and after a few flashes, he came not far from Su Mu. Who is coming? Although there was speculation in his heart, Su Mu still asked. Next, Immortal Monarch Tai E of Heaven. The immortal man said with a smile, with a complacent arrogance in his eyes. Sure enough. Su Mu secretly said in his heart. The long-lost heavenly court is about to come out to be a demon again. Su Mu seemed calm on the surface, but in fact he was already vigilant. Heavenly court, came to the door again. Heavenly court. Immortal Lord Tai. Are you an immortal? Su Mu pretended to be shocked and asked. Immortal Tai nodded slightly and said in a slow voice with a full gesture. That's right, it's the immortal of heaven, the immortal Lord Tai. All immortals in the heavenly court can live the same life as the sun, moon, heaven and earth without falling into the six realms of reincarnation. It's your luck to find you today. Hearing this, Su Mu sneered again and again. But this time, he didn't plan to directly confront the people in heaven, and wanted to try to see if he could get more information. He pretended to be puzzled and asked. Is heavenly court so powerful? But I don't seem to have heard much about it. The only mountain gods and river gods are also very weak. Why is this? Hearing this, Immortal Tai's expression did not change, apparently expecting that Su Mu would ask such a question. Heavenly Court controls the six realms and the three worlds, and controls the gods, human beings, demons, and devils. It is a supreme existence, and it is naturally the most powerful. But Heavenly Court has been silent for a long time for some reasons, and now it is gradually regaining control of the six paths and three realms. This process requires a lot of manpower, and many new immortal positions are created. This time I went down to earth, I wanted to invite you to join the heaven and become a fairy with the same life as heaven and earth. This is a God-given opportunity, don't accept it quickly. After all, immortal Tai looked down at Su Mu with a look of how dare you not accept the great gift of heaven. Su Mu cooperated with a look of excitement and shouted. Thank you Xian Jun, thank you Xian Jun. I don't know how I can become a fairy in heaven. Seeing this, Immortal Tai breathed a sigh of relief and was secretly proud. This monster is really stupid. Having cultivated to this level, he was actually deceived by his few words. It seems that this task will be easy. Don't resist, this immortal lord will immortalize you. 
Once the immortal seal is completed, you will become an immortal. Xian Jun Taiyi maintained the attitude of a master of the immortal way, and with a big hand waved a spiritual light, and flew toward Su Mu's forehead. Su Mu didn't dodge or evade, letting this aura infuse into his body. After counting his breaths, immortal Taiyi pulled his hand away, and a mysterious mark appeared on Su Mu's forehead. Thinking about it, it is the immortal seal in the mouth of Xian Jun Taiyi. Immortal Taiyi looked at it carefully, then nodded with satisfaction, and said. Not bad, from now on, you will be a member of the heavenly court. Hearing this, Su Mu asked with a simple expression. Have you become an immortal? But why don't I feel it, and my strength has changed? Hearing this, Xian Jun Taiyi explained. Don't worry. In a few days, there will be immortals who will transform your spiritual mountain. In the future, you will get twice the result with half the effort by practicing here, and your combat power here will also increase. As for the official position. You will serve as the chief mountain in this mountain range and rule over the other mountain gods. And those monsters under your command, those with a strong cultivation base can join the heavenly court together and become the god of one earth. After listening, Su Mu continued to ask. But I am now limited by my blood and my cultivation realm has stagnated. No matter how much I cultivate, it is useless. Can heaven help evolve my bloodline? As the supreme being that rules the six paths and three realms, this should be easy to do, right? Su Mu's question made Xian Jun Taiyi stunned. This this. After a pause for two seconds, he came to his senses. Cough. Of course there is a way. But you just joined Heavenly Court, and you haven't accomplished much, so you won't be able to get that level of elixir. If you can recruit a group of powerful monsters for Heavenly Court, the credit is almost enough. Immortal Taiyi madly hinted at Su Mu, wanting him to pull all the powerful monsters under his seat into the heaven. But Su Mu had a worried look on his face and said. Xian Jun, it's not that I don't believe in heaven. But as the saying goes, seeing is believing, and hearing is false. At least you have to let me go to heaven, so that I can convince the big demons under my command. Xian Jun, you also know that the demon clan is always free and unruly. The Fuxing society I created has few rules. It's not easy to convince them to join heavenly court. Hearing Su Mu's words, immortal Taiyi frowned tightly. He secretly moved the law, as if he was communicating with someone. After a while, immortal Taiyi took a deep breath and said to Su Mu. Since that's the case, Ben Xian Jun will take you to the heavenly court for a tour. This is a blessing that you can't cultivate in ten lifetimes, but keep your eyes open and watch it carefully. Saying that, immortal Taiyi waved his hand and extended the Xiaoguang Ling Bridge to the foot of Su Mu. Thank you Xian Jun. Su Mu understood, thanked him and set foot on the Lingxiao. Then Ling Chao shrank rapidly and flew into the sky. Soon, one person and one snake passed through the thick clouds and continued to fly upwards. Su Mu keenly felt that when they passed through the clouds, they had already entered a different dimension. This place is no longer Kyushu world. But Su Mu didn't say much, just opened his eyes wide, not letting go of any detail in front of him. Above the clouds, there were still white clouds at first. But soon, a huge and magnificent divine gate appeared in Su Mu's eyes. Three gilt characters are written in the letter, Nanchiman. On both sides of the door, stood two eight-armed golden-armored gods a hundred feet tall, holding various magical weapons on their eight arms, extremely mighty. It seems that with a wave of his hand, he can crush a grandmaster, or even a powerhouse in the martial god realm. Behind the gate of God, Thousands of golden lights billowed and thousands of auspicious chi surged, interweaving colorful divine lights. What a fairyland scene! Under the leadership of immortal Taiyi, Su Mu passed through the Nantian Gate and entered the interior of the Heavenly Court. After passing through the layers of thick fog all the way, the fairy palaces appeared. These immortal palaces are suspended in the air, and each one is a hundred times larger and more magnificent than the main hall of the Ten Thousand Demon Palace. On the main pillar in the Asgard, there are golden scales shining red bearded dragons wrapped around them, and the spirit beads in their mouths shine in all directions. 
Each immortal palace is connected by an overpass, and on the overpass, the phoenix dances and cranes sing, and there are bursts of spiritual light, which is also extraordinary. Looking up at Tianwation above the Asgard Palace, there is a Kunpeng that is boundless in suspension. This Kunpeng seems to be bigger than the entire Kyushu, which is shocking. On Kunpeng's back, there is a vague immortal pagoda, piercing the realm of emptiness. But it was too far away, and Su Mu couldn't see it very clearly. How is it? Seeing Su Mu's shocked look, immortal Tai Yi asked proudly. It's amazing, worthy of being the ruler of the six paths and three realms. However, I would like to see all the immortals in the heavenly court. I wonder if the immortals can fulfill my little wish. Su Mu asked expectantly. Forget it, since we're all here, let's take you to Lingxiao Palace. But after the lower realm, you must pull those big monsters under your command into the heavenly court. If you don't do things well, don't blame me. Xianjun Tai Yi said with a serious face. Don't worry, little god will do it. Su Mu agreed. The meaning between the lines is that he already regards himself as a member of the heavenly court. Hearing this, immortal Tai Yi was very satisfied, and immediately led the way in front of him. Under the leadership of this immortal monarch, Su Mu passed through the layers of restrictions and came to the center of Lingxiao Hall. Lingxiao Hall is incomparably huge, and the hall is a thousand feet high. Su Mu didn't need to shrink his body, so he could easily enter from the front door. After stepping in, I saw that the two sides of Lingxiao Hall were filled with all kinds of gods, and some were flying in the air. These immortals have different expressions and strange appearances, but they all exude a powerful coercion. The first time you step into it, even the powerhouses of the martial god realm will tremble. At the very front of the main hall, there is a godman hundreds of feet tall, whose majesty is unbelievable. However, no matter which immortal it was, they closed their eyes tightly, as if they were asleep. Meet the Supreme Jade Emperor of the Nine Vaults Houtian Golden Tower. After arriving in front of the godman at the forefront, immortal Tai Yi bowed down with all his body and bowed down, and his voice was extremely respectful. But Su Mu didn't move. What are you doing? Why don't you bow down? This is the supreme being of the three realms. The Jade Emperor. Su Mu's reaction startled Xian Jun Tai Yi, and he quickly wanted to pull him and bow down together. But Su Mu remained motionless. In a panic, immortal Tai Yi raised his head and looked at Su Mu. However, he found that at this moment, there was no sign of shock on the face of this snake monster, and the only thing left was extreme cold. You. Immortal Tai Yi was terrified and vaguely guessed something, but was unable to speak because of the trembling. Apparently she was terrified. Su Mu ignored him, casually glanced at the surrounding immortals, and finally his eyes fell on the Jade Emperor. The gods and Buddhas in the sky are full of shells. Controlling the three realms. Ha ha ha. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Su Mu laughed sarcastically, his voice constantly oscillating in the huge Lingxiao Hall, echoing heavily. Immortal Tai Yi next to him was so frightened that he passed out. He jumped up suddenly, and said to Su Mu with a livid face. Okay, you snake demon, you are actually rebellious. It is this Yan Jun who has misunderstood and will eliminate you now. Saying that, Immortal Tai Yi moved the magic art, trying to move the immortal seal in Su Mu's body. But no matter what he was suitable for, Su Mu didn't react at all, but the smile on his face became colder and colder. What's going on? Why doesn't the immortal seal work? Immortal Tai Yi turned pale with fright, and cold sweat broke out on his forehead. He couldn't understand why his methods failed. Didn't they work well before? Immortal Seal Slave Seal is about the same. But such spells, no matter how advanced, have to be implemented on the soul in order to be effective. Unfortunately, my body is also an empty shell. After all, Su Mu suddenly moved. He opened his mouth fiercely and swallowed Immortal Tai Yi whole in one gulp. Snake Demon, what are you doing? You can't find death. After being swallowed, Immortal Tai Yi shouted loudly, still trying to resist. Who would have known that Su Mu had no internal organs at all, only creeping and creepy flesh? 
There were strips drilled out of these flesh and blood, and the little snake entwined immortal Tai layer upon layer. Some gnaw from the outside, and some drill into the body to devour. In a short time, this so-called immortal monarch was devoured and not even the scum was left. What? From Su Mu's belly, there was a final scream. This master-level martial artist who called himself Immortal Tai Yi was dead. During the whole process, the immortals didn't react at all, as if they were all icy statues. Let this happen. Even if he didn't know the details of Heavenly Court, Su Mu couldn't let others do anything on him. When Xian Jun Tai Yi cast the immortal seal, he had already replaced the body with a clone. In the first life, Su Mu once made a clone out of the snake skin he took off. With the improvement of strength and realm, this magical power has been improved to a higher level by him. The main body is reduced, and the clone is replaced. The whole process was silent, and immortal Tai Yi didn't realize that Su Mu had changed from true to false. Therefore, the so-called immortal seal was only applied to an empty shell without a soul, and had no effect on Su Mu at all. All the subsequent reactions were disguised by Su Mu, just to come to this heaven to have a look. Besides, this immortal prince is too evil. It was not until he was eliminated and swallowed that Su Mu determined his cultivation based on the situation in this person's body, a mid-guru martial artist. It has to be said that Heavenly Court has a very strong means of concealing its aura. Before that, Su Mu couldn't see the truth of immortal Tai Yi at all, but he vaguely felt that he was far from his opponent. Snake Demon Su Mu, you know the guilt. After the death of immortal Tai Yi, the Nine Vaults Haokian Golden Tower Supreme Jade Emperor just woke up, slowly opened his eyes and looked at Su Mu. Don't pretend to be a ghost, it's meaningless in front of me. Su Mu narrowed his eyes slightly, secretly vigilant in his heart. After stepping into the so-called Lingxiao Palace, Su Mu found that this and Buddha in the sky had no soul, all of them were empty shells. They are well hidden, and even the powerhouses of the martial god realm may not be able to discover the clues. But Su Mu's constant reincarnation makes him particularly sensitive to the soul. With just one glance, you can see through the void under that mighty might. But the strange will attach to these empty shells made Su Mu feel shocked. Su Mu did see through these empty shells. But those strange and cold wills also saw through him. So he had a showdown and stopped pretending. Let's eliminate that immortal Tai Yi first. In the entire Lingxiao Hall, only immortal Tai Yi is a real living creature. Su Mu seriously suspected that he was tricked into working for these fake gods. It sounds like a poor man. But it's too deep into the play, there's no way to save it. Hurry up and send him on the road, Yu Yu reading WW. Bukanshu. Calm is Su Mu's rare tenderness. Open the skylight and speak up. Who are you? Or, what? Su Mu flew to the Jade Emperor and asked with a cold expression. This trip to heaven made him more and more afraid of this force. Weird. It's so weird. Su Mu is almost certain that the depression of the Kyushu world after the Qin dynasty has nothing to do with Tianting. It may even be caused by them. At this point, these false gods finally stopped pretending. Jade Emperor turned his eyes stiffly like a puppet doll, staring at Su Mu in front of him, his loud and mighty voice sounded slowly. The fate of this world will come to an end, and we are the ones who destroy the world. If you work for us, you will have a chance of survival. Hearing this, Su Mu's eyes flashed a sarcastic look. If it was other people, it is really possible that they have been deceived by them. But Su Mu came back thousands of years later. After the Qin, the Kyushu world has indeed declined a bit. But it's far from the point of extinction. It is enough to see that these false gods are still talking nonsense. Su Mu didn't intend to point it out, and wanted to continue to talk. But before he could say anything, the Jade Emperor's originally stiff face suddenly changed greatly, and his voice became sharp and piercing. No. You are not a creature in this world. Who are you? 208. No. You are not a creature in this world. Who are you? Hearing this, Su Mu was suddenly shocked. Has it been seen through? It should be. The key is to be seen through which step? 
It should only be noticed that Su Mu is not a native of this world, but he cannot see through his specific origin. Otherwise, he wouldn't have asked who he was. In addition, this so-called Jade Emperor said a word also. It seems that Su Mu's guess is correct, the gods in the sky are just empty shells, and the will that lives on them comes from other worlds. All the existences in this Lingxiao Hall, whether it is Su Mu or the Immortals, are not native creatures in this world. It really is a cluster of empty shells, and the spirits are dancing. What's not a creature in this world? I don't know what you're talking about. In the face of the stern question from the goddess of Baijiang, Su Mu chose to pretend to be stupid, trying to stabilize the situation and make more words. But that didn't do much. Full of lies and hidden evil intentions. Die. Sen Leng's voice sounded from the mouth of the Jade Emperor. Then, the originally magnificent and immortal Lingxiao Hall suddenly darkened. A gust of gloomy wind blew, and a strange breath began to permeate. The immortals in the hall finally opened their eyes one by one, and Sen coldly stared at Su Mu, exerting infinite pressure. Monster, die. All the immortals drank coldly, and hundreds of voices penetrated into Su Mu's ears, almost not bursting his head. Fortunately, this clone has no soul, reducing most of the damage. When it got dark in front of him, Su Mu hurriedly fled to the outside of the hall. At the same time, the rigid bodies of the immortals twitched slowly, and then they chased after him together. These heavenly fairies with different appearances are just bodies, controlled by wills from nowhere. One chase and one escape, the originally peaceful and peaceful heavenly court fell into chaos. This avatar of Su Mu is made of seven layers of snake skins he took off, and injected with blood essence for sacrifice. So, this is not an ordinary clone. After breaking through to the martial god realm, Su Mu was restricted by his bloodline and could not continue to practice. In addition to reading the world's books, the time spent on this avatar is the most. Today, this clone has half the strength of his main body. It is very powerful, far exceeding ordinary clone techniques. According to Su Mu's temperament, if he insists on fighting against these false gods, even if he can't beat them, he can test their strength. But he now has a more important thing to verify, so he quickly fled outside. In the heavenly court, there are many heavenly soldiers and heavenly generals and rare beasts. But they are all husks and have no combat power. Su Mu broke through these barriers and fled to Nanchiman all the way, disturbing the surrounding fairy clouds. At the rear, the immortals chased after him, and the strange black air quickly spread towards him. It even cast a shadow over the immortal realm that was originally immortal. The evildoer goes away. After shortening the distance, the goddess Baijiang who disguised as Nine Vaults Haokian Golden Tower Supreme Jade Emperor stretched out a finger and stabbed Su Mu. In an instant, the space vibrated violently, and then a gap several meters long was torn apart. A terrifying force came from the other end of the space crack and went straight to Su Mu. A muffled sound. There was no trace of any moves, but Su Mu was already caught. The huge body was smashed by an invisible force, countless scales burst open, and blood splattered. Under the heavy damage, Su Mu paused for half a breath. But after half a breath, he continued to run away with the same expression, but a huge wave was already set off in his heart. This power cannot be possessed by the martial god realm. It comes from a powerful existence above the martial god realm. Fortunately, this power was not directly exerted by the Jade Emperor, but was called from another dimension under the guidance of the will of the body. The process of crossing the space has consumed more than 90% of this power, and there is not much left. But even so, Su Mu's avatar was hit hard by one move. Moreover, he couldn't see through the way the Jade Emperor shot, so naturally he had no way of defending or evading it. Can only resist. If there is no loss across the space, Su Mu's clone will be instantly crushed into slag. After the Jade Emperor, other immortals also took action. The space around the heavenly court was constantly torn apart, and forces attacked Su Mu. Fortunately, the strength of other immortals is not as good as that of the Jade Emperor. Although the avatar of Su Mu kept bursting and becoming more and more broken, it was not completely destroyed by use. Su Mu is still struggling to escape, Nanchenman is right in front of you. Leave. 
Seeing that Su Mu was about to escape, the Jade Emperor looked extremely ferocious. In his roar, a terrifying force blasted toward Su Mu. Although the strength is not as good as the first time, the situation of the clone is also extremely bad. At a critical juncture, Su Mu huddled his entire body together, shrunk into a spherical shape, and kept the back half of his body out. With a loud bang, this clone was shattered by an elusive invisible force. The flesh and blood fell, like a rain of blood. But the ball shrunk by Su Mu was not completely destroyed, and the core area inside the ball kick was still intact. After unwinding, Su Mu found that the cloned head and a small section of the body below the neck were preserved. The most important thing is that he used the power of this move to fly to the south at a faster speed. Call. The cold wind whistled, and snake shadows shuttled. Under Su Mu's extremely calm handling, the small half body of the clone finally crossed the Nanchenman before the next move. As soon as the clone crossed the Nanchenman, the Heavenly Court Immortals stopped in place and did not chase anymore. He just stared at Su Mu with cold and strange eyes, as if he wanted to use his eyes to destroy the little remaining body, even his soul thousands of miles away. Although this clone was almost scrapped, Su Mu was in a good mood. Because the current scene has verified his conjecture. These strange beings with unknown origin and purpose cannot act at will. They are subject to certain restrictions and cannot leave heaven, at least not now. Because of this, Heavenly Court will look for subordinates everywhere, and the development speed in the Kyushu world is extremely slow. If there is no limit to this group of strange existences, Sumu dare not imagine what will happen. I'm afraid that the world of Kyushu is really likely to be destroyed. Thinking of this in his heart, he showed a mocking smile to the immortals in the Heavenly Court across the Nanshiman. Chasing? Why don't you chase? You heavenly fairies. No, it should be said that the extraterritorial demons don't seem to be very good. Destroying this world really makes people laugh out loud. Ha ha ha. Su Mu laughed. Behind these empty shells, all dragged a long trace, and the body shrank to varying degrees. The original nine vaults Houtian Golden Tower Supreme Jade Emperor has shrunk to one hundred feet and the power of the moves is gradually weakening. It seems that the Lingxiao Palace should be a space anchor. These bodies and the wills attached to them are limited in space and cannot move at will. Su Mu deliberately sneered, trying to get more information. This trip to heaven, he has been doing this. It's fine even if you die, the big deal is to reopen. But finally, there is a chance, and we must learn more about this strange heaven. But after they stopped chasing, all the immortals in the heavenly court fell silent, as if they had returned to the sculpture mode. Except for the Jade Emperor, all the other immortals slowly retreated, their cold eyes still staring at Sumu, but they closed a little bit. After most of the immortals had returned, the Jade Emperor finally spoke up. Laugh more if you like, and enjoy the rest of the time. This world will eventually be destroyed, and no one can stop it. He wasn't irritated by Su Mu's taunts. After saying these words, the hundred Zhang gods quickly retreated, leaving only an afterimage. After the immortals left, the mocking smile on Su Mu's face instantly subsided, and the rest was solemn. A strange existence from outside the domain. Is it an extraterritorial demon? Not quite, but more like a practitioner from another world. Is there any deeper purpose behind their desire to destroy this world? But they can't even leave this small world disguised as heaven, so how are they going to destroy the world of Kyushu? By those little actions? There were many questions in Su Mu's heart, and his heart was a little heavy. Fortunately, according to the subsequent history, the Kyushu world has not been completely destroyed, but has declined a lot. But the decline is not a good thing. I don't know if Su Mu has the ability to prevent all this from happening in this life. With this in mind, he controlled the incomplete clone to fly towards the main body. Although most of the clone was broken, the rest was full of scars. But it's better to rebuild on the basis of the original than to start from scratch. This powerful clone is still very useful. If there is no such avatar this time, Sumu will most likely choose to take the risk and come to the heaven to inquire about the situation in person. The main body has suffered such heavy damage, but it will be much more serious. 
After all, the clone is just a dead thing, easy to repair. Just as Su Mu recovered the broken clone and pondered the matter of heaven, a familiar breath quickly approached him. Immediately afterwards, Su Mu heard the cry of cold killing. Master, the armies of Chu and Qin are fighting, right in the mountains. 209. The cold eliminate went away and returned, just because when he was about to leave, he saw that the armies of Qin and Chu were facing each other. Coincidentally, the war between Qin and Chu has been fierce in recent years. This time, both sides wanted to sneak attack on each other through the Qin Chu mountains, and they were caught off guard. As a result, they collided in the mountains. A battle begins here. The Qin state had an army of 300,000, and the Chu state had 500,000. They are well equipped and carry a large number of military instruments and charms. In addition to the warriors, they are also equipped with special arms such as Qi refiners, alchemists, etc. Their respective strengths are very powerful. If we have to compare, the strength of the Chu army is stronger on paper. However, the morale of the Qin army was high, and it became more and more brave. For a time, the two sides battled to a tie and fought fiercely. The screams of killing were so loud that Yun Xiao was pierced. The strength of the human race is too powerful. This is just a part of the army. Watching Qin Chu's army fighting fiercely from a distance, Lin Eliminate's face was extremely serious, and there was a hint of fear in the depths of his eyes. The combat effectiveness displayed by the elite army of the great country makes it shocking. Even fear. Even a grandmaster has no ability to resist an army of this level, and can only run away when encountered. If you dare to collide head-on, hundreds of thousands of elite men will condense into a military soul that can tear the grandmaster to shreds. Only some extremely powerful peak masters can fight against each other, but there is absolutely no possibility of winning. Not to mention that these elite troops are also equipped with many large-scale military weapons with amazing lethality. A thunderbolt, the master has to plant it. Of course, this kind of large-scale magic weapon is relatively bulky, and it is difficult to hit the grandmaster. Unless someone else puts a limit on it. If the human race is not strong, how can the demon race fall to this level? We're still a long way off, let's work hard. Hearing Lang Sha's words, Su Mu's expression didn't change. He is very clear about the strength of the human race. So I know how difficult it is for the demon clan to rise, which is almost impossible. After a few exchanges, Su Mu and Lang Sha continued to watch the play. This battle, no matter how tragic it is, has nothing to do with them, just watch silently. It is said that after Su Mu led the demons under his command to leave, the strength of the 10,000 demon palace was greatly damaged, and its reputation also dropped a lot. In the past 30 years, the power of the 10,000 demon palace has shrunk a lot, making many places in the Qin Chu mountains become unclaimed land. It is through these places where there are no demons that the two countries of Qin and Chu came in. If Wanyao palace was still strong, it would not be so easy to make a sneak attack, and this might not happen. In this way, Su Mu still has some responsibility for this battle. Back to the battlefield. A war of this scale cannot be finished in a day or two. In the first collision, the armies of the two countries fought for two days and one night. Then they each retreated and set up camp not far away to prepare for the next battle. Obviously, the Qin and Chu countries have already made a real fire. Neither side has any intention of giving in, and they are going to fight to the end. Sure enough, after a two-day rest, the two sides fought again, all kinds of cards were played, and they fought frantically. Su Mu even saw a flying crow fire arrow that could eliminate a master master alone. This magic weapon is not only powerful, but also terrifyingly fast. The threat to the strong masters is very large, but fortunately there are not many. Even so, three generals at the grand master level were eliminated by such powerful magic weapons on Qin's side. But the Qin army not only did not collapse, on the contrary, the fighting spirit became more and more high. When the number of people, equipment, and average strength are not as good as Chu state, they have the upper hand. Eliminate. 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 Bursts of roars rang out from the Qin army, 
gathering together and turning into endless killing intent, causing the surrounding temperature to drop a lot. This is like a real killing intent, which makes Chu Guojun's heart float, and it is even more weak. Seeing this scene, Su Mu couldn't help but secretly admired it. All the people are of one mind, and the spirit of the army is like a dragon. The Qin country will be able to dominate the world in the future. However, just when Su Mu thought that Qin state was going to win, another army came quietly from behind the Qin army. There are 200,000 people in this army, which is inferior to the Qin army in every aspect. But at this time, it was extremely deadly to Qin Jun. It's the Qi army. After carefully recognizing the battle flag, Su Mu saw the origin of this army, and at the same time had already guessed the result of the battle. Sure enough, under the siege of the Chu army and the Qi army, the balance of victory and defeat began to tilt. Although the Qin army fought bravely to eliminate the enemy, the fighting spirit did not diminish. But under the absolute disparity in strength, nothing can be changed. After half a day, the Qin army was defeated. The army of Chu state and the army of Qi state pursued them all the way, killing countless retreating Qin troops. Countless corpses paved a road. After chasing and killing them for three days, only tens of thousands of Qin's army of 300,000 remained. They dispersed and fled into the vast mountains and forests. Because they were too scattered, Chu and Qi gave up their pursuit. But this does not mean that those Qin soldiers can survive. You know, this is the Qin Chu mountains where monsters dance. The army is naturally not afraid. However, the scattered and severely wounded soldiers had a hard time resisting the monster's attack. Not all demon clans are as cowardly as the upper echelons of the 10,000 demon palace, and when they see people from a big country, they will be frightened and given again and again. Of the 20,000 to 30,000 Qin troops that were defeated, it would be good to have 30% of them go back alive. Su Mu watched all the way here, and suddenly came up with an idea after discovering this situation. You are waiting for me here. He dropped a sentence and instantly disappeared in front of Lang Eliminate. That night, deep in the mountains. More than a dozen Qin soldiers with broken armor and wounds surrounded a man who looked like a general, and were lighting a fire to keep him warm. This person is not someone else, but the monarch of Qin, King Ling of Qin. At this time, he was full of regret and pain. I am ashamed of my ancestors, as well as the sons and daughters of Qin. This battle has wiped out the great situation of my Dachin. Speaking of excitement, King Qin Ling slammed his fist on the stone beside him, his straight fist cracked and blood flowed. But he didn't seem to know it, and his face was still full of pain and guilt. The thirty armies are not all of the Qin state. But now in this world of great contention, countries are fighting and the situation is critical. The Qin state's troops were very tense. This defeat will affect the whole body. I am afraid that the next situation in the Qin country will be extremely difficult. I originally wanted to attack Chu to relieve the pressure, but it turned out to be self-defeating and ruined more than 200,000 troops. How can I have the face to go back to see my folks? As he spoke, King Ling of Qin covered his face and wept, grief-stricken. Your Majesty, keep the green hill so you won't have to worry about burning wood. You must ensure your health, Da Qin needs you. Yes, King, Da Qin can't live without you. Seeing this scene, the surrounding soldiers comforted one after another. King Ling of Qin was not an incompetent person, but there were too many accidents in this war. First, they collided with the Chu army, and then they were attacked by the Qi army. It can only be said that people are not as good as God, and there should be this disaster. Under the persuasion of the officers and men, King Ling of Qin's mood stabilized a little. He knew that Qin state would be very difficult next. If he dies, the situation will only get worse. Thinking of this, King Ling of Qin took a deep breath and cheered up. He looked around the surrounding soldiers and said in a loud voice. You are right. Our most important task at the moment is to go back alive. Only by being alive can we have a chance to wash away today's humiliation and restore the situation. Especially the country of Qi, with such despicable behavior, I will definitely. Roar. Before Qin Lingwang's words were finished, a ferocious roar suddenly came from not far away. 
At the same time, a ferocious demonic aura came over me. This sudden situation made King Ling of Qin silent immediately. The others were also motionless, not daring to make the slightest sound. Everyone's face was full of fear. Look at this movement, it is a big monster in the master realm. Together these remnants of the defeated army are not the opponents of this big demon. I can only hold my breath, hoping not to be discovered. Otherwise, I am afraid that I will suffer. However, things took a turn for the worst. After a while, there was a rustling sound. It seems that there is a behemoth that is slowly approaching them. King Ling of Qin and his subordinates all held their breaths, daring not to make any movement. The cold sweat on his forehead slowly left. The air is almost frozen. Tick. After a moment of silence, a large cloud of viscous liquid dripped onto a Qin soldier's armor. He looked up and saw a huge lizard sticking out its head from the treetops, saliva dripping from its huge mouth, and a ferocious light flashed in their eyes. Protect the king. The air was quiet for half a second, and then there was a shrill cry. These wounded and defeated soldiers showed amazing qualities. In the blink of an eye, a simple but sturdy battle formation was formed, protecting King Qin Ling at the center. At the same time, the monitor lizard monster spit out, and a poisonous wind hit. This poisonous wind is extremely strong, and it carries a deadly poison. If it is at its peak, ten elite Qin soldiers are enough to eliminate this monster in the early stage of the master. But now they are all wounded, and the weapons, armor, and magical treasures are either damaged or exhausted. In this state, the combat power is less than one-tenth of the peak period. As soon as the poisonous wind blew, Qin Bing, who was originally injured, was poisoned and his body swayed from side to side. If it is not firm will, I am afraid that it has fallen. Is God going to eliminate me? This scene made King Ling of Qin's eyes split, and his heart was extremely painful. Everything that happened today was like a nightmare for him. And now, the nightmare seems to be ending with death. Among the demon clan, there are a few uncivilized beings. Similar to the mountain villagers in the human race, even barbarians. These demons are called demon beasts, with more animal nature than demon nature, and lower intelligence. Killing this monitor lizard at this time is a monster. It doesn't matter whether it is the king of Qin or the king of Chu, as long as it can fill its stomach. After the poisonous smoke, the huge body of the monitor lizard monster suddenly burst out, turning into a green light and rushing towards Qin Ling Wang. The power of this collision is amazing. In the state of King Ling of Qin and his subordinates, they are simply powerless to resist. Are you going to die here? Qin Ling Wang felt extremely bitter in his heart. He didn't expect that he was wise in his first life, but suffered such a great defeat in the second half of his life, and finally died in the mouth of a monster who didn't know how to be brutal. At this critical moment, a mysterious light fell from the sky. Swa. This mysterious light was reaching its limit, and only the strongest Qin Ling Wang captured a little afterimage. Profound light flashed, and the monitor lizard monster stopped abruptly and froze in place. Half a second later, his head fell, and blood surged from the smooth wound, and the huge monster fell to the ground and lost his breath. This savage monster in the Grandmaster realm was eliminated in an instant. King Ling of Qin and the others didn't even see who was helping them. Thank you for saving your life. King Ling of Qin quickly reacted, stunned for a moment, and immediately bowed respectfully to the dark place. Then, a voice sounded from the sky. Stop talking nonsense, come up quickly, I will send you to Qin State. Along with this mysterious and majestic voice, a huge scale several meters wide flew in front of King Qin Ling and others. Obviously, this is the mysterious light that eliminated the monitor lizard monster with one blow. There was no blood on the scales, showing how fierce the blow just now was. Although I didn't see the main lord, the current situation could not tolerate King Ling of Qin's rejection. He and his soldiers stood on this giant scale. Although a bit crowded, it is stable. After everyone stood up, the giant scales flew out like lightning, and the speed was extremely fast. Fortunately, there was an invisible barrier around, helping King Qin Ling and the others to block the violent wind. 
Otherwise, in their current state, if they flew to Qin at this speed, their lives would have been lost. The wind whistled in King Qin Ling's ears, and the scene in his eyes turned into blurred color blocks and lines. Due to the limitation, he could not adapt to such a terrifying speed at all, and could only wait anxiously. If the owner of the scales has bad intentions, they are finished. It's okay to die, if you are sent to another country and become a hostage who can't die even if you want to die, that's bad. Qin Ling Wang, who had been unlucky all day, was a little uneasy in his heart. Fortunately, this time, things did not develop in a bad direction after half an hour, they crossed most of the Qin Chu mountains and came to the Qin country. Here, you go down. The mysterious and majestic voice sounded again, and the giant scales stopped. King Qin Ling and others jumped down one after another, looking in a trance. Returning to Qin state so easily made them feel unreal. After regaining his senses, King Qin Ling bowed again to the place where the mysterious voice sounded, and said respectfully. Your Excellency's life-saving grace is unforgettable by Ying Su. Also ask the benefactor to show up, so that you know where to repay your kindness. Perhaps the sincere attitude of King Qin Ling played a role, and the space above them fluctuated slightly. Then, a giant snake demon hundreds of meters long appeared in front of them. It turned out to be a demon king of the martial god realm. Compared with this kind of demon king, the monitor lizard monster can only be regarded as an inconspicuous four-legged snake. This. King Qin Ling and others did not expect that the savior was actually a demon king, and they were all shocked and speechless. Only King Qin Ling was the first to react, and once again bowed to the demon king in the sky, and asked respectfully. Dare to ask the name of the demon king, there will be a great reward in the future. Hearing this, Su Mu's eyes flashed a thoughtful look. Name. Call me Demon Master, Master of Ten Thousand Demons. Hearing this name, King Ling of Qin was shocked. The demon king who saved them seems to have an extraordinary origin. 210. The Qin state is strong and powerful, and there are many gods of war. One person lost in the battle just now. Another was seriously injured and lost, and I don't know where he was at this time, whether he was dead or alive. What surprised King Ling of Qin was not the cultivation of Su Mu's martial god realm, but the meaning behind the title of Su Mu. Master of all demons. What kind of existence would a demon king with such a title be? Could it be that he has really taught and transformed tens of thousands of demon clans and was regarded as a demon master? In an instant, King Ling of Qin thought a lot. At the same time, he gratefully said to Su Mu. Many thanks to the demon master for saving his life, I can't repay it now, please accept this spiritual jade. Having said that, King Ling of Qin took off a jade pendant he was carrying and gave it to Su Mu. After Su Mu accepted it, he gave King Qin Ling a palm-sized scale that had fallen from the peeling. The Yaozu Fuxing Society is a force under my command. When giving it away, Su Mu suddenly said something out of nowhere. But King Ling of Qin was the ruler of a country, and he immediately understood the subtext of the demon king in front of him. One person and one snake looked at each other and knew each other's thoughts. Jade pendants and scales are equivalent to tokens. From today onwards, the Yaozu Fuxing Society and the Human Qin Kingdom have established a preliminary friendship. Of course, it's just a superficial relationship. The specific development of what kind of depends on the follow-up exchanges. For Su Mu, this is enough. After all, the first emperor who unified Kyushu was still a hundred years away from being born. Who can say exactly what will happen a hundred years later? Take one step at a time. After returning home, rectify it well, and Qin will have the last laugh. After leaving a sentence, Su Mu jumped into the clouds and rode in the fog, riding the wind away under the watchful eyes of King Qin Ling and others. Qin has the last laugh. I hope so. King Ling of Qin sighed and rushed to the capital with the remnants of the defeated generals under his command. He has a lot to deal with next. I just hope that the country of Qin can overcome this difficulty. After Su Mu went back, let Leng Xiao inform him that the demons of Fuxing society could be kind to Qin in the future. Of course, it is equal treatment, and there is no need to make concessions. 
After explaining it, Su Mu began to cultivate. I don't know how much potential the bloodline of this nine-winged Luyun python has, and what realm it can support in his cultivation. This, we have to practice Su Mu to know. On the other hand, after the defeat, the Qin state fell into an unprecedented low point. Fortunately, King Ling of Qin was decisive. After returning to China, he immediately abandoned dozens of cities, completely shrinking the front line, and defending the capital with a large army. Chu and Qi, who originally planned to join forces to attack Qin, quarreled in order to compete for the benefits of Qin. Coupled with the fact that the Qin state was on the defensive with all its strength, the two countries could only give up the idea of continuing to attack. In the following decades, the land of Kyushu continued to fight, and all the small countries perished, leaving only the last seven countries. However, the strength of these seven countries is very strong, and they check and balance each other. Even if a country is decadent for a while, it will not be easily destroyed. For example, after the great defeat of the Qin state, it contracted its forces to develop with all their strength, and its strength has gradually recovered. The situation in Kyushu is temporarily stalemate, and it is difficult to decide a final winner. On the demon clan side, Sumu also had a very headache. He wants to unify the power of the demon clan as much as possible, and when the catastrophe comes in the future, he will have more power at his disposal. But if the demon clan is really so easy to unify, it will not be Su Mu's turn to complete it. The idea of Fuxing society is very attractive to most demon clan. But in the eyes of some demon clan, it is worthless. Some big monsters hide in the mountains and forests that the human race cannot reach, and their own strength is strong enough. Therefore, he has never been oppressed by the human race. Moreover, this kind of monster is free and loose, and I don't like Fuxing Club's idea of putting the collective interests first. The worst thing is that although there are not many such monsters, their strength is very powerful. More than half of the Grandmaster Realm Great Demons are not interested in Fuxing society. As for the Demon King in the Martial God Realm, not to mention, no one has paid attention to the Fuxing society so far. You know, this is a high martial world. A lot of people do not necessarily mean a lot of power. If you can't unite the top demons, the idea of gathering all the power of the demon clan is doomed to fail. Except for this part of the demon clan, the demon beasts cannot unite. The monsters are just like the savages in the human race. They are savage and uncivilized, and their animal nature is more than a monster. They are all stupid and difficult to communicate. I hope they will join the Fuxing society to revitalize the demon clan, so let's take a nap. Su Mu knew very well that if this catastrophe could not be stopped, the demon clan of later generations would gradually transform in the direction of demon beasts. In the era of Dagon, there were almost all monsters, not many serious monsters. The inheritance of the demon clan is almost extinct. In addition to these groups that cannot be drawn together and united, there is another big problem. That is to recognize the idea of Fuxing society, and it is not necessary to join Su Mu's command. The Qinchu Mountains are not bad, but the control of Su Mu and Fuxing society is relatively weak in further places. In the earliest days, a great demon of the Yen Kingdom used the ideas of the Fuxing society to start a new career and expand his strength crazily. Later, before Su Mu sent people to destroy it, it was executed by the state of Yen because it acted too arrogantly. This incident had a very bad influence on the development of Fuxing society. On the one hand, many big monsters have moved their minds in the follow-up and used the ideas of Fuxing society to create their own forces. On the other hand, this incident gave both the demon clan and the human clan a bad impression of the Fuxing society. This kind of bad impression is very bad for an ideological-centered organization like Fuxing society. Besides these, there are many more problems. Annoying Su Mu's head is about to explode. He is not a person who is good at manipulating power and handling government affairs. To be precise, Su Mu is not interested in these things, and naturally he will not be good at it over time. The difficulty of unifying the demon clan and establishing the demon kingdom is beyond his imagination. Su Mu has basically given up the idea of establishing a demon kingdom, and only wants to strengthen his power as much as possible, and have a stronger power when disaster strikes. 
Speaking of catastrophe, one has to say Heavenly Court. Over the years, Su Mu has not forgotten to suppress the development of the Heavenly Court while developing the Fuxing Society. First, he advertised that Heavenly Court is not a good thing among the Demon Clan, which made ordinary little demons fear it and would not communicate with it. Then he sent a great monster in the Master State to strangle the mountain gods and river gods everywhere, and destroy the nails that Heavenly Court had placed in the Kyushu world. Actually, Sumu didn't know what the use of these mountain gods and river gods were. But it's over. Although those empty shell pseudo immortals in Heavenly Court are powerful, they cannot enter the Kyushu world. Under Su Mu's suppression, some of the forces in the Heavenly Court gradually moved underground, and the speed of development will definitely slow down. However, many mountain gods and river gods are located in the depths of various countries, and Su Mu cannot carry out large scale cleaning. These mountain gods and river gods are low in strength, and they are not in the eyes of the countries that are busy fighting for hegemony, so they don't bother to care about them. It was impossible for Su Mu to persuade those big human nations. Helpless, he can only do this step. Apart from these headaches, there are also things that make Su Mu happy. Old but stronger it really works. After the evolution of the bloodline, Su Mu was finally able to continue to improve his cultivation level. And every ten years, his bloodline will evolve. It's just that the power of bloodline evolution given each time is constant. But the further back the bloodline of the nine-winged flowing cloud python, the more evolutionary power it needs. This means that the evolution of the Sumo bloodline is getting slower and slower. When he was 160 years old, old and stronger had taken effect seven times, but his bloodline had only evolved to five wings. Based on this calculation, it will take almost 150 years for Su Mu to evolve into the complete body of the nine-winged flowing cloud python. It can only be said that it is too difficult to evolve bloodlines. After such a long time, Su Mu didn't know if he could wait until that day. Fortunately, at the age of 160, he successfully advanced to the middle stage of the Valkyrie, and his strength doubled. In addition to his own progress, Menli and Qingyu Big Bird Bell have also successively become the demon kings of the martial god realm. Both of them have the bloodline of alien beasts, which is not comparable to ordinary demon clan. Especially Mengli. The pure bloodline of the nine-tailed celestial fox will not be fully opened until the martial god realm. As soon as the nine tails opened, their strength skyrocketed. Especially Meng Li's unique innate supernatural power, fantasy. It can transform reality and reality in a short period of time, which is extremely strange. If you are not careful, you will sink into the illusion forever and die silently. That power, Su Mu all looked at it. In addition, through Meng Li, it can be seen that the bloodline of the nine-tailed fox in Fusan Kingdom is not pure. But thinking about it is also right, if it was a pure nine-tailed celestial fox, how could it be driven away by the fox clan, and ended up in Fusang country? Speaking of the fox demon, Su Mu suddenly remembered that her name seemed to be Ling, which was exactly the same as the big bird with blue feathers. I don't know if it's just a coincidence, or if there is another secret. In short, although there are many problems in recent years, the overall development is not bad. Since he couldn't win over a powerful demon clan, Su Mu slowly cultivated. I just don't know if the time permits. Su Mu did everything she could, quietly waiting for the disaster to come. Time flies, and more than 30 years have passed in an instant. Su Mu is 200 years old, his bloodline has evolved to seven wings, and he has awakened an innate supernatural power. The so-called innate supernatural powers are supernatural powers that the monsters can master naturally without learning, like breathing. Generally, only monsters with powerful bloodline can possess innate supernatural powers. To be honest, Sumu also had an innate supernatural power before, that is, the poisonous fog. It's a pity that the lethality is too weak. After countless improvements, the strength of the corresponding realm can be exerted. Strictly speaking, it is only a small talent, far from being an innate supernatural power. This awakening is the real innate supernatural power. This magical power is called Luyun Fei, and Su Mu's bloodline evolved to six wings and awakened. Once cast, the flowing cloud scarlet pattern on his body will turn into a gorgeous giant wing of light, 
and the speed and agility will more than double. This innate supernatural power greatly improved Su Mu's body technique, which was very useful in battle. I have to say, it's really cool to have a strong bloodline. Most of the time, fighting father is king. On this day, Su Mu finished his practice and took out a random book to read. The middle stage of the martial god is basically his current limit. If he wants to continue to cultivate, he has to wait for his bloodline to improve. While watching, Leng Sha led a human race to fly over. This wolf demon talent is not bad, but he doesn't have the talent to cultivate to the martial god realm. It has been successfully stuck in the Grand Master for decades, and has no understanding of the profound meaning of the martial god realm. In desperation, Leng Sha could only give up attacking the martial god and concentrate on staying by Su Mu's side. Master, the envoy of the Qin state is asking to see you. With that said, Leng Sha brought the man to Su Mu. Since the rescue of King Ling of Qin that time, Su Mu and Qin Gua have always kept in touch. Even though King Ling of Qin had passed away long ago, this relationship still exists. Therefore, Leng Sha directly brought the Qin envoy to Su Mu. What's the matter? Su Mu put down the book, glanced at the man, and asked calmly. The envoy of the Qin state fell to his knees in front of Su Mu with a pop and pleaded. Also ask the demon master to save my prince. Save this child who neither father nor mother loves. Hearing this, Su Mu thought of an existence, and immediately came to the spirit. What's going on? Tell me in detail. Under Su Mu's inquiry, the messenger explained in detail. In recent years, Qin state has been defeated one after another, and in a weak situation, he planned to send a prince to Chu state as a proton, in order to ease the relationship. This one is not so much a messenger as a domestic servant. His master is the prince who will be sent to Chu as a proton this time, Ying Zheng. Demon master, you have great supernatural powers, and the king is also your junior. Please talk to the old man, don't let Gong Zizeng be a proton. The messenger knelt on the ground, uneasy. Ying Zheng was sent to be a proton because his father didn't like him. This person came to beg Su Mu because he wanted him to intercede and make the current king Qin change his mind. The relationship between Su Mu and the Qin royal family is neither distant nor close. But there is still some face to ask the king of Qin to change to a proton. But after thinking for a while, Su Mu chose to refuse. I can't interfere in this matter. But before going to Chu, you can bring Ying Zheng, and I will use supernatural powers to ensure his personal safety in Chu. Living to be two hundred years old, Su Mu finally heard the thunderous name, Ying Zheng. The man who will be called the first emperor and the ancestor dragon in later generations. According to the normal development of history, this one will succeed the king of Qin and unify the land of Kyushu. It may even have collided with the heaven. And the premise of all this is that Ying Zheng follows his own life path. Therefore, Su Mu did not dare to intervene easily. He intends to focus on observation first in this life, to figure out Ying Zheng's entire life trajectory. After everything is clear, we will be able to intervene and make things develop in a better direction. But if you intervene rashly, it may have a bad influence, but it will have side effects. After hearing Su Mu's reply, the messenger was a little disappointed. But with the help of a demon king like Su Mu, at least his life is safe. It is also a fortune among misfortunes. More than ten days later, a six- or seven-year-old child was brought to Su Mu. This child is quite delicate and cute, but there is a hint of domineering between his brows at a young age. He pursed his lips, clenched his small fist, and there was an unyielding stubbornness in his eyes. This child is Ying Zheng. Although he is young, he does not have the childishness of a child, but instead has a mature feeling. This clashes with the exterior, giving it an incongruous and weird feeling. Perhaps it was for this reason that Ying Zheng was disliked by his father. Seeing this first emperor who left a deep impression on history, and in his childhood, Su Mu couldn't help but become interested. He slowly lowered his head, the huge head leaned in front of Ying Zheng, and asked coldly. You little doll is Ying Zheng. Su Mu's demon body hasn't grown any more over the years, but it's still huge enough. A vertical pupil is more than ten times that of Xiao Ying Zheng. 
If he were an ordinary child, he would have been frightened and cried. Ying Zheng's young body trembled slightly, and his face was also tense. But he was not taken away by fear. Xiao Ying Zheng raised his head, looked at Su Mu stubbornly, and shouted in a childish voice. Yes, I am Ying Zheng. The milky voice was very firm, and she didn't mean to back down. However, the envoy beside Ying Zheng was so frightened that he fell to his knees, trembling. Hearing Ying Zheng's tone, he was so frightened that he almost fainted. Although Qin State has a little friendship with this demon king. But in the hearts of messengers or most human races. After all, a demon is a demon, an alien. If one is unhappy, he may turn his face. But the fact is quite the opposite. After seeing Ying Zheng's performance, Su Mu was delighted. In the end, he was an emperor through the ages, and he was already extraordinary when he was young. Although it's a pity he didn't make him cry. But Su Mu would like to see what kind of situation this first emperor can create. With this in mind, Su Mu didn't tease Xiao Yingjing anymore. When he thought about it, a snake scale flew out. Then it shrank to the size of an ordinary person's palm and hung it on Xiao Yingjing's chest. This goggle can keep you safe. It must be worn every day and cannot be taken off. Su Mu raised his head, and a majestic voice sounded from the sky. Quickly thank you demon master. The messenger, who originally thought it would be bad, was overjoyed when he heard these words, and pulled Ying Zheng to salute. Although Ying Zheng is very intelligent, he is still young. The fierce and terrifying serpent in front of him suddenly changed his attitude and gave him treasures. Xiao Ying Zheng was a little overwhelmed, and was pulled by the messenger and gave a stiff salute. Okay, let's go where you should go. After giving a goggle made of snake scales, Su Mu began to chase people away. It's not that he doesn't dare to be interested in this ancient emperor. Instead, his will is attached to the goggles, so he can observe Ying Zheng at any time and find out the trajectory of his life. Hearing this, the messenger didn't dare to stay for long, and pulled his little master to turn around and leave. When he was about to go down the mountain, Ying Zheng suddenly turned his head, regardless of whether Su Mu could hear him or not, he shouted loudly. Thank you, Orochi. One day I will be in charge of the universe, and I will repay it a hundredfold. After all, Ying Zheng didn't stop there, and strode towards the direction of Chu State. That gesture seems not to be a proton, but to conquer the state of Chu. Interesting. Looking at the back of Xiao Ying Zheng leaving, Su Mu whispered to himself. The history books are incomplete and deeds are incomplete. Su Mu wants to personally witness Ying Zheng's growth and see what role he will play in the upcoming catastrophe. May be the key to breaking the game. After arriving in the state of Chu, Ying Zheng had a very hard life. But it's still pretty good, nothing special happened. Su Mu doesn't need to stare at all the time, just pay attention occasionally. Five years passed in a flash. Five years is very short for Su Mu in this life, and it will be gone after a retreat. But for the young Ying Zheng, it was extremely long. He spent the most difficult five years of his life and encountered a lot of trouble. Fortunately, it was a smooth transition from a seven-year-old child to a twelve-year-old boy. Recently, Ying Zheng ushered in the opportunity to return to Qin. In recent years, the state of Zhao has become more powerful, which has made the relationship between Qin and Chu a lot better. After some negotiation some time ago, the state of Chu decided to return Ying Zheng, the proton. The team from Qin to pick up people is already on their way. After hearing the news, Ying Zheng was overjoyed at first, but when he thought of his father who looked at him like an outsider, his heart became cold again. He had hardly ever felt the warmth of family since he had lived so old. My father was not happy, and my mother died early. The only person who made Ying Zheng feel the warmth from his elders was Su Mu, who had only met once five years ago. In his heart, this demon king has at least protected himself. Thinking of this, Ying Zheng touched the goggles on his chest and his expression moved slightly. This heart guard has saved him several times, and it has become his most cherished thing. Even sleeping will not take it off. Wearing it, Ying Zheng has a sense of security. Because of this, he has a special feeling for Su Mu. Just as he was thinking, there was a commotion outside. King Shui River God is coming, 
hurry up and welcome. King Shui River God is coming, hurry up and welcome. King Shui River God is coming, hurry up and welcome. The shouts were repeated over and over again, accompanied by the sound of gongs and drums, and bursts of cheers. Why did the festival of the river god of Qingshui come here? The servants beside Ying Zheng looked out strangely. I saw a group of people dressed in red and green, beating gongs and drums around their house, carrying a statue of God waiting at the door, waiting to open the door. This is a part of the festival, called Welcome to the Gods. The sacrificial team will randomly enter the homes of the common people, and the common people need to welcome them. After the gongs and drums at home, they carried the statue for a circle, and then the sacrificial team would leave. It means that this family will be blessed by the gods in the future. In fact, it is a folk activity, which is intended to be lively and auspicious. People who are visited by God are usually very happy and think it is a good thing. But the sacrifices to the gods of the Qingshui River are not usually held here, and Yu Kanchu. Kam is still far away. This time, I don't know how, I came here. Young master, let's open the door to welcome God. It's time to return to Qin, and we'll have a good time. Ying Zheng's attendants were beaming with joy, thinking this was a good sign. It is good. Ying Zheng didn't think much, nodded and agreed. But at this moment, the goggles on his chest suddenly shone brightly, and a large snake phantom appeared in front of them. Can't open the door, everyone is on alert. At the first appearance, Su Mu didn't have time to say anything more to Ying Zheng, and immediately gave a loud warning. In a word, the surrounding air suddenly solidified. Su Mu stood in front of Ying Zheng with a dignified expression, and looked vigilantly at the sacrificial team behind the door. He did not expect that heavenly court would find Ying Zheng at this point in time. This is somewhat unreasonable. 2.11 At this time, Ying Zheng was just an inconspicuous proton, and he didn't even have a few decent guards around him. He was only seven years old when he came to Chu, and he was not welcome, so he did not start practicing martial arts or qi. Not to mention when we arrive in Chu State. There is no one to teach and no cultivation resources. Twelve-year-old Ying Zheng had only learned some superficial martial arts, and barely reached the level of bone refining. According to popular saying, it is a second-rate martial artist. Such power cannot protect itself at all. At this point in time, Heavenly Court was eyeing him. Without Su Mu's help, Ying Zheng would have no choice but to die. There will be no more ancient emperors behind. It seems that the appearance of Su Mu caused the butterfly effect, which caused Ying Zheng to be targeted by Heavenly Court. If you think about it carefully, you can guess the general reason. Su Mu is one of the characters on the must kill list in Heavenly Court. He gave Ying Zheng a breastplate and protected him several times. Probably for this reason, this little boy was targeted by Heavenly Court. In an instant, Su Mu thought of a lot. On the other side, the servant who was stopped by him stopped in place and looked at Ying Zheng with questioning eyes. Listen to him. Su Mu suddenly appeared with a solemn expression, obviously something bad happened. Although Ying Zheng is young, he is very smart and calm. After instructing his servants, he asked Su Mu. The snake, is there a problem with the worship team outside the door? I came to kill you, do you think there is a problem? Su Mu replied casually, and then the illusory demon body slowly stretched out, reaching a length of 20 or 30 meters. This Dao Su is about the strength of the middle stage master, and I don't know if it can stand it. If it really doesn't work, you can retreat with Ying Jing first. When he was thinking about countermeasures, the shouts outside the door became hurried. King Shui River God is coming, quickly welcome. King Shui River God is coming, quickly welcome. What's going on with this family? There are obviously people in the house, why? Ah! Shouting and shouting, a shrill scream suddenly came from the crowd. River God statue, come to life. The god of Qingshui River is a half-man, half-fish existence, and the statue perfectly restores its appearance. The resurrection of the statue was nothing scary originally. It is not that these villagers in the sacrificial team have not seen the Qingshui River god, and they are simple and honest on weekdays. The problem is, the river the statue is turning into is far more hideous than usual. 
I saw that it had sharp teeth and sharp teeth, a violent expression, and a fierce aura spewed out. As soon as he appeared, he swallowed the man who was carrying the statue in front of him. Between chewing, flesh and blood flew, and the sound of bone cracking bursts. The residue of flesh and blood slowly flowed down the corner of its mouth. This scene scared the surrounding villagers into screaming, desperately fleeing into the distance. Seeing this, the two-meter-high river god opened his mouth, and a huge sticky tongue stretched infinitely, wrapping and swallowing a few martial artists in the crowd. Ha ha ha! I finally tasted this taste again. The fish man in the river laughed with satisfaction, and then looked at the small courtyard in front of him. This guy is a monster. Decades ago, he was incorporated by the heavenly court and became a river god. Although the cultivation base has improved a lot, but under the restrictions of the heavenly court, he must not do evil to the human race. Let this savage monster who likes to eat people endure it enough. Finally, this time, heavenly court issued a task to let it kill a young human race. As long as it can complete this task, it can do whatever it wants, and let it indulge for three days. A mere human boy in the body refinement realm, yet he was not in the eyes of the fish man and the river god. It felt that it could easily complete the task, so it first ate two dozen toothpastes, which was the appetizer at that time. In the early days of the innate, the strength is not strong. But heavenly court's methods. It's hard to say. Su Mu felt a little relieved after discovering that this fishman and river only had the cultivation of the Sientian realm, but he did not relax. Those pseudo-immortals in the heavenly court seem to come from another world, and the cultivation civilization is very likely to be higher than that of Kyushu, and there may be some strange means. Just as he was thinking, the fishman and river slammed open the door directly, and the body of a little giant broke in. Ah! Young master, run, the man-eating monster rushed in. The servant who was going to open the door before was so frightened that he fell to the ground, his face pale. In addition to being afraid, he did not forget to let his master escape quickly. Seeing this scene, Ying Zheng was startled at first, then immediately drew out his saber, staring at the fish man and the river with only war intent and no timidity in his eyes. Even if he knew that he was defeated, he would not timidly run away. This little boy showed his perseverance. However, with Su Mu around, this little river wouldn't be able to make any big waves. Where is the snake demon, dare to block the way of the god? Get out of the way, let the eat the kid behind. Without waiting for Su Mu to bloom, the fish man in the river shouted first, looking arrogant. The monster is stupid and mindless, and it has limited vision, so it doesn't see Su Mu's extraordinariness at all. On the contrary, after being a river for decades, he was able to support himself, and he really thought he was a god. In response to this fish man and river god, it was a red breath. This crimson breath crossed the space in the blink of an eye and slammed into the fish man river god. Boom! With a loud noise, the monster body of the fishman river god burst open, turning into a mass of flesh and blood fireworks. A mere monster in the innate realm couldn't stop Su Mu's move at all. Even if the only person present is a phantom of Su Mu. This. It took only a few breaths for the fishman and the river to go from being fierce and arrogant to being smashed into a pool of rotten meat. Such a subversive reversal made all the servants beside Ying Zheng dumbfounded. Ying Zheng's expression did not change, he knew that the one in front of him was a demon king. But he did not relax, instead he became more dignified. What kind of existence is an enemy that even the demon king has to treat with caution? Why are you going to deal with him? These are all questions. Although Ying Zheng is young, he has seen too much evil in the world and is much more mature than his peers. What happened in front of him made him think a lot. Sure enough, the corpse of the fish man and the river gradually wriggled after it landed, and a blood-colored villain slowly rose up. The blurred-looking blood-colored villain looked at Su Mu, the corners of his mouth cracked open, revealing a smug smile. You care about this human race boy. Hearing this, Su Mu's heart groaned, secretly thinking that it was not good. He got it all. This action is a temptation by the heavenly court. If Su Mu didn't take action, they would take advantage of the situation to kill Ying Zheng, which was just a trivial matter anyway. If Su Mu makes a move, 
he can be sure that Ying Zheng has a certain weight in his heart and may be an important person. This is an unbreakable puzzle. Thinking of this, Su Mu couldn't help being silent. He didn't want to interfere with Ying Zheng's growth, so that this emperor could develop according to the original historical trajectory. Now, that idea seems to be in vain. Seeing that Su Mu didn't speak, the blood-colored villain was even more proud. The Prince of Qin who was sent to Chu State as a proton is just a bone-refining realm martial artist. It seems that there is nothing special about it. But since you care, we naturally can't let it go. You've caused us such a big trouble, it's not too much for us to kill one back, right? Ha 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 ha. In a burst of crazy laughter, the blood-colored villain collapsed and disappeared. Obviously, Tian Ting did not intend to fight Su Mu immediately. Instead, he completely focused on Ying Zheng and placed him on the must-kill list. Ying Zheng's next growth path, I'm afraid it will be a little difficult. If this ancient emperor dies prematurely, will there be another emperor with great talent in Kyushu? Su Mu was not sure. But this dungeon world has been explored to this extent, one thing is certain. Heaven will be the source of catastrophe. When they develop to a certain level and accumulate enough strength, they will set off a catastrophe. If Kyushu can't be unified at that time, I'm afraid the situation will be worse than the original history. Destruction is not impossible. Thinking of this, Sumu only felt a headache. Enemies are tricky. Pfft. Just when Su Mu was distressed, Ying Zheng suddenly knelt down in front of him. Su Mu was stunned for a moment, then turned to look at him. I saw the young boy with a determined face and bowed deeply toward Su Mu. I also asked Master to accept me as a disciple. I am a teacher for one day and a father for a lifetime, and I will serve the Master for the rest of my life. If one day I can become the King of Qin, then the Master will be the Eternal Emperor of Qin. After all, Ying Zheng knelt down and didn't move. There is a posture that if Su Mu does not agree, he will not get up. Seeing this, Su Mu's eyes flashed a look of admiration. What a smart and alert young man. No matter what the origin of Heavenly Court was, he definitely had malice towards Ying Zheng. He is just a little baby whose father does not love his mother, how can he escape the pursuit of heaven if there is no one to protect him? This is the mysterious organization that can drive the river to kill. And now the only person Ying Zheng can rely on is Su Mu. And he also heard from the blood-colored villain's words, Su Mu's intention to take care of him. It was because of Su Mu's care that he got into this murder. Originally intended to protect him, and let him get killed. Everything has come naturally. After quickly thinking about this, Ying Zheng knelt down to apprentice without hesitation. He knew that he couldn't be a teacher today, and he was afraid that he would not be able to live in a few days. So, if you don't succeed, you will kneel to death. Seeing Ying Zheng kneeling there motionless, Su Mu narrowed his eyes and pondered. After a while, he carefully calculated the benefits and losses, and then said slowly. Forget it, I'll accept you today. But it won't teach you exercises or teach you to do things. It will only bless your safety and block the attack of the heavenly court. You need to walk your own way. Although he decided to accept Ying Zheng as his apprentice, Su Mu still did not want to interfere with his growth. Only by letting him follow the original principle can Su Mu obtain more information so that he can make adjustments in the next life and develop in a better direction. As for the customs clearance in this life. He never thought about it. Heavenly Court is the most terrifying enemy Su Mu has encountered so far. Even more than the Red Dragon Centipede. Thank you, Master. On the other side, Ying Zheng, who was accepted by Su Mu, was overjoyed and bowed three times again. Although Su Mu would not pass on his exercises or give other help. But as long as it can keep him safe, that's enough. This little boy just wanted to live. As for being able to become the King of Qin someday, it is just his helpless painting. To become the first emperor who swept the world and unified Kyushu, the young man had to go a long way. I don't know what Heavenly Court has done, but King Shui River God's act of eating people in the street was actually suppressed. Su Mu seriously suspects that the power of the Heavenly Court may have penetrated into the high level of Chu State. But these are not things he has to worry about for the time being. Half a month later, 
the Qin state team arrived. A congenital warrior, two acquired warriors, and a qi refiner who has only cultivated three qi. The rest are a group of martial artists in the body refining realm. This welcoming team can only be described as shabby. It can be seen that Ying Zheng is not valued at all and is a little transparent. Without the protection of Su Mu, he would most likely be intercepted by Heavenly Court on his way back to Qin. Fortunately, Su Mu has sent several great masters and demons to protect Ying Zheng in secret. After more than a month, Ying Zheng returned to Qin safely, and his journey began. Not long after his return, King Xiang of Qin suffered from a strange disease, and Zhao State attacked from outside, and the situation was a little chaotic. Taking this opportunity, Ying Zheng began to build and cultivate his own power, secretly accumulating power. Su Mu watched silently throughout the whole process, and did nothing except help him block Heavenly Court's attack. But Ying Zheng still respected him immensely. No matter how busy you are, you must salute him every day and treat Su Mu like a father. Time passes day by day. In the struggle of various forces, this little boy grew up quickly. Witnessing Ying Zheng's growth, Su Mu couldn't help but think of a question. When Ying Zheng unified Kyushu and ascended to the throne, can he learn from the red dragon centipede and use the great Qin Qi to transport the dragon? Da Qin's luck is a hundred times better than that of Dagon, enough to support Su Mulong without hurting the root. But then he thought of a fatal problem. He doesn't know the secret technique that devours the country's air transport and transforms the dragon. Cultivation methods in this era are many times stronger than Dakian. A hundred schools of thought contend, communicate with each other, and have no secrets. The entire cultivation civilization flourished and made rapid progress. But this is precisely the problem. It is impossible for the human race to create the secret method of transforming a demon into a dragon. Who would want to create something that is not needed? As for the demon clan, it is estimated that no one has ever thought of swallowing the luck of a country to help improve their bloodline. In this day and age, this approach is too crazy, and it is no different from killing. Even the giant monster of the of war, which is more powerful than Sumu, does not have the courage. Once this idea is exposed, it will be attacked by all the great nations. In this way, although Su Mu has the opportunity to devour the air of the country like the red dragon centipede. But there is no corresponding secret method, so he can only stare blankly. As for the self-created secret method, it is even more unworkable. It was not until he broke through to the martial god realm that Su Mu gradually understood the importance of bloodline. There is too little knowledge about it, and it is impossible to start. It seems that protecting the country with the black dragon is out of the question. How should I go about my cultivation path in this life? Su Mu's thoughts gradually shifted to the distance. In the next three years, King Xiang of Qin gradually became seriously ill and his power fell. Ying Zheng took the opportunity to gain control of some powers, continued to grow his own power, and also got on with some top dignitaries. After a few years, the teenager has grown up, and he looks like a little adult and still in various experiences, he has a bit of a king's breath. Finally. When Ying Zheng was fifteen years old, King Xiang of Qin died of illness, and the battle for the throne began. After a period of time, several other princes who were capable of competing for the throne of Qin King were defeated for various reasons. One of them accidentally fell off a horse and died, and was trampled into flesh by a fierce war horse. I don't know if it was a real accident or a fake one. These Su Mu don't care. In short, Ying Zheng finally ascended the throne at the age of 15 and became the king of Qin. His path gradually widened. At the same time, the small movements of heavenly court in the land of Kyushu became more and more. 212. Fuxing society has been established for more than 100 years, and there are more than 10 million monsters under its command. But apart from Su Mu, there are only three who can break through to the martial god realm. Mengli, Ling, and the golden toad monster who admired Su Mu and voluntarily gave his territory to him to practice retreat. After traveling for a while, Jin Chan returned to Fuxing Club to work for Su Mu. Seeing his loyalty, Su Mu did not hesitate to guide him. Decades ago, the golden toad demon finally crossed that threshold and stepped into the martial god realm. 
However, the three demons did not continue to break through, and they were still the realm of the initial stage of the martial god. Only Munli made the fastest progress, and there was a vague sign of breaking through to the middle stage of the martial god. As for Su Mu, he is still the cultivation base of the middle stage of the martial god. If you want to break through, you have to wait for the bloodline to improve. In addition, the cultivation of the martial god realm is not so easy. It is necessary to refine the spiritual energy and continuously expand its own small world. This is a long and difficult process, each step up is extremely difficult. Only practitioners who have no shortage of talent, perseverance, and Taoism can keep moving forward. Otherwise, he would be like that old Ares demon, stuck in the initial stage of martial god, unable to move, and could only be severely humiliated by Su Mu who had just broken through. At this time, Su Mu was practicing. The huge monster body hundreds of meters long hovered on the top of Ling Shan, absorbing the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, the essence of the sun and the moon like swallowing a river. Above the demon body, there is a three meter long crystal clear snake, as if composed of pure light. The appearance of the snake is exactly the same as Su Mu, like a miniature version of him. At this time, the snake is absorbing the spiritual energy that has been condensed by the demon body, and it grows little by little. This spirit snake is Su Mu's own small world, a symbol of his power. On the Qin side, Ying Zheng had just ascended to the throne, and his power had not yet been consolidated. It is estimated that it will take some time to eliminate dissidents and completely secure this position. These are not things that Su Mu has to worry about, he doesn't have to worry about it. In the past few years, Tian Ting had attacked and killed Ying Zheng several times, but they were all blocked by the big demon sent by Su Mu. These little tricks are no longer played recently. As a result, Su Mu was at ease. Practice when you have time, and wait for Ying Zheng to grow up. While cultivating, Su Mu suddenly opened his eyes and seemed to sense something. The little aura snake above also instantly submerged into his body, and the spiritual flesh merged into one. Yeah have you been found again? After Su Mu's action, the space beside him fluctuated slightly, and a pink and white little fox demon jumped out. It was Meng Li. Didn't you say go back to Qingqiu for a while? Why did you come back? Could it be that something special happened? Su Mu's eyes sank slightly, looking at the little fox. After Meng Li broke through to the martial god realm, her status in the Qingqiu fox clan rose, and she was the next patriarch. And she is a senior member of the Fuxing Club, so the Qingqiu Fox Group naturally joined the Fuxing Club. In recent years, the old fox demon Shou Yuan in the martial god realm that Su Mu had seen in his previous life was near and died soon. There was nothing important for the Fuxing Society, so Meng Li planned to go back and accompany it through the last journey of the monster. Now that I'm back halfway, I'm afraid I have something to tell Su Mu. Sure enough, Meng Li nodded her head. When I was hanging out with the ancestors in the world, I found some strange things, which may be related to the heaven, so I came back to tell you. Hearing this, Su Mu became interested and immediately asked. What's the matter? Come and listen. Meng Li sorted out her thoughts and said quickly. When we were passing through the countryside of Wei State, we heard a rumor about the underworld. It is said that people can go to the underworld after death, reincarnate and reincarnate. A person with merit may even have the opportunity to obtain an official and a half position in the underworld and become a Yin god. I didn't take it seriously at first. After all, practitioners know that after death, the soul will disintegrate and reorganize. This is the reincarnation of heaven, and it is not something that underworld and Yin can control. But after staying for a while, I found that some people's souls will indeed be swallowed into a different space under a strange pulling force. This kind of method of robbing the soul with Tian Dao is too unbelievable, and it has a faint smell of conspiracy. I suspect it has something to do with heavenly court. After listening, Su Mu's expression became solemn. Don't doubt. This kind of method means that heavenly court will make a ghost behind it. Take me there right away, I want to see what's going on in this underworld. It is good. Meng Li agreed and led the way ahead. Su Mu and Xi are both demon kings in the martial god realm, and their speed is astonishingly fast. After half a day, he came to a remote town in Wei State. 
The strength of the state of Wei ranked last among the seven kingdoms, and with the years of wars, the life of the common people was not very easy. Su Mu and Menli disguised as refugees, mixed in the village to inquire about news and observe the situation. Normally, villagers are very wary of refugees. But Menli is very good at illusion, and she can use a small trick to let the villagers tell everything they know. At the same time, in the next few days, Zhong Su Mu witnessed several souls returning to the underworld with his own eyes. Those people who died of old age or died of illness, their souls did not disperse between heaven and earth after death. But as Meng Li said, he entered a different space under the force of a pulling force. That different space just opened a gap, but it made Su Mu feel a majestic and astonishing might. This power is extraordinary. Su Mu couldn't tell what kind of power it was, but he subconsciously felt a huge pressure. Speaking of which, Su Mu also thought about building an underworld. But his purpose is only to contain some demons and ghosts, so as to strengthen the power of the powerful ghosts. There is absolutely nothing he can do about extradition of dead souls. The gap between the two is too large, and they are not on the same level. In this underworld, Su Mu smelled an extremely dangerous aura. After observing for a few more days, Su Mu made a terrible discovery. This netherworld seems to involve the power of the rules of the Great Tao. All creatures who believe in the existence of the underworld will be extradited to that other dimension after death. Unbelievers do not. But the problem is that this side of the world is ultimately dominated by ignorant people. Countries have not noticed the danger, and so far they have never thought of taking action to prevent the development of the underworld. If this goes on, I'm afraid it's not good. Of course, it is not that the senior leaders of various countries are stupid. But Heavenly Court is really cunning. On the surface, there is no threat to the netherworld. And it only spreads among the people at the bottom, and few people in the middle and upper classes know about it. Just like Su Mu, at this level of strength, he will not pay attention to those mortals in the world at all. If it wasn't for this time Meng Li accompanied Shou Yuan's near father to travel around the world, Su Mu still didn't know when he would know about the existence of the netherworld. Thinking of this, Su Mushin's expression became more and more solemn. Still careless, he should have thought of it, should have gone to investigate more. Although he doesn't know the reason, he knows that those pseudo-immortals in heaven are full of malice towards this world. It is impossible for heavenly court to only accept some mountain gods and river gods with ordinary cultivation, there must be other big moves. The netherworld is their big move. It's a pity that Su Mu has focused on his own strength, Fuxing society, and Ingxing these years. There is no deeper and more careful investigation. Fortunately, it is considered to have discovered the netherworld in advance, so you can check what the is going on. Brother Su, if you want to enter this underworld, you can wait for the day in July and a half. The netherworld calls this day the Ghost Festival, and it is said that the gates of the ghosts are open in the middle of the seventh month, and the two worlds of Yin and Yang communicate with each other. After knowing Su Mu's idea, Meng Li proposed a method. July and a half. It's more than six months now, and it's just a few days away. Let's wait and see. After the discussion, Su Mu and Meng Li continued to hide in the mortals, secretly observing everything related to the netherworld. The more you observe, the more startling you become. On top of the existing system of mountain gods and river gods, it is too simple to spread the legend of a ghostly underworld. As long as they speak through the mouths of mountain gods and river gods, those foolish people will believe it. Even some weak cultivators believed in the existence of the netherworld after seeing several ghosts and ghosts. For those who believe, their souls will be sucked away by the underworld after death. Practitioners are no exception. The netherworld became more and more bizarre. Fortunately, after waiting for a while, half of July is here. The people here spontaneously hold a ghost festival to pay homage to their deceased relatives and friends. On this day, Paper money was floating in the sky and white ghost candles were burning on the ground, creating a gloomy atmosphere. As soon as the sun went down, all the people returned to their homes, and no one dared to go out again, for fear of running into Li Gui Yin Sha. Only the refugees transformed by Su Mu and Meng Li were still hiding in the shadows of the corners, waiting quietly. 
according to the rumors, the gate of will open at midnight, it should be soon. Mengli looked at the full moon above her head and communicated with Su Mu with her divine sense. Su Mu nodded slightly, but didn't say anything. He narrowed his eyes slightly, and included every plant and tree within a radius of ten miles into the observation range, not letting go of any detail. Time passed little by little. Finally, it's midnight. Call. A gust of gloomy wind blew past, and the power of space swayed. The space in the center of this small town seems to be smashed into the water surface of a big stone, and after a violent fluctuation, a spooky ghost gate with a height of ten feet appeared. Coming. Su Mu's eyes lit up, staring at this ghost door. But he was not in a hurry to do anything, and was still observing secretly. After the ghost gate was opened, hundreds of ghostly wandering spirits floated out and wandered in the world. Behind, followed by ten ghosts holding chains and hooks. These ghosts are also transformed by ghosts, but they have an indescribable temperament. Not as ferocious as ordinary ghosts, on the contrary, it has a majestic atmosphere, and it really feels like a ghost. Just looking at a few ghosts, Sumu knew that this netherworld was ten million times stronger than his grasstop team. Although the names are similar, they are completely two things. Can't compare. Wait for me here for a while, and I'll look elsewhere. After observing for a while, Sumu greeted Mengli. Then the figure moved, turned into a streamer and flew into the air. He turned around several towns within a hundred miles at the fastest speed. Some towns have ghost gates, some don't. Relatively speaking, in places where there are many believers in the underworld, and the government is relatively weak, the vision of ghost gates wide open is more likely to occur. If you want to come to other regions of Wei State, or even other countries, it is probably the same. In remote places, the nether underworld is growing rapidly. Now that the current situation is chaotic, it is not only the demon clan who can take advantage of the opportunity to develop. Heaven can do the same. After getting a general understanding of the opening of the ghost gate, Su Mu returned to Mengli's side. Brother Mu, the gate of is about to close, what should we do? Hearing this, Su Mu looked towards the huge ghost gate. I saw the ghosts wandering around in a circle, driven by the ghosts, and returned to the same path one by one. It is estimated that it will not be long before they all return, and then the gate of closes. Su Mu's eyes narrowed and he said coldly. Kill in. After all, he changed his body and turned into a huge snake monster hundreds of meters, killing him at the gate of hell. This is not the body of Sumu, but the clone. At this time, this avatar was not only completely repaired, but also more powerful by his sacrifice. There is a late master's cultivation base. Meng Li also followed. But she is still the human woman who was disguised before. If you have a pair of smart eyes, you can see that Meng Li's body is actually a paper man. The trip to the underworld is very likely to have a big crisis. Su Mu didn't want to take the risk. Under his suggestion, Munli prepared this paper avatar in advance. Although the strength is far inferior to that of Su Mu's avatar, which has been cultivated for a hundred years, there is also a cultivation base in the early stage of the master, which can be used reluctantly. Who? Dare to break through the gates of hell? Su Mu and Munli suddenly burst out, making the ten ghosts pale in shock. However, there was a huge gap in strength between the two sides, and with one flick of his tail, Sumu knocked out all the ten ghosts. Walk. After solving the ghost difference, Sumu greeted and flew into the ghost gate with Meng Li. After crossing the ghost gate, they came to a different space filled with ghosts and Yin. Like the heavenly court, this different space is boundless, and it is impossible to see the end at a glance. Su Mu used his eyesight and saw that there was a huge hall in the center of this underworld, and there were countless yellow spring roads around the hall. The road is full of dead souls who have been brought in, and they are walking towards the hall in the center in a dazed and unsteady way. Who is forced to break into the Yin division? Before Su Mu and Meng Li went to investigate, a loud shout sounded. They saw a ghost with a green face and fangs, wearing red armor and holding a steel fork, killing them. This ghost is more than thirty feet tall, full of ghostly energy, and quite powerful. I come. 
Meng Li took the initiative to fight and flew to the ghost. I saw the paper figurine avatar she controlled opened its mouth and spit, and the colorful smoke filled the air. As soon as the ghost touched the colorful smoke, his figure suddenly stopped, and his expression became dull. Obviously, it is deeply trapped in the illusion, unable to extricate itself. The is wrong, who was in his lifetime? Meng Li shouted loudly and questioned. Hearing this, the ghost knelt down on the ground with a put on, and said shiveringly. Back to the great emperor, the villain is from Yeqing of the Wei State, and in front of him is a catcher. Zeng. This ghost is like a puppet, sluggishly telling all of his life and deeds. Through its narration, we can know that those ghosts in the underworld are actually the ghosts of people from Kyushu. Only the great emperor in his mouth is most likely played by a pseudo-immortal in the heavenly court. Meng Li originally wanted this ghost messenger to take them around in the underworld to be a guide. But soon a few more powerful ghosts were killed. The strength of these ghosts has approached the master realm, and Meng Li, the paper avatar, is powerless to have more than one enemy. So, Su Mu stood in front of her. Afterwards, hundreds of flying scales came out, strangling all these ghosts into pieces, and their souls were all destroyed. After killing these ghosts, there was a sudden throbbing in the depths of the underworld, as if they had discovered their existence. This made Su Mu's heart sink and said quickly. It should have been discovered, we moved faster. After all, Su Mu followed the Huangquan road at the bottom of his feet and flew quickly towards the central hall of the netherworld. Around the hall, there are still ghost guards. Each of these ghosts is ten feet tall, hideous and terrifying, and has already cultivated in the early days of the master. Su Mu did not dare to delay, and used all his magical powers to strangle these ghosts, and forced his way into the central hall. After rushing in, Su Mu and Meng Li were all stunned. This hall is actually just an empty shell, there are no conventional buildings inside, and there are no eight directions ghost emperors or ten directions yama. Inside there is only a huge black ball that is half submerged in the ground and half exposed. Just the exposed half is a thousand feet tall. Countless runes flickered in the sphere, and the auras complemented each other, which was extremely mysterious. In the hall is actually a magic weapon. To be precise, it is a fairy. An unimaginably powerful fairy. The strongest magic weapon that Su Mu has ever seen is not even one ten thousandth of it. All the Huangquan roads eventually lead to this huge black ball. Su Mu saw with his own eyes that countless ghostly souls threw themselves into the black ball. Then it was swallowed and decomposed, turned into pure soul power and scattered in the central hall, and it has accumulated extremely thick. There is no reincarnation, no reincarnation. Yes, but the soul and are destroyed. Netherworld is a scam. This scene shocked Su Mu. He was not surprised that the underworld had no reincarnation and was a scam. He couldn't be more clear about what the heavenly court was. Su Mu was surprised that the soul could be decomposed and utilized. And it is so efficient to deal with the dead souls of millions of people at the same time. What means is this? At this moment, Su Mu deeply felt the difference. The gap between the two cultivation civilizations. No matter where those false immortals in the heavenly court came from, their civilization is far higher than that of today's Kyushu world. An invisible pressure descended, making Su Mu's breathing a little heavier. But he was not frightened, but reacted immediately and showed the strongest magical power to the black giant ball. He is going to destroy this fairy. Boom! In the loud noise, the red blood light swayed the rich soul power and slammed into the black giant ball. But the underworld dared to keep only this defensive power, which means that it is not afraid of outsiders. This black giant ball is indeed a fairy weapon. Su Mu struck down with a magical power, without even causing a ripple. The power contained in the magical power was completely swallowed up by an invisible barrier around it, without leaving a half. Although he had expected this scene for a long time, Su Mu still secretly sighed. It is obviously impossible to destroy this black ball fairy. Even if he kills his body, he cannot destroy it in the slightest. This thing is powerful beyond the limits of the Kyushu world. Brother Mu, what should we do? Meng Li was equally shocked. 
After a while, she asked this sentence, obviously shocked. This black ball should be the core of the underworld. But it's too powerful to destroy. It's a long-term plan to leave first. Su Mu had an ominous premonition in his heart. So after the first attempt failed, I wanted to take Munli out of this different space. But at this moment, the pure and rich soul power around them vibrated. A hazy soul suddenly flew up from Huang Quan Road and hung in the air of the hall. Then countless soul powers were injected into the body of the dead soul. Black light emerged, and the strength of the dead soul skyrocketed wildly, and then all the way to the martial god realm. At this moment, the original ordinary soul has completely changed. I saw that the ghost king in the martial god realm was ten feet tall, with four heads and eight arms, sitting entangled. Its four heads have different expressions, with joy, anger, sadness, and joy each occupying one side, looking in all directions. In the hands of the eight ghosts, either a snake, a big seal, a bronze bell, or a ghost-faced eagle is held in the hands. In short, each has utensils and different breaths, but they are all extremely powerful. Sumu didn't know what those pure soul powers did at first, but he didn't expect to see it right away. Under the blessing of soul power, an ordinary dead soul turned into a ghost king in the realm of martial god in just a few breaths. Such means, Su Mu could not even imagine before. Moreover, he finally understood the horror of this netherworld. The Tao of Heaven will perform the duty of reincarnation. After the soul dies, the three souls and seven souls return to the sky, and they disperse. These scattered souls can be called spirits. When a new life is born, the spirits floating in the sky and the earth form itself and inject into the new life. In this way, it can become a new existence. Both body and soul are born. When there are few living beings in the world, there will be more spirits wandering between heaven and earth. At this time, the way of heaven can adjust itself, consume a part of the spirit, and the province breeds ghosts and wandering spirits. On the contrary, when there is a lot of new life, the way of heaven will produce more spirits on its own. Of course, at any time, there will be some very unlucky people. These people have three souls and seven souls, and they are born fools. The same goes for demons. In a word, heaven and earth are the place of reincarnation, and there is no need for any underworld or underworld. However, Jian Dao's self-regulation ability is limited. Crazy stealing of the soul of the Kyushu world like the netherworld, if not restrained, or even let it continue to grow. In a few decades, most of the newborns in the Kyushu world will be idiots. This is one of the functions of the netherworld, destroying the cultivation civilization of the Kyushu world from the root. The intention is extremely sinister. Another effect is to obtain pure soul power. Although Su Mu didn't know anything about soul power, he could guess that soul power definitely played a big role. Just the ability to create a ghost king is amazing enough. In an instant Su Mu thought about a lot, and his face became more and more gloomy. On the other side, the ghost king moved. It stopped in front of Su Mu, confronted with anger, and shouted coldly. Sure enough, it's you again. Hearing this, Su Mu's heart moved. Those who come are no longer ghosts transformed by people from Kyushu. But those pseudo-immortals in heaven. After that, the ghost king picked up the big bell and shook it violently. In an instant, the sound of ghost howls sounded. Munli's paper avatar exploded in an instant, and there was not even the slightest residue left. 213. The last time they forced their way into heaven, those pseudo-immortals were even more powerful. But they are not creatures of this world, they are greatly restricted, and the danger is not so high. But this eight-armed ghost king in front of him is different. It is transformed by the soul power of the people of Kyushu. Although it is also controlled by pseudo-immortals, it can fully exert its strength. With just one blow, Munli's paper avatar was destroyed. But the bell did not disappear, and continued to kill Su Mu. Fortunately, he was already prepared, a few spiritual wings appeared on the demon body, and disappeared in place in an instant, came to the outside of the hall, and flew further away. These spiritual wings were added to this clone after Su Mu obtained the bloodline of the nine-winged flowing cloud python. Although the effect is far less than the real Luyun flying wing, 
the speed is still amazing. Where to go? Seeing that Sumu escaped, the Ghost King with all sides became more and more angry, and even flames spewed from his angry eyes. Go! It shouted loudly, and the ghost-faced blood eagle on one of its arms took off in response. After a neigh, it greeted the storm and turned into a hundred meters in size to kill Su Mu. This ghost-faced blood eagle is not a living creature, but one of the magical powers of the eight-armed ghost king. I saw the eagle's wings flutter, and the surging ghost gas turned into a huge net, wrapping it toward Su Mu. This giant net came from all directions, and he had nowhere to escape. Seeing this, Su Mu's eyes narrowed, and all the scales around his body were separated from the body and rotated at a high speed. The fierce wind swirled, and this clone turned into a black tornado, rushing towards the giant net. Laugh. There was a sharp tearing sound, and the two sides collided. The giant net was extremely tough, and ghost faces protruded from the net rope from time to time, roaring at Su Mu. At the same time, the snake scale storm stirred frantically. The giant net finally couldn't hold on anymore, and a gap was abruptly torn open. Su Mu took advantage of the situation to escape. Brutal. Su Mu's clone fled, and the ghost faced eagle neighed sharply, as if expressing his anger. But it is not a living thing, the source of this anger is the eight armed ghost king. You can't escape. Seeing Su Mu turned into a red cloud, he continued to run wildly. The eight-armed ghost king summoned the ghost-faced eagle back, and after shouting angrily, another arm moved. The magic weapon held in this arm is a large skeleton bow. The skeleton arrow is also used, and the arrow is a skeleton with a ghostly fire, which looks very strange. Rise! With another loud shout, the eight-armed ghost king bent bows and arrows, and endless ghost energy surged into it like a funnel. Whoosh! The skeleton bow was pulled to the limit, the eight-armed ghost king finally let go, and the ghost arrow flew out. In an instant, a scream resounded like a wolf howl. The skeleton arrow carried endless ghost energy, turned into a ferocious ghost, and went straight to Sumu. The speed is so fast that it almost crosses the space. Although this is only a clone of Sumu, the speed is approaching half a step of the martial god after casting Luyun flying wings. After a while, Su Mu was about to escape to the entrance. Munli's avatar is worthless, and if it is gone, it will be gone. But his avatar has been cultivated for so many years, and his strength is strong, and he doesn't want to lose it here. But after rushing to the past, Su Mu discovered that the ghost gate had already been closed. There is no gap left. At the same time, the skeleton ghost arrow had already reached his rear. Wu. Accompanied by a whistling of ghosts, the skeleton ghost arrow did not give Su Mu the slightest chance to dodge, and hit him precisely. A ferocious ghostly aura drowned Su Mu like a tsunami, constantly invading his body. In just half a breath of time, most of Su Mu's avatar was destroyed, and his spiritual energy was completely disordered. Not only that, the terrifying power enveloped him and slammed into the space barrier of this nether underworld. The countless dead souls on the Huangquan road below were affected and scattered. Although the skeleton ghost arrow has no edge, its huge power makes Su Mu's clone unable to move. At first glance, it seemed as if it had been nailed to the air. Seeing this, the eight-armed ghost king laughed proudly. Ha ha ha. I finally caught you. Even if it's just a clone, I'll fry two tails of oil for you. Saying that, the eight-armed ghost king turned around and faced Su Mu with a sad face. A pair of ghost eyes glowed with green light, as if they were going to use some magical power. This made Su Mu have a bad premonition, his soul vibrated faintly, and he was a little uneasy. But before the eight-armed ghost king showed his magical powers, loud noise suddenly came from the space next to Su Mu. Boom! A bang sounded, and the huge force scattered. The netherworld was actually blown open by a gap. Then, a majestic and domineering voice sounded. Even if it's just a clone, you can't move. After all, a giant snake head that was much larger than an ordinary house came in. It is the hematoxylin body. Seeing that the avatar was about to be destroyed, Su Mu had two uses. 
while controlling the clone to evacuate, the main body shot and tore apart this different space. Su Mu's pair of vertical pupils shone brightly, staring at the eight-armed ghost king in the distance. His eyes were full of fighting intent and killing intent. After advancing to martial god, Su Mu's strength slowly but steadily improved. The bloodline evolves every ten years, and the strength and realm also continue to grow. Today, Su Mu is the cultivation base of the middle stage of the of war. And after fighting for many years, he is stronger than the palace master of Wanyao Palace of the same realm. But for so many years, Su Mu has not played a serious game. The only one who fought was Venerable Ares. But the strength of this old Ares demon is very average, and it is not Su Mu's opponent at all. If I really want to say, that time was not a battle, it was completely Su Mu teaching it one-sidedly. And this time, the eight-armed ghost king is powerful, and the manipulator is a pseudo-immortal from another world. This level of opponents is enough. Su Mu can finally come to a hearty battle of the martial god realm. Today, he will use this eight-armed ghost throne sharpening stone to test the results of his cultivation over the years. You are so brave, you came to the netherworld. The eight-armed ghost king was also surprised when he saw Su Mu's body being killed, and then became furious. He felt that Su Mu didn't take him seriously at all, otherwise how would he dare to come to his home to fight him? Since you're here, don't even think about leaving. One Gui Shao killing technique. The eight-armed ghost king reappeared with an angry face, holding a dead soul flag in his hand. When the ghost flag danced, the surrounding spirit power surged, and one after another, the ferocious ghosts condensed out and gathered together to kill Su Mu. Hundreds of ghosts roared and flew over, as if a hurricane was passing through. Countless ghost eyes flashed, and countless pairs of ghost hands wriggled and intertwined. This scene is not only ferocious, but also extremely terrifying. Make this different space more like the underworld. After making this move, the eight-armed ghost king looked at Su Mu nervously. The distance between the two of them is a little far. If Su Mu wanted to, he could completely withdraw his clone and evacuate safely from here. In this case, the eight-armed ghost king can't do anything about him. But Su Mu did not abandon the battle to evacuate. After shattering the skeleton ghost arrow, he retracted the injured avatar, and then stuck half of his body in, staring at the eight-armed ghost king. Let's see what abilities you pseudo-immortals from other worlds have. Seeing ten thousand ghosts attacking, Su Mu turned his demon power and exhaled. This simple and unpretentious supernatural power, but carrying infinite power, spread to a hundred meters wide and killed the group of whistling ghosts. Countless specter gathered together, squirming, twisting, roaring, and condensed into something that looked like a hurricane and like a cloud. It looks very strange, and the power is even more amazing. This move was used by the eight-armed ghost king to deal with Su Mu's body. But Su Mu's breath of red flames is one of his magical powers that pressed the bottom of the box. Hundreds of years of tempering have made this magical power even stronger. There is a kind of avenue to simplicity, the smell of killing everything. It condenses infinite demon power and collides with thousands of ghosts. Yah! A shrill whistling sounded. The red blood on melts away all ghosts like boiling water pouring snow. The specter, who was at the forefront, distorted and melted, and his appearance became even more terrifying. The twisted posture of the dying struggle makes the scalp tingle. But these specters were controlled by Gui Fan, and could only continue to collide with the red blood light, and the strength of the two continued to consume each other in the collision. Seeing this scene, the eight-armed ghost king's eyes were wide open, and some couldn't believe his own eyes. Although Su Mu has made troubles in the heavenly court and the underworld, he has always used a clone. In the eyes of these pseudo-immortals, he was just a cockroach that broke into the house and ran around. Although it is very annoying, it is not powerful, and it can be afraid of death with a slap of the opportunity. It's just that it's a little troublesome to solve, and it's not easy to catch him. Seeing this scene, the eight-armed ghost king suddenly understood. Su Mu is not a cockroach, but a tiger who broke into the house. Thinking of this, the eight-armed ghost king did not dare to delay, and immediately turned to Shi Mian, killing Su Muzhen with the big seal in his hand. Oh em. 
A humming sound rang out. The big seal turned into a hill and went to Sumo Town far away. In an instant, the infinite pressure fell on Su Mu's soul, as if to crush his soul. This magic weapon can actually deal with the soul directly. The cultivation civilization in the Kyushu world is still developing, and most of the attack methods are only aimed at the physical body, and there are very few magical powers that directly attack the soul. Su Mu only felt a shock in his soul, and his consciousness could not help but relax for a moment. Although it was only a short breath, it was at a disadvantage. The power of the red blood light was weakened by 30 percent, Wan Gui took advantage of the situation, and countless specters wrapped around Su Mu's body, frantically devouring his flesh and blood. At first glance, it looks like a dragon covered with flies. It's just that the appearance of these flies is terrifying, and they even have the ability to devour flood dragons. Humph. But that's it. Seeing this scene, the eight-armed ghost king snorted proudly and flew towards Su Mu. In one of his arms he held a great white bone sword. The overall appearance of this big white bone sword is a bit like a spine, and it seems to be extracted from some living being. At the hilt of the sword, there is a strange eye full of bloodshot eyes. At this time, the eyes slowly opened, and the strange and resentful expressions converged like a substance. It seems that some terrible killing move is brewing. Each arm of the eight-armed ghost king holds a different magic weapon and can display different magical powers. In fact, the strongest is this white bone sword. He wants to take advantage of Su Mu's soul being suppressed by the great seal, use this sword to completely kill him and destroy this great enemy. In order to seize this opportunity, the eight-armed ghost king did not hesitate to consume his soul power, traveled through the space at the fastest speed to come to Sumu, and then slashed with a sword. The pale and cold sword light fell like a galaxy, slashing towards Sumu from top to bottom. However, at this moment, Sumu's eyes suddenly regained clarity, and blood-colored evil energy spewed out, filling his body. Roll! Sumu shouted loudly, and endless evil spirits rolled out. The spectre ghosts wrapped around him screamed, and one by one, they were completely consumed by this strong evil spirit. After breaking free from the shackles, Su Mu's entire demon body got into the netherworld. Su Mu ignored the cold sword light that was about to fall, and when the eight-armed ghost king continued to use his magical powers and his successors were weak, the giant tail slammed him fiercely. After fighting for a few breaths, Su Mu could see the gap between the two sides. This eight-armed ghost king came from a world where cultivation and civilization were more developed. He has too many methods, all kinds of magical powers emerge in an endless stream, and each one is stronger than the other. Su Mu is not his opponent when it comes to fighting in the air. But going deep into the underworld is too dangerous. So Su Mu took the opportunity of the Great Seal's repression to pretend that his soul was in turmoil, and he couldn't wake up for a long time. Only by selling a big flaw, the eight-armed ghost king will kill himself. In this way, there is a chance for close combat. There was the scene just now. This all sounds simple, but in fact requires extremely top-notch insight and analytical skills. Only in this way, in such a short period of time, can we analyze the countermeasures in the battle and take advantage of the trend to fall into the trap. The game behind the battle is equally exciting and intense. Su Mu's ten or hundreds of years have not been in vain. After thousands of years of experience, he became who he is today. Besides, the eight-armed ghost king, seeing Su Mu's eyes suddenly clear, he secretly thought that something was wrong. Later, I saw Su Mu swaying all the ghosts all over his body, and the whole demon body entered the netherworld, and he was even more fooled. This snake demon, is he not afraid of my supernatural powers? Seeing that Su Mu ignored the cold and terrifying white bone sword glow, he went all out to him. The eight-armed ghost king couldn't help being shocked. This snake demon is so vicious, he wants to exchange injuries with him. The battle in the martial god realm is extremely fast, and these thoughts and ideas only flashed by in a flash. After a tenth of his breath, Su Mu's giant tail slammed into the eight-armed ghost king, and the white bone sword beam also fell on him. Su Mu just didn't dodge, it wasn't that he didn't defend at all. 
He mobilized the snake scales that he had been refining for hundreds of years, and built a layer of scales and iron walls that were ten feet thick. But that white bone sword was inconceivably sharp, and there was a cold force that penetrated everything. Silently, this pale sword light cut through countless thick snake scales like a large shield, and pierced downwards. In just one breath, the powerful defense built by Su Mu was completely penetrated. After all, the white bone sword light slashed at him. The demonic power in the area that was beheaded disintegrated, and the flesh and blood rotted. A huge wound appeared immediately, white ghost fire ignited at the edge, and it was still spreading rapidly around. Fortunately, Su Mu fully mobilized the demon power to eliminate the ghost fire, and it gradually became smaller. This sword caused Su Mu to lose hundreds of snake scales, and a huge wound appeared on the monster's body. There is no blood, only corroded flesh and blood. This kind of injury is more difficult to deal with. If you want to completely repair this wound, I'm afraid it's not easy. Su Mu was seriously injured, but the eight-armed ghost king was ten times worse than him. When the heavenly court pseudo-immortal created this ghost king, they didn't think about defense. These arrogant otherworldly demons feel that no one can hurt them, and they don't need to think about defense at all. Therefore, the eight armed supernatural powers are all offensive means. This combination of brute force and demonic power by Su Mu is stronger than the force of a meteor. If it is a martial artist or a monster in the master realm, it will be smashed into powder with one blow. Although this eight armed ghost king has no means of defense, it is the existence of the martial god realm, and it has not been smashed to pieces. But it was shot flying more than ten miles away, smashing several Huangquan roads, and hitting the space barrier heavily. The ghost body was covered with cracks, most of the instruments held on the eight arms were lost and all four heads were damaged. The most serious angry face is only half a mouth left. This injury is much more serious than Su Mu's. But the mouth of the eight-armed ghost king is really hard enough, and the only half of his angry face left after being severely injured is still roaring ah ah ah. I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you despicable monster. The eight-armed ghost king was incompetent and furious, but he didn't even have the strength to get up. Seeing this, Su Mu couldn't help showing a sneer. Then, he turned his gaze to the great hall in the center of the underworld. There, is the core of the underworld. Although the Black Ball Immortal Artifact cannot be destroyed, it is still possible to release the soul power stored in it. Thinking of this, Su Mu planned to do some damage. But who knows the mutation will come back. 214. Just when Su Mu was about to break open the main hall formation and release the soul power inside, the Black Ball Fairy suddenly lit up with a dazzling aura. Then the soul power surged and continued to condense. In just a few breaths, a huge figure was revealed. This is an extremely fat ghost king with an evil face on his abdomen. It is also the cultivation of the martial god realm, but the breath is slightly weaker than the previous eight-armed ghost king. Afterwards, the eight-armed ghost king, who was heavily wounded, lost his aura in his eyes and was completely motionless. At the same time, the eyes of the evil-faced ghost king lit up and came alive. This scene, as if the soul has been transferred. After the evil-faced ghost king came to life, he immediately looked at Su Mu and said coldly, Dot. Want to defeat me? How can it be so easy? How can you, this backward world, understand the power of the samsara pearl? In the underworld, I am the immortal ghost emperor. Seeing this scene, Su Mu's expression was extremely solemn. He did not expect that the black ball fairy weapon, that is, the reincarnation pearl in the opponent's mouth, would be so powerful. Looking at this situation, as long as the spirit power is sufficient, the samsara pearl can mass-produce ghost kings in the martial god realm. In this way, wouldn't it be invincible? Not to mention Su Mu, even if Kyushu world is added together, they are far from their opponents. But on second thought it felt wrong. If it is so powerful, why does heavenly court continue to secretly accumulate power? Just push it straight and you're done. Thinking of this, Su Mu turned to look at the remnant of the eight-armed ghost king, and found that it was motionless, like a dead thing. This made him understand immediately. 
The reincarnation pearl is indeed unbelievably powerful, and can mass-produce ghost kings in the martial god realm. But this is just a body, and someone needs to control it. But controlling the ghost king's consciousness is far from enough. Most likely very short. Otherwise, there would not be only a ghost king running out to fight him in this netherworld. Three or five ghost kings came to beat Su Mu, and he was beaten and fled. Think about it, the ghost king's body is not something that ordinary people can control. Shower dances with a big sword, and only himself will die. And these pseudo-immortals come from another world. It is extremely difficult to realize that it is extremely difficult to cross the two worlds, and they simply do not have that many manpower. The body of the ghost king that no one controls is just a decoration. Thinking of this, Su Mu calmed down. Now that things have developed to this point, this trip to the underworld is already a big profit. Not only did he figure out the purpose of heavenly court to build the netherworld, but he also discovered the mystery of the reincarnation beads, and calculated that those pseudo-immortals were insufficient. With this information, corresponding countermeasures can be made in the follow-up fight against it. Seeing that Sumu not only did not panic, but instead showed the color of thinking, the pseudo-immortal who claimed to be the ghost emperor was very annoyed. He knew that Su Mu must have guessed something, but there was nothing he could do. There are not many people on their side who can adapt to this different space environment and control the body of the Ghost King. Everyone else had their own things to do, so he could only temporarily serve as the Ghost Emperor and guard the Nether Underworld alone. Nothing would have happened. Ordinary martial gods are high, where would they care about rumors in some remote places? Even if it is discovered, nine times out of ten, it will be startled away by the majestic momentum of the underworld and the constant appearance of ghost kings. Only Su Mu, not only is not afraid, but is exploring the mysteries of the underworld. This gave him a headache. Seeing that Su Mu was standing on the edge of the crack in space, without the slightest idea of going deep into the underworld, the pseudo-immortal was helpless. He took a deep breath and asked in a deep voice. What the do you want to do? Why are you fighting against us so often? Hearing this, Su Mu was delighted. He wanted to tell the other party that he wanted to kill them and pass the custom smoothly. But this can't be said for sure. After thinking for a while, Su Mu said to the pseudo-immortal, Dot. Protecting Kyushu is the responsibility of Yao Yao. It's hard for me to do bad things so deliberately. I can't turn a blind eye, can I? After listening, the pseudo-immortal who called himself Ghost Emperor said, Dot. Bah. A monster, speaking like a saint. Only a ghost will believe your words. No, I seem to be. Forget it, I won't talk to you about this. Give you one more chance, join us. As long as you are willing to help us with our work, we will help you step into the highest realm above the martial god after everything is done. By then, even if this world is destroyed, you can still go to our world. Hearing these words, Su Mu was a little too lazy to continue to communicate with him. He looked at each other with contempt, and said disdainfully. Can you think about it before you make up nonsense? In just a few words, what you said is full of flaws. I will never join you unless I'm a fool. It seems that the IQs of the members you fooled into are not very good. It's no wonder that immortal Tai Yi was so stupid last time. As soon as these words came out, the face of the evil-faced ghost king instantly turned gloomy. Being scolded for being stupid by the dark, this made him unacceptable for the powerful. However, he was still a little curious, and patiently said to Su Mu. Where is the flaw in my words? You are overthinking. The evil-faced ghost king, or the pseudo-immortal who was secretly manipulated, believed that those words just now were extremely tempting to the practitioners of the martial god realm. If it was him, if he didn't say yes immediately, he would definitely think about it. Hey! Hearing this, Su Mu sighed helplessly, and explained it boringly. You said that you can help me rise to the realm above the martial god, does it mean that there is an existence above the martial god in your world? You also said that the existence above the of war can cross two realms. In that case, why don't you send some superpowers of that level here? Why are you talking nonsense with me here? Why are you doing all this shit? Isn't it bad to let those supreme powers push Kyushu? 
Under absolute strength, what kind of goals cannot be achieved? With that said, Su Mu looked at the evil-faced ghost king, shook his head slightly, and commented, dot. It seems that your side is very short of manpower. Otherwise, you will not be entrusted with important tasks. Ghost Emperor. Ha. You. As soon as these words came out, the evil-faced ghost king's face turned green with anger, and the evil face in his abdomen twisted. He really did not expect that such a demon king with an extremely fierce fighting style like Su Mu would be so cruel in his mouth. In his rage, he could not wait to tear Su Mu immediately. To be honest, if Tian Ting was a little sincere, Su Mu wouldn't mind hanging around with them. In this way, you can learn more about the secrets of these pseudo-immortals and prepare for defeating them in the next life. But this group of guys has no sincerity, and it is estimated that they can only be used as bulls and horses to join in, and the core secrets cannot be touched at all. So Su Mu can only reject this idea. As for this language stimulation, in addition to scolding two cool words, I also want to see what other means this ghost emperor has. But what happened next Su Mu never expected. The evil-faced ghost king was actually engulfed in smoke by the seven orifices of anger, and the huge ghost body gradually twisted. This ghost king, which was just created, actually shows signs of collapse. Seeing this, Su Mu couldn't help being stunned. Isn't it? Is it possible that I'm going to be mad at me? I'm so eloquent. As a result, as soon as he had this idea, the evil-faced ghost king's body swelled sharply, twisting to the point of being completely deformed. Then it burst open and shattered into slag. This ghost king was really killed by Su Mu's words. This is a million times easier than defeating the eight-armed ghost king. Of course, there is a secret to this. The evil-faced ghost king can absorb the negative emotions of all living beings and strengthen himself. The pseudo-immortal who controls this ghost king's body is far more powerful than it. So in great anger there is a strong force. The ghost body that was just created was not stable enough to withstand this sudden increase in power, and it exploded after absorbing too much. Although there is a secret, but Su Mu is really angry to kill a ghost king. This behavior can be regarded as an achievement. It is estimated that few people in the entire Kyushu have achieved this kind of achievement, and no one will believe it if they say it. However, the ghost emperor did not lose his mind when he was angry. Seeing the evil-faced ghost king explode, he resorted to another method. The main hall formation was activated, and a large amount of soul power flew out and injected into the ghost. There are many ghosts in this netherworld, some of which are not weak, and have the cultivation base of the Grand Master Realm. It's just that even in the Grand Master Realm, he still can't intervene in the battle between Su Mu and the Ghost King, and can only watch from the side. There were even a few onlookers who were touched by the aftermath and died on the spot. At this time, the Ghost Emperor, in his rage, did not hesitate to consume the soul power that he had secretly accumulated for many years and injected it into the bodies of many ghosts greatly strengthened their strength in a short period of time. For a time, the ghosts in the netherworld continued to roar, and the Yin Chi skyrocketed. One by one, the ghosts with greatly increased strength appeared in front of Su Mu, and surrounded him from all directions. These ghosts do not have the strength of the martial god realm, but there are too many. Their skyrocketing strength has the ability to break through Su Mu's defense. After all, most of his scales were destroyed in the battle just now, and he was also injured. In short, when the quantity accumulates to a certain level, it can produce qualitative changes. After all, the infinite ghost sent him to Su Mu, which made him feel a little pressure. I have to say, the reincarnation pearl is really powerful. With this fairy weapon, as long as the soul power is sufficient, a group of incomparably powerful forces can be created in a short period of time. But not without flaws. First of all, the strength of these ghosts is only temporary. When the soul power recedes, their ghost bodies will be damaged, and it is normal for their strength to decline. Secondly, soul power is extremely precious. This is also in other worlds, and these pseudo-immortals can be created at will. If they were in their own world, it would be absolutely impossible to take the souls of the dead recklessly. This act will destroy the foundation of the world. 
Of course, these are not the first things that Su Mu has to consider now. Countless enhanced ghosts came to kill him, and the eight-armed ghost king's remnant body was also dragged back to the side of the reincarnation pearl, and was repaired with soul power. This situation, if you don't go, you can't go away. Su Mu no longer hesitated, and immediately chose to retreat. Idiot, your grandfather is gone, you don't need to send it, leave some time to use your brain. Ha ha ha. In a burst of laughter, Su Mu released a breath that was extremely condensed, breaking through the thick ghost energy like a laser, tearing apart a space crack. After that, the demon body shrank and disappeared in the underworld in a flash. When he left, Sumu vaguely heard the extremely angry roar of the pseudo-immortal who held the post of Ghost Emperor, and the entire Yin division was shaking. I will kill you. I will kill you. With the farewell of the pseudo-immortal, Yu Yu reading Sumu returned to the world of Kyushu. After returning, his mocking smile immediately subsided, and his eyes were solemn. This trip was far from being as easy as it seemed. Su Mu has been guarding the edge of the different space, not daring to go deep into it. As it turns out, his caution was right. If you go deep into it, you will be left behind by countless strengthened ghosts just now. Moreover, Su Mu was keenly aware that this different dimension was growing because of the existence of the immortal artifact Reincarnation Pearl. The huge ghost energy and soul power make that space a little firmer and larger. When Su Mu left, it took a little more effort to tear the space apart than when he entered. At his realm, the control of power has been meticulous. Otherwise, a single sneeze can collapse half a mountain, and a two-step walk can cause an earthquake. So that can't be an illusion. This shows that in just that short time, that piece of different dimension has become stronger. With such development for hundreds of thousands of years, maybe it will really create an underworld space that can be called underworld. It seems that the situation is not good. If it wasn't for the decision not to interfere with Ying Zheng's growth, Su Muzhen wanted to help him unify Kyushu quickly, so that he could concentrate on dealing with those fake immortals. Now, we can only wait patiently. Teacher, grow up quickly. Let me see if your name as an Emperor of the Ages is true. After flashing this thought, Su Mu and Meng Li returned to Lingshan. 2.15 Heavenly Court kept accumulating strength, and Su Mu was not to be outdone. He intends to gather the top combat power of the Fuxing society together to see how much strength he has. The Kyushu world is dominated by human races, but Su Mu can't all count on Ying Zheng. Although the top demons could not be recruited to join, after more than 100 years of development, Fuxing society has become countless times stronger than when it was founded. The four demon kings in the martial god realm are Su Mu, Mengli, Ling, and Jin Chan. Overall, they are a bit weak. But there are a lot of great monsters in the Grand Master realm, and there are more than a dozen half-step martial gods. There are hundreds of peak masters. This is the leader among the tens of thousands of demon clans in the Fuxing society. In fact, there are not many in terms of proportions. But I have to say that this era, whether it is a human race or a monster race, is much stronger than 5,000 years later. If there is no chaos in the heaven, it is estimated that 5,000 years of development can bring the cultivation and civilization of the Kyushu world to several levels. Maybe it can really achieve the grand occasion of the master walking all over the place. After Su Mu issued the summoning order, big demons kept rushing back from all directions to stand by under his command. But some coastal areas have been slow to respond. After a preliminary investigation, Su Mu found that the big demons in those areas had lost contact with them. This made him smell an unusual breath, and quickly sent a number of big demons to investigate carefully, trying to figure out what was going on. After half a month, the news came. A flood dragon figure appeared in the sea, claiming to be the dragon king of the four seas. These four flood dragons dominate the sea area and run amok. It is very likely that those missing monsters have been poisoned by the dragon king of the four seas. Hearing this news, Su Mu was stunned for a moment. Dragon King of the Four Seas? Never heard of it. Although Su Mu is more homey, there are many sources of information. Every demon in the Fuxing society is his eyes and ears. He knows most of the demon kings in the martial god realm, and has a certain understanding. 
not to mention such a giant monster that dominates one side of the sea. Dare to take the name Dragon King, want to have extraordinary blood. It should not be possible for a real dragon, 9 out of 10 are Jiaolong. But it's also powerful enough. The name should have moved the world long ago. Dragon King of the Four Seas. Su Mu frowned and pondered for a moment, faintly feeling that something was wrong. These four sea dragon kings, I am afraid that they are inseparable from the heaven. After all, those pseudo-immortals have already created many mountain gods and river gods, and it is normal to have a few more dragon kings. Su Mu felt that these dragons were most likely cultivated by heaven. They have skyrocketed in strength in a short period of time, so their reputation has not spread. Thinking of this, Su Mu decided to take a look for himself. Munli, you stay at home, manage the demons well, and take care of Qin by the way, but you can't let my little apprentice die. Before leaving, Su Mu warned Munli. Then he went to the Kyushu waters alone. After cultivating for so many years, he could just take this opportunity to go out for a walk and see the changes in the world. After leaving the Qin Chu mountains, Su Mu sometimes disappeared, sometimes transformed into a human form, and sometimes revealed his true face. He walked through this world, feeling the changes in the world. For more than 100 years, Kyushu has become more prosperous, but the war has also become more and more prosperous. This trip has a task at hand, and Su Mu can't write more ink on the road, so he just glanced at it quickly. Half a month later, he came to the South China Sea. Su Mu swam into the sea and looked up to the distant sea. I saw dark clouds covering the intersection of the sea and the sky, and a strong demonic energy rose into the sky. It's so strong and domineering. The dragon king of the four seas is undoubtedly the demon king of the martial god realm, but I don't know the specific strength. Su Mu's eyes were a little dignified. These dragon kings don't look like good stubble. But more specific, we have to see the previous side to know. Brother, why are you standing still? Go to Jade Immortal Island. If you go early, you can get a piece of the pie, but if you go late, you will have nothing. Just as Su Mu was thinking, a crab spirit swam past him and reminded him kindly. At this time, he transformed into a sea snake, and was regarded as a local demon by the crab spirit. Although I don't know what the crab essence said about Jade Immortal Island and share a piece of the pie. But Su Mu still followed the trend, and calmly began to talk. This crab spirit is a monster of the innate realm, and its strength is not bad. But the brain is not very good, a little silly. After a few casual chats, Su Mu figured out everything he wanted to know and figured out the situation. There are many immortal islands with rich spiritual energy in the sea, most of which are occupied by human monks. In recent years, the Dragon King of the Four Seas has risen and begun to clear up other forces. They started at the bottom of the sea and then spread to many islands above the sea. No matter the human race or the demon race, as long as they don't obey the orders of the Dragon King, they will kill them all. Many little demons were ordered by the Dragon King to go to eliminate the forces on those islands and get some benefits by the way. The one to be destroyed this time is Jade Immortal Island. According to the Crab Essence, there is a rather powerful force on this island. It is governed by the human race and the demon race, and it has not been destroyed until today. But this time the Dragon King is going to take action in person, and it is estimated that there is no way to survive. After chatting and chatting, Su Mu and the Crab Essence came to the sphere of influence of Yuxian Island. From a distance, Su Mu saw a small island rich in spiritual energy that was being besieged by countless demon clans. But the so-called Dragon King did not show up. Brother, let's hurry up, otherwise all the good things will be robbed. This Crab Essence is impatient, and as soon as it arrives, it will rush forward. For the sake of providing information, Su Mu grabbed it and persuaded. Don't worry. Take a good look at the situation, Yuxian Island has the upper hand, and it will rush up to our cultivation level, I'm afraid that our lives will not be guaranteed. Su Mu disguised as a Xientian realm, just like the crab essence. Although this jade immortal island is small, its strength is really not weak. Su Mu saw several martial artists in the Grand Master realm, as well as a qi refiner who had completed qi refining, killing the quartet. Especially the Qi cultivator, 
driving a crane to fly in the air. With every gesture, the talismans flew around, and the Taoist methods appeared frequently, overturning the people killed by the monsters in the sea below. This kind of combat power is definitely at the top of the Qi refiners, and three or five peak masters are not necessarily his opponents. This Jade Immortal Island seems to be a bit powerful. Hearing Su Mu's reminder, Crab Jing took a closer look, and after seeing the situation of the battle, he couldn't help shrinking his originally raised eyes. Don't worry, when the Dragon King takes action in person, let's kill it to get the benefits. When do you think the Dragon King will take action? Su Mu spoke out and tried it out. The crab essence placed a pair of huge crab claws and replied. I don't know, I have only seen the Dragon King of the South China Sea once from a distance it looks so mighty. The huge monster body of five or six hundred meters covers the sky and the sun, and the monster is so strong that it seems to be real. I don't know if I have such a majestic day. Having said that, this crab spirit is full of admiration and awe. Seeing this, Su Mu shook his head slightly in his heart. The so-called Dragon King of the Four Seas is probably not a good thing. At this time, the Qi refiners and warriors of Jade Immortal Island continued to kill the sea monsters, but they did not show any intentions. It is estimated that these little demons are used as cannon fodder to test and kill the strength of Jade Immortal Island. Only when the right time comes, will it take action. In the next half hour, the sea area near Jade Immortal Island continued to kill all kinds of monsters, and the number was astonishing. The powerhouses on Jade Immortal Island were indeed powerful, and they fought back waves of enemies. But with the passage of time, the combat power could not help but decline. Hold head high. Seeing that the defense line was about to collapse, a high-pitched roar sounded from the depths of Yuxian Island, vaguely meaning a dragon whistle. Su Mu looked at it intently, and saw a giant tortoise crawling out of the island, the momentum was extremely terrifying. This is a demon king of the martial god realm. Moreover, this giant monster has dragon scales attached to its limbs and neck, and it is a different species with dragon blood. The appearance of the dragon turtle made the monster clan who besieged Yuxian Island terrified. But as soon as the demon king appeared, a huge splash of water erupted in the sea, and a dragon's might spread out. The so-called Dragon King of the Four Seas finally appeared. 2.16 The huge sparks that exploded made this sea area seem like it was raining heavily. In the rain, a behemoth appeared in everyone's field of vision. This is a dragon with its head held high. The exposed half-body alone is three or four hundred meters long. A blue dragon scale, shining a strange light. The dragon's claws pressed against the surface of the water, swaying layers of ripples. Under the flying dragon beard, there are a pair of eyes full of tyrannical expressions, staring at the dragon tortoise giant monster on Jade Fairy Island. This is the so-called Dragon King of the Four Seas. In the distance, Su Mu secretly looked at the flood dragon, his eyes solemn. This is indeed a flood dragon, and its bloodline level is much higher than his. The strength is also much stronger, and it is estimated that it is the realm of the late stage of the martial god. However, this Jiaolong's eyes were too fierce, even a little crazy, and it felt like he was out of control. Could it be the sequelae left by the short-term improvement in strength? While Su Mu was thinking about it, Jiaolong, who called himself the Dragon King of the Four Seas, had already slain to Yuxian Island. Whoever sees the Dragon King not descending, die. Jialong roared, and several huge dark clouds rose above his head, covering the top of Jade Immortal Island. Suddenly there were lightning and thunder, and pouring rain fell. This is no ordinary rain. After falling, the humans and monsters on Jade Immortal Island screamed, fell to the ground frantically scratching their bodies. Some even buckled their flesh and eyes, still scratching frantically. The picture is a little scary. Not only the creatures on the island, but even the ground emitting strands of black air, as if they had been corrupted. Moreover, ordinary means cannot defend against this rain, it can penetrate the power of spiritual energy and formation. From this magical power, it can be seen that these so-called dragon kings are extremely ferocious and do not look like gods at all. The giant tortoise in the martial god realm was not affected by this magical power. 
but when I saw a beautiful fairy island creature, I couldn't help but get angry. At the same time, use means to resist. I saw a tortoise shell phantom flying up from the giant tortoise, flying bigger and bigger. When it ascended into the air, it was huge enough to cover the entire island. The tortoise shell phantom lit up the mysterious aura, blocking those strange raindrops from the outside. Under the protection of this magical power, Yuxian Island was not destroyed immediately. But this is not a long-term solution. Although the giant tortoise is bigger than the dragon, it looks like a hill. But its cultivation is the same as Sumu, it is the realm of the middle stage of the of war, and it is not the opponent of the dragon king. Attempting to resist, one more crime. The tyrannical voice of Jiaolong sounded again, and its eyes were full of crazy killing intent. I saw its dragon head raised, and the sea surface boiled violently. Then the sea swept through, turning into five water columns that reached the sky, hitting the tortoise shell. There were loud bangs, and the roar continued. The collision of the two supernatural powers made Lien Yuxian Island tremble, and the aftermath of the battle killed most of the monsters around the island. You must know that these sea monsters are all subordinates of the Dragon King. But it didn't show any mercy, and it shot directly regardless of their lives. Seeing this scene, the crab spirit who was persuaded by Su Mu felt cold all over. Brother Snake, thanks to you this time. Otherwise, my little life. Eh. Brother Snake. Brother Snake, where have you been? The crab essence looked back, but found that the striped sea snake had disappeared. At the same time, in Yuxian Island. The giant tortoise looked up at the sky with a solemn expression, and there was a deep powerlessness in the depths of his eyes. Jiaolong's strength is much higher than it, even if it is good at defense, it will not last long. In just a moment, the tortoise shell phantom on the top of the head appeared in several cracks. If it goes on like this, it will be broken in at most half an hour. By then, everyone will have to die. The other creatures on Jade Immortal Island shivered, obviously guessing their next fate. At this moment, the old turtle's expression changed, and he turned his head to look aside. There, a small black snake with flowing clouds and red patterns appeared. It looks very beautiful, like a beautiful work of art. Who are you? The old turtle asked in an angry voice, his eyes a little wary. Jade Immortal Island is so big, it has been around for thousands of years and even a little bug is familiar with it. But this little snake has never been seen. Obviously, he is an outsider. Moreover, the ability to silently pass through the formations and tortoise shell phantoms outside Jade Immortal Island is absolutely extraordinary. Su Mu looked at this powerful xenogenic old turtle and asked. Are you going to die here like this? Dead, but there is nothing left. Alive, there is still a chance for revenge. Hearing this, the old turtle looked tangled and looked at the many creatures below. It has lived here for thousands of years, and all the creatures on the island seem to it as its own children and grandchildren. Abandoning them and fleeing alone, the old turtle couldn't bear it. Su Mu saw what the old turtle was thinking and persuaded. You just stay for a while, and in the end, you still have to go to Huangquan Road together. It's better to leave with me, and find opportunities to take revenge in the future. And I know the hidden forces behind these four dragons, we can work together to remove them. Hearing this, the old turtle was slightly shocked and asked aloud. The power behind the dragon king? Su Mu nodded slightly and said. Yes, the power behind it. Don't you find it strange that these few dragons have suddenly risen in just a few decades? They are just puppets that were spawned, and the real perpetrators are hidden behind the scenes. Su Mu didn't want the old turtle to die in vain. It has the blood of the dragon family, and the cultivation base of the middle stage of the of war is not weak. In the entire Fuxing society, only Su Mu can stabilize it. And this old turtle is good at defending magical powers, which makes up for the missing link in Fuxing society. If you can pull it to join, the top-level strength of Fuxing society can be improved. Having lived for more than a thousand years, this old tortoise is fully alive. At first, he was a little reluctant to let the disciples and grandchildren on the island, and he didn't know how to escape from under the eyes of the jello. At this time, with Su Mu's persuasion and his ability to sneak in quietly, 
this dragon turtle was moved. You mean, can you take me out? After a moment of silence, the old turtle asked Su Mu. Hearing this, Su Mu took out a jade bead with seven colors of brilliance and said to it. But evacuated safely, that Jiaolong couldn't find it. But it's only the two of us, so we can't bring anyone else. These colorful beads are a one-time magic weapon that Menli refined for him. After using it, the illusion is added, which is enough to avoid the investigation of the dragon, and can escape silently. Only two. Hey! The old turtle sighed and looked at the many creatures on Jade Immortal Island, his eyes full of reluctance. But under absolute strength, it is helpless. After all, without Sumu, even it would have to die here. In that case, let's go. This revenge will be avenged in the future. After looking around Yushin Island, the old turtle's eyes gradually became firm. Hearing this, Su Mu immediately acted. The colorful jade beads exploded, and a psychedelic mist enveloped the two of them before disappearing in place. Ancestor. Ancestor is gone. Ancestor is gone. We were abandoned, the ancestors don't want us anymore. Ancestor, don't leave us behind. The huge monster body of the old turtle is too conspicuous. As soon as it disappeared, the entire jade immortal island immediately fell into despair. Outside, the tyrannical Jialong also sensed something was wrong. It roared again and again, increased the power of the supernatural power, and quickly blasted away the unhosted tortoise shell phantom. After discovering that the old turtle had escaped, Jialong was even more angry, slaughtering the creatures on Jade Immortal Island in a frenzy. The huge body of the flood dragon was dyed red with blood, which was extremely terrifying. In the distance, the hidden old turtle saw this cruel scene and could not help but shed two lines of turbid tears. Thousands of years of homes, destroyed in one fell swoop. All disciples Sun Quan were slaughtered. Its past life has been completely destroyed. The old turtle stared at the Jialong, as if to imprint its appearance in his heart. Don't worry, this revenge will definitely be avenged. Let's get out of here first. Su Mu comforted, and then took the old turtle into the sea. This experience gave Su Mu a new discovery. Based on ideas and concepts alone, Fuxing society could not attract demon kings from the martial god realm to join. But saving grace and hope of revenge can draw them in. In the following years, Su Mu wandered in the waters of the Four Seas, observing the so-called Dragon King of the Four Seas while saving the big demon who was about to be killed by them. Over the years, he saved three demon kings in the martial god realm. A turtle, a crab, and a whale. The turtles and crabs moved inland and stayed near the Chinchu Mountains. But the giant whale's body of several kilometers is too large, and it is not easy to transfer. Coupled with the need for an internal response in the sea, the giant whale king stayed. Su Mu found an extremely hidden deep sea and hid it there. Although the four flood dragons were powerful, their foundations were too shallow. I know very little about the sea area, and I haven't been to most places. As long as the giant whale king doesn't run around, it's impossible for those flood dragons to find it for hundreds of years. In addition, after several years of observation by Su Mu, he can be sure that these four dragons were created by heavenly court. Don't look at how vicious they are usually, but in front of the false immortals in the heavenly court, they are even more humble than dogs. With that appearance, Su Mu, who was observing secretly, was glad that he did not join heavenly court. Who knows what kind of means those pseudo-immortals have. It would be bad if it could invade Su Mu's deep memory. Once the secret is exposed, Heavenly Court is very likely to control Sumu, so that he can't survive or die, and even has no chance to reopen. In the face of this group of pseudo-immortals and demons from other worlds, it is better to be cautious. In a few years, the four seas have almost been swept away by those few dragons. Seeing that there was little to gain, Sumu returned to his old nest. In recent years, he has felt more and more that those pseudo-immortals are unfathomable. Heaven, the underworld, the gods of mountains and rivers in the world, the dragon king of the four seas. These are only known to Su Mu. How many means they have arranged, no one knows. At this time, Kyushu was fighting in chaos, and the heroes were competing in the world. 
no one takes the power of heavenly court, which has no sense of existence, in their hearts. But Su Mu knew that on the day that the heavenly court showed its strength, the whole world would tremble for it. By then, I don't know what will happen. Su Mu couldn't change the thoughts of the rulers of the human race, and could only wait silently for the unification of the world, while accumulating strength as much as possible. From another point of view, only when the world is unified can we better deal with the heaven. Otherwise, it would be more troublesome for heavenly court to play with one-handed combination of verticals and horizontals, and to divide countries. On the Qin countryside, the situation is changing. The Prime Minister Lu Buwei is a great talent, and several national policies have made the Qin state's governance in an orderly and prosperous manner. At the same time, he is also a top geologist with a profound cultivation base. Lu Buwei performed a secret technique, changed the geomantic ley lines of the Qin country, and made the practitioners of the Qin country more powerful. Even in this era, the lineage of geographers is extremely mysterious, and the inheritance never leaks. Having this prime minister is also a blessing for Qin. But he was too obsessed with power, and Ying Zheng still held power after he came to power. Even more and more arrogant, and even forget about it. What kind of character is Ying Zheng? How can it be so oppressed? After a few years of forbearance, he suddenly attacked and wiped out Lu Buwei and the forces under his command. Seeing that the situation was over, Lu Buwei committed suicide, trying to save the family in this way. In view of his monstrous contributions, Ying Zheng did not feel embarrassed for his family. It's just that from that moment on, he became the real Qin state, holding all the power. At this time, the Qin state had been shrinking for many years, constantly accumulating strength. At the same time, the reforms took turns, and the strength in all aspects has reached a new height. And countries are fighting endlessly, and their strength is seriously depleted. The impression of Qin in various countries is still at the time when he was bullied by Chu, Zhao, and even Qi a few decades ago. They didn't realize that the Qin state, which had been passively endured for decades, had actually developed into a beast that swallowed the sky. After taking power, Ying Zheng began to plan to rule the world. A few years later, when Ying Zheng was 25 years old, he set his sights on the weaker South Korea. Taking advantage of the fact that Han slash Gua had just ended a war and was in a weak state, Qin state made a bold attack. The 500,000 elite Qin soldiers were like wolves and tigers, and they swept away the Han country with lightning speed, and the King Han was dead in just a few months. When this happened, the world shook. At this time, the countries discovered that the Qin state was not what it used to be, and its strength had increased more than tenfold. Ying Zheng had already received the world's reaction. Therefore, only half a year after destroying Korea, they sent troops again. The target this time is Wei. The Qin state sent 800,000 troops, and the general Wang Jian commanded the army to attack the Wei state. At the same time, envoys were sent to visit Zhao and Qi to stabilize them as much as possible. However, the state of Chu and the state of Qin met, and seeing this situation, they could not sit still. Taking advantage of Qin's attack on Wei, Chu sent a large army to attack Qin. Who knew that the Qin state had already prepared? First, the Chu army was deliberately put into the territory of the Qin state, and then Wang Ben, the son of Wang Jian, led an army of 300,000 to ambush them, and closed the door to beat the dogs. This battle was a complete victory, defeating the Chu army. On the Wei side, facing the reborn Qin army, they were captured after only half a year. The king of Wei is missing, and there are rumors that he was rescued by a giant monkey mountain god. After destroying the two countries, Qin's strength skyrocketed. It has become the most powerful country in the Kyushu world. Coupled with the fact that Qin state was able to beat up the mighty Chu state while attacking Wei, this made all the countries feel terrified. But Ying Zheng was not in a hurry for the next expansion. Instead, it took three years to digest the wealth of Wei and South Korea and strengthen their strength. In the past three years, the confrontation between countries and Qin has not stopped. Although there is no open war, there is no shortage of private battles. Fortunately, the talents of the Qin state emerged, and they finally stabilized the four states of Qi, Chu, Zhao, and Yan in various ways. 
although the four countries know that Qin is a great enemy. But after fighting each other for too many years, the strengths of all parties in a country are intertwined, and there are even many fine works of Qin. Due to various reasons, the four countries did not unite and lost the last chance to fight against Qin. Three years later, Qin state sent troops to attack Yen. The country of Yen sent the first swordsman in the country to assassinate the king of Qin, but was obliterated by a mysterious master beside him. Ying Zheng was no longer the weak boy who needed the protection of Su Mu. He's on the move. The assassination failed, and the country of Chu was in despair. Millions of Qin troops are divided into three groups, sweeping the country of Chu with an unstoppable trend. During the period of the Chu state's powerful Jianghu, more than a dozen warriors and warriors appeared, and they wanted to defend the country with their own strength. But most of them were crushed to death by the army, and the remaining two or three tried to escape after fighting for a while, but were killed by the Qin state Wuxian who accompanied the army. Battle after battle, the strength of the Qin army was doubled, and the spirit of the army was extremely condensed. The blood of the warriors is their best metal. A year later, the Yen kingdom fell. Under the command of Ying Zheng, millions of Qin troops moved non-stop to the state of Qi. In order to make sure nothing goes wrong, Ying Zheng also dispatched an army of 500,000 people to destroy them in the shortest possible time. Seeing this situation, Zhao state and Chu state could no longer sit still, and each sent troops to attack Qin. At this time, after Ying Zheng came to power, he vigorously placed numerous meticulous works in various countries to play a role. Under the provocation of meticulous work, both Zhao and Chu misunderstood that the other party was secretly communicating with Qin, and almost did not fight. As a result, the momentum of attacking Qin was greatly reduced. After a year of grinding, the state of Qi has lost most of its territory and almost perished. At this time, Zhao Guo and Chu Guo finally figured out the situation and cleaned up most of the detailed works. But it's too late. More than half a year later, the state of Qi perished. So far, only Qin, Chu, and Zhao are left in the land of Kyushu. Facing the incomparably powerful Qin state, Chu state and Zhao state finally abandoned their previous suspicions and joined forces to fight against Qin. But at this time, Qin state was already stronger than Chu state and Zhao state combined. Moreover, the state of Chu and the state of Zhao were separated from each other, and most of the communication channels were cut off by the state of Qin. The general trend of the world is already clear. 217. The unification of Da Qin is set and irreversible. Four years later, the state of Zhao fell. In another three years, the state of Chu fell. The general Xiang Yan was extremely brave and martial, and his cultivation has reached the late stage of Wuxian. But under the siege of a million army, they can only drink and hate on the spot. With the demise of the Chu state, the Warring States period, which lasted for hundreds of years, finally came to an end. The era of Da Qin is here. This year, Ying Zheng was only 40 years old. In this world where the average life expectancy is 100 years old, a 40-year-old monarch is considered very young. But according to historical records, there are only 10 years left until the date of Ying Zheng's death. These, only later generations Su Mu know. Xianyang, Guanqing Pavilion. Ying Zheng, dressed in a black dragon robe, climbed high and looked into the distance, his eyes were deep, and he didn't know what he was thinking. But that majestic and domineering posture revealed the style of the Emperor Qingu. Suddenly, the space beside him fluctuated, and a big snake with a color very similar to his dragon robe appeared. After seeing this big snake, Ying Zheng's face was filled with joy, and he was very pleasantly surprised. But behind him suddenly appeared a figure who could not see clearly, and a sharp and invisible sword light stabbed at the snake demon. Presumptuous. This is a widowed mentor, step back. Ying Zheng shouted loudly, the figure behind him stopped for a moment, and then disappeared into the darkness. Su Mu glanced at the man and praised. What a terrifying sword Qi, the first swordsman of Chu country died in his hands, right? This kind of cultivation can be called sword master. Qin Huang's personal bodyguard was comparable in strength to Su Mu, and was much stronger than the Qin Hong sword immortal from Chu state. There is just talent, and the support of Da Qin's strong national strength, 
it is normal to have such strength. Ying Jing didn't want to talk too much about the guard behind him. He and Su Mu have not seen each other for more than ten years, and there are too many things to say in his heart. For Su Mu, more than ten years is not a long time, and it is only a fleeting moment to really want to retreat. But for Ying Zheng, more than ten years is almost half of his life. Moreover, too many things have happened in these years, and with great victories, it is inevitable that I am a little tired. In the eyes of others, this wise, wise and powerful, domineering and ruthless emperor is lonely. Lack of parental love since childhood, living in crisis and fear. Only Su Mu gave him a sense of intimacy. Master, look, this world belongs to my Dachin. The promise of the year can also be fulfilled. Ying Zheng pointed at the vast land of your excellency Star Watcher, looked at Su Mu with bright eyes, and was in high spirits. Back then, when Su Mu saved his life and accepted him as a disciple, he had promised. As long as Dachin does not fall, Su Mu will be the eternal emperor. Today, he is finally qualified to fulfill his promise. Hearing this, Su Mu's expression was a little complicated. Ying Zheng unified the world and made great achievements. At this time, I was still immersed in joy, and did not notice the crisis at all. Over the years, there have been no 100 or 80 people who assassinated him. Heavenly Court, who had assassinated him several times in the early years, was long forgotten by him. In order not to interfere with the follow-up development of history, Su Mu resisted the urge to tell Ying Zheng about the Heavenly Court. He smiled and said to this ancient emperor, I don't need the position of emperor, I don't want to be here. Hearing this, Ying Zheng was a little surprised. Master, Duchin's national strength is so prosperous, it will last forever. Why? Ying Zheng couldn't understand why Su Mu refused. As a demon clan, to become the great Qin Emperor's teacher, not only can you obtain the ultimate glory and honor, but also have real benefits. Even though Su Mu doesn't know how to use the Qi of national luck to evolve his bloodline, he can still gain energy from it over the years. In addition to relying on the Qin, who in the world does not respect him for three points. And Ying Zheng intends to abandon the title of King of Qin and become the first emperor of Kyushu. He wants to create a monarchy. Su Mu will be the real imperial teacher. Seeing that Ying Zheng had this intention, Su Mu smiled gratified. At least, there is still the shadow of the boy on his body, and it has not become completely unknown to Su Mu. Thinking of this, Su Mu said to Ying Zheng. I'm here mainly to see you, and I don't want anything else. Hearing this, Ying Zheng was stunned, and his joy decreased a bit. Master doesn't plan to stay. Su Mu shook his head slightly. I still have things to do, and it's not time to stop. You too, you have to keep moving forward, new enemies are waiting for you. Su Mu secretly mentioned something. But Ying Zheng didn't realize the deep meaning of it. He let out a rare sigh and said solemnly. In a few decades, everything has changed. The widow, the widow. It is indeed a lonely man, and the heights are too cold. This Chin Gu Edi rarely showed a hint of loneliness, but quickly restrained. Su Mu's expression moved slightly, and he took a few serious glances at him. The former young man had some wrinkles on his face, and a few strands of white hair were exposed, and he couldn't hide it. Although the dragon robe is strong and domineering, his blood is a little weak. When Ying Zheng was young, he did not lay a good foundation for cultivation. After returning to Qin, he was busy fighting for power and had no time to cultivate. Although he has a lot of resources, his cultivation is only the acquired realm. This kind of cultivation cannot prolong life. As far as lifespan is concerned, he is not much different from ordinary people. At most, he can use a panacea to prolong his life for several decades. It's a pity that the first emperor couldn't even use the medicine for prolonging life. Su Mu has some emotions in his heart. The next ten years will be the key to this dungeon world. Thinking of this, Su Mu gave Ying Zheng a deep look and said. It's too cold at heights. Not necessarily. Perhaps, we have the opportunity to fight side by side and face new storms together. Su Mu hinted again. Hearing this, Ying Zheng was stunned for a moment, and faintly noticed something strange. But Su Mu didn't talk much. 
He grinned and said. Okay, I'm leaving. I don't know what the next meeting will be. You have to do your own thing. With that said, Sumu rose into the air and flew towards the night sky full of stars. Master. Halfway through Su Mu's flight, Ying Zheng was suddenly born and stopped him. After he waited for Su Mu to, he took out a plate of shiny goggles from his arms. It was the snake scale that was given to him more than thirty years ago. Ying Zheng held up the goggles and smiled proudly, and said in high spirits. If one day my master and my apprentice can fight side by side, then the sun and the moon will change to a new sky. Hearing this, Su Mu couldn't help laughing three times. Ying Zheng has made his position clear. He will be robbed every day, and the two masters and disciples will be able to work together. Okay, okay, dare to teach the sun and the moon to change the sky. I'm waiting for you for the teacher, ha ha ha. In the laughter, Su Mu's figure gradually faded away. Ying Zheng had a smile on his face, and a rare softness appeared in his eyes. But soon, his expression returned to indifference and chill. The six kingdoms have been destroyed, and the remnants are still alive. The world is not completely stable yet. Is this the new enemy in the mouth of the master? How can the mere remnants be worthy of it? Ying Zheng looked at the black earth in the night, a little puzzled in his heart. A year later, something was brewing in a small town at the former site of Wei State. Crash! The sky was pouring rain, and there were few pedestrians on the road. Some townspeople hid in nooks and crannies to shelter from the rain, with gloomy eyes. In the rain curtain, a tall figure appeared in their field of vision and walked towards the tavern in the center of the town. The man was wearing a hoodie and a hat, and his face could not be seen clearly. The drooping right hand held a long sword, revealing a faint vigor. Several townspeople exchanged glances and quietly stared at him. I saw this tall figure pushed open the door of the tavern, walked in and sat down. In the tavern, there were more than a dozen people, both men and women. If you have good insight, you will find that these people carry a faint aura. They are no ordinary people. These dozen people all looked at the tall figure with sharp eyes. But he didn't seem to notice anything, and after taking off his robe and hat, he shouted at the shopkeeper. Three jars of sweet-scented osmanthus wine, and another jar of millet wine. The millet wine should be warm, but the sweet-scented osmanthus wine is not needed. Three pounds of beef. Hearing this, the atmosphere in the tavern relaxed. One of the middle-aged people with a scar on his face and a slightly bald head strode towards the figure and asked in a deep voice, Dot. Your Excellency is a San Luo swordsman, Su Lin. The man nodded slightly and said. It's me. The middle-aged man breathed a sigh of relief and said with a smile, Dot. Brother Su Lin, you are here. With your help, this mission will be a success. On the side, a woman with a big shoulder and a round waist stood up and said in a loud voice. Since everyone is here, let's talk about the action process of this mission in detail. Those Qin dogs are not easy to deal with. It is good. The bald-headed middle-aged man agreed, and then gathered everyone together and began to discuss matters. The swordsman named Su Lin who came in last listened without saying a word. This Su Lin is played by Su Mu. Su Mu is now over 240 years old. After 15 times of bloodline enhancement, he finally completely evolved into the nine-winged flowing cloud python. Great bloodline. However, Su Mu's realm did not break through to the late stage of the martial god, and was stuck at the level of midterm perfection. The potential of the nine-winged flowing cloud python has basically reached its peak. In the short term, it will be difficult for him to improve his strength. So, after Su Mu and Ying Zheng separated, they created a false identity of a ranger and mixed in with the anti Qin team. The opportunity to discover the underworld made Su Mu feel that it was necessary to mix in the market, so that he could discover the abnormal changes in the world at the first time. Let's talk about the world situation. Although Da Qin has already unified Kyushu, the six countries have existed for hundreds of years, and their roots are so deep that they cannot be completely eliminated in a short period of time. Many remnants of the six kingdoms are lurking in the dark, trying to destroy Qin. In the past year or so, Ying Zheng has eliminated many anti-Qin forces, 
but there are still many hidden in the dark. For example, this group of people, they are the remnants of Wei State. This time, he planned to assassinate a high-ranking official of the Qin State and destroy some important military supplies. Su Mu's fake identity is a ranger swordsman with a congenital perfection. After being introduced by others, I came to help. No doubt, when disguised as Su Lin, he was really anti-Qin. Otherwise, it would not have taken more than a year to gain the trust of these anti-Qin people, and even break out the name of Sen Luo Swordsman. The words he just entered the tavern were his special connection code. Unfortunately, after lurking for so long, Su Mu did not find anything unusual. Heaven seems to be silent for a while, and I don't know when it will start. Just thinking about this year's experience, everyone in the tavern has already made a plan. Su Mu does not participate in decision making and is only responsible for carrying out tasks. However, the combat power he showed is close to that of the Grandmaster, and he is the most powerful among this group of people, so he will naturally be respected. The bald middle-aged man at the head politely asked Su Mu, dot. Brother Su Lin, do you have any thoughts on this plan? We can discuss it if there is. No. Su Mu answered lightly. Cold and arrogant and withdrawn, it is his specially designed character. After all, the more you say, the easier it is to be wrong. The bald middle-aged man had heard of Su Mu's temperament, and he was not surprised to hear this answer. Well, we'll start working in a few days. In a few days? Didn't you promise to act tomorrow? Su Mu raised his eyebrows and asked a little strangely. That's it, little brother Shin Jia is close to breaking through, and he is only one step away from the innate realm. So we plan to wait for him to break through before carrying out this mission, which is also considered a little more strength. But don't worry, he will be able to advance in at most three days, and it won't take too long. At that moment, Su Mu had already remembered these people clearly. Shin Jia is a slightly thin young man, the younger brother of the woman with the big shoulders and round waist. The elder sister's name is Shin Fang, she is seven or eight years older than him, and her cultivation is also much higher. Both of them were peasant disciples, and they had been slaughtered by the Qin army while guarding the country, so they joined the anti-Qin team. Su Mu didn't take such trivial matters to heart. After learning the reason, he returned to his room, ate beef, drank small wine, and passed the time. He didn't know that the beginning of the catastrophe was coming. Late at night the next day, Su Mu was taking a nap with his eyes closed. Suddenly, a shrill scream sounded. It's Shin Jie's voice. Su Mu suddenly opened his eyes and disappeared from the bed in a flash. Only the violently shaking door could prove that he had just gone out. Su Mu and Shin Jie's rooms are far apart. When he arrived, several people were already standing in front of Shin Jie's bed. Little brother, little brother, what's wrong with you? The front of the crowd was Shin Jie's sister Shin Fang. She cried out anxiously, a hint of unbelievable fear in her voice. Shin Fang was too big, blocking Su Mu's sight. He moved slightly to the side to observe the situation. But when he saw Shin Jie, Su Mu's pupils shrank violently, revealing a look of horror. It was no ordinary thing to make Su Mu feel terrified. Shin Jie was originally a slightly handsome man, but now his appearance has completely changed. He sat crossed on the bed, covered in dark green bark. Many branches grow from the legs, which are connected to the wooden bed. There are also many branches growing on the body, which look like new shoots. The most terrifying thing is Shin Jie's head. His lips were twisted into a ball by the vines, and he couldn't open his mouth at all. Both eyes were covered with worm-like branches, and at first glance they looked like two black holes, staring straight ahead. A big hole was opened on the top of Shin Jie's head, and a strange blue-green flower grew. The flowers swayed slightly, and what was shaking in the stamens was Shin Jie's brain. This kind of change has made him lose consciousness. Sitting on the bed, motionless, like a living dead. After Su Mu, others rushed over one after another. After seeing Shin Jie's appearance, they all took a deep breath, and their eyes showed fear. Hu Gao Lang, the bald middle-aged man headed by him, asked Shin Fang with a serious expression, dot. Your room is next to you, did you notice anything strange just now? 
Seeing that her younger brother had lost his appearance and didn't even know if he was alive, Shen Fang's face was full of pain and sadness. There's nothing unusual, and I didn't detect the enemy's breath. By the way, the astral chi in the younger brother's body fluctuated violently just now, and there are signs of breakthrough. But then he screamed, and when I rushed in, I saw him look like this. Hearing this, Su Mu frowned slightly and said. Looking at him like this, it's a bit like a cultivator who has gone crazy. Su Mu's vision is extraordinary, which is not comparable to this group of people. He vaguely saw some clues. But even if you make mistakes in your cultivation, you won't be able to cultivate like this, right? The doubts in Su Mu's heart were not all dissipated. He vaguely smelled an extremely ominous breath. Going crazy. Impossible. The rejuvenation sutra we practiced is peaceful, impossible. While talking, Shen Fang suddenly stopped and her eyes widened. The appearance of Shen Jie really looks like something went wrong in the practice of wood-based exercises. But, this chasm is too big. The Book of Rejuvenation. After hearing the name, Su Mu frowned even more deeply. Due to the open atmosphere of this era, almost all exercises are made public for mutual exchange. Therefore, Su Mu has also read the Hui Chun Jing and has a certain understanding of it. This exercise is one of the main exercises of the farm family. It is very gentle, and there is almost no possibility of going crazy. Yeah, my younger brother and I both practiced the Rejuvenation Sutra, how could we go crazy? Someone must have harmed him while he was cultivating. Shen Fang's face became angry. But Su Mu felt that things would not be so simple. He went through the Rejuvenation Sutra in his mind, feeling vaguely strange. I can't say what's wrong, but it always feels a little incongruous. Why is the exercise in Hui Chun Jing a little strange? Su Mu frowned. Strange? No, Hui Chun Jing is one of the main exercises of my farm family. I don't know how many great sages have improved it, and it has reached a near perfect level. How can there be a problem? As she said that, Shen Fang started to practice while reciting the Dharma of the Hui Chun Jing. But after practicing for a while, a strange situation happened. A dull dark green appeared on Shen Fang's body, moving under her skin. And hit the skin, there are signs of drilling out. Stop. Su Mu noticed something was wrong and immediately gave a loud drink. Being reminded by Su Mu, Shen Fang also felt strange, but she couldn't stop. What's going on? The chi in my body is out of control. I can't. Ah. Before she finished speaking, Shen Fang's skin burst open, and many bark and branches grew crazily on her body, spreading everywhere. With a muffled sound, Shen Fang's chest burst open, and a strange flower grew out of the internal organs and bloomed in front of everyone. The whole process only takes two or three seconds. When everyone reacted, Shen Fang had lost consciousness and froze in place, turning into a half-human, half-tree monster. Looking at the huge flower on her chest, everyone stayed on the spot, only to feel their scalp numb. A big living person was invaded by strange plants in front of their faces, and he didn't know whether to live or die. This is so weird. Moreover, Shen Fang is not an ordinary person, but a powerful warrior of the innate realm. When everyone was stunned, Su Mu stepped forward and carefully examined the bodies of the sisters. Seeing this, others also reacted. What's going on? Have you gone crazy one after another? It's so weird. Could it be that there's something wrong with the Rejuvenation Sutra? It's possible, otherwise the Shin brothers and sisters wouldn't be in the same situation. No, this is a farmer's practice. Everyone was talking about it, and they looked surprised. At this time, Su Mu turned around and said solemnly. It's not that there is a problem with the Hua Chunjing, but all the exercises have a problem. The catastrophe is coming. While examining the body, Su Mu recited the Hui Chun Jing several times. The sense of discord is getting stronger and stronger. He was sure that there was indeed a problem with the Rejuvenation Sutra. Afterwards, Su Mu went through the other exercises again, and all noticed the difference. But he was not familiar with these exercises, so he couldn't find the problem. It was not until he studied the dragon transformation art that he created, 
that Su Mu could finally be sure that his feeling was correct. All the exercises in his memory were wrong. Dragon transformation was created by Su Mu little by little and after several revisions, he obtained a unique technique. Su Mu is too familiar with it. After just reading it once, Su Mu found that the dragon transformation art in his memory was wrong in three places. In fact, it's just three very tiny places, like three bricks in a big house. But these three wrong bricks are enough to twist and collapse the whole house. Su Mu desperately recalled it several times, but the dragon transformation art in his memory was like this. As if it should be so. No, these three places are wrong. If you practice according to the dragon transformation art in my memory, there will definitely be a big problem. Thinking of this, Su Mu's forehead left a trace of cold sweat. Someone modified all the exercises in his memory. Although it is only a small change, it has left a huge bane in every practice. If you practice according to the exercises in memory without finding out, there will be a big problem. Thinking of this, Su Mu couldn't help but look at the corpses of the Shin siblings. The two of them are the end. So, who has such a great ability to modify everyone's memory? Two words appeared in Su Mu's mind. He already has the answer. And Su Mu had a hunch that they would not be the only ones whose memories were modified. Most likely the whole world. The memories of the practitioners all over the world are in confusion, and the cultivation methods have been changed by magic. It's scary to think about. This is bound to cause huge disturbances. Just as Su Mu was pondering deeply, the stiff bodies of the Shen family members suddenly moved slowly. A strange vitality emerged from their corpses. 218. Su Mu originally thought that the Shen siblings were dead. Unexpectedly, this will come alive again. Hiss. The branches on Shen Fang and Shen Jie twisted and swam away like poisonous snakes, and then opened their eyes each, revealing a strange look. Except for Su Mu, the others couldn't help but take a few steps back, and they all felt a chill. Are these two people? Under Su Mu's gaze, Shen Jie and Shen Fang slowly grinned. Ha ha ha. So this is the real rejuvenation sutra. I got it, I got it. Ha ha ha. The two brothers and sisters laughed madly, their breath rising steadily. Shen Jie, who was originally in the acquired realm, has been promoted all the way to the innate realm. And Shen Fang, who was in the innate realm, broke through to the Grand Master. And the bark and branches of the whole body danced wildly, looking like a human but not a demon, very strange. After laughing a few times, Shen Jie and Shen Fang looked at everyone and said gloomily. Cultivation quickly, your exercises must also reveal the true meaning. This is the real method of becoming an immortal. Cultivate quickly, and you will gain the Tao after you practice. Hearing this, not only did they not do what they said, but they felt a deep fear. Not only the appearance and breath of the Shen family have changed. Sex is completely different. It's like a different person. Seeing this situation, how could they dare to practice at will? Seeing that there was no response from everyone, Shen Jia and Shen Fang's expressions darkened, and a cold blue light lit up in their eyes. Fix it. Why don't you fix it, why don't you fix it? Shen Fang roared with filial piety, the flowers on his chest trembled, and a long piece of flesh that looked like a tongue shot out, killing Su Mu, who was closest to them. Brother Su, be careful. Seeing this, Hu Gaolang's complexion changed greatly, but he was powerless to stop it. At this time, Shen Fang broke through to the Grand Master Realm, and no one was invincible. But in the next second, a cold light flashed, and the sharp sword energy raged out. Katha. Shen Fang froze in place, and after a crisp sound, he was cut in half by a sword. Even the vitality was wiped out, completely dead. This. This scene made Hu Gaolang stay on the spot, feeling a chill in his heart. Shen Fang in the Grand Master Realm, even though Shen Fang just broke through and the situation is strange, how can you say that this is the cultivation realm of the Grand Master Realm? He was actually killed by Su Mu with a sword. But the person who can do this is at least a powerful sword cultivator in the middle stage of the Grand Master. Such a powerful existence, why should they hide their cultivation and mix with them? 
Thinking of this, a drop of cold sweat left on Hu Gaolang's forehead, and several strands of hair fell from the top of his bald head. Everything that happened tonight surprised him. Things are a little bad right now. On the other hand, Su Mu no longer cares what Hu Gaolang's group thinks. When Shen Fang shot him, he had already observed the situation almost. So he killed him with a single sword without hesitation. Then, with a flick of his finger, Shen Jie's head burst open. It is also dead and thoroughly, and there is no possibility of spoofing a corpse. Su Mu slashed the Shen siblings in an instant. The anti Qin people behind him had extremely complicated expressions, and there was a hint of fear in their eyes. When the atmosphere froze, Hu Gao Lang suddenly laughed. Ha ha ha. I have long heard the name of Brother Su Sen Luo Swordsman, and seeing it today is truly extraordinary. However, the situation of the Shen family's sister and brother is really weird. Why don't we save the scene first and ask the seniors of the farm family to take a look? With that said, Hu Gao Lang turned around and walked out the door. But just as he walked to the door, a sharp sword swept across his face. Call. With a gust of sword energy like a breeze, many tiny hairs fell from Hu Gao Lang's eyes. His eyebrows were flattened by this sword energy, and there was not half of them left. But this sword energy didn't hurt him in the slightest, not even the skin was broken. What a control this is. Hu Gaolang's heart trembled, and he froze in place and didn't dare to move. He knew that Su Mu was warning him. If you move again, I'm afraid your life will be lost. The others were also frightened by this scene, and they all dared not make any further changes, and turned their eyes to Su Mu. At this point, Su Mu had already roughly figured out what was going on. Their memory has been modified. But Heavenly Court cannot arbitrarily modify the memory, Otherwise there is no need to make other preparations, and the world of Kyushu can be destroyed casually. Those pseudo-immortals can only make extremely small changes to memory. In the end, this small change fell on the memory related to the exercises. Don't look at it as just a little change, but it has huge harm. In the world where the pseudo-immortals live, the cultivation civilization is much more advanced than this era, and a small change can make a big difference in the results of the cultivation method. It would be better if he died directly after cultivation. But the Shin brothers and sisters lived. Not only is his strength stronger, but he has fallen into a state of madness, bewitching other people to also practice the exercises after the magic reform. In this way, the harm is further enhanced. While thinking about the magic time of this time, Su Mu corrected the three mistakes in the dragon transformation. Dragon transformation was created by him little by little, and he could see the problem at a glance. Even if the memory is modified, it can be quickly corrected. But it is only limited to the dragon transformation art, and the research of other exercises Su Mu is not thorough enough to achieve this step. I don't know if other people can find the mistakes in their majors. Thinking of this, Su Mu looked at Hu Gaolang's group of anti qin people. However, he did not rush to test, but asked them. Are you carrying any secrets of the exercises on your body? Yes, I have it. Hu Gao Lang hurriedly took out a book of exercises and handed it to Su Mu respectfully. Su Mu took a look at it, it was a martial art, he had seen it before. While Su Mu flipped through the pages, he compared the boxing techniques he remembered. It turned out that they were identical. In other words, whether it is the exercises in memory or the exercises in books, all of them have been modified. Only those pseudo-immortals from another world can do this. What method is this? The law of causality. Su Mu's heart was dignified, but his face remained silent. He returned the boxing technique to Hu Gao Lang and asked these anti qin people, dot. You should be able to detect that there is a problem with the exercises in your memory. Can you modify it? Hearing this, the faces of these dozen people sank, and they thought to themselves. But after a while, they all shook their heads, their faces ugly. They feel that there is something wrong with the exercises, but they can't find the mistakes, let alone correct them. Su Mu was not surprised by this. To find and correct mistakes in the exercises requires a deep understanding of them. These acquired and innate warriors have obviously not reached this level. 
Su Mu felt that 90% of the cultivators in the master state should be able to find out that there was a problem with the exercises at the first time, and would not practice. In the late stage of the master, it is almost possible to find the mistakes in the exercises and correct them. After all, at this realm, he has mastered the main method of his own cultivation, and has a very deep understanding. Even if the memory is modified, it can be adjusted in time. After thinking about this, Su Mu disappeared from the room in a flash. When something like this happened, he didn't have the heart to play with these people. Su Mu intends to look around the world to see how much impact the magic magic event has had. This is most likely a precursor to Heavenly Court's actions. After Su Mu left, Hu Gao Lang and the others looked at each other in dismay, with a kind of happiness for the rest of their lives. But they didn't know that a catastrophe was about to come. It is unknown how many of these people will remain in ten years. That night, Su Mu left the town and went on a tour around. Sure enough, the entire land of Kyushu, whether in memory or recorded in books, has been modified. Many people have gone crazy and cultivated into ghosts that seem to be not demons, but not demons. These people are not only extremely cruel, but also constantly tempt others to practice the magic modified exercises to strengthen their ranks. Fortunately, most practitioners have discovered the mistakes in the exercises and have not practiced. But there are very few people who can correct the mistakes of the exercises in a short period of time. Countless practitioners dare not practice, and they are unable to correct their exercises, so they can only be stuck in place. Moreover, the magic method seems to have a magical nature, which tempts people to practice. The temptation is especially strong for the practitioners under the master. Many practitioners seem to be bewitched even if they learn the real exercises, and it is difficult to distinguish the true from the false. Or you can barely tell the difference, but when you practice it, you can go back to practice the magic method uncontrollably, which is extremely strange. In desperation, many practitioners in the acquired and innate realms did not even dare to operate their qi and spiritual qi easily. For fear of being tempted to go the wrong way. Become a quirky existence that is neither human nor ghost. After looking around for half a month, Sumu basically understood the situation. The magic magic event caused the cultivation civilization of the Kyushu world to stagnate for a short time, and a strange existence of a group of madmen was brewed. This is a major blow to the cultivation civilization of Kyushu. If no one interferes, it may take 10 or 20 years to slowly get everything back on track. But as the initiator, Heavenly Court will definitely not watch it. If he guessed correctly, Heavenly Court will soon take action. Magic magic is their first step, paving the way for subsequent actions. I just don't know how Ying Zheng will deal with this. Thinking of this, Su Mu transferred his clone and planned to visit Xianyang. As for the Numenon, it continues to stay in the mundane world, observing the movements of the bottom layer. Su Mu's guess is not wrong, Tian Ting has done it. A few days later, a meteorite fell from the sky in Dongjun, and the ground was a stone. Eight big characters are engraved on it, if you don't respect the way of heaven, Dachin will die. When this happened, the world was in an uproar. Many people think that this change in the practice method is a punishment from heaven and the immortal world. Otherwise, there is no way to explain such a strange thing. This meteorite is Jindao's warning to Dachin. A few days later, hundreds of warlocks appeared outside the Xianyang Palace. They all knelt down and shouted loudly. I implore your majesty to worship God and change your name to the Son of Heaven. In this way, the anger of the immortals in heaven can be quelled, and Dachin can last forever. These shouts startled Ying Zheng. Surrounded by a large group of people, he came to these warlocks with a gloomy expression. What happened recently made this Emperor Qin Gu smell an ominous aura. A sudden audience of a hundred warlocks. Very intriguing at this point in time. Seeing Ying Zheng appearing, an elderly warlock headed by him took a few steps forward and bowed deeply, and said earnestly. The Qin has created too many murders, which has alarmed the heavens, so the immortals in the fairy world have punished them. Now, His Majesty can only quell the disaster by worshipping the gods and changing the emperor to the emperor. Otherwise, Duchin's Jiangshan Sheiji will not be guaranteed. After he finished speaking, hundreds of warlocks behind him also shouted loudly. 
It seemed that Ying Zheng did not promise them that the Qin would soon perish. This scene made Ying Zheng's eyes narrow slightly, and a dangerous look appeared in his eyes. What do you mean, if God wants me to die, I have to die? Of course. Heaven's will cannot be violated, all the immortals in the heavens. To shut up. Before the warlock could finish speaking, Ying Zheng interrupted him violently. If the six countries are going to destroy Qin, I will destroy the six countries. Heaven wants to kill Qin, I will punish the sky. I am a general of Qin, why should I be afraid? After that, the Xuanjia guards behind Ying Zheng waved their weapons and shouted in unison. Kill! 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 In the bursts of shouting and killing, the evil spirit rose into the sky, like a substance. The warlocks below are all discolored, and they only feel the whole body is cold. The warlock at the head held back his fear and said tremblingly. Your Majesty, no. The mutation of the world's exercises is only the first step. If your majesty continues to go against the sky, even more terrible things will happen. The immortals in the immortal world have issued a decree, let me and others persuade your majesty to follow the way of heaven. This is God's will. Hearing these words, the fierce light in Ying Zheng's eyes became more intense. You said it was God's will, is that God's will? I have heard another meaning, you have colluded with the mastermind behind the mutation of the practice. At this time, we are here to spread rumors and confuse the public with ulterior motives. Come on, take them all. With Ying Zhang's loud shout, the Xuanjia guards rushed out and captured all these warlocks. At this moment, a thunderstorm sounded in the sky. The sky split open, and three immortal figures descended from the heavens, driving the Lingxiao to the front of Ying Zhang. We are heavenly court immortal monarchs, who would dare to kill heavenly court's human messengers. The immortal monarch in the lead stared at Ying Zheng with amazing momentum. Seeing this scene, the warlock below fell into ecstasy. Immortal, it's really an immortal. The immortals have come down to earth, and I will find a way out. With the protection of immortals, who dares to kill me? Ha ha ha. Warlocks practice Shinto, worshipping gods and immortals in an attempt to share the power of belief. But there are no real gods and immortals in this world, so most of the warlocks are just some charlatans who are at the bottom. It was not until the false immortals of heavenly court appeared that their fate changed. This was something that Su Mu had never discovered before. After all, there are not many warlocks, and they are quietly acting as dogs, which is difficult to detect. This time, it was nothing more than those pseudo-immortals who wanted to get hold of Ying Zheng, the emperor of this world, so that they could achieve their goals more easily. But they obviously underestimated Ying Zheng, and underestimated this ancient emperor. Seeing the three immortals descend to earth, Ying Zheng's face sank, and killing intent poured out. So, did you guys make the change in the practice method? The leader of the immortal monarch raised his chin slightly and said proudly. This is a small punishment, if you dare. Take it. Before the immortal monarch could finish speaking, Ying Zheng shouted, his eyes full of killing intent. In an instant, several black shadows shot out behind him and went straight to the three immortal monarchs. Air and other mortals, how dare to offend immortals! The three immortal monarchs were terrified, obviously they did not expect that Ying Zheng would appear to them so decisively. The warlocks were also stunned by this scene, and the joy on their faces turned into fear again. Tyrant, this is the real tyrant. Even the immortals dare to start. In the horror of many warlocks, Ying Zheng's face was sinking like water, and he whispered a few words. The son of heaven. I did not want to bow my head and claim my son by destroying the six kingdoms and unifying the world. A fairy who can bleed is not a fairy. Ying Zheng's personal bodyguards are all strong warriors. When he whispered, several people have joined forces to kill one of the immortal monarchs. The other two immortal monarchs were horrified and hurriedly drove the Lingxiao to the heavenly court. But these immortal monarchs are just people from Kyushu who were deceived by heavenly court. Their strength is slightly stronger than before, but they have not reached the martial god realm. Ah! Ah! With two shrill screams, the two immortals were beheaded by the owls, the bodies fell from the space, and blood spilled on the bodies of the warlocks. 
All the warlocks shivered, fear to the extreme. Tyrant. You will pay for it, tyrant. Knowing that there was no way out, some warlocks cursed loudly. Drag down, chop. Ying Zheng waved his hand, and Dan Mo gave an order. In fact, he originally wanted to capture those guys who claimed to be immortals and get some information. But Heavenly Court was already prepared and did not give them a chance to catch them alive. Enemy, come prepared. Thinking of this, Ying Zheng looked at the distant sky, pondered for a long time, and said. Collect the world's exercises and burn them all. Capture the world's warlocks and kill them all. Li Si, I'll leave this to you. Not a single cultivation technique or a single warlock can be left behind, they will all be destroyed. Heaven wants to kill Qin, I will punish the sky. Yes. Li Si, the prime minister on the side, felt Ying Zheng's terrifying aura, and agreed with a shocked heart. The first emperor on the land of Kyushu is obviously not something that heavenly court can handle at will. The world is going to be in chaos again. After finishing the command, Ying Zheng continued to stare at the vast sky above his head, his eyes flashing with thought. Although I don't know what's going on in immortal world and heavenly court, I don't even know if they are real immortals. But Ying Zheng already felt the hostility of the other party. Compromise is the most foolish act in the face of the enemy. The opponent has already made a move, how can he fall behind? When he didn't know the existence of the heavenly court, Ying Zheng didn't intend to take care of the practice of the exercises, and let the practitioners in the world adjust by themselves. But now that I know that this matter is heavenly court, it must be intervened. Because the other party will definitely use this to deal with him and the Qin. This problem must be solved as quickly as possible. As for how to deal with it, Ying Zheng thought very clearly. Cut through the mess. Since all the cultivation methods in the world have gone wrong, destroy them all. Then call the top powerhouses and create new exercises. As for the warlocks who practice Shinto, none of them can stay. Burning books and slaughtering immortals is imminent. 219. Emperor Qin gave an order, and Kyushu was in turmoil. The Dachin Xuanjia guards swept the major forces of all parties, and countless magical exercises were collected in Xianyang and destroyed in a centralized manner. The blazing flames lingered on for days. Numerous exercises that have been condensed with the blood of predecessors but have been contaminated have since been destroyed and disappeared from the world. Many demonized practitioners resisted violently and gathered together to oppose Qin. These people are delirious, like madmen. Moreover, it has deceitful power, and it constantly tempts practitioners who have not yet been enchanted to join them. Even if they were not against Qin, Ying Zheng would not let them go. Millions of elite Qin soldiers are walking around the world, capturing these demonized monks at the fastest speed. Ying Zheng knew that the so-called immortal world would definitely have the next move, so he had to deal with the magic magic event as soon as possible. Those who were destroyed together with countless magical exercises were also those warlocks who worshipped gods and begged immortals. Although there are not many warlocks, that is relative to the entire Kyushu. Ying Zheng once killed 100,000 warlocks, shaking the world. The name of the tyrant spread secretly. But Ying Zheng didn't care. At the same time as the book burning and pit scholars, they also gathered a large number of strong masters in the master realm to start writing new exercises. The new exercises must be different from the previous exercises. Because the monks all over the world still remember those demonized exercises in their hearts, resisting the temptation from them. If the new exercises are similar to them, I am afraid that if you practice cultivation, you will take a fork in the road. So, this is a huge project. Only a unified country like Dachin can summon thousands of top powerhouses to write exercises together. One month later, new exercises were spread from Xianyang, and soon spread all over the world. But it will take at least several years, or even decades, to completely eliminate the magic magic event. However, after a year, the negative impact can basically be eliminated by 80 to 90 percent, and it can be regarded as stable. Next, let's see how Tianting makes a move. At the same time, Su Mu controlled the clone and came to Xianyang. Ying Zheng's vigorous and resolute actions made him secretly admire that he is indeed an emperor of the ages. 
Now that the human race is unified, the strength does not know how much stronger than the monster race. Against Heavenly Court, Duchin is the absolute main force. It is still the Guanching Pavilion, and the Master and the Apprentice stand side by side. Master, is this the enemy you are talking about? Ying Zheng looked at the sky above his head with sharp eyes. Looks like you found it, what's your plan next? Su Mu looked at him. Sure enough, Master has long known that there is a problem with Heavenly Court. It's just that this so-called Fairyland force is a bit strange. Even the most elite spies in Dachin can't find too much useful information. Bikuch. Name. Let's accumulate strength first, as long as Heavenly Court makes a move, it will definitely reveal flaws. Ying Zheng's voice was calm, but he had absolute confidence. Even if the opponent is a real immortal, he dares to fight against it. Old Qin people, never give in. But Ying Zheng had a strange feeling about Su Mu. His master seems to know a lot of things. Also in the martial god realm, those top warriors and qi refiners enshrined in Dachin did not notice the problems of the heavenly court before. Only Su Mu seemed to have noticed the strangeness of heavenly court early. Thinking of this, Ying Zheng looked at Su Mu with some doubts. Su Mu could see the meaning of the inquiry in Ying Zheng's eyes, but he couldn't say anything clearly, otherwise it might disrupt Ying Zheng's original trajectory. After thinking about it, Su Mu said in a deep voice. I do know some information related to Heavenly Court, but I can't tell you. At least now is not the time and speaking out could be counterproductive. You can just do what you want, when I don't exist. Hearing this, Ying Zheng's eyes flashed with a thoughtful look. Don't you exist as a master? Su Mu didn't want to influence Ying Zheng too much. This time he came here to see how he fought against heaven. He immediately said. I'll stay in Xianyang next, but that's what I said, just think I don't exist. When the time is right, I will shoot. With that said, Su Mu's figure flashed and disappeared in place. Looking at Su Mutin's disappearing figure, Ying Zheng was silent for a moment, then looked up at the sky with deep eyes. His master must have a big secret. But Ying Zheng didn't intend to investigate, he knew who the enemy was. Destroying the Six Kingdoms is only the first step. Da Qin's footsteps have not yet come to a stop. Da Qin two years. It has just been three months since the event of the magic technique, and the mutation has resurfaced. In the first life, Su Mu met the Xiong Yao Shan god, Xiong Shan, on the edge of the Qin Chu Mountains. After learning that the mountain gods and river gods were under the control of Heavenly Court, Su Mu too did not contact it. But after all, after a lifetime of mutuality, when he ordered the demons under his command to exterminate the mountain gods and river gods, Su Mu deliberately left Xiong Shan behind instead of killing it. Otherwise, given its location and not deliberately hiding it, it should have been destroyed by the Fuxing society long ago. On this day, Xiong Shan was sleeping soundly. He, who has not met Su Mu, has been staying on that unnamed hill for all these years, spending his days idly and lazily. Xiong Shan barely broke through to the innate realm a few decades ago, but has not made any progress since then. Now it has little vitality and can't live for many years. But this dude is also big-hearted. Even if you are about to die of old age, you still don't have to worry about it. It's time to eat, sleep, and live one day at a time. But just as it was sleeping soundly, there was a sudden change in the ground. With a tremor, Xiong Shan suddenly opened his eyes, and a ferociousness that did not belong to him flashed in his eyes. Roar! The old and lazy bear demon suddenly stood up and let out a furious roar. Then the nameless hill under his feet lit up with a strange aura, all injected into its body. Under the blessing of this spiritual light, Xiong Shan's body soared. From the original 10 meters high to 50 meters, it transformed into a huge bear demon, and the cave where it was located was bursting. Along with it is its strength. Originally, the bear demon, which was only in the early stage of the innate, was actually promoted to the middle stage of the Grandmaster in one breath. The surging demonic energy is rolling, it is very powerful. No, the bear demon has changed. Quickly inform the saint of the situation here. The demon clan of Fuxingsh, who was in charge of the tracking, had a mutation immediately, 
and informed Su Mu of the situation with a messenger. At this time, Su Mu's body was traveling around the world of Kyushu. When he heard the news, he keenly felt that the aura between heaven and earth had changed. Xiong Mountain has risen violently and its strength has increased. Does this have anything to do with the mutation of the spiritual energy of heaven and earth? Su Mu vaguely felt bad. He immediately flew high into the sky and looked into the distance. At this level of cultivation, Su Mu's eyesight is terrifyingly strong and can penetrate thousands of miles away. With this glance, he really found a clue. As far as Su Mu's eyes could reach, several demonic auras shot up into the sky, all of them were mountain gods and river gods whose strength had suddenly skyrocketed. If only that was the case. These mountain gods and river gods are all monsters whose strength is less than that of a grandmaster. Not to mention the Qin, Fuxing society has the ability to deal with it. But at the same time, the earth pulse changed, and the spiritual energy of heaven and earth became obscure inexplicably. What's the matter? The ley lines have been changed. Su Mu is not a geographer, so he doesn't know much about earth veins and earth qi. I can only vaguely feel that the ley lines of Kyushu world have mutated in a bad direction. With these, Su Mu finally understood why Heavenly Court wanted to create those mountain gods and river gods with average strength. The purpose of those pseudo-immortals is to destroy the ley lines of the Kyushu world. Mountain gods and river gods are just tools with a certain value. Thinking of this, Su Mu's expression was extremely solemn. After carefully sensing it, he confirmed that the aura between heaven and earth had indeed changed. It is not that it has become rare, but it has become dirty, not as pure as before. In this way, it will definitely affect the practitioners of the Kyushu world. Even a martial artist who pays attention to his own blood will be affected, and the speed of cultivation will be slowed down. First, the magic method, followed by the pollution of the world's spiritual energy. Those pseudo-immortals in the heavenly court will do anything to weaken the foundation of the Kyushu world. Its heart can be punished. After two consecutive waves, the strength of Kyushu will definitely be hit, at least 30% weakened. Fortunately, the top practitioners were less affected. But this is just the prelude to the heavenly court attack. This night, the gods of the land of Kyushu rose up, and the spiritual energy changed. On the second day, the long-disappeared King Wei appeared again. When the state of Wei fell, the King of Wei disappeared mysteriously. There are rumors that he was rescued by a giant monkey mountain god. Looking at it today, this rumor is true. Because King Wei was surrounded by many mountain gods and river gods, he was revealed to the world. At the same time, he also gathered a large number of remnants of the Six Nations, as well as various anti qin people, and they rushed to Xianyang. This is the biggest rebellion after the unification of the Qin. Qin Huang Yingzheng immediately dispatched generals Wang Jian and Li Exian to lead an army of one million to quell the rebellion. The land of Kyushu, which had just stopped for a few years, was once again caught in a melee. This battle is not easy. Those maddened mountain gods and river gods are more powerful than they appear on the surface. They seem to be blessed by the power of the ley lines, their strength is generally doubled, and their vitality is almost endless. Unless their demon bodies are torn to shreds, the fight can continue. In fact, after the madness, those mountain gods and river gods are actually dead, leaving only a body, driven by heaven. In addition, there are dozens of so-called Xianjun secretly making trouble. Several of them are powerhouses of the martial god realm. The fight against the rebellion lasted for half a year during this process, countless human races and demon races died in battle. Qin's casualties were fairly good and not serious. But Su Mu was very clear in his heart. Whether it is Qin Jun or those anti-Qin people, mountain gods and river gods, or even the so-called Xian Jun. In fact, they are all living beings in the Kyushu world. In this process, an incomparable otherworldly pseudo-immortal participated in the battle. Those who die are all living beings from Kyushu. I'm afraid that the netherworld has already made a lot of money and collected an unknown amount of soul power. Su Mu's face was solemn. As time goes by, that alien space is getting stronger and stronger. 
If this continues, I am afraid that it will become a real underworld, constantly absorbing the souls of the Kyushu creatures. The harm is far greater than the magic magic and Reiki mutation. But with the reinforcement of the space, Su Mu has been unable to enter the netherworld, and has no way of knowing the internal situation. The good news is that in the process of investigating the heavenly court, Ying Zheng learned about the existence of the underworld and restricted it. The bad news is that the rumors of the underworld have been widely circulated among the people at the bottom under the intentional spread of the heavens, and it is difficult to completely eliminate them. Especially after years of war, countless people live in fear, all expecting to have a home after death. The legend of the underworld is just in line with the situation. This battle between man and immortal has just begun. Ying Zheng is ready to blow the horn to fight back. Thank you to the leader of I'm a dog in my village. There are two alliance leaders in this book, and the other is Xing Yu Tian Yen, thank you two elders for the reward. I plan to continue coding, but I won't have time to post the second chapter tonight, and I will post it at 12, noon tomorrow. 220. Sancho, Feiyun Valley. Ding Qinyun, dressed in a gray short fight, is practicing a set of boxing techniques in a straightforward manner. The fellow disciples around were also cultivating separately. Some practiced the same boxing techniques as him, others didn't. Oddly enough, there wasn't a single instructor on site, they were all self-taught. The reason is actually quite simple. The boxing technique Ding Qinyun practiced was not the inheritance of Fai Yunggu, but a new technique developed by Dachin officials. Sancho is the old city of Yen State. When Qin Bing arrived, Fai Yunggu also made some efforts, and many disciples died in the battle to destroy the country. Later, although he bowed his head to Dachin and became a minister, the hatred still cannot be completely eliminated. But these have nothing to do with Ding Qinyun. He was only in his early twenties, how old was Yen when the country fell, and he didn't even remember his parents. Ever since he can remember, Ding Qinyun has been an orphan without father and mother, and he doesn't know whether his parents were killed by Qin Bing. In short, he didn't feel any hatred for those countries. Ding Qinyun just wants to practice well and gain stronger strength. In this way, you can control your own life, money, power, and are at your fingertips. After practicing several times in a row, Ding Qinyun stopped panting. He always felt that there was something wrong with his practice, which caused him to be unable to successfully refine his blood and cultivate his body to perfection. But this is a brand new exercise, and Fai Yunggu's seniors can't give him any advice, let alone guide him. Apart from providing some cultivation resources, the sect seems to have no other role. In the past six months, people kept leaving, and the atmosphere in Feiyun Valley became more and more awkward and deadly. How about I go to Xianyang and join the Qin army? I heard that there is a special training in martial arts in the army, and the training resources are extremely abundant, which is much better than Fai Yunggu. There, maybe that's where I should go. Recently, Dachin has recruited troops from all over the world, and is bound to build an unprecedented powerful army. The imaginary enemy of this army is the Heavenly Court and the Immortals. So all the resources are top-notch. Of course, this is not explicitly stated. But the generous treatment given has made countless people excited. The young and vigorous Ding Qinyun also wanted to try it out and make a future. Staying in such a lifeless sect, I'm afraid there will be no future. Dang. 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 Just as Ding Qinyun was thinking, there was a rapid bell ringing in the valley. This sound heralds a major event in the sect. Ding Qinyun immediately stood up and looked up at the main hall in the valley. Although he has already given birth to the idea of leaving the sect. But as long as he has not left, he is still a disciple of Fai Yunggu. But seeing this, Ding Qinyun couldn't help being stunned. The main hall of Feiyun Valley was surrounded by a large number of Qin troops. Each of these elite Qin troops is a warrior of the innate realm, and their black iron armor is extremely thick, and their swords and halberds flash with cold light. Not only that, but they also wore some rune waist cards with rich spiritual energy on their waists, and they didn't know what treasures they were. In addition, there must be other magic weapons and Taoist talismans, but they can't be seen from the outside. Just this piece of equipment, ordinary rich people can't afford to buy it with all their wealth. 
coupled with Duchin's elite soldiers in a hundred battles, the combat power can be imagined. Ding Qinyan estimates that only thirty elite soldiers of this level are needed to destroy the entire Feiyun ancient. With such a powerful strength, he couldn't help but feel excited, and the idea of joining the Qin army became stronger and stronger. Driven by various reasons, Ding Qinyun and other colleagues came to the outside of the main hall, squeezed the crowd and looked inside. Qin Bing, who only saw the appearance of an officer, strode forward and said to the owner of Feiyun Valley in a cold voice. At the order of my emperor, we will confiscate the weapons and instruments of all sects. You can keep ten percent, if you violate or hide it, you will be killed without mercy. Hearing this, the face of the master of Feiyun Valley changed greatly, but he had to agree. Yes. He nodded in agreement. Subsequently, a large number of weapons and instruments were transported to the main hall. Even some old goods that are almost scrapped in the inventory dare not hide. After confirming the move, the officer waved his hand. Some cargo soldiers carried away these weapons and instruments one by one. Soon the main hall became empty. All the high-ranking members of the sect were like concubines, but they didn't even dare to let go of their farts. They had already received the news that Dachin received the soldiers of the world. All sects that tried to resist or hide in private will be destroyed. But without the inheritance of the exercises and the weapons and instruments, what else is left of the sect? There are only some training resources left. But the richest person in the world is Dachin. Compared with wealth, the sects of the world together are not as good as Dachin's hair. If this goes on, people's hearts will disperse. Countless talents and treasures flocked to Dachin, and little by little they created a dynasty that was so powerful that it had never been seen before. This was supposed to be a prosperous world. Fayunga's high level thinking is not wrong, and their hearts have indeed been scattered. Seeing that Qin Bing was about to leave, Ding Qinyun couldn't help it. Wait a moment. He dared to cry out. What's the matter? The leading officer turned back, the cold eyes made Ding Qinyun shudder, and he couldn't help but feel fear. Ding Qinyun had a hunch that if he said something bad, he would be killed instantly. I. I want to join the army, I want to join the army, I want to be a Dachin soldier. He was afraid that the officer would be wrong, so he immediately said his thoughts. Unexpectedly, after saying this, many other colleagues jumped out. I also want to join the great Qin Tianjun. Please accept me as a general. Me too, me too. I have admired the might of the De Qin army for a long time. This scene made the expressions of the senior leaders in Feiyun Valley extremely ugly, but they also did not dare to say anything more. It didn't seem to be the first time the officer had encountered such a thing. Seeing this, he glanced at the disciples of Fai Yungu, and then said coldly. My Dachin Xuanjia army only accepts elites, but not everyone can join. If you want to join, you must pass the test. The next thing will come naturally. A large number of Fai Yungu disciples lined up to participate in the Qin army's selection test. Most of them have been brushed down, and only a few potential elites have successfully joined the Qin army. Ding Qinyun is very lucky. Originally it was a little bit, but the officer he practiced in boxing was also practicing. Seeing that he has some talent in boxing, he made an exception to accept it. From this moment on, Ding Qinyun's fate has changed. This kind of thing happened in various sects in the land of Kyushu. Dachin confiscated the soldiers of the world, and also took in a group of potential sect disciples. Countless weapons and instruments were continuously sent to Xianyang. Ingzheng summoned hundreds of master craftsmen and masters of formation to smelt these weapons and instruments. Then started a big project, casting twelve golden people. Before this, Ingzheng suppressed the world's luck with the Kyushu Ding and the Chuan Guoyu seal. Under the suppression of the two major weapons, the Kyushu ley lines gradually stabilized, and the spiritual energy began to recover. The whole process takes about ten years. But these are just defensive measures. Ying Zheng is not the kind of person who only gets beaten passively. The Twelve Golden People is the ultimate move he intends to use to cut down the sky. In the following year, the remaining mountain gods and river gods, as well as the remnants of the Six Kingdoms, came out to make trouble. 
they formed an anti-Qin front and played their due role as cannon fodder. The war in Kyushu continued, and a large number of dead souls were absorbed by the underworld. But the Qin did not do nothing. Under the order of Ingzheng, the Qin recruited elites from various armies and formed an unprecedented powerful army named Shu Tian. There are millions of this god-killing army. Under the crazy accumulation of various resources in Dachin, every heaven-punishing army has the cultivation of the innate realm. The weakest is also the innate early stage. After learning about this situation, Su Mu was shocked for a long time and didn't say a word. The human race of this era is really too powerful. Especially after the great unification, even if the heavenly court is constantly making troubles, Dachin's strength is still growing. Without those pseudo-immortals, Dachin would surely create a prosperous world. But this is obviously impossible. Therefore, it is necessary to counterattack. At the same time as the creation of the god-killer, the twelve golden figures were also cast. Every golden statue is a hundred feet tall, and I can't wait to reach the sky. The appearance of the golden figures is different, but they are all engraved with mysterious and thick runes, and the surging power is hard to restrain. These twelve golden figures are powerful and unparalleled magic weapons. Used alone, it can bring out the combat power in the middle stage of the martial god realm. But the real usage is that the twelve golden men are activated at the same time to form a great formation of twelve gods. This formation is an ancient formation, and most of it is incomplete. After being repaired by the great Qin formation master, it can still exert its powerful power. Twelve golden figures are activated together, and they can exert the terrifying combat power of the great perfection of the martial god, or even higher. Cultivation civilization in this world is thriving and constantly developing. However, it still failed to explore the realm above the martial god. In other words, the great perfection of the martial god is the most powerful existence in this world. The twelve golden people are even stronger, and can be called the strongest combat power in this world. On the day when the twelve golden figures were completed, Ingzheng specially came to watch the ceremony. Looking at the twelve giant golden figures soaring into the clouds and ferocious, Su Mu couldn't help feeling the wisdom of the human race and the power of the state machine. Rice Ball Exploration Book With such a heavy weapon, all the sects in the world together have completed less than 1%. Even the previous powerful countries such as Chu and Zhao were unable to complete it. Among them, the efforts of countless top formation masters and qi refining masters are condensed. Not to mention, it has also smelted countless magical weapons and magic weapons. It can only be refined by the now unified Dachin Empire. Master, I have a million warriors and countless masters in Great Qin, plus these twelve golden men, can I fight against heaven? In the Guanqing Pavilion, Ying Zheng stood with his hands behind his back, and there was a trace of excitement and excitement in his expression. Hearing this, Su Mu did not answer. The Qin's strength shocked him. There are also these twelve golden men, who can be called the strongest combat power in this world. But. Not enough. In this life, Su Mu was more observing and did not interfere too much. Only with the full picture of the whole thing can he make the right changes. In other words, the events of this life are basically similar to the original history. Although there are very few historical records of this period of the Warring States period, the general trend is still there. The strength displayed by the Qin is indeed extremely powerful. But it will still die in two lifetimes. Moreover, the cultivation civilization of the Kyushu world has declined, and it has not recovered until the 5,000-year-old era of Great Dryness. Ingzheng also seemed to sense the meaning of Su Mu's silence, and asked in disbelief. Could it be that this level of strength can't compete with Heavenly Court? What secrets do they have, can Master tell me? Hearing this, Su Mu opened his mouth to say something. But Ying Zheng suddenly coughed violently. He coughed violently, as if he was about to cough out his internal organs. Fortunately, the sound of coughing attracted a qi refiner in a purple Taoist robe, who hurriedly fed a spiritual elixir to Ying Zheng. After taking this pill, Ying Zheng Kai gradually recovered. Are you all right? Su Mu asked with concern and at the same time his eyes were fixed on the Qi refiner. He has seen this man. 
It was the powerful Chi refiner on Jade Immortal Island, whose strength was only below the old turtle. Unexpectedly, he did not die, and even sneaked into the Duching court. But did he escape from the fierce Jiaolong? Su Mu was a little puzzled, looking at him with a trace of scrutiny in his eyes. Ying Zheng took a deep breath and said. Some minor problems are fine. This person's name is Su Fu. He is an alchemist from overseas with extremely superb skills. Master, if you need medicinal herbs, you can find him. Seeing Su Mu staring at the Qi refiner, Ying Zheng introduced a few words. Su Fu. After hearing the name, Su Mu's eyes narrowed slightly. Master, have you heard of him? In recent years, his physical condition has declined, so I sent him and Zhao Gao to take charge of the elixir together. If I can find or refine the elixir of longevity to prolong my life, Duchin will surely last forever. No matter how powerful the enemy is, Yu Yu reading will definitely fall under the sword of Duchin. When he said this, Ying Zheng's eyes were bright and arrogant. But Su Mu was stunned. These two are famous. Even if the history is incomplete, the two of them still left a legacy, which will be passed down to future generations. Just not a good reputation. But whether it is Su Fu or Zhao Gao, on the surface, they are both loyal and loyal, and they are extremely capable of doing things. It is not surprising that it was reused by Ying Zheng. Just when Su Mu didn't know what to say, a wolf smoke suddenly rose in the distance. This is an early warning sign. At the same time, Su Mu was keenly aware of a gloomy aura. It is the unique ghost of the underworld. After being silent for so long, is the underworld finally going to take action? Su Mu's face was solemn, knowing that Heavenly Court's backhand was coming. Sure enough, the communication talisman that Ying Zheng carried with him rang, and there was a hurried voice. The gate of Mount Tai's ghosts opens, and thousands of ghosts are killed. Reinforcements are urgently needed, reinforcements are urgently needed. After listening, a stern look flashed across Ying Zheng's face. Isn't even the underworld uneasy? Why do all of them have to fight against Zhen and the Qin? Ying Zheng was very angry. He didn't know that Heavenly Court and Underworld were actually the same group of people, or that pseudo-immortals were controlling them. It's not over yet. After Wan Gui was killed, the sky suddenly became gloomy. A thunderous sound rang out, and Wan Daeguangwa shot out from the depths of the clouds. With the cracking of the clouds, countless heavenly soldiers and heavenly generals exuding spiritual light appeared in the air. Thousands of ghosts are haunted, and the heavenly soldiers are coming. This time, Heavenly Court is going to make a real move. 221. Su Mu looked up at the sky and breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, these heavenly soldiers and heavenly generals are not pseudo-immortals, but just empty shells similar to puppets. However, it is still powerful and cannot be underestimated. Da Qin has long been prepared. After the heavenly soldiers and heavenly generals arrived, the twelve Baijiang Jin men immediately rose into the sky and fought with them. In this battle, the sky is full of sun and moon, and the wind and clouds are turbulent. But the fire wasn't just here, and the ground didn't stop. On Mount Tai, the light of red and purple complements each other. The towering mountain slowly cracked open, revealing an incomparably huge ghost gate. This ghost gate is the main gate of the underworld. After opening it, countless ghosts rushed out and ravaged the world. Da Qin responded immediately and sent countless Qi refiners to deal with it. But there are still countless people and even practitioners who died tragically at the hands of these ghosts. Even the demon clan suffered casualties. The goal of these vicious ghosts is to kill as many creatures in Kyushu as possible. Very vicious. The pseudo-immortal has been preparing for this battle for a long time. Together, the heavenly court and the underworld will attack Dachin in an all-round way. Or in other words, attack the world of Kyushu. Su Mu didn't intervene, but took advantage of the opening of the gate of heaven and the gate of hell, quietly sneaked into the heaven and the underworld to inquire about the enemy's situation. After many years, Su Mu finally entered these two different dimensions again, and found a situation that shocked him. These two different spaces are slowly merging with the world of Kyushu. 
those otherworldly pseudo-immortals cannot directly break through the space barrier and enter the Kyushu world. Therefore, only two different spaces can be created, which is equivalent to a springboard and a medium. But now, these two different spaces have grown several times, and they are merging with Kyushu. If it goes on like this, I'm afraid it will change the world. The sky and the earth in the Kyushu world will be quietly replaced by these otherworldly pseudo-immortals. Thinking of this, Su Mu's heart froze. He finally knew the ultimate purpose of those otherworldly pseudo-immortals. If they could change the world, wouldn't the Kyushu world be left to them? These pseudo-immortals are extremely powerful, and they cannot enter the world of Kyushu by themselves because of plane restrictions. But if they are allowed to successfully change the world, they will be able to do anything wrong. The more Su Mu thought about it, the more serious his expression became. At the same time, I can't help but sigh that these pseudo-immortal plans are too terrifying. This is about killing people. Dachin, how should we deal with it? The heavenly soldiers and specters were dispatched at the same time, which was extremely difficult. This battle lasted for several months. In fact, the real bloodbath is only a few days. But those specter ghosts did not fight head-on with the powerful chi refiners sent by Dachin. Instead, they fled in all directions to harm those ordinary people or monks with underground cultivation. Only in this way can it cause more casualties and make the netherworld even stronger. Numerous chi refiners were desperate to catch ghosts, and after three or four months they caught 80 to 90 percent. The remaining 10 percent are extremely cunning and creepy ghosts. It is estimated that within a few years, the payment will not be completed. After this war, a large number of dead souls were swallowed up by the underworld, and many dementia children born without souls appeared in the Kyushu world. After learning about this, Ying Zheng was furious. He knew that he had to find a way to deal with that underworld. Otherwise, the roots of the Kyushu world will be dug up by them. Ying Zheng did not delay, and immediately summoned ministers and advisors to discuss countermeasures together. Half a month later, the Terracotta Warriors project officially started. Today, there are millions of elite soldiers in Dachin, who are called the Tianzhu Army. The scale of the Qin figurines is also on par with this scale. Great Qin has a strong national strength, and in a short period of time, he designed the manufacturing method of Qin figurines, and invited countless skilled craftsmen and masters. With the concerted efforts of countless people, the lifelike terracotta warriors and horses were born. But these are just empty shells. Although the empty shell is very powerful, it still cannot exert its power if no one controls it. Ying Zheng had already made plans for this. He wants to summon the soul. Recall the dead souls of millions of Qin soldiers. The Qin state lasted for nearly a thousand years, fighting with various countries, and I don't know how many elite soldiers were killed in the battle. Most of the souls return to heaven, they have long been divided into single souls, and they have been reincarnated for an unknown number of lifetimes. However, there were very few dead soldiers who were enshrined in the Hall of Military Souls by Qin State. These dead souls are worshipped with incense, and they have never died. And those who are qualified to accept the offerings are all the elites among the elites, I don't know how many military exploits they have made. It is the spiritual direction of countless old Qin people. Today, the Qin has unified the world, and the national power has skyrocketed. After exhausting the hard work of countless skilled craftsmen and masters, they finally created the terracotta warriors that can carry their souls. After learning about this, Su Mu was very shocked. The power of this era is not only the combat power of various practitioners. There are also branches of the cultivation civilization, such as alchemists, alchemists, talismans, and earth masters. In the era of Dagon, it was absolutely impossible to create such terracotta warriors that could carry the powerful souls of the dead. Not to mention the perfect blending of the two to exert a stronger strength. This involves countless esoteric knowledge, which Su Mu can't even read. I can only watch from the sidelines and watch the excitement. Ying Zheng personally presided over the ceremony of conjuring the soul. There are also hundreds of top chi refiners who are proficient in ghost ways and fully assist. I saw that the emperor of the ancient times opened his arms, muttered words in his mouth, 
and called out to the elite souls of Qin who survived the Thousand Year War in the Qin country. The soul is back, Qina is back home. Hundreds of millions of Li people, the condolences are deep. The soul is back, Qina is back home. Hundreds of millions of Li people, the condolences are deep. The soul is back, Qina is back home. Hundreds of millions of Li people, the condolences are deep. Under the deep call of Ying Zheng, a strong ghostly aura emerged from the Qin's military soul hall. Countless transparent souls flew out. These dead souls, all wearing Qin armor, are covered in scars. Or lost limbs and arms. Or the chest is cracked, and the internal organs are gone. Some don't even have a head. But there was a strong will to fight and kill from their bodies. After thousands of years of death, they are still unyielding. Kill. 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 Invisible shouts of killing rose into the sky, shocking the world. After so many years, even though the incense and offerings continued, these dead souls still lost most of their memories and became a little confused. But they still remember fighting the enemy and serving the country. Fight to the death, do not retreat. Seeing this scene, Ying Zheng couldn't help but burst into tears and shouted. Today, I will bring you back to the world. Children are home. Having said that, Ying Zheng slashed his palm, and the blood containing the fate of the emperor poured into the spirit calling formation. This spiritual formation is incomparably huge, including millions of terracotta warriors and horses. With the opening of the great formation, cold blue rays of light poured out, covering all the terracotta warriors. These cold blue lights seem to be guiding lights. Countless souls of Qin soldiers moved and flew to different terracotta warriors like swimming fish. This scene is extremely spectacular. Millions of dead souls returned one by one, and the eyes of one after another of the terracotta warriors lit up. These are the light of hope for the Qin. After a full half an hour, the soul-calling ceremony was over. All the millions of Qin figurines found their owners and became extremely special life forms. The figure headed by the Qin figurines was unusually tall, and his murderous aura shot straight into the sky, like a killing in the world. Don't dare to look straight. I saw him kneeling down on one knee in front of Ying Zheng, and said sternly. Chen, Bai Qi, I have seen the Emperor Qin. I would like to help the Qin to wipe out the underworld and kill all the ghosts. This one turned out to be the blood-stained river of blood that was killed hundreds of years ago, and the terrified murderer from all over the world rose up in vain. He came back with a million Yin soldiers. 222. Come back from Bai Qi, the Yin soldier is complete. This made Ying Zhang's heart surge, and he was about to destroy the sky. Pseudo-immortals are chasing the world, trying to destroy Qin. I, Da Qin, want to kill the heavens and kill the immortals. With a wave of Ying Zhang's hand, the millions of heaven executioners and the millions of Yin soldiers of the Qin terracotta warriors below shouted in unison, full of suffocation. Kill! 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 Su Mu has learned the superficial breathseeing technique. He clearly saw that in the shouts of killing, Da Qin's country's luck was strong and strong, and he didn't know how many times stronger than Dagon. If he didn't know the history, Su Mu would think that Da Qin would win this battle. Even those pseudo-immortals can't resist. It's a pity that Ying Zheng will suddenly die in a few years. He died a few years later. The incomparably powerful Great Qin Dynasty collapsed after only ten years of establishment. There is no fake fairy behind this, Su Mu would never believe it. Ying Zheng's sudden death must be caused by those fake immortals. However, Ying Zheng was the emperor of Great Qin, and with the country's luck, he couldn't be moved by ordinary means. How did Heavenly Court assassinate? Su Mu thought about it carefully, and felt that Zhao Gao and Su Fu were inseparable. Not to mention Zhao Gao. Su Fu was a monk from the immortal island overseas, and the immortal island behind was destroyed by the four dragons created by the heaven. He should have died in the battle of destroying the island, but he appeared in the Daqing court. It is very likely that Tian Ting has subdued Su Fu and sent him to Ying Zheng's side to do some tricks secretly. However, no matter how many despicable methods those pseudo-immortals used, don't try to defeat the Qin easily. 
the Kyushu in later generations can continue to prosper, and it can be seen that the underworld no longer exists. Not only that, Heavenly Court also disappeared. This shows that before De Qin's demise, he must have severely damaged those pseudo-immortals and foiled some of their conspiracies. In this way, there will be the Dagon dynasty 5000 years later. Judging from the results, it is very likely that Tianting and Da Qin will suffer, and there is no real winner. But standing behind Heavenly Court is a whole other world's cultivation civilization. Therefore, after the demise of Da Qin, there is still a chance to come back again. Da Qin has completely become history. A generation of emperors also died hastily, which can be described as a tragedy. With the passage of time, this unrecorded history gradually appeared in Su Mu's present. His guess was right. After recalling the souls of millions of Qin soldiers and casting them into the Yin soldiers of the Qin dynasty, Ying Zheng immediately launched an attack on the underworld. He conferred Zen on Mount Tai, and with the help of Da Qin's country's luck, he forced the main gate of the underworld to open. The killing by Qi's murderous aura almost turned into substance, leading millions of Qin soldiers to enter the underworld. The fake immortal sitting in the underworld obviously did not expect that the Qin could actually enter the underworld. Unprepared for a while, the slain ghosts cried. Countless Huangquan roads were cut off, and countless dead souls returned to heaven and earth. Kill! Bai Qi shouted sharply and stabbed the spear in his hand. A ray of blood tore through the layers of dense fog in the underworld and the countless ghosts blocking it along the way, slashing heavily on the main hall. Back in the world, Bai Qi is still a strong man standing at the top of the pyramid. A blow from the peak of the martial god contains infinite power. Accompanied by a loud bang. The main hall of the underworld collapsed suddenly, revealing the core reincarnation pearl. This pure black giant ball is bigger and more condensed than before. Bai Qi locked the bead at a glance, knowing that it was only the core key of this world. So he took the lead and turned into a streamer to kill him. Seeing this, the ghost king transformed by the pseudo-immortal was shocked. Immediately condensing his soul power and creating tens of thousands of elite ghosts, he blocked in front of Bai Qi. This pseudo-immortal is an existence above the of war in his own world. But at this time, facing Bai Qi, he felt a little bit of fear inexplicably. Subconsciously, let the ghosts under his command come up first. These ghosts are the elites that the netherworld has cultivated over the years. At this time, under the blessing of infinite soul power, everyone has the cultivation base of the peak of the master. But in front of Bai Qi, it looks like a piece of paper. An unpretentious halberd turned into a blood-colored streamer in his hand. Flying and spinning around, no grass grows wherever the blood light goes. No matter how powerful the ghosts are, they will be torn to shreds in an instant. This is the terrifying combat power of the great Qin killing god. How can these ghosts be able to resist the killing gods that come out every thousand years? Not just white. The other Qin warriors and Yin soldiers also broke out with terrifying combat effectiveness, and the millions of ghosts in the underworld were defeated. This level of strength far exceeds that of the also elite heaven punishing army. Think about it too. The body is a powerful mercenary refined by countless experts who have worked hard and exhausted countless precious materials. Souls are the dead souls of the most elite soldiers accumulated in Dachin for thousands of years. Except that there is no room for improvement, this army of Qin warriors is perfect. At the top of Mount Tai, Ying Zheng's eyes were sharp, staring at the netherworld. This battle is about to destroy this different dimension. Otherwise, the roots of Kyushu will be broken. But the pseudo-immortal will not give up like this. Changing the world requires the cooperation of the two, how can one be missing? Soon, Heavenly Court responded. This time, a pseudo-immortal finally took action in person. This is a golden godman hanging high above the Heavenly Palace. He was restricted by the two realms and could not leave the Heavenly Court. But apart from countless miles, it can still exert a strong combat power. With a wave of a hand and a move, a terrifying power comparable to the peak of the martial god can be exerted. At the same time, there are 100,000 soldiers and generals who cooperated and entered the Kyushu world again. Ying Zheng had already expected this scene. 
immediately dispatched the heaven-punishing army and a group of masters to fight to stop the heavenly court offensive. The main goal of this battle is to destroy the nether underworld. On the heavenly court side, as long as it can be resisted. But heavenly courts means don't stop there. Seeing that the underworld was about to be wiped out, those pseudo-immortals finally took out their back. The four seas tossed, and the dragon king came out with countless monsters in the sea, and went straight to the inland. After learning the news from the communication talisman in Zhang's face sank and his fists clenched tightly. 80% of Dachin's power has already participated in the war. And the Four Seas Dragon King has now cultivated to the late stage of the Martial God, and is extremely powerful. What's more, there are countless sea monsters killed together. He's out of options. Dachin, it is in danger. At the same time, Su Mu's eyes lit up beside Ying Zheng. When things developed to this point, he was finally able to roughly review the entire process of the Great Qin and Heavenly Court battle. When the four evil flood dragons come, Da Qin will be hit hard. But what kind of character is Ying Zheng? We will definitely not back down at this critical moment. He must have fought with huge casualties, wiped out the netherworld, and broken arm of the group of pseudo-immortals. Then he fought with Tian Ting for several years and suffered heavy losses. In the end, he suddenly died suddenly, which brought an end to the War of the Sky. To be honest, Ying Zheng was still defeated. I tried everything, and I lost hopelessly. But in this life, there is Su Mu. After replaying the whole process, he finally couldn't bear it any longer. When Ying Zheng was helpless, Su Mu came to him and said solemnly. Leave those four evil dragons to me. Monster race, it's time to contribute to the world of Kyushu. Master. Hearing this sentence, a character like Ying Zheng could not help but wet his eyes. He was finally no longer alone. There is also Master, fight against the enemy together with him. He is not alone. After the clone on the top of Mount Tai spoke, the main body in the Qin Chu Mountains slowly opened his eyes. The hundred Zhang giant snake flew into the air, uttered a few words coldly, and spread throughout the entire mountain range. Rejuvenate the demons, follow me to fight. With Su Mu's order, tens of millions of the demon clan of Fuxing society came out. A hundred years of accumulation, only for the present. 223. Huge old tortoises, ghostly and invisible fox demons, blue birds that cover the sky, golden toads overflowing with light. A group of martial god level monsters, led by a hundred Zhang Luyun python, slaughtered to the four seas. Behind, there are countless large and small monster clans. At this moment, Su Mu's hundred years of accumulation exploded in an instant, and all the power was displayed in front of the world. Wanyao Palace Since Su Mu left, the power of this demon clan has been declining day by day. There used to be 100,000 monsters, but now there are less than 10,000 left. And the strength is incomparable with before. Above the 10,000 demons' palace, several martial gods and demon kings looked up. I saw countless demon clans gather together and kill them in the distance. Like a surging river, it is endless. Such power makes these 10,000 demon palace elders very envious. My 10,000 demon palace, originally wanted to become such an existence. It's a pity. Hey! A green bull demon king sighed and turned his head to look at one place. The other demon kings followed his line of sight. There, shrunk a thin and rickety figure. This is an old sheep and an old demon, with a strong death energy on his body, and all of them are almost curled up together. A humble and pitiful look. If he didn't say it, who would have thought that this old Ares demon was a demon king of the martial god realm? This is venerable Ares who had a holiday with Su Mu. A hundred years have passed, and its cultivation has not improved at all. On the contrary, because of the approaching of Shouyuan, the strength has dropped a lot, and it is estimated that it is similar to the half-step martial god. Wrong, I was wrong. Really wrong. Under the watchful eyes of all the demons, Venerable Lao Yang murmured shiveringly, feeling a little confused. After Su Mu left Wan Yao Palace, his power became stronger and stronger, and the Fuxing society under his command became stronger and stronger. At the back, 
almost 50% of the demon clan in the Qin Chu Mountains were taken in. Not only that, but also extended to other parts of the land of Kyushu, and there are more and more demon kings in the martial god realm. Moreover, the martial gods and demon kings of Fuxing society are much stronger than those of Wan Yao Gong, and the two are not comparable at all. Facing such a behemoth on the opposite side, Venerable Ares was terrified. In the past fifty years, it was afraid that Su Mu would come to settle accounts with it, and lived in fear all day long. As everyone knows, Su Mu has long forgotten this old Ares demon. Again, Venerable Ares is not worthy. It is not qualified to be Su Mu's opponent at all, and naturally it will not be remembered by him. Today, Venerable Ares finally understood this truth. It's all wrong. All wrong. He never saw me in his eyes, I was just a pebble he kicked over when he passed by. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. The Ares old demon suddenly burst into laughter. The laughter was full of bitterness, but there was also some relief. Laughing and smiling, the old demon Ares left two lines of turbid tears. Breath stagnation, actually died on the spot. Before he died, his heart was full of remorse. Perhaps, it should change its way of life. The sudden death of the old demon Ares made the surrounding demons look at each other in dismay, and there was a feeling of sadness in their hearts. They seemed to be abandoned in this day and age. Sumu didn't know this and didn't care. The four evil flood dragons, carrying countless sea monsters, slayed Dachin. Su Mu brought his demon clan and greeted him. From a distance, it seems like two huge waves collided fiercely. With a loud bang, countless monsters fought together. Blood and sea water surged, and the world changed color. The four evil dragons knew very well that the land was not their home ground. So he made waves and came up with a huge wave. I don't know how many houses were destroyed and how many people were drowned along the way. At the same time, there were thunder and lightning in the sky, strong winds, and torrential rain. The strength of the four evil flood dragons is indeed powerful, and they have changed the time and place abruptly. Without Su Mu's help, the Qin would have to pay a heavy price. But this battle is extremely difficult for Fuxing society. The power below the of war, the Fuxing society has an absolute advantage. Under the leadership of Ling Sha, the big demon of Zong Shijing defeated those shrimp soldiers and crab generals. Sometimes there is a fight as to a seafood meal. But when it comes to top combat power, Fuxing society is a little bit overwhelmed. Thanks to Su Mu's efforts, there are as many as ten demon kings in the Fuxian realm in the Fuxing society. And the four evil dragons, apart from themselves, no longer exist in the martial god realm. Ten to four, from a quantitative point of view, has an advantage. But with the help of the heavenly court, the four evil dragons are all the cultivation bases of the late martial god. On Su Mu's side, it is generally the middle stage of the martial god. The strength on paper is not as good as the opponent. Fortunately, Su Mu has carefully planned. The huge, defensive old turtle turned into a giant shield and concentrated on blocking the magical powers of the four evil flood dragons. There is also a pangolin-like demon king beside it to help it share the pressure, and the thick armor that shines with khaki aura, such as the shell of the old turtle, is not too much. The fox demon Menli hid behind everyone, and countless dreamlike colorful streamers flew from her body, shrouding the four evil flood dragons. This is Menli's innate supernatural power, which is enough to drag many demon kings of the same realm into an illusion and torture them to death. The four evil flood dragons are extremely ferocious and cannot be taken down just by virtue of it. But it is also enough to contain part of their energy and reduce their combat power as much as possible. There is also a huge indigo flying butterfly, flapping its wings and shedding a little aura. These auras sank into the bodies of the demon kings who were confronting the four evil dragons. Not only can it cast a powerful defensive barrier on their body surface, but it can also stimulate their potential, allowing them to exert twelve points of combat power. In addition to these few, the other martial gods and demon kings each played their own role in fighting against the four evil dragons. There are five or six people in the Fuxing society who are facing the evil dragon head-on. Su Mu bore the brunt of the attack and killed one of the evil dragons. 
This evil flood dragon is a kilometer long, several times larger than him, and its cultivation base and strength are also much stronger. But Su Mu was not afraid. With the concerted efforts of all the demons, his pressure was shared a lot. Under all kinds of restraints, this evil dragon could not fight him wholeheartedly, and his strength could only exert 50% at most. Su Mu opened his mouth and spit, and a red blood on was killed. That evil Jiao was not to be outdone. With a wave of the dragon's claw, the remaining sea water surged, and a hundred Zhang water spear flew out and stabbed at Su Mu. The two collided, and the infinite power immediately erupted. With all kinds of help, the first move, Su Mu and evil Jiao, was a draw. Seeing this, his mind moved, and the nine flowing clouds on his body lit up red and danced away from the body. At first glance, it looks like nine radiant red wings. Here is the innate supernatural power of the nine-winged flowing cloud python, flowing cloud flying wings. After turning on the innate supernatural powers, Su Mu's speed was extremely fast, like a streamer flickering around the evil flood dragon. Various supernatural powers continued to greet each other, and for a while they actually gained the upper hand. But this is destined to be a war without a winner. The four evil dragons named Dragon King are nothing but puppets of the heaven. In a short period of time, the strength has increased sharply, and some sorcery may have been used. How many years can you live is a question mark. Whether it is the four evil Jiao Jiao or the sea monsters under their command. After all, they are all living creatures in Kyushu. At this time, under the manipulation of Tian Ting, he fought with the demon clan under Su Mu's command. Regardless of the outcome, Kyushu has already lost. There was a loud bang in the sky. Countless rains turned into rain of arrows, killing Su Mu and the other warrior gods and demon kings. A transparent tortoise shell lit up, blocking most of the arrow rain. But then, there was a scream. I cannot make it. The old turtle lay on the ground with a face full of pain. I saw that the turtle shell on its body was covered with cracks, and countless blood was spilled. In the battle just now, it blocked the magical powers from many evil flood dragons, and it also gave Su Mu and the others a better chance to counterattack. But such a powerful magical power is a huge burden for it. Persevering until now, it is already a hard life. The two sides could still have a tie, and Su Mu even had the upper hand. But after all, there is a gap in the realm. As soon as the old turtle retreated, there was a problem with the joint front of the monsters. Jin Chan, Ling, and another tiger demon were getting more and more embarrassed under the bombardment of the four dragons. Although the four evil flood dragons also suffered losses and injuries, they were far from being defeated. They exchanged glances with each other, and then together they pushed the sea water under them. The endless sea water roared and turned into a huge mouthful of blood, which was swallowed by Su Mu and the others. An amazing suction force came from this mouth. Even the blue feather bird bell in the sky was sucked down. Go! Seeing that they were about to be swallowed in one bite, Su Mu finally launched his backhand. With its loud shout, a huge wave was set off behind the evil Jiao Jiao. A huge body like a floating island rides the wind and waves and kills the evil flood dragon. This monster is actually thousands of meters long. It was the giant whale king that Su Mu had placed in the sea before. The giant whale king is the most powerful of the many martial gods and demon kings that Su Mu has conquered. Under Su Mu's arrangement, it lurks in the deep sea, ready to go. Killed at this time, not alone. Instead, it carried countless monsters in the sea, and even two monster kings of the gods of war. The four seas are boundless, and there are countless monsters. Not all the monsters in the sea are willing to surrender to those few temperamental evil dragons. These subordinates gathered by the giant whale king are the opponents of the four evil flood dragons. With the addition of living forces, the battle situation is tilted again. The giant whale king sneaked a sneak attack from the rear, forcing the evil dragon to be unable to activate his supernatural powers. After the power was greatly reduced, it was broken by the demon kings led by Su Mu. Under the front and back, the four dragons finally showed their defeat. Although these four dragons are extremely high, they are very powerful on paper. 
but they are just tools that have been ripened, and the background is too shallow. Whether it is the use of power or the magical powers used, they are very shallow. Su Mu's supernatural powers seem to be simple, but in fact they have reached the realm of simplicity. And their supernatural powers are simply superficial. In the face of weak enemies, it can naturally be suppressed with force. A two-meter man beats a primary school student, do you still need to learn any martial arts? But the one to deal with right now is not a primary school student. But a one. Eight-meter tall man who is proficient in martial arts. After the giant whale king was killed, the flaws of the four dragons with insufficient background began to magnify infinitely. Several superficial supernatural powers are used back and forth, and the timing of the move is extremely poorly grasped. In the face of emergencies, he is not calm enough, and he feels a little confused. Apart from these four evil dragons, the demon kings who can cultivate to the martial god realm are all experienced men. Su Mu and his party are not like that old sheep and old demon, decadent and waiting to die. They are all real monsters. So they all sensed the weaknesses of the four evil dragons and launched a fierce attack on them in cooperation with each other. The evil Jiao, who was madly beaten, was extremely angry. They are already a bit tyrannical, and they have never been frustrated when they are powerful. Encountered this situation, could not help but be swept away by anger. Under the random move, the combat power drops by another point. Roar. Suddenly, an evil dragon made a shrill scream. Originally it was Su Mu who found the right time to bully him and bit him on the body. Evil Jiao's demon body is extremely powerful, surpassing Su Mu. But since they were powerful, they have never fought Melele, and lost their magical powers to kill the enemy. Su Mu, who wants to outsmart Su Mu, who is almost a master of martial arts in melee combat, is like a dream. Under the severe pain, the evil dragon waved its tail indiscriminately, trying to kill Su Mu. But Su Mu took a hard bite and immediately released it, and climbed up the body of the evil Jiao. He is like a slippery loach, no matter how to drive away any evil flood dragon, it will not touch him at all. Su Mu climbed all the way up, leaving wounds along the way. Finally came to the neck, the mouth of the blood basin opened to the limit, and bit down. Between the sharp teeth, there is even a surging aura. Howl. This time, the evil flood dragon let out a roar that was more fearful than angry. It smells of death. This is indeed the case. The demon clan's vitality is tenacious, even if this bite bites off most of its neck and injects a large amount of destructive demon energy, it still cannot kill this evil dragon. But the other demon kings under Su Mu's command are not vegetarians either. How can you pass up such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Almost all the demon kings left the enemy at hand together, and all the killing moves were all smashed at this evil dragon. The combat experience of the other three evil flood dragons is too shallow. Unexpectedly, he didn't resist the first time, and watched his companions besieged. Under the indiscriminate bombardment of the magical powers, the evil dragon finally lost its breath. But this demon is worthy of being the demon king in the later stage of the martial god being so ravaged, the demon body still hasn't been smashed to pieces. Although there are many large and small wounds, the whole remains intact. However, in the eyes of the other three dragons, there was no difference. If you die, you're dead, so what's the use of leaving the whole corpse? A fear rose from the bottom of their hearts. These few evil Jiao Jiao suddenly become rich nouveau riche. The strength is there, but the mood is far from it. The death of their companions greatly reduced their fighting spirit and made them even more panicked. The next battle will be easier. Su Mu cooperated with the demon kings to defeat the four evil dragons one by one. They didn't even have a chance to escape. After all, running away is a college question. These four dragons have no experience, how can they escape? As soon as the evil dragon dies, the shrimp soldiers and crabs under their command will automatically be defeated and flee in all directions. For incomparably huge Jiaolong corpses were placed in front of Su Mu. They actually killed four demon kings in the late stage of the martial god. Even if these four evil flood dragons could not exert their strength, they were still the real martial gods in the late stage. Almost at the top of the world. 
Ha ha ha. We won. We won. After changing for a while, Jean Chan laughed proudly. Although the other demon kings were not as reckless as it was, they all smiled. Then, at this moment, the bodies of the four Jialongs suddenly started to wriggle. Gathering quickly to the middle, there is a tendency to merge. Not good. Stop them now. Su Muli shouted, grabbed the corpse of a Jialong and wanted to throw it away. He smelled a strange smell unique to pseudo immortals. 224. Su Mupin sat in a white space, and has returned to his human form. This is the standby space of the simulator, showing the state of mind. It can be seen that although Su Mu has been a monster for hundreds of years, he still regards himself as a human in his heart. Preconceived ideas, I'm afraid it can't be changed. I still lost. Su Mu's face was solemn, recalling the last scene of his previous life. He led the many demon kings of the Fuxing society to fight hard for a long time, and finally killed the four evil dragons. Who knows that the body of the evil flood dragon is strangely fused, and no matter how hard they try, they can't stop it. The huge corpses of the four evil flood dragons merged into a corpse dragon that was several thousand meters long, and was controlled by the will of a pseudo-immortal. Its strength was extremely terrifying. There is a vague sign of breaking through the martial god realm. What followed was a one-sided battle. That corpse dragon exudes the aura of destruction and death, which can corrode everything. Su Mu and the martial gods and demon kings under his command are not opponents at all. A slight collision of breath will take away a lot of vitality. After a few times, it turned into a carrion and was swallowed by it. When the entire army was about to be destroyed, Su Mu saw the weakness of this corpse dragon. This thing is neither human nor demon nor demon, it is just a piece of meat that those pseudo-immortals forcibly put together. Time is its biggest enemy. At the time of life and death, Su Mu resorted to a life-fighting technique he had created before. After using it, it can explode several times of combat power, and it will burn vitality, and there is no doubt that it will die. After using this move, Su Mu's combat power increased several times, but he was still no match for the corpse dragon. But he never thought about confronting it head on, he just needed to hold on. Under Su Mu's desperate delay, the corpse dragon's huge and unparalleled rotten body began to disintegrate and gradually disappeared. And he also ended the journey of the previous life because his vitality was exhausted. Fortunately, in the end, the corpse dragon was finally dragged to death and Menli, Ling, Jin Chan and several other martial gods and demon kings were saved. Although he lost half of it, Su Mu was no longer there. But it can still keep the incense of the Fuxing society. In addition, Ying Zhang's side should be more comfortable even after fighting the four evil dragons to death. Of course, that wasn't enough to turn him around. This can be seen from the system reviews. Thinking of this, Su Mu opened the settlement interface. End of this simulation. Score, C. Dungeon completion, 66%. Points earned, 10,000. Comment, you ignited a fire, although it will eventually go out, but it is still a great feat. Hint, if the completion rate is less than 90%, the copy is not completed and cannot be left. Su Mu looked at the settlement panel, feeling a little dazed. He has almost reached his limit in his last life. If he did more, it would be nothing more than helping him a little bit, so that Ying Zheng could unify the six kingdoms and know the existence of the heavenly court as soon as possible. But this does not have much effect, and cannot achieve the effect of turning over and play a decisive role. Those otherworldly pseudo-immortals are too powerful and weird. Although he had dealt with them several times in the last life, Su Mu still didn't know much about them. I can only feel the deep malice of their Kyushu world. How can we turn defeat into victory and reverse history? Su Mu fell into deep thought. From the perspective of personal strength, if he can successfully transform into a dragon, he may have the power to fight. But after flipping through the system mall, he found that all the secret techniques related to the transformation of dragons were ridiculously expensive. Even if he just got 10,000 points, he still can't afford it. It would be great if I could get its secret method of transforming into a dragon from the Qilong centipede. An idea suddenly popped into Su Mu's mind, 
but he soon gave a helpless smile. Not to mention whether the Qilong centipede will give him such secret methods. Even if the evildoer is willing to give it, Su Mu can't leave. With more than 10,000 points, new functions will be opened. Spend 10,000 points to archive a copy. As soon as Su Mu came up with this idea, the system seemed to sense something, and a prompt popped up. When the previous points exceeded 1,000 points, open the secondary mall, you can bring the purchased things into the main world. Now that the points have exceeded 10,000, and new functions have been opened, it is reasonable. Originally, it was a bit uncomfortable to be unable to leave without passing through the dungeon world. Now feel free to archive, very user-friendly. But the problem is, the archive will consume 10,000 points at a time. To exist or not to exist, that is the question. After seeing the prompt, Su Mu looked tangled and thought frantically. After carefully reviewing it three times, I read the ten talents and affordable items several times. Su Mu still didn't think of a way to deal with those otherworldly pseudo-immortals. This is the suppression of a high-level cultivation civilization on the cultivation civilization that is about to rise. Su Mu seriously suspects that the other party still has many means to show, because he has not yet been forced to that step. For example, if the four flood dragons are not killed, the skeleton dragon will not appear. The opponent held an unknown number of cards in his hand. On the other hand, Su Mu had already exhausted his cards. Turning defeat into victory is out of reach. After thinking for a long time, Su Mu made up his mind. He wants to archive. The enemies in this dungeon world are not something he can handle now, and they have to grow and develop. Archive. Su Mu chanted silently in his heart, and the 10,000 points he had just obtained were instantly cleared. Then, his consciousness returned to his body again. At this time, Su Mu Zheng and Inu God hid in a deep mountain forest in Fusang country to cultivate. When he opened his eyes, his eyes were full of green. This scene made Su Mu feel as if he had passed away. For him, hundreds of years have passed. But in the main world, not even a minute or a second has passed. Five thousand years later, I'm back again. After a few breaths, Su Mu gradually calmed down. This time, when I came out of the copy world, it seemed that there was no gain at all. In fact, even if you haven't gotten the Monster Template Customs Clearance Reward. Su Mu has also harvested a lot. Hundreds of years of cultivation insights, experience breaking through the martial god realm, and understanding of the martial god realm. These are invaluable treasures. From some perspectives, it even surpasses the monster template. Basically, it can be seen as the rebirth of the strong. Experience is the most valuable asset. However, it is still not easy for Su Mu to break through the martial god. Even if you practice the same exercises, there will be many small differences. The accumulation of these differences over many years will make a great difference between practitioners. Therefore, the epiphany required by each practitioner to break through the martial god realm is different. To put it bluntly, the small world you want to shape is different. In the middle and late stages of the last dungeon world, Su Mu was limited by his bloodline, and his strength was difficult to improve. In his spare time, he will ponder how he in the main world can shape his own small world and break through to the martial god realm. The situation of Su Mu's body is too complicated. The human body is the base. On top of this, there are the powers of the four major demons, Blood Demon Skeleton, Flying Zone, Dragon Ghost, and Shirgui. Several forces mingle with each other, both repulsion and fusion. In a situation like his, it is several times more difficult than ordinary practitioners to create a small world of his own. Even higher. To this end, Su Mu has conceived for a long time and planned several sets of plans. But to really cultivate, it is estimated that many adjustments need to be made. There is still a difference between rhetoric and reality. The strength of one's own small world means the strength of strength. Although my situation is complicated, it is not easy to break through. But as long as you can successfully create a small world that can be perfectly integrated with yourself, your strength will definitely be stronger than that of practitioners of the same level. Not to mention, I still have many martial arts, exercises, and magical powers from the pre-Qin era in my mind. 
These are enough for me to create some exercises and magical powers that suit me. Su Mu's eyes were bright, and he could not wait to retreat and practice immediately. Heavenly Court has changed the exercises of that era, so that each exercise has several subtle but serious mistakes. But Su Mu didn't plan to practice those exercises and supernatural powers. But he intends to learn from the strengths of countless exercises and create his own exercises and supernatural powers. In this way, those trivial mistakes did not affect him at all. Master, it's not good. Something big happened. Just when Su Mu wanted to continue retreating, the voice of the dog came from outside. Before entering the dungeon world, Su Mu's plan was to let the dog recuperate, and then go to the nine-tailed demon fox. After subduing it, you can upgrade to the realm of potential ghosts and forcibly attack the realm of martial arts. But looking back now, Su Mu realizes that this idea was too naive. The bottleneck of the martial god realm cannot be broken through by brute force, let alone Su Mu's situation is so complicated. Forcibly breaking through, it is estimated that it will only create a small incomplete world and be stuck in the realm of half-step Valkyrie. So after coming out of the dungeon world, Su Mu's thoughts changed completely. He intends to break through to the martial god realm on his own with the accumulation of hundreds of years. There is no need for an external force like the nine-tailed demon fox. But Inu God's voice broke Su Mu's cultivation plan. What's the matter? Su Mu frowned slightly. This kind of feeling is like being interrupted by someone on the night of the bridal chamber or when getting on the horse. No matter how good-tempered people are, they can't stand it. Not to mention the killing of embryos like Su Mu. A few days ago, the dog recovered from the injury and was sent by Su Mu to investigate the situation. If there is no accident, you can go on the road to find the nine-tailed demon fox. As a result, something unexpected happened, so I hurried back to Su Mu to report. But as soon as he saw Su Mu, Inu God couldn't help being stunned. Although it was not long before they separated, Inu God always felt that Su Mu was different. What exactly is different, but I can't say. If you have to say it, it becomes even more unfathomable. Su Mu frowned slightly, and Inu God felt like he was out of breath. This kind of momentum is actually terrifying. What are you doing in a daze? Talk. Seeing the dog froze there, Su Mu urged. This shout awakened the dog god, and said quickly. Three big snakes sent a large number of monsters and on Myoji to round us up. And it seems to have determined our general orientation, surrounded this forest, and is constantly shrinking the encirclement. Master, what should we do? The dog was a little flustered. In its heart, the three-headed serpent is an extremely powerful existence. And it was beaten back to its original shape by three big snakes, and it was tortured for many years. Fear it so much. When he found three big snakes chasing after him, he panicked immediately. Hearing this, Su Mu's eyes flashed a hint of doubt. Among the three big demon kings, the three big snakes are the weakest. Su Mu estimated that it was the most in the late stage of the Valkyrie, and its strength was weaker than the Jialong he killed in the last instance world. With his means, if the three snakes didn't go out in person, they shouldn't be able to lock his trail. Besides, Su Mu has been saving the dog for several months. If the three big snakes had the ability to find them, they would have hunted them down long ago. Fusan country is only in this place, how can it be dragged to this day? Could there be foreign aid? Thinking of this, the figure of the red dragon centipede appeared in Su Mu's mind. This monster is really powerful. Even in the era of 5000 years ago, it is the top existence, which is very terrifying. It is at the crux of the dragon transformation and should not be distracted to deal with Su Mu. But it is still possible to send a few powerful men to hunt down Su Mu. Master, what should we do? Su Mu didn't think for too long, but Inu God couldn't wait any longer, and asked with a look of fear. In the previous years, it lived in great pain, not as good as an ordinary wild dog. Such a day, Inu God never wanted to live. When I think about it, I feel the fear in my heart. On the contrary, Su Mu looked calm. Don't panic, according to their search speed, how many days will they find us? Seeing Su Mu so calm, Inu God calmed down a little. 
It thought for a while and said. As fast as ten days, as slow as half a month. But no matter what, we will be discovered within a month. Among them, there are several big demons of half-step martial arts, too powerful. Hearing this, Su Mu said calmly. Ten days is enough, continue to retreat. Hearing this sentence, Inu God couldn't help being stunned. The powerful enemy was about to be killed, and Su Mu didn't want to go out before the encirclement was completely tightened, but he still had to retreat. Is this crazy? During these few days, what can be closed out? Could it be possible to break through to the martial god realm? Su Mu is very kind to the dog god. But in the face of this situation, it couldn't help but question it. Master, let's go out quickly. When the encirclement is tightened, it's really hard to escape. You can't cultivate anything in ten days. You won't break through to the martial god realm, right? What Inu God didn't expect was that after hearing this, Sumu actually showed a faint smile. It's really been said by you, the dog demon. This retreat is to break through to the martial god realm. What Sumu thought of it is difficult to break through the martial god realm means that it is impossible to break through immediately. With the support of the four big monster templates, his strength has actually been accumulated. If it weren't for his complicated situation, Su Mu would be sure to break through to the martial god realm within a day. Even shorter. As a demon king who almost cultivated to the late stage of the martial god, he has this background. Now, the situation is complicated and a little difficult. But ten days is enough. Crazy, really crazy. Inu god stared at Su Mu in astonishment, feeling that his new owner and benefactor was probably insane. But Su Mu no longer paid attention to it, closed his eyes and began to cultivate, a mysterious aura rose from his body. Seeing this, Inu God gritted his teeth and chose to stay. Although he felt that Su Mu had gone mad, Inagami did not leave him and escape alone. You free me from the sea of suffering, and it's okay to give this life back to you. With this thought in mind, Inu God's eyes gradually became firmer, and he sat cross-legged beside Su Mu to protect him. Cautiously and timidly, Go lived his whole life. Before dying, let's fight with vigor and vigor. The dog demon also has the journey of the tiger. Although I said it before in a single chapter, but the hasty suspension of this dungeon world still has to apologize to everyone, I'm sorry. I sorted out my thoughts today, and the follow-up update speed should be faster. Work hard and strive to present a more exciting story to everyone.